one and all to Dimension 20. Our cast of players will assume the role of heroic adventurers embarking on a dangerous quest. Our story takes place in the world of Spire. Spire mostly conforms to your expectations for a world of swords and sorcery, with one notable exception, and that's Elmville. Elmville is a little town in a nation called Solace. Solace may be home to elves, orcs, dwarves, and gnomes, but it resembles more of a 1950s through 1980s America. There are several schools in Elmville, but our story begins at the Eggfort Adventuring Academy, the world's premier training ground for would-be heroes. Our story begins with six freshmen on their first day of school, and the first bell's just about to ring. Without any further ado, Dimension 20 proudly presents Fantasy High! My name is Brennan Lee Mulligan. I'm the dungeon master for you guys this evening. We're gonna be playing a little bit of a tabletop RPG here with the College Humor cast. Say hi, guys. Ooh. Hi. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Let's just all say, uh, this is uh, Miss Emily Axford. Not today, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Zach Oyama. Also not today, but. Uh, Siobhan Thompson. I refuse it, take it back. Uh, Lou Wilson. I'll take it. Allie Beardsley. Sure. And Brian Murphy. As Riz Gutgag. <laughs> there it is. Uh, we're going to be playing a little role-playing game for you guys. Thanks for coming and playing with us. Uh, this season marks the beginning of our adventure into the world of Fantasy High, where we ask the question that has long gone unasked. What would happen if John Hughes ran a game of a tabletop RPG? And we're going to find out today. Swords, high school, puberty, magic, it's all coming together. We're going to descend to uh, somebody's home. Why don't we have this decided by a roll of the dice? That feels oh, no. fine to me. Yeah. Yeah. Sweaty palms. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. We're gonna go downtown. Yep. <laughs> As the clouds part, a flock of gulls flies over the Marigold River, heading down to an area of wealth and expansive taste. It's downtown Elmville, and we see that amongst the manors, there is a colossal gilded man of war, a pirate ship, great and mighty, that has been dry docked and dragged out of the river all the way up onto land and turned into a mansion. <laughs> we see vast hedgerows and various bankers and also like pirates dragging chests of gold up through like hedge mazes and topiary and fountains. And we see out on a little sort of a clay patio. Lou, would you describe yourself for the other players? Oh, of course. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Fabian Aramis, sea caster. You know, I, uh, I'm a half elf. Uh, I'm, of course, the son of the famous William Seacaster, the great adventurer who sailed the Celestine Sea, freeing slaves and raising up nations. Uh, I'm a fencer by trade. I also know how to glass blow in. I'm quite good at calligraphy. Uh, <laughs> and I am absolutely thrilled uh, to be here at the Eggford Adventuring Academy. Uh, very excited to kind of start on my adventure of becoming an adventurer, much like my father, that I may too one day take up the mantle of the sea caster name and show my heroism across Spire. Uh, you're out on a lovely day. You, you wake up early in the morning. You've had a, a great green protein shake made by your halfling maid, Cathilda. Oh. And you're out on the patio with your fencing instructor, Herson, practicing. Fantastic. Uh, so the sound of swords and sabers ringing off of each other. Uh, uh, Fabian, what does your character look like so that we can? Uh, he, I'm uh, six one, uh, white hair, a, a relative like a thinner, like a like a very what? Is, how would you say it? Um, lean, athletic, like, uh, lean muscle. Ooh. That's what I was thinking. Very like lean muscle, uh, very dexterous, but also incredibly strong. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking soccer like player a, or swimmer. Yeah, swimmer's uh, body. Uh, yeah, yeah a, very, a real Michael Phelps type. <laughs> Uh, for those of you at home, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Michael Phelps with a sword. <laughs> and white hair. Such a tiny sword uh, yeah. in comparison uh, to the size of his body. Uh, yeah. As her son and you fence, your mother, hilarious sea caster, a high elf with beautiful long flowing hair and a sort of kind of like a fusion kimono, some oh kind of silk God. garment I hanging off of one shoulder. As an elf, she's immortal, so she looks, you know, about as, she looks like early 20s, yeah. uh, even though she's about 200 years old. Old. She has a huge
huge goblet of wine. It's about like 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> oh, mama. She goes, darling, you look wonderful. Are, are you winning the fight? <laughs> I don't. Oh, Mama, I, her son is really giving it to me today, but don't worry, I'll best him yet. <laughs> her son, let my boy win. Let him win the me, sweet boy. Sweet oh, her boy. son, don't you dare take it easy on me, all right? I need to be strong. <laughs> you, of course, I would never take it easy on you. You are a champion. You have the gift of your father. Yes. Uh, you hear a left say, did someone mention the man of the house? Oh, Papa! Stomping out of a gold archway is the most piratey fucking pirate you've ever seen in your life. Tri-corner hat, eye patch, saber at his side, long coat. Uh, in this weird like 1950s suburb, he <laughs> sticks out like a fucking sore thumb. Your father made his wealth by means that some call heroic and others would call uh, evil, but mm -hmm. those are, or anyone's gonna talk about someone who's achieved greatness. Uh, he swaggers out onto the patio and says, my dear darling boy, there he is, the apple of my eye, my pride and joy. Oh, papa. Uh, I see, he grabs your head and kisses you on both cheeks and goes, now, today is your first day of school, all right? Now, I never had much in the way of book learning, never was raised in no school of any kind. So, here's what you do on your first day, all right? I, I've asked around. You find the biggest and meanest man there. Yes, my You go up to him and you drive your fist hard and strong right into his stomach and send him to his knees. Yes, Papa. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Just like you would have done if you ever went to school. That's right, my sweet boy. Now, I have a little present for you if you're so inclined. Oh. <laughs> you see, he reaches into a bag and pulls out a red and white Egg Fort letter jacket for the Blood Rush team, the Egg Fort Owlbears. Oh, Papa! <laughs> he hands it to you and says, Oh, my boy, my sweet boy. Now, technically, you're not on the team yet. They're going to have some uh, informal tryouts today, m mainly for people that are coming back and have played earlier season. Now, you're a freshman, but um, I've had a little bit of a conversation with uh, Coach Daybreak, who is the uh, coach of the Owl Bears mm -hmm. over there, and I understand he'll be accommodating you in terms of a tryout today. Oh, fantastic, Papa. Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, the tryout's just a simple formality. I mean, we both know that I have the skills to be a champion. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I, of course. You're my son. You're a direct reflection of me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You and your glory is the same as my glory. Yes, it is. That's how we relate to each other. <laughs> exactly. That's how it goes. Yes. Now, uh, in addition to your skill and your talent and your raw power as a master of combat, I've also paid a handsome sum of money to Coach Daybreak. Oh. A bribe. Well, of course. An illegal bribe. Well, well, I, wouldn't, I would do the exact same. I of mean, course. I would have done it if you hadn't. What do we say is the relationship between luck and talent? 500 you... gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my sweet boy! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. See, he grabs your head and kisses you on the forehead. Uh, and he looks over. You see that your mom is just literally winking at her son and waving over at him. Oh my God. And you see, he goes, my darling wife, <laughs> I'll be dead in the grave and she'll still be alive. I, I know that, Papa. You know I'll die before you, long before. Yeah, the elven blood in you. You tell me every day. Time ticks away. <laughs> grain of sand by grain of sand. Yes, Papa. Yes, of course. Of course it does. We cannot live forever. Yes. So what must we do to live forever? Write our name on the face of the world yes. with our heroic deeds. Yes, yes, of course, Papa. Write my name on the face of the world with heroic deeds. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna. That's all. That's okay, all great. Is. Thank you. Yes, now get yourself to school. Okay, thanks, Papa. <laughs> uh, we are going to cut now to another one of our brave adventurers. Oh boy, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Um, uh, uh, we're going to cut over now to the neighborhood of Elm Valley. Oh, Lord save us, we are cutting over to Elm Valley now, where we're going to go and meet our wonderful friend, and it's her 
first day of school at A4. It's Kristen Applebee's. Uh, Kristen Applebee's, you're in your bedroom right now. You've got uh, an emblem of a cob of corn in praise to Helio, the god of corn, and his father, Sol, the god of the sun. You have been touched by the spirit of the divine. You have been sent to this world to share the healing power of your God. Amen. It's true. Uh, you should look at it and you see. Uh, 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 describe your character and sort of what they look like, what their room is like, what's kind of going on. Uh, uh, yeah, Kristen Applebee's is always wearing a tie-dye shirt from a summer camp that she went to, like a religious summer camp. Uh, she has red hair, freckles. She's like was made for camp. <laughs> uh, she walks around with her leather Bible that has her name engraved on the cover. She's always holding it. Uh, and yeah, she's big into the corn god. Uh, you hear a, a bunch of noise. You have a one story kind of like like ranch house, a little you know that kind of like uh, Elm Valley is a super conservative neighborhood. Um, uh, you know, out in the living room, there's like a sofa and like a playpen for your little brothers. Um, you hear your little brothers, uh, Bucky, Bricker, and Cork are all out, just like rolling around on the ground. Their school starts a little bit later than yours does. Uh, and you hear your dad, Mac, and your mom, Donna, yelling out there saying, I swear to God, Bricker, if you don't give your dad back his halberd, you're not going to be able to play when you get home, all right? Now, say your prayers, wash your hands, and get ready to get to school. Um, you hear a knock on the door, uh, and you hear the voice of your mom say, Kristen, you up in there? You almost ready to go to school, sweetheart? Sure I am. I'm, uh, I just finished praying. Uh, you see the door opens, and you see your mom leans her head in. Mm. Uh, your mom's sort of a thick-set woman, and she's got this little sort of like short-sleeved kind of mom shirt and the shorts. Uh, she's got like some hiking boots on. Uh, your, uh, uh, your mom and dad are human paladins. They work for the border patrol, uh, going and making sure that, you know, people from the mountains of chaos and monsters don't get in. Um, you see your mom says like, all right, saying your prayers to the corn god, Helio, praise be. <laughs> I am. I'm almost done. Uh, Just another hour. Another hour. <laughs> okay, we're going to be pretty late if you, if you were going to do a whole hour. I, okay, I guess I can, everything is a form of prayer, so I guess I'll just go. Let's go. See, your mom gets a little misty-eyed, and she says, Oh, sweetheart, I, I'm so glad that you were chosen, and Pastor Amelia is so proud of you, and, and it's, it's not too late for us to send you to Sun Peak to go no, train. No, Mom, I want to rub shoulders with real people. I want to go to parties and dump my beer down the sink and refill the beer can with water so no one feels weird around me. Gosh. <laughs> look, she, you see she says, um, uh, you see she says, look, for, uh, Helio asks us to live a pure life, right? Uh, I, I just, you're going to be going to a school with, you know, elves and... Mom, I think you were in Dad's stance is racist. I, I, okay. You're only for humans who look like you. Have you ever looked at all your friends, Mom? Do any of them look different? How can I be racist against an elf? I never met one. I never met, I don't even know an exactly. elf. Exactly, you've okay. never met one. Okay, so You know this what, is if, if Helio was here right now, he would pop out of a corn husk. <laughs> He would pop into a million different pieces of himself, and he would spread those pieces around to all parts of the city. He wouldn't just be hanging out here. I, 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 okay. You know, I, I'm not smart enough to go toe to toe with you, Kristen. I'm a simple woman. No. I, uh, you know, I haven't read the book as close. I'm not chosen, so. You're really smart, Mom, okay? I, I love you, and I think you're really smart. And it's, I think you're relying on I don't know very much. I, I want to hear you never say that again. You see that your dad pokes his head and says, everything all right in here? We about to, we about to head out or? Uh... Yeah, we're fine. I'm going to go meet all my elf friends. The hell? You got elf friends already? I what got, the hell? I, I hope so. I hope I have friends. I hope I don't even have one human friend. All right. Well, you know everything. You can talk to Helio, so you know. You would know. Um, you get piled into a station wagon. You see your little brothers like bouncing around in the back seat. Uh, the heat, your dad turns the elemental rune key that starts the engine up and you guys start heading off. 
Uh, you see your brother, uh, Cork, looks up your littlest brother, and he goes, you go to adventure school? Mm-hmm. You go fight a dragon? I hope so. Really? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Thanks. <sighs> do you want a tissue? Do you want, do you want a wet now? Huh? Do you want a tissue? I'm good. No. <laughs> I got a crayon up there. What? I got a whole crayon. You have a whole crayon in your nose no. here. Oh. Oh, God! Uh, you see that a small bit of light covers his nose. Uh, Where you heal your brother back there? Yes. You know what? I got no worries about you. <laughs> uh, you guys take off! Um, ooh, baby. Here's the next one. Okay. <laughs> um, so it's pretty early. It's a misty gray kind of morning over in Little Branch. Little Branch is the area of town where like the small folk live. Um, there's a lot of miniature houses over there. And we see over in a little corner of a neighborhood, sort of far away, there's a, there's a tree. It's a tree with a little door in it. There's little windows and little pulleys and kites and all kinds of things of gnomish make, clever little contraptions and wonderful things. And uh, there, in the middle of the tree, uh, standing up from a bed that fills up the entire tree and almost at sort of like a slant even, the face sort of pressed up against the windowsill, uh, is Gorgug Thistle Spring. Uh, Gorga, can you tell us sort of what you look like and what you're doing right now? Uh, yeah, um, I'm Gorgug. I'm 14. Uh, I'm six feet, four inches tall. Uh, <laughs> I'm a lot bigger than this house that I'm in. <laughs> um, I kind of don't uh, have a lot of friends. Um, I'm not good really talking to people. I like keeping to myself and just sort of like drawing or something or listening to music. Um, I'm adopted, by the way. Um, my parents are little gnomes, um, <laughs> and I'm a lot bigger than them. Uh, last night I broke my bed in my sleep. <laughs> um, again. <sighs> I just like to keep to myself. <laughs> um, well, uh, <laughs> Gorgug is there in his gray in his gray hoodie. He's got his headphones on, listening to some music. Um, and Evanescence, no doubt. <laughs> um, and um, you see that uh, it's pretty early, and um, you see that coming in from the workshop, uh, your your adoptive mom and dad, Digby and Wilma Thistle Spring, are tinkerers, and you see they come in. Uh, your dad's kind of got this, uh, you know, like mutton chops and he's bald, he's got these sort of goggles on. Uh, and your mom's got like a little sort of like work workshop like bandana around her head and they both have like aprons on and um, have like little curly pointed shoes. You see your dad and mom both walk in and your mom goes, well, oh, hey there, sweetie, you're already up. Yeah, I got up pretty early. Um, I broke my bed again. Oh, sweetheart, well that's, <laughs> that's no problem. Oh, on the first day of school. Uh, you see that uh, your dad immediately goes over and starts doing some like gnomish spell, takes up like a hammer and starts <sighs> mending it with magic. And you see he says, hey, you know what? Uh, uh, sometimes a thing gets broken and when you rebuild it, it's stronger for it, you know? A lot of things are like that. You put a sword in a, in a steel forge, you gotta beat the hell out of that thing to get it nice and hard and sharp, you know? Breaking things isn't bad. I mean, you keep saying that, but I keep breaking things. <laughs> and it's always good. It's always good that you're, right, you know. I had a weird dream where I got really mad, and then I woke up and my bed was broken. Okay. So you guys have dreams where you're mad all the time? <laughs> you see that Dig Digby and Wilma look at each other and go, Well, sure. <laughs> really? Sure. I was just thinking about it. I've never seen you mad. 
Well, you didn't see me when uh, your old pa here uh, dropped a, a screwdriver on my dang thumb. I was fit to, you know, I said, hey, you know, watch it, buster. <laughs> He really got you were it. You so mad and you said, hey, watch it, Buster. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, I really. I feel like my insides are boiling. Whoa, 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 whoa. When I'm mad, I'm not mad right now. Okay, that's, hey, you know what? Everybody gets mad sometimes. And, and you know, one thing you can think about when you're going to school is, is hey, I, you know, hey, I'm, uh, things aren't going my way. I'm getting pretty, uh, pretty P.O.'d. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sing a song. Sing you a see, song. Your, your mom grabs like a little harp and your dad grabs a little ukulele and they start sort of harmonizing and they go like, when you feel a little mad, it's probably because you really feel sad. Just remember your mom and dad and then you'll start to feel real I'm glad. glad. <laughs> That's right. Okay. That's right, bud. So just sing that song around the other high schoolers if you start feeling upset. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see Gorgug, uh, you walk out, you see your mom out the way at the door, hands you a, like a little tin flower. And you see she says, now, I know that back at Oak Shield you had a... You know, it was a, it was a bit of a, a bit, it was a little bit of a hurdle to, uh, trying to you know uh, it was a bit we had a little bit of a hard time trying to make pals right but but making pals is is just like making a flower you know you you think it's just like making a flower sure everything's just like something else oh you just you, please don't sing another song <laughs> <laughs> see your dad. Softly puts his ukulele <laughs> back down. You see, your mom goes, Well, with a flower, you think, Hey, what should that thing look like? And uh, how would I make it? And what would I do? And you're thoughtful, and then, and then you're real careful with it. And then you put the work and you put the elbow grease in, and you do it with love the whole time. And if you just go be yourself, be your great good self with your great big heart, I, I just know you'll make some friends, bud. Okay. Thank you, mom. Um, I'll make. I'll go to school and I'll try to make a friend today. Maybe give him the flower. I don't. Uh, Maybe give him the flower. Thanks <laughs> you for know, a flower. That could make a friend. I'm gonna buy a friend with a flower. Well, it's not <laughs> buying a gift. Isn't buying. You know, a gift isn't buying something. You know, yeah. you give someone a compliment. Is that buying something? Some. You give someone a smile. No. Okay. Give someone a smile. You ever do that? Wow, yeah, the tusks, the tusks are really coming in, bud. They're so big. <laughs> uh, we're going to cut now. Uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, boy. Um, uh, we will now go a little bit north of here to Clearbrook. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, here in the neighborhood of Clearbrook, we now venture through the lofty woods and the shaded streets to the Abernant residence, uh, where we find ourselves at the breakfast table with uh, Mr. Angwin Abernant, Ms. Arianwen Abernant, Ms. Aylwin Abernant, and Ms. Adine Abernant. Uh, at a, a small breakfast nook with crystalline windows, a small spinning elven pylon of pure runic magical energy, uh, small unseen servants, little air elementals, whisk uh, eggs and tea and other things like that to the table back and forth. Uh, you see that your father, uh, the uh, elven diplomat from Falonel, uh, uh, reads the paper and ruffles it. Uh, your mother, a professor at Hugh Dahl, uh, uh, looks her down at her tea and uh, goes over her curriculum for the day. And your older sister, prim, proper, and perfect in her Hugh Doll uniform, uh, sits next to you. Um, describe your character to us, if you'd be so kind. Uh, I'm Adine Abernant. Um, I'm, I'm the, the daughter of, of the Elvish ambassador. I, I was at Hugh Doll, um, but unfortunately I, I failed the entrance exam to get into the upper school uh, because I had a little bit of a panic attack. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, Eggfort's good too. Eggfort's, I'm happy to be at Eggfort, that's good. It's like, actually, I, I'm, I'm better at that practical applications of magic anyway, and um, I'm, I'm good, I, 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 it's good, I'm excited to go. <laughs> I'm good. Um, uh, so at the table you see that your father sort of ruffles the paper and says, 
Oh, ghastly business, that. I'm sure this will come up at my next meeting at the council. It's dreadful, absolutely dreadful. <clears throat> I hate it when you do that. What's that? You say a thing is dreadful, but you don't say what it is. Do you want to know? I don't know. I dine an inquiring mind is one that sees before it the opportunity for knowledge and strives to move forward. Your sister, Aylwin, for example, uh, I trust that when she wants to know something, she will ask. That's the mind of a researcher, uh, rather than sort of the responsive, more visceral uh, attitude of a practical caster, you understand? If you really wanted us to know things, you'd get us papers ourselves, except you sit here and you say, oh, gosh, terrible, oh, drat, what a thing. <laughs> and then I have to ask you, Instead of you saying, oh, look, here's, here's some actual practical information that you might want to know. You see, your sister says, I, I get the paper on my crystal. Do you not? Mm -hmm. I get it on my crystal. I'm not allowed a crystal because I failed the entrance exam. That's right. You're not allowed a crystal. Well, I'm sure if you, you know, kill a hobgoblin, maybe you'll... <laughs> what are the sort of things they do at Eggfort? I'm not sure. It's an honest question. Do you kill hobgoblins? I cast Ray of Sickness underneath the kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see your sister goes, <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> 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 oh. oh dear, I mean, I think that maybe my sister is too sick to go to school today. No, no, children, no offensive spell casting at the nook. Uh, that's going to take a whole prestidigitation to clean up. Um, uh, Ariane, do you want to do that? <laughs> Very well, father. Your mother <laughs> swirls her hand and says, Adan, I don't understand why you and your sister can't simply get along. Why don't you ask her? Why do you always ask me? Well, I don't know. I don't choose to examine that. I'm rather busy. I'm trying to complete this <laughs> curriculum Right, today. yes, of course, you're rather busy for me. You see that she looks over at your father, immediately ignoring that very pointed statement you just made, and says, uh, dear, do tell me, what did you see in the news? He says, well, um, the elven oracle has died in a shipwreck. Very dreadful business. On her way from Falinel to Bastion City, looks like a ship the Cerulean just went down. A dreadful affair. I'll have to be dealing with that. I'm sure the Archmage I will have no end of talking about what's to be done. Terrible. She can't have been that good an oracle if she didn't see the storm coming. Adain! I, what do you, why? You see, Aylwin goes, no, really, Adain, that's much too much. Oh, God, Just it stinks. Saying. Sort of breakfast concludes. Your father gives you a very chaste kiss on the head and your sister. Um, so your mother gets up and says, um, I trust that uh, you girls see yourself. Uh, she says, Aylwin, uh, uh, if you'd like to take the car, you can do that. And uh, Adain, I understand that there's a bus that goes to Eggfort? I mean... Other people's parents might have found that out for them. Well, I think this is a very uh, a wonderful time for you to apply some of your divination casting. Perhaps gaze into a crystal ball, see if the bus is coming to a certain place. It's sort of the thing they value there, isn't it? Oh. Very well, I shall find my own way to school. That's my good girl. Let me see, she kisses you on the head. Um, you, you know, get your stuff and get ready to head out. You guys kind of got this like, little prep uniform as well. Um, your father walks over to you and says, uh, oh, Adan, before you go, I'd like to give you something. Um, you see, he takes this big crystal orb uh, out from a satchel. You see, he says, uh, this is a, an arcane focus that uh, an old friend of mine, a war caster from the military in Falinel, um, employed for his spell casting. Um, I've had no use for an arcane focus, but I understand that you'll be Spell casting under adverse conditions, so perhaps it will be of some use to you. Thank you, Father. Oh, you're very welcome. Here you are. It's very, it's very big. What's that? Thank you. Why would it be impractical to fight with a two-foot diameter orb? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't a large orb? <laughs> it helps you focus the spell energy. I'm trying. I don't, I really do try my best. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. I, this is a touching <laughs> gift from a friend of mine. You don't like it, you can give it back. That's no, fine. no, I thank you. Thank you, Father. <laughs> I'll put it in my backpack, I, I guess. I don't think it'll fit, but 
Try your best. <laughs> then I will, I'll carry it in my hands to school on my first day of school. I'm sure it will make a great impression with these new people. Uh, you see that your father <laughs> ducks away. Uh, you and Aylwin start walking, um, and you see that she looks over at you and she says, that was a mean trick with the vomit and all that. I don't ever cast spells at you. Yes, you do all the time. Well, mine are always funnier. You know, they have an ironic sort of twist. I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on them. <laughs> <laughs> Make a uh, saving throw, if you'd be so kind, for Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Oh. <laughs> Would you roll? Uh, four. Do, what, what, do I have points to add to it? That Does she, well? like, reverse it at her? Um, uh, that she does. Oh! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's badass. <laughs> Sorry, oh, that's just a fucking badass. Oh, I can't the school laughing like a crazy bird. Your sister's so cool. Oh, no. Oh, your sister's, yeah, my sister's, sister's so cool. cool. I love uh, your sister. On top of it, her... her yeah. Oh uh, yeah, make a make a. What did you roll for your wisdom save? Uh, four plus wisdom. Plus wisdom. Four is not gonna do it. Great. Uh, uh, you start cackling like a <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I also oh, need to no. have you make a wisdom saving throw for your panic attack condition. Uh, twenty. Uh, uh, Eighteen plus two. Eighteen plus two. Cool. So you don't go into a panic attack, but you do start laughing like a lunatic. You see, she says. See, for example, I just said that my spells were funny, and I've turned your laughter spell back on you, with is both, both ironic and funny, which are the two things that I said my spells are like. And I didn't even have to use a spell slot. Isn't I'm that something I'm going to fun? learn so many spells to destroy you. <laughs> this is my only game in going to this school, to find a group of people to destroy your fucking life. <laughs> you see, she says, I'm sure you will. Are you going to join one of those little arcane secret societies? Go. Ooh. I punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack roll. Did you use up all your spell slots on your sister? <laughs> you just die in your opening. Three. Three. You whip. Your skinny elven fist whiffs right past her face, and she says, "She says that sort of." Pure brute physical violence. I'm sure will earn you all sorts of credits at this uh, school for brawling. That's lovely. Well done. You see, she says, uh, "Can I, before you injure yourself by trying to attack me, can I just be very clear about something?" Look, she says, "I. <laughs> it's awful that you got kicked out of Hutton. It's awful. It's." It doesn't reflect well on our family, but that's not even the I reason. Punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it again. Eight. Eight. She says, "Really? Stop! What's the game at this point? <laughs> Throwing punches." The game is me hitting you in the face. <laughs> so she says, "I'm trying to help." No, you're trying to help yourself. No, look. All right. I just let me do. I'm trying to do a, a nice older sister thing for once. Can I? Can I do it? Can I do that? Can you? Good grief. All right. Look, Egg Fort doesn't work like Hudol, all right? So all the things about grades and tests and practicals and exams and all that, that's all out. It's a nonsense place. It's all topsy-turvy there, all right? They look differently on the sort of things that they value there. So the things that really, really work for that academy are sort of things that would be insane to do at Hudol. I heard that one of the best ways to get into an arcane society was to steal a book from the restricted section on your first day. That that's something that they look at as, I don't know, some kind of adventurer's initiative, or it shows, I don't know, gumption, something along those lines. I don't want to take it any more advice from you because you probably couldn't even get into Eggfort just because you're good at Hudol doesn't mean you'd be Egg good Fort? at Eggfort. I could get into Eggfort. Terrible at Turn that whole school around brick by brick. I, I could lift you, it up in the air. You're and too put it back scared down. to try. You're too scared to try. I am. Proper and well behaved and well mannered. So I don't care to engage in this anymore. <laughs> All right, fine. Go on your first day, get partnered up with some sort of barbarian, go out into the wilds and get killed on your first adventure. See what I care. Good, I shall. You see, she turns and walks away. Whoa. <laughs> um, Pretentious. <laughs> hell yeah. Um, ba -ba -bum. We now go over to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, we're going out <laughs> to Ballister, uh, which is kind of like, you know, a little more rundown, more seedy uh, kind of place, kind of bad part of town. Uh, and we see uh, strong tower luxury apartments with the luxury 
kind of uh, arcano crystal flickering, so it just goes <laughs> to strong tower apartments. Um, we see that there is a small bedroom and basically like, you know, like a, uh, a kind of retrofitted, like it's like a one bedroom apartment with like a kind of cordoned off, you know, like bed in the living room with like a fake drywall around it. Very small apartment. Um, and we see that there's like, sun's just coming up. There's like, you know, some smoke uh, uh, coming from like, you know, some burning thing on the oven. And there's a little bit of like coffee in a mug. Um, a very sparse, Spartan kind of place. Uh, and we see Riz Gukgak. Uh, Brian, go ahead and describe Riz for me if you'd be so good. Yes, yeah, so I'm Riz Gukgak. Uh, my nickname in middle school was Briefcase Kid. Uh, I'm a goblin, uh, and uh, I, I, um, I don't have a lot of friends, even though I'm pretty social, which is weird. Um, <laughs> my only real friend uh, was this halfling named uh, Penny Luxstone, who um, he, technically my babysitter. I had a babysitter until I was 13, uh, but she recently went missing. <laughs> And um, my, my mom is a uh, detective, and I'm a uh, <clears throat> licensed uh, private investigator. So I am going to find Penny myself. Uh, so it's early in the morning. I assume you've been up all night uh, working your case. I've got my board that just has the missing <laughs> girls all just pointed at the school. And that's Ew, all I have. And you, I'm just... That's so creepy to have a little boy's room. <laughs> I just have a board of missing girls. <laughs> He's trying to find girl. them. Whatever, creep. Uh, yeah, whatever. You're not here. You're not here. None of you are here. Yeah. You know um, you take breaks and kiss a pillow. <laughs> um, Penny. Baby. So you're Riz is there not kissing a pillow? <laughs> Just being a private investigator. Uh, you see that uh, it's early in the morning. You're kind of looking at the board. Uh, it's it's a lot of it's a really nice board. You got like the yarn and everything. It's kind of sparse clues wise. <laughs> it's sort of just the pictures and the dates where they went missing and stuff like that. I'm trying to move it around to like make it different, but it's I only have like five clues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that the door opens and your mom Sklanda Gutgak walks in. Uh, Sklanda is a classic goblin. She's got sort of like green skin, yellow eyes, the big ears that come out to each side. But it's got like that classic like mom haircut. You know what I mean? Kind of like the bangs and like the kind of bob or whatever. Uh, she walks in. She got like the, the sort of white shirt. She's got like a underarm holster for a little arquebus uh, dress shoe. She walks in. She's got like the badge hanging off of the. Uh, Hanging off the belt there. Uh, you see that she uh, opens the door, walks in. She's been gone all night working. Um, and you see that she walks She walks in and she goes, Ah, oh, Riz, sweetie, are you, uh, you're up? What are you doing? I kind of, uh, I got some sleep. I, I, I slept for uh, four hours. We said four hours was the minimum. Four hours got, is the minimum. I got four minimum, hours right? of sleep. Okay. Um, I got up a couple times to work on the board, but for the most part, <laughs> four hours of sleep. Sweetie, you, you know that it's not... Great that you're doing this, right? I, well, they're you know they're they're missing. Mom. Why does it say licensed private investigator? <laughs> it says well, it says un. It's little, but it's legal. It looks like a smudge. Oh, it's, sweetie, yep, that's yep. that's <laughs> technically really legal. skirting the line <laughs> a lot. But overall, okay. Yeah, I look, sweetheart, you got a lot of gumption, but we have detectives that are working or. Actually, we have one detective working this case, but... Yeah. And I can be your man on the inside. Your man on the inside? Yeah, at the, egg, at the school, right? That's where the, all, the girls all went to the school. Yes, they all went to Egg Fort. And that's, that's the clue that I have. She looks at your one clue. She <laughs> <laughs> went to Egg Fort and she says, okay. You could throw a couple more clues on there. There's a couple yeah. things. We could, you know. Just read I mean? a newspaper or. Yeah, we'll just read a newspaper, the dates, right? Uh -huh. kind of circumstances, last scene, last person scene. That's why it's good to have you around, Mom. Now, why am I encouraging this? Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Scribbling dates. Down. Don't. Oh, God. Okay. okay. Are you eating? Are you hungry? You want some to eat? Um, I had coffee. That's not food, sweetie. Uh, I haven't eaten. Okay. That's I okay. Can, I'm going to go something. get some. What do we have? You see, she opens the fridge and it's empty and she goes, oh, okay, I got to go. I got to go shopping. You see that she opens the, um, the thing and there's some cereal. Um, she takes a little thing of cereal out, pours two bowls, uh, pours some milk in. Um, you see that there's not enough milk for two bowls so that she pours the milk out of her bowl into yours and puts water from the sink in it. Um, and you see she puts it in front of you. Um, and you see that she goes. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. Um, you see she says. I love her. Uh, you see, she says, Shout out moms. all right, well, 
Heat up, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll go. F- I'll find a time to go shopping and get the rest. Um. Um. Hey. Uh. Today, first day of school, right? Yeah. Um. And this Saturday, um. You know, uh. The uh, it's the uh, five year anniversary. So if you want to head over to uh, the cemetery, we can right. go visit Dad and sort of see how things are going. Yeah, yeah, uh, we can do that. Does that work for you? Yeah, we can go in the morning if you got stuff you're doing. Because I, I know you probably try to make friends at school. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be busy because I'm gonna make like <laughs> I, I, I so I figured like a lot of kids would just be like giving out their phone numbers on their phone, but I made business cards. <sighs> So I'll probably be busy Saturday. Oh, but why don't we do it in the morning? Uh, sweetheart, <laughs> yeah. You know, formality is great when you're trying to be a professional, and I know that you see me mm-hmm. work a lot, and so that's kind of a you know, professionalism. But there's something to be said. You know, when I go out with the uh, with the guys, I, I'll, I'll knock back a beer. I'll, right. I'll you know, right. uh, kick back a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's okay to you know, it's okay to relax. Yeah, get them relaxed. Get who? Do get them that's relaxed? how we get them to tell us. You relax. tell us the secrets. So that it's we not can okay. Solve the mysteries. Friends are for more than clues, sweetie. Right. Friends are for. <laughs> right, there's a lot of things we use right. friends for, right? Mm-hmm. So let's look at that as an opportunity yes. to okay. start with the friends, then get the clues. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, you good to get to the get to the bus? I'm yeah. gonna try to. All right, yeah, I'm gonna catch a little bit of sleep, sweetheart. You're gonna do great. Thanks, Mom. Uh, uh, you're the best there is. I love you. Have a great day at school. Tell me all about when you get home, okay? Okay, thanks, Mom. Uh, gives you a kiss on the head, and she heads off to her bedroom. Um, uh, and we will now cut over to our final. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. We cut over to the Fayeth home, way over by the highway. Not so many people live out here. It's kind of a little house, chain link fence. It's kind of a little attic bedroom up there. Ooh, I live, I'm in the attic? You're in the attic. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, uh, upstairs is a room that last year was filled with pastels and little unicorns and other shit like that. And now it's all fucking band posters and tour lists for who's gonna be playing at the Black Pit. There's a sick red guitar in the corner. There's some like horn cream. There's like some cream for like, kind of like your horns that are coming in. Uh, see, uh, uh, Emily, go ahead and describe your character if you would. Um. My name's Figaroth. Um, you probably know me last year as like that really bubbly girl who was like invited to every party. Um, but all of a sudden, my horns started growing in, and I thought I was an elf, but it turns out my dad isn't my real dad, and I have a demon for a dad, but my mom won't tell me who he is. So pretty much, I'm kind of like fuck everyone, and I'm just like I I'm, I'm just like I've got a bass guitar. I've got some drumsticks, like I'm ready to start a bass driven band. And just like, yeah, just fuck everything. Right? Okay, that's it. That's me. Also, my name is Figaroth, my last name is Faith, but that is the name of someone who does not have anything to do with me because he's not my dad. So I'm just Fig now, just Fig. Um, You see that, uh, uh, so Fig is upstairs. Um, uh, you see that uh, there's a knock at the door, you're in bed, um, see that your mom leans in. Uh, your mom is, uh, uh, she's got like the mom jeans on, but is like a, uh, a sort of wood elf. Uh, you see that she's got like a bow over her shoulder and a quiver of arrows. Your mom works as a ranger that goes and explores the woods around here. Um, you see she goes, uh, sweetheart, I've been knocking up a storm, what's going on? You're gonna be late, you're gonna miss the bus. Oh yeah, um, about that I'm not going. God damn it, you're going to school. Yeah, try and tell me even one good bard who learned how to bard in school. They're uh, gonna teach me how to play the bass guitar? No, if I want, I need real life experience. Uh, the school is real life experience. Sweetie, you're 15. Who's my dad? God damn it, I'm not. Who's my dad? I can't tell you who your, your dad is Galir, who raised you and loves you. <laughs> okay. That tool. Look, just because things aren't great between your father and I right now doesn't mean that he doesn't love you, okay? Really? Because the look on his face when my horns started growing in didn't look a lot like love. Sweetie, this attitude is a problem. 
All right, you gotta get it together. It's your first day at school. You know what, you're right. I think I need some instruction, like maybe from a dad. God damn it, I... Who is he? Just give me a name. I'll go find him myself. There are reasons I can't tell you. Is he the Nightmare King? It's not the Nightmare King. It's not I the think Nightmare King. It's the Nightmare King. King. It's, not it's the, Nightmare the Nightmare King. King. You don't I have to I... say, say it's not the Nightmare King if it's the Nightmare King. Say it, you want me to say what? <laughs> If it's not the Nightmare King, you can let me know by being like, it's not the Nightmare King. The Nightmare King lives thousands of miles away from here, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I did. The but he also lives in our nightmares. Maybe that's where you met him. Sweetie, this is sensitive, and adults <laughs> I light up a cigarette. <laughs> where the fuck did you get a cig- She snatches out of your hand. I don't- where did you get that? I light up another. God! <laughs> where- where did this come from? You were so well behaved a year ago! See, she let, sort of like collapses against the wall. I look, okay, well, and she looks out the window and goes, Well, there goes the fucking bus, huh? <laughs> there it goes. Are you happy? Bye. <laughs> anyway, so I think I'm just gonna sort of stay home and work on some music. I've got a song called My Dad is a Demon, but he's also a deadbeat. So <laughs> I'll just work on that. You're going to the school. Bye. And you see that she walks out, uh, picks up the phone, and she calls someone. You can hear her speaking in Elven downstairs going, I can't believe I ever thought I was an elf. So lame. Oh my god, just so many TH soundings. Fig. I know you're talking about me, I can hear you saying fig! It's got nothing to do with you! Get downstairs! Um, uh, you see your mom comes back upstairs and goes, I have to go to work. All right, your father is coming here to pick you up and take you to school, all right, because he... Oh, my real father? I'm finally gonna meet him. What a luxury. I can't wait. I'll put on my best fucking dress. Get dressed for school, all right, and we will talk about this. I love you, and I know this is hard right now, but we're gonna get... You gotta put the cigarette out while I'm in the room. While I'm in the room, you can't smoke. I put it out in her coffee. God damn it! <laughs> you see that she uh, walks out of the room. Um, Just tell me who my real dad is and I'll call this war off! <laughs> uh, she walks out of the room, uh, she leaves. You see that uh, she walks out on the front lawn and a humongous griffin uh, flies out of the sky. Going, ah! Lands in the front yard, she mounts on its back and flies off. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that uh, a moment later, a car rolls up, uh, and Galir, who you, not your biological father, but the man who raised you, um, sits out of the car. He's not looking great. Um, he's sort of lost some hair. You've never seen an elf with a comb over before. He's got like a little bit of a paunch. Um, he's got like a little sort of short sleeve button up shirt. He's like working at a different job now because he quit his old one. and. He's got like some, what look like, like beans or something on his shirt. Uh, <laughs> you see, oh, he gross. steps out of the car and uh, knocks on the door. Dun, dun, dun. I go answer it. Galir, have you been eating out of cans again? What? Oh, my daughter. Yes, um, I have been um, eating uh, legumes, as it were, for um, I have found that in my new living situation, over at uh, Strong Tower Luxury Apartments. Wow, you really emphasize lu luxury. Uh, they're not the worst in the world. They're, okay. they're all right. Um, but I've found that uh, it's, you know, I've been, yeah, I've been eating beans. I've been eating beans. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I, so I'm guessing you were sent here to try and get me to go to school, right? Well, I, I'm going to give you a ride. Um, Okay, let me just go use the bathroom and then I'll come. Okay, that sounds good. Um, I go into the bathroom and I cast a sky self to make myself look like my mom. Mm -hmm. And then I come back out. Uh, you walk back out and you see he goes, <laughs> Sandra Lynn, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I thought you needed to go to work. I know, I've changed, I've, I've, I've changed my mind. I don't think she should go to school. She made some really compelling arguments about how bards, um, how bards, 
<laughs> need real life experience. So thank you so much. Um, and also thank you for keeping it a secret who her real dad is. Um. Well, all right. But between you and me, we can say the name out loud. <laughs> um, you see, he says, well, um, he, he's actually, if you want to go talk to him about the paternity test, we can, he, he's free today. Yeah, yes, I do. Can we do it in the next hour? <laughs> sure, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's yes. Fine. That's no problem. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, she's upstairs, so we can just go. No need to say goodbye to her. Really? No need to say goodbye to her? No, I think she's working on a song. Okay. Um, that's all right. I'll, I'll talk to her later. Uh, you see, he goes and gets in the driver's seat of the car. Okay, I'm coming. Uh, you sit. Uh, uh, what's the duration on your disguise self spell? <laughs> One hour. Um, uh, cool! Everyone else goes to school and has an adventure. Yeah. Yeah. The sun rises in the sky over the beautiful dappled lawns, stone brick walls, ivy-covered trellises, and statues of the Eggfort Adventuring Academy. All of you arrive by bus, by car, however you get here. Um, out in the uh, the front of the building, you see a bunch of students, people that recognize each other and are clapping, and loud teenagers, and everyone's kind of gathering. You guys here a few minutes early. Um, you see that your father pulls up to the front of the school. Uh, <laughs> you got and, a trick. Uh, you see, he goes, all right, uh, Sandra Lynn, here you are. Your uh, former lover's in there. Oh, you think I'm a fool? Oh. I raised you, and don't call me Galir. All right. I know that I said. What? What else am I supposed to call you? Stranger? Stranger with no biological link to me? I'm willing to make that a lot to say every time I address you. <laughs> you see a little tear forms in his eye, and you see he says, "I know that I said some hurtful things when I first found out." Yeah, you said you're no longer a faith, and guess what? I'm not. I'm just fig now. Fig. I'm sitting here with beans on my shirt. I know. I've, I saw I'm you sitting. ate one on the ride here. <laughs> I was hungry, all right? I put on some weight. You ever heard of a fat elf? Not you ever heard of, you. I've never seen a fat elf in my life, and I'm here with a bad come over and beans on my shirt. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm sorry, Galir. I've, I'm sorry that I got angry at you. You're just some random man. I shouldn't be mean to you. Oh. <laughs> All right, get out of my <laughs> fucking car, you demon. <gasps> I didn't mean it like it's not. No, no, because you're making it a tiefling thing. You know thing. what? I am a demon. And then I put some uh, horn wax to really make him shine. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> I just hope I don't also get a tail. The horns are enough. Okay, bye. Oh, uh, Red, uh, you guys all arrive at the front of the school. What are you guys all doing here together? Oh, uh, I, I look around for the biggest and the strongest man uh, or student uh, in the in the kind of the entry area. Um, uh, <laughs> you look around. Uh, you see, uh, uh, what's, what's, what's Gorgug doing? He's the tallest person here. I'm holding a metal flower. <laughs> I walk straight up to Gorka, uh, and I say, hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm good. Uh, it's my first day. I guess it's everyone's oh, first day. Oh, it's your first day. Do you want this metal flower? I swing it here as fucking hard as I possibly fucking can. I see this just as I'm walking into the, the room. I'm like, oh my god. This is, this is what this school is. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll an attack roll. Great. Great. Uh, 15. Uh, what's your AC? My AC is 13. Uh, you slug him. What's your strength modifier? Uh, it's two. You take three points of damage. Uh, and then I turn and I say, I'm Fabian Seacaster, <laughs> son of Bill Seacaster, and I'm here to be great. Uh, uh, um, I, I'm trying to sing that song. You're <laughs> man. I run up. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I run up. If you're a man. <laughs> hey, you are you okay? What, is, what happened? That guy punched me. <laughs> that sucks. 
You seem really non-violent. I think that's really cool. Violence is never the answer. I go to a rage. <laughs> uh, awesome. What are you? Uh, I, I go to rage and I attack. I go to punch. Uh, go for it. Roll an attack roll. Oh. Uh, nineteen. Oh, what's your AC? Uh, sixteen. Uh, and you're in a rage, right? Yes. So that's going to deal three plus two plus one is six points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking. Uh, yeah, Gorgug whips up and uh, fucking clocks you. Wait, no, ah! violence isn't the answer. <laughs> is this creating like a commotion? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of kids. You guys are see there the... people in the, are the teachers oh, all around? Oh, uh, you see there's this one kid who looks like a gnome with like that long kind of like stoner hair, who's like, oh fuck, fight, 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 <laughs> fight, and just start going fucking crazy. I'm gonna sneak into the teacher's lounge while there's a commotion and steal from the refrigerator. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, you sneak in, uh, uh, you guys see that uh, wading through the, uh, the crowd of students uh, is this hulking dragonborn, right? For those who don't know what dragonborn is, humanoid dragons, a long tail, no wings, these big claws, wearing a full suit, like a gray suit and a blue tie, big horns sweeping off of like this, he's like red scaled anthropomorphic dragon guy. Uh, you see he's holding just a straight up cricket bat in his hands and he walks up and goes, all right, all right, that's enough. And on day one, the bell hasn't even rung yet. Effortlessly hoists you two up off the ground, uh, sheathing his cricket bat before he does so, and goes, now look here, what, what, what are you, freshmen? How, how, why did this even start? Well, I don't know, <laughs> you hit me. Well, I had to let this one know that I wasn't going to take any of his shit. Shit, it looks like he's holding a flower. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the greatest attackers sometimes put up a, a facade that they might sneak their way. I don't need to explain myself to you. I'm Fabian Seacaster. You 100% need <laughs> to explain yourself to me. I am Vice Principal Golden Horde. I'm sorry I got mad at you. Uh, you can still have the flower if you want. Don't, kid, don't give me the flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I'm in the background uh, praying. <laughs> He has absolutely not earned any congeniality from I, you at all. I hit him too, so we're him. even. All right, that's immediate detention for both of you. First day after school. Okay. Fine. All right, you see he gives you each a little red slip and says, uh, good grief, is there any other nonsense happening here? Good, behave yourselves and I'll see you at detention after school. You I'm guys, so sorry. <laughs> uh, Red, uh, uh, you go to sneak in, give me a stealth check. Oh, I don't know if that's really a skill I have. <laughs> <clears throat> Whew, okay. I got a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> Your house is instantly in so uh, much trouble. You, uh, you walk into the teacher's lounge. Uh, you are in there for liter What do you steal as you go in there? Just see those, like, little I'm just going food. through the fridge, seeing what kind of food there is. Oh, um, elf food. You see elf that there food. is a. Um, uh, you see that there is a little Tupperware container with a transparent steak in it. You can like partially like see through or like ethereal. And you see it says, um, ghost steak, please do not eat for ghost professor. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. I take the ghost steak and I just start eating it. Uh, you have a very fucking hard time grabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Fuck. You see the door opens and this vice principal guy <laughs> walks in and goes, okay, immediate detention. <laughs> we are three for three. And it's, I mean, I'm about to ring the first bell. The crazy thing is, you're just playing into my hand. Welcome to my game. You just did exactly what I wanted you to do. I, I, tr I, I don't know you, right? It is baffling. I know. I know. <laughs> That's why I was able to two-step around you. Describe your two-step to me. How have you bamboozled me in this moment? Walk me through how you've bamboozled me. All right, my plan all along was to get caught so I would get kicked out. <laughs> and you are just scooting me along. I put my combat boots up on the table. What's the deal with that steak? I can't pick it up. <laughs> right, it's, it's for ghosts. That's ghost food. Now, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I, uh, uh, you, I don't think you fully know what detention means. You're not suspended. Do you recognize me? See, looks at you and says, uh, no. Because last year, I was 
on the cheer squad. I was one of the girls that they used to throw up into the sky because I was so teeny tiny and cute. <laughs> I shouldn't be having a conversation with you alone in the teacher's lounge. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get okay. out of here. Okay. Go. Okay. Leave. All right. Bye. Good. Good. Bye. Uh, you What's want... your name again? I'm Vice Principal Golden Horde. Okay. Good grief. It's um, kind of cute. Uh, don't. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. Get out. You see, shoes you kind of. Or maybe that's part of my plan too. Shuts the door. <laughs> uh, the rest of you guys uh, walk through, and you hear the PA kind of starts as you know the kids start. The first bell rings. Kids start running off to class, um, and you guys hear uh, a little voice saying, um, uh, uh, "Students, one and all, welcome to another exciting year at the Egg Fort Adventuring Academy." I am Vice Principal Golden Horde, here with some announcements on your first day. Everyone should have received your locker assignments in the mail. Make sure to go and put your things away for your first busy class day. Bells are five minutes between classes, and hall passes are ensorcelled, so no funny business. I have been told that lunch lady Doreen has made a fine creamed corn and tuna surprise. Surprising indeed what mysteries await in that dish. <laughs> also, uh, during your time here, any matters of curriculum can be brought to the principal, Mr. Arthur Agfort. Matters of discipline will be brought to me, your vice principal, and old Hawthorne, my paddle friend and cleaver of heinies. Don't worry, we use corporal punishment aplenty here at Eggfort. <laughs> welcome, welcome, new class of heroes! Everyone files into classrooms. Woo! Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Riz is clapping and he thinks oh, that's okay. going to make him seem cool and he's excited. <laughs> right. No? Okay. I laughed a little bit too because then I picked up on... Just working so hard oh. to suppress a panic attack and hide the stupid fucking orb that I'm carrying. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys are walking up the steps, the, those of you uh, uh, from sort of like the kerfuffle that happened out here, you guys see that there are two seniors. Um, one of them is this like blonde haired, giant looking senior jock kid. Uh, who's like wearing his letter jacket. Um, and uh, uh, the other one is a beautiful half elf. Um, uh, they're both seniors and you see that they're handing out uh, little flyers that have ballots attached to them. Um, and you see that the, uh, the young woman is sort of like half elf again. It's like the sort of the long sort of brunette hair, a little flower tied into it. It's going, hi, we're voting today to reinstate prom king and queen. Hi, we're voting today, we're having a vote today. Hi, can I interest you in a flyer? Yes, actually, hi. Riz Gutgak. Oh. Nice to meet you. Angie. Cool. Hi, yes. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I actually have some literature for you. Uh, so I am, kind of, I open my briefcase. I am kind of in the uh, business of friend making right now. <laughs> <laughs> it has my phone number on it. If you, platonic hangout. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Kind of uh, interested in getting in with the seniors and the uh, jocks and whatnot. You see that this big jock paladin looking kid comes over and goes, Hey, babe, what's up? Hi, Riz Gutgak. So great to meet you. How are you? Good. Uh, uh, would you like a card as well? What's up? I open my briefcase and I give him a card. That has my phone number on it. Uh, okay. Pro uh, do I throw this out right now? No, we can start like a group text, perhaps. <laughs> We could send each other funny okay. memes. Sure, okay. Uh, you see, he <laughs> puts it away. Uh, you see that um, uh, the girl says, oh my god, you are so friggin' cute. What is your name? It's Riz. Riz <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna remember that, but you are fucking amazing. Thank you. Uh, I'm Penelope Everpedal, um, and I kind of run like a lot of the clubs, and, like yearbook and stuff here. Very so cool. if you like needed any like help, like learning the ropes or like learning about the school at all, yeah, I'm like happy to do that. And this is my boyfriend, uh, Dane Blade, who's the captain Dane of the Blood Rush team. Dane, <laughs> <laughs> Dane, you are freaking cool, man. What's up? You seem cool as hell. F what's up? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, sure, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah. Do you uh, do you play Blood Rush? Mm hmm. Go Al Bears, right? That's the team. Uh, you see a huge, beefy looking half work, like either like a junior or a senior in a letter jacket, comes over and slaps Dane on the back and says, like, Yeah, he fucking plays Blood Rush. He's the ball, dude. He's the fucking ball, dude. 
<laughs> He's the fucking ball, dude! I'm actually not the ball. You're the ball! That's your fucking name now! You're the ball! <laughs> I don't, um, it's actually Riz Gukak. If you'd like some literature, and I open my briefcase <laughs> again. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> make an opposed <laughs> athletics check. Okay. Uh -huh. He's so good. <laughs> oh no, it's a minus two! <laughs> A four! <laughs> um, you see that this half orc grabs you and stuffs you as a ball and just dunks you into a trash can. Uh. Boom! That's what's up, dude! You're the ball now! Everybody, this kid's name is Ball! If I hear you call this kid anything but Ball, it's your fucking ass! <laughs> I suppose I'm technically the ball this time, but not always! <laughs> uh, you see, um, uh, uh, Penelope goes like, Dane, get him to stop. And you see, he goes, huh? Oh, sure. Uh, hey, Rog, dude, it's chill. And you see, Rog goes, <sighs> yeah, okay. <sighs> Sorry, dude, just like I see people fuck with you and it makes me want to go fucking nuts, dude. Mm -hmm. I just fucking can't <clears throat> take it, man. Fucking love this team. Go Owl Bears. Um, you see that <laughs> they walk away. You see that, um, uh, Penelope looks over uh, uh, Adine as you sort of walk up the steps. You see, she goes, I freaking love your orb. That thing is huge. <laughs> Thanks. My, oh, my dad gave it to me. I don't want, I, do you want it? Do I want you? I, I don't. No, like, I'm good, but like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you can keep your orb. Um, <laughs> Listen, I don't know if you have enough space to carry it with that giant orb you're carrying, but um, this is a, it's a little ballot. We're basically having a vote because like for a long time, they basically never, like Egg Fort hasn't, uh, hasn't had a king and queen at prom. And me and my boyfriend Dane are trying to like, we're, I'm part of like the yearbook club and we're basically trying to like get that back, like what, bring that tradition back. What, what does that mean? What does, what does being prom king and queen mean? Well, there's like a vote. Right, that has like if enough students say they want it, we'll do like a vote, and people can like vote for prom king and queen, and then like have a special dance, and it'll be really fun. They just get a special dance. That's that's what that means. Is that? Sh yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll I'll vote. Yeah. I do, I don't really understand. You should it, vote for it, and just like as a as an aside, like. It's gonna be a lot easier for you here at Egg Forks. I can tell you're a freshman. It's gonna be like a lot easier if you like ask less questions, because like probably like it'll become clear the more time you spend. Especially fewer questions. Sorry. No. Okay, I'll sign it. <laughs> you see, the, the guy says, "Babe, it's fewer questions. Less questions is wrong grammatically." And you see, she's like, "Fine, Dane." Uh, and she says, "Okay, so um, why don't you just take the ballot?" Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. Vote. I'll, yeah, I'll vote. Where do, I, where, do I, where do I vote? There's little boxes in front of the assembly, which we're going to now. Oh, great. Welcome. Thank you. Cute outfit. It's like, it's like, it's like you go to a different school than here. <laughs> Fun. Let me know if you need help stashing that orb. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, you guys walk along. You see that uh, in that main hall, um, this guy comes over, he's this big human wearing sweatpants, he's got a little baseball cap and like a, a whistle around his neck and a giant glowing spear with holy light. Uh, you see that he claps Dane and Rog on the back. Um, you see that he, uh, Rog is like looking at you in the trash can and the guy goes like, ah, there are my boys, there are my bruisers, there's Rog and Dane, <laughs> heck yeah. Um, you see he looks around at the, the, the two players and he looks over at you and you recognize him from church, from the Cathedral of Seoul. And you see he goes, oh, that's great. Kristen, what are you, what are you doing here? Oh, I go here now, it's my first day. Good to see you. Oh, it's great to have you, kiddo. That's great, I love that. Um, uh, I'm gonna need you to make an opposed athletics check. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is, where's athletics? Oh, two, seven. <laughs> um, I was just getting our ass. Yeah, yeah. Um, you see that you are shoved to the ground, and your backpack goes everywhere, and your Bible like uh, sort of spills out of your hand. No. Um, uh, and you see that there is a tall, looks like an elf, but like his skin is like deathly pale. He's got like black hair hanging, and he's got like a mesh shirt with like a belt kind of like diagonal across it and like sort of like bondage pants, like you know, sort of that kind of like hot topic look. And you see he's got like a rat on his shoulder. 
Cool. Um, and he's got like spider web designs on some fingerless gloves. Um, and you see he goes, what's up, cleric? How's it going? Did you do that on purpose? I don't know. Did God curse us to live on purpose? Ooh, let's see. Let's start from the beginning, okay. <laughs> Any curse you may feel is probably human made because we were all made just a little bit off. Oh, I know I was made off. My heart is fucking broken. Okay, look. You see that um, the coach helps you up and hands your Bible to you and goes like, uh, it was like, hey, Zane, do me a favor, pal, and beat it, huh? Why don't you beat it? You see that Zane says, I don't know. Why don't we all just beat it? And he turns into bats. I'll pray for you, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> you see that the coach shakes his head and he goes, that kid is a, he's a piece of work. Uh, he, uh, he got kicked out of the theater department and it's, he's taking it hard. Who gets kicked out of the theater? <laughs> That's where you go when you're kicked out of anywhere else. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, he's, uh, he's having a hard time. Uh, but hey, it's really good to have you here. Um, yeah. And you know, if you ever need anything, come talk to me. Um, I'm happy to help you out, all right? Yeah, thanks, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Anyway, you can't say it too loud because there's a bunch of people of all kinds here, but praise be to Helio, huh? Go corn guy. Yes, yeah, praise be to Helio. You guys all leave this place and end up in the assembly hall. It's a big auditorium. Uh, you guys are all there together. Uh, uh, Riz, I assume you get out I'm of I'm covered in trash. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Like I couldn't get it all off. <laughs> you guys gather and you see um, a man step out in a, a purple corduroy suit and he's got an umbrella. Um, very like dark, dark skin and a monocle and this long white beard that goes like past his waist. Uh, he's got a little watch fob and the monocle on a little chain. Um, and you see that he steps out uh, to the podium. You see he produces as if from air a little saucer with a teacup on it uh, and steps to the podium. Um, being introduced of course first by, uh, from off stage. Ladies and gentlemen, your principal, Mr. Arthur Egfort. Um, you see that um, uh, the, uh, the sort of this old wizardly man steps out and says, Welcome one and all to another exciting year here at the Eggfort Adventuring Academy, where we train the next generation of adventurers. And what is an adventurer? One who goes on adventures? I say that an adventurer is a hero. And what is a hero? A hero is someone with the strength of heart, courage of spirit, and the might of will to go to strange lands and enact violence on things there. We go to places where there are things that must be destroyed, and we destroy them, wandering from town to town, getting into trouble, meeting in flop houses and taverns and getting into scrapes with the law and otherwise finding ourselves engaged in all matters of tomfoolery and shenanigans, sometimes violent, sometimes fatal. Yes, fatal. A hero is a violent wanderer who enacts their will bloodily and with strange magics upon the world. But does a hero truly stand alone? <laughs> no, the strength of the hero is the strength of the party. And what is a party? A gathering of friends, perhaps with some alcoholic beverages, some fun music? <laughs> a jape for all of you. A party is a group that comes together to embellish each other's strengths and eradicate each other's weaknesses. A party is composed of those who have sworn themselves to each other to make themselves greater than the sum of their parts. Perhaps we have flaws within us. Perhaps we don't cast magic and we need someone who can cast magic to help us when we need magic. Perhaps we're very tough and we can sustain a lot of injuries, but we need somebody who is very good at hurting people there with us as well. Perhaps we need 
a sneaky person to sneak. Not always. Sometimes you don't need that. But occasionally, in circumstances where you do need one, you really need one, right? With traps or other things like that. That is the meaning of party. And party is the meaning of hero. Never forget all of you. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Never forget that the greatest magic of all is chronomancy, the magic of time. Welcome to your first year, freshman, at the Egg Fort Adventuring Academy! <laughs> he turns into light, disappears. My hand was on the fire drill the whole time <laughs> to pull it, but I was so moved by that that I actually took it off. <laughs> I was looking for a pencil that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Uh, after that, uh, a bunch of different like classes open up. Um, uh, you see that uh, Golden Horde sort of says, uh, we have some orientation events today. For those that are interested in matters of the arcane, we'll have an arcane orientation happening in room 212. We will also have a number of uh, tryouts and battle orientations and things of that nature. Um, uh, please file out. Uh, obviously, we don't want to corral you into a class uh, without your own choosing. So uh, be wise and find the best fit for you. Uh, very well. Enjoy, students. Uh, and you see that students begin to sort of file off, uh, the freshmen at least start filing off towards different like orientations and things like that. I want to find Lunch Lady Doreen. Um, uh, cool. Uh, yeah, you go. You can go find Lunch Lady Doreen. Yeah. Um, uh, you go over to the lunch and you see Lady Doreen there, thin, severe-looking woman, got like a little cigarette hanging out of her lip. Um, she looks over at you and uh, as you walk into the cafeteria and goes, "Oh, uh, lunch is not served for a while, sweetheart." No, I came to talk to you because I feel like you have like the only honest profession here and also you're allowed to smoke at work, which I think is really cool. I'm not allowed to smoke at work. Oh, well, but you do it anyways, which shows that you have like a spirit that I really admire. So I was wondering like maybe I should just be taking classes with you. You wanna be a lunch lady? Maybe. <laughs> okay. I just like respect what you're doing. Everyone else is like trying to do all these lofty things and you're just like being you. You're just like so true compared to everyone else. Okay. So real. Okay. Cool. You wanna do uh you wanna work? Mmm. <laughs> so she tosses a crowbar to you and says, I don't I just, just let it talk. <laughs> okay, so industrial um we got a we got a bunch of drums of cream corn off drums? the back of a truck. Yeah, or like a drum. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll go work with that. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it must have fallen or something because the corner's all dinged up, so I had a Fucking hard time opening that thing, but you can fucking go try. Wait, so that you're having a hard time opening the drum? There's a big old drum, right? There's a bunch of drums. She Presumably. points to a bunch of like metallic oil drums in the back, like big metal canisters. Cool, yeah, I just go there and start playing the drums. <laughs> she looks over and she goes, What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Music isn't music isn't confined to the stage at the black pit, you know? It's anywhere. Make a performance check. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> oh, come on, hook me up. 17. Um, it, gets, it gets really stomp in here. You're like, uh, and you see that she goes like, okay, okay, and that's a little funky. That's good, I can You know, I wasn't always a lunch lady. I used to get around when I was young. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, don't talk about it sometime. Okay. <laughs> uh, listen, you got a, you got a gift for that. You're really talented. Thank you. I know that I, I'm not going to learn any of that here. I'll learn stupid stuff. Well, actually, I kind of liked everything the guy was saying. You see, she says, you know, you might be right. There might not be much for you to learn here. But you know what? It's not going to hurt you to go see what the bullshit is they're selling, right? Why not go check in on the enemy, see what all the squares are talking about? Oh, shit, there's so many good role models here. <laughs> I'm gonna take you up on that. Hey, you're a real sweet kid. Come back anytime. Huh? I will. I bet I'll come back once a day. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, because you eat lunch in this room. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. have a good one, sweetie. Okay, mm -hmm. bye, Doreen. You call me Doreen. Okay, okay? bye, Doreen. Um, at time. Uh, you are walking past the library. Uh, as you are walking past it, roll a perception check. Twelve. Uh, you notice a very old, 
uh, uh, sort of uh, very old woman, human librarian, um, who uh, uh, has a little velvet rope and closes it over a little restricted section. Uh, and you see that there is a book lying on a little table right near the entrance of the restricted section. Um, oh. Is it light enough that I can use Mage Hand? Um, uh, you can make an investigation check and try to clock the weight of the object at this distance. 16? Uh, yeah, for sure. Great, I cast Mage Hand as her back is turned. And I take the book. Uh, the book zips from the restricted, restricted section of the library. Uh, the book that now rests in your hand uh, is titled Wards and Watches, and it's an abjuration book. It's a very powerful abjuration book. Great, I very quickly put it in my backpack and then I panic because I'm like, why am I doing this? Nobody can see me do this. My stupid sister just told me to do this and I don't know why I'm doing it. And now I have a book that I've definitely stolen and I can't tell them that I've stolen Please it. Please make a uh, <laughs> panic attack check, Vicky. Uh... Five. Uh, you <laughs> go into a full-blown <laughs> panic attack. Oh, shit. Uh, I come up. <laughs> you walk up in the hall, yeah. Hey, are you okay? I saw what you did and I thought it was pretty awesome. Oh god, no, the goth kid thinks I'm cool. That was so cool. Oh, I like your giant orb. Here, let me make it grow, glow. I cast light on her giant <laughs> orb. <laughs> You're now glowing in the middle of a, oh cloud, a crowd of children. Um, oh you see god. that uh, Vice Principal Golden Horde walks up and goes, very nice use of a light can trip. Uh, what is your name, young student? Oh, I'm Kristen Applebee's. Kristen Applebee's. Wonderful to meet you. I'm Vice Principal Goldenhorn. Oh, hi. Uh, young lady, are you all right? I found this book. You found it? <laughs> I found the book. Don't you uh, give it back? Uh, make a bluff check for me with disadvantage. What's dis? What's you roll two d twenty and take the worst result. Okay, great. <laughs> Oh my god, a 20 and a 2. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's just a 2. It's just a 2, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, wow. uh, you see that Vice uh, Principal says, Sorry, you found a book? She's covering for me. I stole it, and she caught no, me. No, I didn't. It. I didn't. I didn't. She didn't steal. I stole it. I'm so sorry. I, I was. T I was. T I. I. I'm sorry. I'm new. I don't know what I'm doing. We all fall short of the. Grace of God. Hmm, yeah, I wouldn't, that's a bit strong for this, mm -hmm. I would say. That's a bit strong. This is not appropriate that you've done this. Kristen, uh, uh, would you mind taking the book to uh, Principal Eggforce's office for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, go ahead, take the book. Um, you see that he looks at you and says, uh, now, uh, young lady, what is your name? Adina Appenant. Miss Abernant. Oh yes, you've come to us from Houdon. I'm afraid I'm going to have to give you detention. So, you'll be staying late after school today. Do you understand? All right. This is not fun for me. You're clearly having a bad time. <laughs> I'm second guessing what I'm doing, even as I'm doing it, <laughs> wondering if there's some medical stuff going on that I don't know about. <laughs> but I'm going to do it, because I've already talked out loud and other students can hear this. Yeah, so I, I can hear it all. Hi. Hey, for real? <laughs> we're not gonna do this. You think we have a thing, but that's where you're wrong. We don't have a thing. You have a thing. Who's running detention? Good grief. All right. <laughs> you are going to get detention. Here's your slip. Hands you the slip. Um, Blood rush trials? Blood rush trials, yes, let's do it. We are out on the field, baby. Everyone's out there. Dane Blade is out there. Rog Bark Rock is out there. Uh, and you see that Coach Daybreak is out there as well. Um, you see that, uh, uh, what do you do as you approach the pitch? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> hello, comrades. Uh, <laughs> Everyone looks at you wearing the letter jacket. <laughs> uh, Dane, good to see you. Saw you, uh, saw you, uh, you and uh, your friend deal with that uh, that little goblin earlier. <laughs> oh, good stuff. That was, that was, that was miraculous. He just crushed him out. Ball. That's f I like that. I'll call him Ball when I see him. Uh, okay, what's your... Uh, Dane speaks up and says, okay, I'm super confused because you're talking to me like you're important, but I don't know you. Oh, 
<laughs> hey, well, uh, it's, it's my first day, you probably... I'm Fabian Seacaster. Bill Seacaster's son, the great adventurer, Bill Seacaster. I'm his son, Fabian. And I'm, uh, I'm going to be on the Blood Rush team. So it's exciting to meet you and get to know you and... Make an insight check for me. Uh, 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 15. Um, you notice that these players look to coach Daybreak that, um, whose jaw is set, as you mentioned, your father. And uh, you see that uh, Dane looks up at you, looks at the coach and sort of, all these like boys are looking off the coach's expression, basically. You see that Dane turns to you and says, Oh, that's right, yeah. Your dad's the richest guy in town, right? <laughs> yes, that's him! Yeah, pirate. Yes. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, privateer. He's a, my, my father's a privateer. Uh, you see, Rog says, I don't know what that word means. Well, uh, he, he, was, he worked uh, in conjunction with different enterprises and things. He wasn't just running around, just raping and pillaging like pirates do. That's not my father. My father worked. Uh, he, he, was, uh, he, was, uh, he was charged with tasks and adventures. Uh, For real, dude, I've never heard somebody that plays Blood Rush talk like you. You're using all kind of words that are just like... <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, I'm uh, one of a kind. <laughs> you see, uh, uh, Rog says, Yeah, I bet you are one of a kind. One of a kind of a bad person. <laughs> oh. ah, what a witty bar. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Coach Daybreak leans in and says, All right, guys, all right, we're going to have some tryouts now. Let's everyone lay off of uh, Fabian here. Fabian's father made his money outside of the nation of Solace. And part of the laws of Solace is that the things you did in the outside world can be forgiven under the national amnesty if you swear on the charter, right? We got people that live in the forest of the Nightmare King or in the Red Waste. They want to come here and make a better life for themselves. The council forgives that. They let people not have to live down their past, even if they did all kinds of things that they're still benefiting from. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter anymore, right? That's right, kid. Well, let's get this tryout started, huh? Yes, let's get this tryout started. <laughs> um, uh, you see, he says, well, uh, why don't we start you out with some running drills, huh? Fantastic. Uh, go ahead and maybe some athletics checks. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, and that's nat 20. <laughs> Oh. Um, you run the fucking field on yeah. these guys. You are, you're like 16 and you are fully <laughs> flatlining seniors. Uh, you take Rod Barkrock, who's the huge half work, like second in command guy, fully <laughs> down to the ground, no sweat. Uh, he looks yeah. up at you and says, this guy fucking cheated, dude! He fucking cheated, man! Oh, Rog, another one of those witty bobs of yours. I did not cheat. <laughs> Uh, you see that he goes into a full rage, and Dane says, he's doing it, and jumps on him, and his friends all restrain him. Uh, Coach Daybreak comes over to you and says, all right, well there, fancy boy, uh, you got some moves on you, oh, I'll give you that. Fancy boy, that's a, that's a fun nickname, is that, is that gonna be my nickname? Like, ball, I'm fancy boy? <laughs> I, I'm, I like it. Well, you got, a, you got real chops. Uh, let's see how you do uh, throwing. You see, Dane looks up and goes, what? You see, he says, yeah, we'll see how he does throwing. I want to see it. Um, the coach sets up a play uh, with people uh, running around you. Uh, uh, so there's like a scrimmage. There's the other side of the blood rush field. Big like stone. You're not on like a like grass, like a weird stone. This is actually it right there. Um, uh, the coach sets up this scrimmage where you're going to make, uh, uh, the, the idea is for you to like pass to somebody basically. Like you're sort of quarterbacking effectively. Yeah. Um, uh, as you started, go ahead and make me a perception check real quick. Uh, critical failure. Critical failure. <laughs> um, 20 and a one. Uh, cool. Wow. Um, That's so uh, funny, 20 so, to one. 20 to one. Uh, so Such you can sit up. Uh, now go ahead and make me an, an athletics check. Great. That's what I prefer. Uh, 22. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, 
He gets you the ball. He's like, we, we want to see how you pass. Um, uh, uh, you, I'm going to roll a little opposed check. Okay. Uh, he sets you up. You survey the field, and you see a bunch of people that you could pass to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but uh, all the people that you could pass to are, are kind of like losers that you just fucking like either clotheslined or like rope a doped or of moved course. around. Of course. Um, as the as the lines charge each other, you see a little opening that you could break through. Ooh, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, you charge forward. Your team looks like, what the fuck is going on? You effortlessly dodge and weave through all of the other athletes and fucking get to, what do you do when you get to the end zone? Uh, I, uh, I, I place the ball down gently. <laughs> good game. <laughs> I like that uh, those plays were real nice. Dane, Dane, good stuff, my man. The yeah. hell, you didn't throw the ball, dude. Well, I, I mean, it just, it worked out best, I thought, for the play. Yeah, you know why you didn't throw the ball? Because you have bad thoughts about what to do. Oh, Rock! Mm. This is funny. I see the. Does he. Do, do we all. Uh, does Rock r roast us often? This is uh, fun. Coach Dave Brayless Union says, uh, you can hit the showers, bud. Oh, great. Great. Is anybody. Uh, I'll see all you boys over there. Nobody else <laughs> starts to leave when you notice it. I'll meet you over there. Uh, he says, <laughs> you're not on the team. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> What? I'm sorry, what? You're not on the team. But I, but I, 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 I mean, I ran faster and I, I ended up playing. My father paid you. My father paid you money. What the hell did you just say? See, all the other students look around and he says, Buddy, you got a big mouth and no heart. You will never be an owl bear. You see that he goes, uh, he takes a red slip out. That's detention, pal. You know what? You know what? That's, you know, that's fine. Right, because clearly, clearly I'm better than all of you at, at, at blood rush, right? You, you know what? I don't need this, and I don't need any of you. And you know what? Rock, none of your jokes are funny. I didn't like any of them. What the hell? That's not what she said! And Rock bursts into tears, uh, and the other, Dan goes like, it's fucked up, dude. It's fucked up to tell a guy his jokes are bad. <laughs> yeah, think about that. Uh, you see the coach says, good luck. You got all the moves in the world, but it means nothing if you don't play on a team, kid. You'll learn that the hard way. Oh, well, I'm sure I will. Uh, Fabian heads off. Um, uh, we'll move over to Riz real quick. Um, Riz, uh, uh, you are walking down the hallway towards one of your other classes. Uh, nobody's been able to find the, uh, the rogue teacher anywhere, uh, and then it sort of word started to spread around that that's the deal on the first day is you have to find the rogue teacher. <laughs> All right, so I'm just, I, can I do like a roll to? I'll do an investigation check. Investigation check, okay. Looking around the hall, sniffing around with my, ooh, that's not good. What did I get? 11. Um, uh, 11, uh, you are out near the front of the school and you see that one of the students is talking to, who looks like a sort of like lavender skinned elf, very beautiful, uh, and she's speaking to uh, this guy who's like got a black leather jacket and a white t-shirt and tight jeans, who's next to a big motorcycle and he's like this like tiefling with big horns. He Daddy? looks like, he looks, <laughs> Uh, he looks like like a little bit too old to be a student. And you see that she's he's kind of like got an arm on her waist and like he's leaning against his motorcycle. They're out in the front near the driveway. Um, uh, and you just see this sort of couple and she's kind of talking to him. Uh, and he's he's sort of like greaser looking tiefling guy. Okay. Uh, big long horns swept back. Uh, and she's sort of giggling and he's sort of smiling and laughing at her. Um, and you see that Penelope Everpedal, who was sort of the popular girl who's handing out flyers, mm -hmm. um, uh, walks up uh, and says, um, hi, Sam, can I talk to you real quick? I don't mean to interrupt you and your uh, boyfriend who hangs out around the school and doesn't go here. Um, uh, uh, what are you gonna do as you see this? Uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll try to 
kind of hide and sneak up and listen to their conversation. Awesome. Uh, so that is a 23 for stealth. Um, awesome, 23? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, uh, you see that, as you get closer, you see that it's actually not an elf, that uh, Sam, her hair is flowing slightly. She's a water genasi, right? Okay. So she's like a water elemental kind of thing. Um, and you see she says, um, Penelope, um, I'm busy right now. Um, Johnny is just stopping by real quick and I can talk to you after school. And then she goes, um, now Sam would be good? Um, you see that uh, the guy, the tiefling, sort of looks over, and he's looking at Penelope with that face of like a weirdo adult hanging out at a high school, yeah. just like you're not the person I'm dating, and I have no facial expressions. I'm watching you. It's like, right. Um, you see that. Uh, uh, I guess I'll 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 try I'll sneak up behind him, and I'll tap on his back. His arms are engulfed with green flame, and he turns around and says, Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch the jacket, kid. Sorry. You have any idea who you're talking to? Johnny. Johnny Spells. <laughs> Do you go here? See, he puts on sunglasses. Hell no, I don't go here. No? No, it's my girlfriend. Uh, you see that Sam waves and says, Hi, uh, can I help you? I, um, I'm friends with your friend, and I point to the cheerleader girl. See, Penelope says, oh my god, are you the, are you the ball from earlier? That's, yeah, they're, I turn to Johnny Smith, they, they call me ball. <laughs> Why do they call you ball? Because uh, I, I ball, dude. I don't I believe that. Ball. I don't believe I get shoved in a garbage can, okay, man? Tough. Yeah. I know what it's like to get shit on. <laughs> so you, you, where, where are you from, man? I, I live at the uh, Strong Tower Luxury Apartments, just me and my mom. Where I'm from is the same place I'm going, buddy. Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a perception check if this dude actually rules? Because <laughs> right now, I think he rules. Um, that is a, it's only a nine. This dude fucking rules. <laughs> Cool. Uh, you see Sam says, Johnny, I gotta go deal with Penelope. Are you okay if we meet up later? And he goes, yeah, babe, maybe. I don't know, I might be busy. I'll see you around, kid. <laughs> he fucking takes off on his motorcycle. Johnny Spells? <laughs> you think Johnny Spells for real? <laughs> <laughs> you see that Sam looks over at you and goes like, he totally rules. He seems pretty cool. <sighs> Johnny Spells. How did, you, how did you meet Johnny? He hangs around the high school. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, he seems awesome. Um, how how old is he? I don't know. I think he's like he had a birthday, and I think he gave a real ID and could drink. Okay. So I think twenty one, maybe. Right. Cool. Um, do you know? Has he dated anybody else at the school? Um, you see that Penelope says, "Sam, we're going," and uh, make an insight check. Cool. Uh, Eighteen plus. 22 total. Uh, Penelope didn't like that. Okay. She didn't like that you said that at all. Um, she grabs Sam and uh, runs into the school. Mm. Not so sure about Johnny Spells. <laughs> uh, cool. So I guess I will I'll follow them in. <laughs> cool. Um, you follow them in and you see them uh, uh, duck into uh, the girls' changing room and uh, you hear... Um, uh, you hear Sam say, what? Penny's gone. And you see she says, I fucking know Sam, but now we need to talk about what happens next. And the door closes. Are any of these guys around? Nope, not that you can see. Um, I guess I, oh boy. Riz runs to try to find a girl <laughs> to help him. Uh, uh, make an investigation check. Cool. <laughs> 18. Cool. Make a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> 21. Awesome. Uh, cool. Um, you see that there's a, this extremely bejeweled dwarven girl. She's got like little sort of sideburns that go down to these like little wispy strands, jewelry everywhere. She's like uh, hanging out with some friends near the water fountain as you approach her. Okay. So, y you've got a lot of jewels, mm -hmm. and I can tell that you like stuff. 
I will give you my, I will give you my freaking briefcase if you'll go into that changing room and tell me what those girls are saying. I, I think one of them has a crush on uh, one, one of my friends. You see, uh, she says, your briefcase? Okay, Does, what do you want? What do you want? Um, you see that she says, um, I don't know, like, give me 20 gold pieces. Okay. I don't, what if I, 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 is there anything from the school you want? I'll, I'll, I'll take something for you. She says, um, okay, yeah. Um, oh, uh, steal me like a tea bag of that gross tea that Principal Eggford is always drinking. Yeah, sure. Okay, will you go in there now? Go give me the tea bag. Fine. Okay, I run off to go find a tea bag. Um, cool. Uh, uh, you go. You find Principal Eggfort's office. Um, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, tell me how you're getting in. The door is locked. Mm. I guess I'll try to um, try to unlock it. Cool. I guess what what skill would that be? Like sleight of hand or? Uh, yeah, make a perception and make a sleight of hand. Okay. It All actually right. is a tool proficiency, but I think you have. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so I did bad on whatever that was. Perception of four. Cool. Four is bad. So it's a door. Great. Cool. It's a door. Um, and then roll again. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Slide of hand seven. Um, you mess with the door, and the door actually uh, opens. Sweet. I look for his tea. Uh, you walk in and see Vice Principal Goldenhorde. Immediate detention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look ah. at that. Wild! Ha! We are we're up to five on day one. Ha. At least yours happened during the day. That's yep. good. All I, right. I run and try to grab his tea while he's drinking. <laughs> um, you see, he looks at you. Um, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead and make an opposed athletics check. Oh, you can do acrobatics. Wow. Okay, good. 21. Uh, you grab it and bounce. I'm so sorry, I'll go to detention later, I promise. Oh, you, oh, you have to go to detention! <laughs> uh, you see, he's just like barreling down the hallway after you. Um, you run, find the dwarven uh, girl. Uh, you see, she says, oh my god, you actually got it? Yeah, I got it. You're a fucking freak. <gasps> Riz Gugnack, get back here! She goes, all right, I'll go listen. Yes. Fucking weirdo. And she heads off. Uh, you see, Golden Horde. <sighs> she's sort of fire coming out from his mouth. Hey, let me run. That's wild. That's a wild <laughs> thing for you to do. Oh, here you go. Detention. Thank you, sir. Well deserved. Um, uh, cool. Uh, towards the end of the day, you're all back in the assembly hall, and Principal Eggfort says, uh, concluding this, our first day together here at the Eggfort Adventuring Academy, we will now begin the uh, wonderful process of the Day of Fellowship. Uh, you all have the rest of the afternoon to meet with the friends you've made and form your first adventuring parties. This most critical afternoon will be you banding together for the rest of your time here at Aigford. I hope you will find the people that you have the most in common with and that you feel the most excited about Becoming heroes and solving the problems of the world through violence and strange arcana. Uh, you see that uh, Vice President Goldenhorde grabs the mic and says, except for those with detention, you will be expected in detention. Um, you see, uh, Coach Daybreak comes over to you, uh, Kristen. Uh, hey, uh, Kristen, I wanted to talk to you real quick. Uh, um, a lot of the adventuring Parties are kind of forming this afternoon. Um, do you have any idea about who you'd want to maybe form an adventuring party with? Um, uh, anyone who isn't already religious. Sorry? Uh, I, you know, I, I really like the church, I really like the community and stuff like that, but I, I really wanted to come to this school and meet people who are, you know, not non-believers, just not believers yet, you know? Pre-believers. Oh, okay. Well, I was I was thinking about maybe getting you with some other kids that really love Helio and kind of already. Uh, no? no. 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 That's just an echo chamber. I mean, we've all heard of that, right? No. I, I want to get out there, meet new people. I want to. That's the sound of chimes, baby, bouncing off each other, creating a beautiful noise. Kristen, you see these five all being talked to by Golden Horde about how. Uh, there's going to be lunch, and then after the, the afternoon classes, there's going to be I want to go detention. with the bad kids. What? Kristen, you don't belong with the bad kids. You're a good kid. You exactly. went to church camp. You Exactly. You know how much yeast you need to make an entire loaf rise? 
He's a little pinch, and I can be that little pinch. I don't <laughs> think you're yeast, kiddo. I feel like you have more. I think so. I think oh, so. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, please, get, get, give me detention. If they're all going to detention, just give me detention, and then Wait, I can go give in you detention? Uh, the other day I For went to a what? party, and I drained what looked like a bottle of vodka, but it was water. I keep putting water in alcohol things. <laughs> To fit in. You want me to give you detention for not drinking? I want, not just to give me detention, I want you to yell right now and make a really big scene and make it seem like I did something terrible. I, I, all right, uh, everybody listen up. Kristen Applebee's bore false witness. That's uh, a, that's like a cardinal sin. Yeah, well, you lied because you weren't, you know, you weren't drinking vodka, and <laughs> you should always drink. I can't, I can't say this. Just you could have said I stole, so you could have gone way. Yeah. Could have been way easier than that. Well, you don't like bore false. Ah, uh, uh, you bore false witness, yeah. and now <laughs> see Vice Principal Goldenhorn looks over and says, "Uh, Coach, that's not." That's a that's a religious rule. That's got almost nothing well, to do. Well, you heard the man. Sounds like I got detention. Uh, you see, he hands the red card to you. Um, oh. All right, kiddo. Where do I even go with this? Hey, guys. What did you do? I am poor false What is that? I want to do that. It means she lied. Yeah. To I who? Lied. To anyone? You to somebody? before um, a, a higher power. It, yeah, it's kind of complex. What did you guys do? We punched each other. Oh, yeah, I remember. I'm too good at sports. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't eat the steak that was a ghost steak. I, like, couldn't pick it up. Whoa. I stole a stupid book because my stupid sister told me it was a good idea. I tried to get you out of that. It was really cool how honest you were about that, though. What I stole some tea. Wow, a lot of thieves. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm just like... Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just see, like Elio. <laughs> uh, <sighs> you guys get in line for lunch and you start going through the lunch counter. Um, uh, and you see the lunch lady, um, Doreen, starts putting cream corn and stuff on your guys' trays. Um, uh, I've never eaten a surprise before. Uh, it's been a surprise, very surprising. Okay, here's your tray, there you go. Um, you see this tuna surprise, um, and you see that there are just chunks of ham in the tuna. Ooh, it's sour somehow. Uh, Riz just gobbles it down. It's <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, miss. Um, I can't eat this. Do you have something? What are the other options? I'd like to. I'd like to eat another option. Another option? Yeah. So I mean, I'm assuming there's a menu that I can order from, so that I can make a choice on something else. Um, there's no other. I could. You want me to get you, um, I could get you ketchup? I could do, uh... Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> miss, miss, ketchup, ketchup is not a meal. You could do, I could do ketchup. For, uh, it's a meal? Is ketchup a, is ketchup a thing in your culture? Uh, you put vinegar on it, I don't know. All right, Jesus. Uh, you know, I down my whole tray as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna need Kristen to make a, another athletic, uh, sorry, an opposed acrobatics check. So this oh is a dexterity roll. Great, I have negative three off the bat. 12. Uh, cool. Um, you see that Rog, the, the half-orc jock, um, grabs your Bible out of your hand and tosses it into the kitchen. Um, and you see, uh, it goes like, whoo, 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 and spins and lands in a big vat of the cream corn and sinks into it. And you see, he goes, "That's what you get for boring what you the, what you did. That's what you get for Good that." Good thing I already know that whole thing by heart. I cast mage hand and pull the book out of the creamed corn. Um, cool. You see that as you go to start uh, pulling the book out of the cream corn. <laughs> Uh, the book pops out, it's covered in creamed corn, <laughs> um, uh, and there's a, a, a ton of like, you know, goop all over it. See, the lunch lady says, all right, all right, everybody, you all gotta go. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> go sit down. Rog says, think about it next time. Who the fuck Think about it. Oh, don't even bother me. He's a fucking oaf. Um, you guys guy. uh, have your lunch? And after uh, lunch, you guys are in detention. You see the lawn outside, beautiful afternoon, filled with students all like, oh, you're my new best friend. We're gonna be adventurers. Yeah, let's make an adventuring party. Uh, <laughs> and you see the uh, Vice Principal Golden Horde and a, uh, a sort of young, 
gnome who's like very rosy cheeked and his sort of like watery blue eyes walks in. Um, see, they step in, Vice Principal Goldenhorn says, well, 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 troublemakers. And yeah, and Kristen. Troublemaking bothers me on a deep level. This school can be a dangerous place. Students put a lot on the line here. And you, with your tomfoolery, your jackanapery, and your shenanigans, are a liability that cannot be allowed. Mr. Gibbons will handle your disciplinary action while well, I'm gone. You see, he turns and walks out, and you see that the gnome hoists himself up, so he's sitting on the edge of the desk, and he goes, okay, so how do we feel about what we did? Yeah, right here. I technically have diplomatic immunity, and, and um, do, do I have to be here? I feel bad. Uh, I feel didn't bad. mean to punch you. I got so, so mad. Okay. Uh, I didn't do, I, I did punch you. It wasn't worth it, but uh, I shouldn't be here. My, my crime was being too good for the Blood Rush team. Okay. I punched him. Yeah, well, you punched I, him. I, I did we all watched him. I also punched him. For no reason, objective. even. Yeah. I also admitted that I... <coughs> I also admitted that I punched him. Mm -hmm. I said that. Wow, okay, so that's a lot of feelings, okay? How's everything at home, guys? Everything good? It's great. Everything good at home? Yeah. Okay, now you know. Why are you crying? Why am I, I crying? Mm -hmm. Um, because I guess you tapped into something that, you know, maybe home's not great. Okay. Maybe home's not great. Okay. Now, those are strong feelings, okay? And I'm here to talk about anything, okay? If you have any problems, yes, right here. Can't we just do lines instead of talking? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Wow, wow, strong feelings all the way around. Now, there's something that I want to talk to all of you about. You guys hear a scream, a blood curdling scream from down the hallway. Mr. Gibbons whips his head around and looks. What do you guys do? Riz takes off. I follow. Him. I'll go. Same. <laughs> I mean, I guess if everybody's going, we should go. Now hold on, guys. Don't rush into anything. I'm gonna go. I just see them <laughs> running, guys... and I think we're making a jailbreak. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sprint. You run as fast as you can. Uh, the screen comes from the cafeteria. <gasps> no! You burst forward. The doors open. You look ahead of you, and uh, Flitting around the cafeteria are horrifying little shapes with long wings. You see corn gremlins, cobs of corn with malevolent eyes and wide mouths, <laughs> tearing at the walls and ripping the banners. And far at the end of the cafeteria, you see Doreen, the lunch lady, with her back turned to you, slowly gazing behind her shoulder, deep sunken eyes, malevolent yellow, as spell energy, pulsating with arcane power, wraps around her ladle. Hey kids, it's lunchtime again, because we had lunch earlier, but bad lunch this time. As a I feel like monster. if you have to explain Pretty the joke, time. it's not a good joke. It's a bad lunch, it's a bad no. lunch. No. Uh, a monstrous, pulsating, mountain of creamed corn <laughs> rises up, towering behind her. A colossal ooze begins to freak out. Pseudopod glides way forward. And I'm gonna need all of you guys to roll initiative. Okay. And that's where we'll leave off this week on <gasps> Fantasy High. Get you ready for combat, fucker. ladies and gentlemen. Our intrepid heroes are now facing the lunch lady, Doreen, and a colossal corn ooze. I'm gonna double fist my rapier into one of the buttons. <laughs> How big is this thing's butthole? Goblin it's... size? Yes. <gasps> you go down? Bye, bitches. What did you just do?
Our story begins at the Egg Fort Adventuring Academy. I'm Fabian Seacaster. Bill Seacaster's son. Kristen Applebee's. I'm Gorgug. Uh, I'm a Dine Abonnant. Rizga Gak. I'm just big now. You guys all arrive at the front of the school. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. I swing and hit him as <laughs> fucking hard as I possibly fucking can. That's immediate detention for both of you. First day. I'm gonna sneak into the teacher's lounge while there's a commotion. Immediate detention. <laughs> detention. Immediate detention. <laughs> Sounds like I got detention. I wanna find lunch lady Doreen. You wanna be a lunch lady? You have like a spirit that I really admire. Rog grabs your Bible and tosses it into the kitchen and lands in a big vat of the cream corn. You guys hear a scream. Doreen! Hey kids, it's Lunch time again. My name is Brennan Lee Mulligan. We return to find our intrepid heroes here in the cafeteria of Egg Fort Adventuring Academy. Now, our band of adventurers, having just met in detention, uh, all are now facing the lunch lady, Doreen, and a colossal not technically colossal with D&D size, but like fucking big. Corn ooze. A number of terrifying corn gremlins populating the space. They're not terrifying, cute. they're fucking they're so cute. They're they got little butts. Incorrect. <laughs> they they're... look like cuties in little like sleeper pajamas. Okay, so they have little corn butts. Corn cuties. Little corn cuties, that's fine. Uh, but wait until you see what these corn cuties can do. Um, uh, uh, you've all rushed into the cafeteria. Uh, we have our intrepid heroes, Kristen Applebee's, Adine Abernant, Fig Figuroth, Faith, Riz Gutgak, Gorgug Thistle Spring, and Fabian Aramaeus Seacaster. You guys have already rolled initiative. A couple little bits of uh, uh, housekeeping before we begin. Uh, because there was downtime during the day, uh, Siobhan, if you would like to recover one of your first level spell slots through the use of your arcane recovery Thank ability. You, I would love that. You may. Yeah, we really didn't set ourselves up for <laughs> success here. It's, you already used your rage, like you I, used I all used your spells. No, just one, I still got one more. I. Uh... You both have damage. <laughs> Uh, actually, the two damaged uh, individuals you can, because you also have experienced what we call a short rest, may roll one of your hit die, which is I believe a d12 and a d10, unless I'm mistaken. Or a d12. Uh, roll that die, add your constitution modifier, you may regain that many hit points. Okay. Uh, five. Nine oh, plus, yeah. okay, 11. I'm, I'm, my max is 14. So, so you're back max. at max. Yeah. Uh, um, and I'm one below max. One below max, great. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Uh, we begin the battle. Plunging into the cafeteria. First in the initiative order is Fabian. What does Fabian do? Uh, I bolt onto the, uh, the the table and take out and go for uh, this first uh, corn cutie. <laughs> uh, incredible. Uh, go ahead and make an acrobatics check if you'd like. Uh, oh, no! no! Is that a natural one? That's a natural one. <laughs> oh, okay. God. Humiliating. You left wow. it on the field, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, I did. Clearly, I put it, <laughs> I put it in the hole. It's tapped out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm tired, all right? I'm kind of um, glad I'm rooting for the corn. Okay. Yeah, uh, same. So you leap forward um, and fucking trip and face plant in the rows oh. in between the tables. Uh, you've used up your movement. You're not within five feet of the corn gremlin. Uh, but you still have an action if you want to take an action. Do this so you make it look like you meant to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, can I stand and just brush myself and be like, oh, wait. I mean, I, uh, it happens to, I mean, I it, the tables are so high here. <laughs> so high. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a runner, I'm not a jumper, okay? <laughs> Uh, your swashbuckler has fucking dipped and eaten it on the first action of combat. We move now to the next in the order. Um, you guys see that lunch lady Doreen looks up and says, Whoa. Oh, you kids aren't going anywhere. And reaches up her ladle. Uh, the sole door uh, to the cafeteria where you guys have just come from whoosh, is locked with arcane energy. You see dozens of government mandated recipes in draconic and runic languages. Bam! Slap into place, and the door is sealed. Oh, yeah, I was gonna do that on my turn, so we all, <laughs> oh, we all wanted yeah. to do that, oh. so. We all, good design of a cafeteria. Uh, Adine, that's you. 
Um, <laughs> I'm just looking through your spells <laughs> frantically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, all of my, my uh, so I need to be within 30 feet of these people to cast anything, so I'm gonna go do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Am I within 30 feet? Um, you are not. Okay, well, here I am. <laughs> Um, well, you're taking your movement. Um, you can also, if you'd like, take a dodge action, which is going to give disadvantage to anyone trying to hit you. Oh, okay. Can I dodge and hide underneath this? Uh, dodge is actually just, uh, you don't have to do anything for it. You just announce, like, I'm dodging! And okay. if, if anything happens. <laughs> just get ready. Okay, get I'm dodging. Uh, uh, excellent. Away. Uh, that's now going to be uh, Gorgug. Oh, Gorgug. Uh, Gorgug saw <laughs> uh, his friend, his, not his friend, but the person <laughs> the guy who punched him in the, the, guy who him in the face uh, fall and just looks back and forth and, and, and jumps on the table to try to hit that, <laughs> the uh, corn cube. Right oh, do I have an acrobatics check? Okay. Ooh. I got an eight. <laughs> cool. Um, how hard is it to jump on a table? It's not, too, it's not too hard. So you <laughs> go to jump and you kind of scramble a little bit, and then, but you, you get up there. It costs you an extra five feet of movement. And we're going to take a swing at this little corn cutie. <laughs> it's scary. God damn it. I'm sorry for hitting Don't you something. get it? They're, they're, they're bad corn. I'm almost positive I had a corn stuffed animal as like my primary friend. Look, for a long this time. is frightening and you're all frightened. <laughs> um, uh, let's go ahead uh, and roll that attack roll. That's uh, 10. The thing sort of flaps its corn husk wings ah, and gets out of the way. It's so cute. Uh, it's just moving. It's like one of those little animals which is moving so fast that it's scary. Um, oh, that's cute. God damn it. Um, uh, Riz. I'm going to try to. Let me see if I can get around this guy. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I get back? Actually, can I try to get back up around here? Go ahead and make, it, uh, make an acrobatic ship. Oh boy, this hasn't been going well for people. Oh man, this table is pretty. Oh, hey. I got good stuff too. 17. You nice. nimble, you're used to Hell having yeah. to get up on big stuff. You <laughs> nimbly flip up there on the table. I'm always jumping on tables, guys. And then I'm gonna stab this little corn cutie with my rapier. Uh, go for it. 12? 12 is not gonna do it. Fucking wow. corn! What a. Uh, oh, you roll, but, but my friend, yeah. uh, but my friend six. you roll advantage because you're flanking. Oh, dope. Hey. Yes, yeah. 25. That'll do it. Okay, Woo. so I get sneak attack and my D8. Nine. Um, uh, you guys see that Riz, the briefcase kid, uh, leaps onto the table and skewers this. <laughs> Um, and you see the kernels fall off a naked cob as the Aww. husk dries and withers. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Yeah. Fuck, it's odd. One corn down. <laughs> um, that'll be the corn gremlins. Um, Damn, they oh, roll yeah. better than me? <laughs> you got beat by the corn kiwis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice there's a corn kiwi. There's, there's a corn kiwi back yeah. there. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm gonna shoot at you. One, two, three, four. Uh, this one's gonna go. One, two, three. Yeah. Um, uh, this one's gonna take a swing at Fig. Bring it on! Uh, and just misses wide, just like you hold up your guitar and he's Bass guitar. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Kristen. All right. <laughs> this is really confusing to me because I worship the corn god, so in a way these all look like little angels. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to jump up on the table so that I'm flanking that corn god who's attacking her. Sure. Um, Go ahead and give me that athletics check. Five <laughs> plus, what do I add to it? You add your dexterity modifier. Oh God, Negative three, so I have a two. Oh, quick. <laughs> We're not good at jumping. <laughs> I uh, haven't stopped 
I, I'm holding a staff, everyone. I'm holding a yeah, large you go for it, staff. And your staff gets stuck in between the bench and the table. <laughs> no. cool. And you don't quite make it all the way up there. Uh, but but you're not uh, you didn't you didn't roll that one so you didn't fall. <laughs> yeah. down. Uh, Excellent. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every <laughs> other time, if I rolled any other number <laughs> than one, I would have <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> uh, uh, Kristen can go ahead. Uh, so you don't make it to the table, so you're not flanking, but you still okay. can take an action. Either. I can still like attack it or attack, something. Yes. Okay. Oh god, I'm sorry, cutie. Um, okay, I'm gonna attack with my staff, I guess. Nine. That is not gonna do it. Oh, you whiff missing the corn gremlin. Fig, that's gonna be you. All right, I'm looking straight at Doreen and I'm saying, you're just another maternal figure that has let me down. And I'm gonna let this cute, adorable ear corn take an attack of opportunity, opportunity on me as I run forward towards Doreen. It takes a swing. Oh, what's your armor class? 12. Oh yeah, it's gonna hit for sure. Um, but I can still run though, right? Yes, or you does can. that stop me? Okay. Uh, it deals you three points of damage with a nasty serrated corn husk leaf claw. Ah! Oh, I, I, uh, I wink at it, it's so cute. Oh. <laughs> I cut myself was every day. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna come to here and I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers on Doreen. She's gotta make a saving throw or take three D6 psychic damage. Wow. Wow. Whoa, Whoa, dissonant whispers. That's uh, right. Another. Can I see it? And I say, Doreen, why did you bring these innocent corn into this? Um, <laughs> I'm Think this, of the corn <laughs> I'm worried that this corn monster is going to make more corn babies. Oh, motherfucker. And I'm worried about these tables. <laughs> <laughs> these oh, tables are real. Why are we waxing them? And why right? can't we all jump onto them? Uh, so go ahead and roll a 3d6. Okay, uh, two, uh, seven. You, how do you cast your spell? How do you cast Dissonant Whispers? Um, I would play like a sick Les Claypool from Primus uh, bass guitar riff, uh, just like <laughs> 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 Wave of psychic and energy. And it's so sick. <laughs> it's so sick, it's like got if like it a were really a good guitar, rhythm. it would be so sick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, waves of extremely like <laughs> low, deep energy uh, emanate from your bass guitar. And uh, I do as much of a split as I can while I'm doing it. Um, it but it's like that awkward, you like, kind of stop because you thought it would go deeper. There's like one, there's like one knee there, yeah. Uh, whoop, 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 uh, Doreen is hit with psychic energy and injured, but not as badly as she otherwise would have been. Uh, you're gonna have to try harder than that, sweetie. <laughs> Why did you inspire me? <laughs> if you had this plan. <laughs> um, make an insight check for me if you'd be so kind. Okay. Ooh, uh, we're looking at, <laughs> it's gonna be a 22. 22? Yeah. As you ask the question, you look at Doreen and see that there is no recognition in her eyes of what you're talking Spooky! about. Spooky! I shout to everyone and I say, guys, it's not Doreen. The corn is what's bad. Doreen, Doreen is that. just the conduit. Corn <laughs> <laughs> again. Corn again? Oh. <laughs> um, He's, He's, got like, He's got a butthole. He's like glam rock. He's got a couple of buttholes. Where's you guys he? see this ooze indeed has multiple buttholes. It moves. Oh, when little oh, horns come out of that. <laughs> Uh, Dab him in the cornhole. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Ignores all of you guys and heads over here to this door. Um, what does he want he's from there? Corn Get the door. More corn? <laughs> I don't know what that does. Um, I don't know what that verb is, but he's gonna, uh, he's gonna corn the door. Um, and you see that the buttholes all over the corn oozes body tremble, quiver. <laughs> He's making corn babies. Oh, no. We got You fucking knew it. Okay. Corn babies. Pop out. I was gonna I, try to throw corn gotta, into that. We gotta kill this corn mom. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna go back to Fabian. Uh, well, I get up and <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. polish polish myself off. Then I make sure everyone's watching, and I go to vault this other table to get to that corn <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Me. Uh, go ahead and roll an acrobatics. Fuck you! I'm good at this. 13 plus 19. So <laughs> Fabian, what do you say as you're about to vault? Everyone, look, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> 
we're all distracted and all get attacked. You yeah. effortlessly like backflip, three twists in the air. <laughs> Bam! Uh, and land in the space next to this corn gremlin. Go ahead and make your attack. Hell yeah. Uh, nine. Uh, that's gonna be a miss. You're, you, I think you spend way too much time <laughs> yeah, vaulting to and vault. falling to nail the vault that the corn gremlin kind of goes like <laughs> and just sees exactly where you're gonna yeah. land and dips out of the way. Um, uh, lunch lady Doreen um, uh, looks at you. This is uh, awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it just hit me, sorry. It it's just, it's very, this is, this is so a good game. Cool. People have been playing this game for many years. Prove it. It's very good. Um, <laughs> Since the Renaissance, actually. Really? So uh, da Vinci <laughs> invented the game. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, lunch lady Doreen moves to the steam table and goes, I was never a role model for anybody, sweetheart. I make the rules now. Don't you remember me? I played the drums and you thought I was pretty good. You know what? I think you're in for a little surprise. Boom! Uh, dips her ladle in the tuna surprise. I open my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do uh, it! Don't. What is your, what's your armor class? You Twelve. Twelve. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. You are are dealt uh, uh, seven points no. of acid damage as oh my God, hot, guys. steaming, fiery. You go down. She was at six. Bye, bitches. Oh, I did you not, were you were you injured? Yeah, yeah, she got hit by this one. Like, it took it. That's oh, right. you only have ten oh, HP. No. Just nine total. <laughs> Level one is nuts. Ooh, yeah, this is going. I bad. have spells that I can help you uh, with. Though. So I'm just down to zero, right? You're not dead. You're just unconscious and need to make death saving throws. Every turn you're unconscious, you roll a d20. Ten or higher is a success. Nine or lower is a failure. Three successes, you stabilize, but you remain unconscious. Three failures, you're permanently dead. Adine, what do you do? I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then cast or try to cast Witch Bolt on this corn machine over here. <laughs> corn machine. Um. Uh. Yeah. Go for it. Uh. Uh. Go ahead. And I believe Witch Bolt is an attack roll, yes? It is, plus, and then I have plus six spell attack bonus. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack. 11. 11 hits! This thing Kay. is a big ol' ooze. Uh, 1d12. Uh, yes, 1d12 uh, lightning damage. Go ahead and roll that. Eight. Adine, you step forward, raise your goofily large orb aloft, <laughs> and lightning shoots forth from the orb, and the ooze screams out in pain. Can I duck under this table, or at least like duck behind the table? You could duck under my dead body. <laughs> um, uh, unfortunately, you've used your action. You did a very heroic right, thing. Great. And now that's what's going I'm on brave. with you. Uh, that's gonna be uh, Gorgug. Okay, I'm going to, uh, just cause, I want, to, I want you to be able to get closer. I'm going to move to here. Cool. And attack that corn cutie that's coming at you. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> pal. All right. So uh, and they're that called, was they're like called they are, they are called corn gremlins. They're called corn gremlins. I'm hearing cutie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cutie. corn cutie. All right. <laughs> uh, 20. That's Ooh, not, yeah. not, not, not natural. natural. That's going to do it. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, one, two, Fuck him up. Make some popcorn out of that guy. Uh, I hit him for nine. Uh, you look at this little corn thing going like <laughs> And the cob is shorn in half. Yes. Uh, and the tall, uh, lanky loner kid behind you with the great axe has just cleaved this fucking corn cutie in half. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I mean, shoot. Freaking <laughs> <laughs> yes. heck yeah. Uh, that's now going to be Riz. Cool. I am going to. How close would I have to get to shoot this dude? Uh, oh, I think the yeah. range is like oh. 80 feet, right? Can I yell what? something out, or is it too late? <laughs> um, uh, you can yell something out. Yeah, go for it. I think he's going for the pantry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> Did you guys not? Okay, we yeah, didn't no, we talk about it. it. I gotta stop yeah. this corn block. My lifeless corpse. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. She, she shudders on the ground. Shudders. I just want to make. Just felt uh, like. <laughs> oh, your range on that thing is great. It's eighty. You're, okay, you're good to go. Um, cool. I am. I guess I'll just shoot at him from back here. 
Um, you might want to move out of the way of, uh, of uh, Fabian. Uh, Fabian, so you're not shooting past Fabian. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I'd Duck! appreciate that. Yeah. All right, uh, cool. I'll move up to here, then. Cool. Uh, uh, you're jumping Do up you want me to get a series of tables? acrobatics Yeah, go ahead and give me an acrobatics. Or actually, I could kind of hide behind it, right? Yeah, you can hide behind it. Sweet. I love okay, our insistence on being on top of tables. Uh, go ahead and roll attack. Cool. cool. I'm That's aiming right am. for his cornhole. <laughs> Nine. That's not gonna do it. Um, uh, you guys see Riz takes out a gun in school. <laughs> <laughs> Just a straight up wow. gun, like an archivist. It's, it's a magic gun. gun. It's a magic my gun, everyone. My cigarettes feel so tame now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what um, I would say if I wasn't uh, dead. These gremlins leap into action. <laughs> um, it's gonna be not going for Adine here. Goodbye, everybody. Two, three, four. Um, they look like little grasshoppers. These guys are too sweet. What's your armor class? 12. 12? Ooh, that's not very good. Um, Grasshoppers. Eight points of damage oh, to Adam. No. Are you down? Are you down? Oh, you should have hid under my dead body. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oof, boy. Um, uh, no one look up. No one look up my skirt while I'm down. <laughs> if I'm I'm on zero hit points, do I still have to do the death saves? You do. Yes, Great. correct. Okay. Um, uh, Kristen, that's going to be you. I'm actually going to do bless. Can I do bless for the? Uh, yeah. So pick three creatures to cast bless on. Uh, would they be like other characters that yeah, we're in? Okay, yeah. so then everyone remaining that's standing has bless now. What cool. bless do again? Uh, uh, you add a d4 to pretty much every roll that you make. Great. Like great. saving or attack. Cool. That's great. Cool. Great. So there you go, great, guys. Great, great, great. Thank, thank you. you. Of course. Dope. Um, thank God. Thank. Hey. Helio. <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank Helio. Thank Helio. Thank Soul. Um, you see, uh, that's now going to be. Uh, but you also can take your move action this turn if you like. Uh, yeah, yeah, I should get closer. Okay, um, get I'll jump onto that first <laughs> one. <laughs> Which one here? <laughs> I'll jump onto that first table. <laughs> Which table here? This one here? No. Uh, <laughs> no I'm <laughs> jump on any table. Yeah, you should find your brains. How many of you guys jump on this table? I haven't done anything as a dungeon master to insinuate that you have to jump on tables. All right, I'm going to roll to jump onto that table. 16. Yeah. And what's the other thing? Well, you did a minus three, minus but that's three. good minus enough. 13. 13, cool. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Up yeah. on a yeah. table. Up on that table. Tell you, these corn cuties may be getting us, but these tables. Yeah, these tables. <laughs> We're showing these tables. Yeah. Uh, a these corn fig, cuties I'm going to need you to make two. a death saving throw. Okay. Believe so what do I got? Just like not a one? Uh, no, well, no, <laughs> 10 or higher is a success. Nine and less is a failure. Fourteen! Hell yeah. It's a success. Thank You're you, not you, dead. You. <laughs> You're <laughs> not dead yet. Um, uh, that's now going to be uh, uh, the ooze. Um, you guys see that the ooze uh, lifts up a pseudopod to smash the door of the pantry. It's going for the pantry. We know. We know. Shut up. <laughs> I just... Uh, uh, raises up a fist. <laughs> hits the pantry door, and the pantry door uh, dents, but does not break in. Does Hurry! Not. Okay. Um, uh, that's gonna be Fabian. Excellent uh, All right, Fabian. I oh, stab, he didn't make more corn babies Kill that time. corn monster. I stab the corn monster closer, uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll that d20 plus a d4 for Bless. You got this. Uh, 17. Uh, that'll do it, go ahead and roll damage. That, we, uh, do we include the d4 on damage or no? Not on damage. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, 10. Uh, skewer. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm very sorry. Uh, on that uh, last turn. No, oh, I, I thought. Forgot about the corn. Only oh, one. Uh, we gotta kill this big boy. Yeah. yeah. Um, what kind of damage does the big boy have so far? Does the big boy uh, the have any bolt. damage? Has the witch yeah, damage. I did eight damage to it. Nice. Um, okay, cool. Take that. Uh, cool. Um, that's the lunch lady. Um, she pops out of corn. <laughs> where did that? Where did that come from? She gives a really realistic <laughs> bird. <laughs> <laughs> Someone hold my hand. <laughs> it takes the hours. It takes the hours. Let me see what you're doing. Please stop it. <laughs> so great. I didn't describe the whole thing. Um, <laughs> it's the whole camera. And we end on a clip now. Uh, you see that uh, Doreen looks at you, Kristen, standing up on the table, and goes, 
Oh, hey there, little girl. You think you're chosen of the corn god? Well, I was blind, but now you can't see! <laughs> and a beam of sickly yellow light shoots out of her ladle. Make a constitution saving throw. If you uh, is so. that 20? Uh, that is a d20, yes. 20, oh, never mind. 20 not, not 20. 20. Not 20. Oh! Yes. Corn <laughs> god. Corn god. Divine corner corn god. god. Uh, hold on, let me just roll something real quick. You see that uh, uh, the light goes towards you. Boom! The cafeteria is filled with light. And you guys smell the sweet, fresh smell of popcorn. Uh, lunch lady Doreen is knocked back and hurled into the kitchen, smashing into the plates. Uh, and falling to the ground uh, as Helio intervenes on your behalf is oh that save God. of a natural 20. Um, uh, you hear a voice in your head saying, Kristen, I love you. I know. <laughs> oh my God. Wait a second, oh so the God. corn guy I know. is a man? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you assume was I was a, a man woman's based voice. on my... Good, okay. Um, uh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> incredible. Uh, next is going to be uh, Adon, I'm gonna need you to roll a death saving throw. You got this, girl. I seen you roll. Oh, did, oh. fuck. What'd you roll? That one. That is two <gasps> failures. <gasps> one more failure and Adon is permanently dead. Oh um, my god. Uh, Gorgo, that's gonna be you, baby. Should we all oh, hold hands shit. under the table? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> the next time that Adon has to roll. Uh, you won't have to, because I'm within touching distance and I have as many spare the dying as I need. Okay. Think. Uh, I want to kill, attack this there. thing, but I don't think I can get there. So let me see. one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. That's my as far as I can move. Yeah, you, that's as far as you can move, and you can either move farther or take like a dodge action if you want. Um, I can swing at a corn. I can cutie. just. I'm gonna swing, swing at that corn cutie, right? I can. You're, do that. Oh, there's one right next to you. Yeah, yeah go for yeah. it. Yeah, go cool. For it. So, All right, so <laughs> my yeah. two die. Cut I, I that got cutie. Uh, Cut 17. That Roll cutie. damage, baby. Cut that cutie. Cut that cutie. Cut uh, that cutie. I hit it Cut. for uh, uh, not. Nah, uh, wait, uh, 11. Hell yeah. Bam! Yeah. Fucking yeah. corn goes everywhere. There's a huge Jeez. like axe incision deep into the tile floor. Hell I say yeah. just a little, just yeah. to myself. Not so cute anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say, man? <laughs> huh? What you said you something say? really what quiet. Did you say? Uh, There's no holding to your the flower. corn. Was it, what did you say to the corn? Oh, it's the pantry thing of the yeah. pantry. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's going he's to, going to the pantry. Uh, that's going to not be Riz. I'm pretty okay. sure he's going oh, yeah. to. Riz. I'm going to, just in case things get crazy at the pantry, I'm going to try to get a little closer. Um, okay, how close can I get here? 5, 10. You can always hide 20. under my dead yeah, body. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. Get here and try to shoot, shoot this guy in the cornhole. <laughs> shoot him in the cornhole. You're gonna wait for the cornhole. Oh yeah, sweet. Yeah, thank you for blessing us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't nice. take me. Twenty. Oh, twenty-seven. <laughs> thank God. Uh, cool. And you're shooting him in the cornhole. <laughs> I'm shooting him right in the cornhole. <laughs> damage that cornhole. Yeah, for God. Oh yeah. Nine. Uh, yeah. Nine damage. Um, you see that. Um, what if the next corn baby that comes out just uh, has a bullet in its face? You fire your gun at him, and, it goes, and your nothing. bullet shoots into the ooze, and you see it go like, it, 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 is, it seems like it didn't like it. Uh, okay. But it seems like you wanted that to do a lot. You're trying to do like your rogue sneak attack, like right. where's this thing's vital points? And it's sort of like, it's a big ball of cream corn. Cool. Um, uh, but does seem injured, but just not as injured as you would have liked. Great. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Can I hide under the table? I guess I'll try to hide. Cool, go for it. Uh, nice. So much. 26. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. First um, what happened to the lunch lady? She got knocked out by God. You, well, I rem I mean, I know what up. happened. I mean, she's knocked out in the. Fucking, thank you, Helio. But is she? Um, yeah, so she's knocked out. Yeah. Uh, you don't know yet. You just saw her dip behind there. Okay. Um, oh. uh, this guy's going for you. This guy's going. Uh, both of these guys are going for Riz. Didn't I hide? You did hide, but that just gives them disadvantage. Oh, okay. That is really uh, embarrassing. I'll actually, you know, I'll make, I'll make perception <laughs> checks for them to see if they and see you. Sure. And if they it. do, then you'll still get the disadvantage. And they just um, find you. They just like kick under the table. Yeah, just, what, was your, what was your stealth roll? It's like a uh, eight plus 18, 26. Jesus. No, they don't see you. Um, you dip under the table, so all these guys are coming for Kristen. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. 
It's okay. He's got a lot of AC. Uh, Gorga, what's your AC? 13. Um, you take four points of damage. Um, uh, um, two of these guys come for Kristen. Yours is 18, right? Yeah. Um, uh, your halo glows with holy light, and these gremlins find no purchase on your sacred Jesus. body. You see that the, the light, actually, you see the light glows so bright that one of the kernels on one of them goes, and, goes, ah! and screams. Wait, that's a possibility? <laughs> uh, this gonna, one goes I for fate. We're all going to convert by the end of I that. know. It's uh, not hard to live this life. 16? You just have to believe. Uh, you effortlessly dodge if this gremlin takes a swipe at <laughs> you. Uh, that's now going to be uh, uh, Kristen. That's you. Cool. Um, can I bolt through these corn people, or do I have to, the cuties, I mean, or do I have to deal with them? If They'll I wanna... get attacks on you if you leave their threatened area. You do have a high AC. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah I'm going to do it, because I just need a touch. She's going to die. You got to yeah. touch me, baby. I got to touch you, baby. Touch me, baby. Ooh, it is nice that healing is touched. Uh, yeah. you, they get free attacks on you, and these gremlins are too overpowered by the light. What uh, is happening? <laughs> is God real? <laughs> I guess so. This specific god. This specific god. The corn I one know. is real. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All of our characters just believe in the corn god. Which is confirmed. It's hard to know. Yeah. Kristen's arc of converting you all was accomplished yeah. in the first two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The game's over. The rest of it is just us converting uh, uh, And Kristen, you can go ahead and roll that cure wound spell if you'd like. Oh, cool. And do I add this bless thing to it? or? You do not. Oh, but you have the life domain, so you actually add an additional two. So it's 1d8 so cool. plus six. One. Uh, uh, Adelaide regains seven, seven hit points and is no, lo no longer has cool, the. Uh, yeah, she had a total. Nice back. Girl, hell yeah. <laughs> From next great. door to. Thank you, I'm next door. Thanks for your next door. It was nice Death to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, amazing. From Kristen, Fig, uh, go ahead and make that save for me. Okay. Five. It's a failure. It's a failure. Um, uh, the ooze reaches up its hand. Am I like seeing anything? Am I having visions of my demon daddy or anything like that? <laughs> demon uh, daddy? Uh, in goes. death, uh, or <laughs> and, and as you're like sitting there, like being slowly like burned by uh, by corn, <laughs> by corn, or by tuna surprise. Tuna surprise. Um, you see, you hear a voice saying, "Fred, can you hear me, Fred? This thing on." <laughs> Uh, this thing? Hey, uh, what, uh, what should I, uh, what should I call you? Are you, are you feeling all right? How are you feeling? Oh, can I talk back? Yeah, to try it? to talk back. Dad? Fig? Is that you, Dad? Yeah, you can call me Fig. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm gonna die because corn. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen sometimes. Listen, kiddo, I gotta go. Wait, no, we just, I haven't never even met you. Did you say your motorcycle? Did my dad charge a motorcycle? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Oh, you guys just see Fig kind of smiling, blood just flowing out of oh, her nose. Oh god. Um, we gotta uh, help her. Uh, yeah. uh, you see that the ooze uh, reaches its pseudopod back and bam, on the door again. And the door indents further, does not fully bust through. Ooh, Hell yeah. Baby. Um, we got one more chance at this. What uh, are we, what are we Fabian, that's going to be you. Uh, if I ran for the ooze, I would get. Uh, there would be an attack of opportunity from the, the corn thing. That's correct, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sprint at the ooze and jump and double, <laughs> double fist my rapier into, the, into one of the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on this butthole. Okay, I'm so. going. It's One, kind of two, wrong. three, four, five. Uh, oh. Go for it. Great. Uh, yeah, plus the four. Plus the four. Uh, Eleven. Eleven to hit the use? Yeah. That hits. Yeah. Um, he ain't wearing armor. Um, oh, by the way, uh, what's your armor class? Doesn't matter. The corn gremlin does not hit you. Great. Uh, do I add a bless to my? Uh, <laughs> not to the damage roll, right? Not to the damage roll. Great. Uh. Uh. Twelve. Ooh. Nice. Uh, ooh, shit. Um. Uh, you see that the ooze uh, uh, does not like that. Uh, and considers wheeling around to face you. Whoa. Um, uh, see that the lunch lady. Please come touch me with it. Uh, yeah. Rushes forward. 
One, two, three, four, or it is three here. Um, and she's gonna go ahead uh, and automatically hit uh, Fabian for uh, six points of damage. There's a bunch of hot tater tots skewer out of her ladle. Tater tots. <laughs> oh, you didn't mention those were on the menu. Earlier. <laughs> I didn't know those were a choice. I would have chosen those. I make them for myself, and only I eat them all by myself because I'm crazy. Uh huh. Uh, Adine, it's gonna be you. I don't know if I can do this, but can I try to use Mage Hand to pull the ladle out of her hand? Um. Is that a loud thing with Mage Hand? You know what? The ladle's less than five pounds. I will make it an opposed, uh, it'll be Doreen's primary caster modifier plus your, so roll intelligence plus proficiency, uh, and she will roll her uh, uh, charisma plus proficiency. Plus two. Mm -hmm. Great. So six, plus six. Uh, 22. Nice. Whoa! Uh, you see, you reach your hand out and the ladle leaves her hand. Goes, bam! Hits you. She goes, no! The source of all my power! <laughs> I need that for my power! Oh, she's really laying it out for us. Wow. It's like, it, it could have gone either way. I think the ladle is the source of her power. Gorgug, we know. Ah, uh, yeah, dang it! I know! Doreen, you so bad at being evil. Um, you see that, uh, Gorgug, it is your turn. I'm just gonna kill this one right here. Cool. Go uh, for it. All right. Just to make sure you can save her. Uh, that's uh, 14. That'll do plus it. Five. Go ahead and roll yeah. damage. Kill him. Um, I got uh, eight. Whoop! Gone. This guy right here? Yeah. Whoop. Toast. Sweet. Um, Riz, that is your turn. All right. So to get sneak attack, I need to get around front of him uh, to be flanking him? Yes. With? To be flanking, you gotta get to the other side. Okay. Jump, on the, <laughs> Jump yeah, on the table. Jump on the table. Roll for the table. table. I'm not rolling roll for the table, table huh? No, He's this isn't fun time. Table. This is kill the corn lunch? mommy time. You get on the table! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 17 to hit. That hits. Okay. Six damage. Boom. Bam. Um, uh, this thing screams out. <laughs> um, that is now going to be. Um, uh, the corn gremlin's turn. Uh, this one's gonna fly over at you. So he's going for Gorga, this one's going for Kristen. Uh, Riz, what's your armor class? 15. Uh, you take four points of damage from a corn gremlin. Tax you, Gorga, what's your AC? 13. Uh, one deals you four points of damage. Uh, six. Uh, and Kristen? Uh, 18. One of them slashes you. What? For three points of damage. Oh, thank God. Okay, the, the God's not here. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a fluid. <laughs> Um, uh, that is now going to be, look at these little, I find them spooky. Um, uh, so cute. Uh, Kristen, that's, that's gonna be you. Uh, okay, great. I am going to, should I just take out a corn guy or should, how many rolls do you have of death? Um, if I were to roll a one, I would be, be dead. dead. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go to But her. I probably won't run a, roll a one. <laughs> just mean, in case, probably. though. It's kind of fun to tempt the face. <laughs> I'm not gonna roll a one. I mean, you Save her. hang out with your dad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, uh, this I, is I, your I, last I, chance all for me, me to ask me to just edge. save you, because I will. I'll just save you. I'm not I gonna roll a one. Uh, 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 She's gonna roll a one. What does Kristen do? Wait, if she dies, she's out for like the whole yeah. campaign. Yeah. She's dead forever. Yeah, she's guys, insane. I'm not that chair will be empty for the next six episodes. We'll Are we out? out? I wouldn't get to roll no, a new no, character. No, 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 no. Uh, we get you a new character, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, uh, I'm uh, going to go for that corn baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to save her. I'm going to save her. Okay. I'm not going to roll I'm going to go one. for Spare the Dying. Um, uh, uh, one of the corns takes a swipe at yeah. you. Uh, and misses. Cool. Um, go ahead and uh, you automatically cast the spell. Um, yeah. You lean down, uh, and once again, the smell of sweet corn fills your nostrils as your the sound of your dad's motorcycle fades away. I was with my dad. Um, 
I believe Spare the Dying keeps you at zero. Okay. So, but you're you're like part there, uh, but you're stable now. So your okay. your saves uh, are erased. This ooze uh, smashes the door. <laughs> Bam. What? Oh. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Barrels of corn. I played my drums on Oh, the no. Uh, and it moves right on in there Follows. and starts. It hasn't put anything in its mouth yet, but oh, baby, is it in there. Um, that is now going to go back to the top of the order. Fabian. Uh, can I use second wind? Yes, you may. Uh, yes. This D10 plus, uh, yeah, D10 plus level. Do I get this bless apply here or just the D10? Um, I don't, Bless does not apply. Great. Uh, 10 plus my level, which is 11. Uh, uh, uh hell yeah. Do you regain a, uh, oh, Yeah, back up, back up to max. Hell yeah. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I forgot to roll on this thing's last turn. Oh my God, do I have corn Corn today? butts. Um, uh, uh, so yeah, you do that bonus action. You can move and take an action now. You can do whatever you like. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we charge forward as per usual. Uh, yeah. Great. Uh, and are you moving to uh, to attack the ooze or the gremlins? Uh, I want the ooze. I want the yeah. ooze. Yeah. Will they both yeah, get attacks and opportunities? No, depending on where you move, you can move this way and only one will get a swing at you. I'll take that. All right. Um, bam, right up against this thing. Uh, it takes a swing at you. Misses terribly. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and make your attack. Uh, Hell yeah. 20 yeah. more. Nice. That's going to do it. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, nice. 14. Fuck yeah. 14 damage? Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> uh, you guys are great. He's strong with me. Like, uh, you skewer deep into this thing, and you feel something. You 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 go blade hilt your basket hilt all the way to the corner. Your arm goes like part of the way. Oh, the so <laughs> oh my it's god! It's on your jacket. Oh my god! Oh, no, 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 not on my pants. You feel yourself skewer something not of the same consistency. There is a brief little puncture of something deep at the end of your rapier, and this thing goes. Uh, and you see that all of the little corn gremlins go uh, and all turn their eyes to look at you. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, there's, I, I hit something. Uh, there's something inside of the... Of you the, don't have the, to look so awkward about okay, it. It's no, probably it's, a I'm good thing. I'm covered in fucking corn right now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, five. Um, oh shit! Um, she she has, she takes more than her move. Let's, she's gonna make an uh, acrobatics check to see if she can. Oh. She, she fucking face plants. Yeah! <laughs> Take that, <laughs> loose lady. You're confusing. <laughs> she goes. She just like fucking Terminator. Like, give me back my lady! <laughs> Wow, into the fucking table. These tables are a character. Do I have an attack of opportunity on her now? Uh. Yeah, fuck it. Go Can I for it. I fucking whack her on the back of the head with a ladle. Go ahead and take your attack roll. Your own ladle. That's just rude. A lunch lady's worth. Uh, here. sixteen plus what? Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Sixteen hits. Sixteen, great. Uh, go ahead and roll a one d four plus your dexterity modifier. Great. <laughs> Ladles of finesse weapon. Uh, four. Four. <laughs> you fucking, it's your first day you're in your prep school, private school uniform, and you fucking brain this old lady across the back with of the head. With her own ladle. With her own ladle. Blood splatters all over your refined Jesus elephant so face. Serene. You're fucking. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> like every worst nightmare about this school has been completely confirmed. You walked up and witnessed a fight in the first three minutes of being yeah. here. Stole something out of panic attack and just attacked one of the faculty. Oh god, I'm saved the last dance. <laughs> uh, Gorgog, that's gonna be you. I feel like I have to clean up this area a little bit still. Like, I don't think I could actually get there and attack them still. But it seems like it's gonna get worse. Mm, we kind of got it. Okay. He's gonna just keep pooping out corn. Babies. Yeah. You know? I just like can't really get There's it. There's something inside of him. I mean, if you jump over the six, table, it's a pretty good shot. 
I'm, I'm at six health, so I'm worried that I'm gonna just get shellacked when I. We all are yeah. level one. We all have. I have five all right. health. All right. I've been dead this entire time. Yeah, <laughs> she's <laughs> dead. Yeah. She saw her dad. Is that what well, you're at zero now. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, so I'm just passed out. <laughs> What's the call, Gorgug? So, here, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna try to like get to this one without doing the disengage. All right, so they're gonna get some. This one's gonna get an attack on you. Yeah. Get here. Give me the acrobatics to clear the table. You use okay. bless on that. Yeah. Uh, I got fifteen. Go for it. Yes. You vault over the table. Uh, your hoodie uh, uh, moving in the breeze as you sprint towards the uh, corn gremlin. Uh, what's your armor class? Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, Little corn Grammy uh, deals you five points of damage. Oh, I'm at one. Um, uh, as it shreds you with its leaves. You gotta kill this next one. Oh. Uh, go ahead and roll your attack. Man. All right. Okay. Plus. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Oh, okay. Okay. Eight plus five. Thirteen. Thirteen exactly hits. Go Ooh. ahead and roll damage. Okay. okay. Better AC than me. Uh, I hit it for eight. Uh, you hit it for eight points, uh, eight points of damage. Oh, I can throw. Oh, it is fucking severed, destroyed. You can throw, is that what you said? I can throw a uh, hand axe. I completely forgot I have this. Uh, that's going to be Riz. Cool. How big is this thing's butthole? Goblin it's... sized? Yes. <gasps> it's Dope. butthole is goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Riz is fucking diving in head first. Yes. Yep, just going right in his butthole. <laughs> I, I yell, don't tell anyone about this! <laughs> and then I jump into his butt. Is someone not, gonna, not, not really helping the ball nickname at this yeah. point? <laughs> not at all. I will also roll into a ball as I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay, the ball. Now Let's comes a moment as a dungeon master <laughs> where I have to consider what associated skill check is involved with jumping up a corn blob's butthole. That's wild. That's really wild. Animal There's... handling? I think maybe like... <laughs> I'm, just, yeah, yeah. I'm just rapier out of the ass. Aha! <laughs> uh, uh -huh. uh, I'm gonna need tempo. you to make a... Persuade. Uh, <laughs> Squeeze <laughs> loudly in your butt. Um, yeah, you must persuade the sphincter <laughs> to gain uh, it. Uh, it's not survival. Is it survival? I think it's actually <laughs> I think it's actually an acrobatics check. Great. I'm yeah. gonna need you to make an acrobatics check. I got blessed. Um, and it's blessed. gonna be it's gonna be opposed by a strength <laughs> check from this thing. Is it a oh, yeah. check? Actually, you know what? Yeah. This is an important yeah. enough Clench. role. That I'd like to bring out the box of doom. What? Whoa! Shit. What is that? What's what is happening? the box of doom? Here on Fantasy High, when we have rolls of substance where everything hangs in the balance, we bring out our little friend, the box of doom. Uh, this box is for important rolls, uh, and we're gonna go ahead right oh, here. Oh no! Put it in front so of us. Oh, it's so um, cool. Uh, this thing gets a uh, a plus four. Okay, I also have a plus four. Uh, and I'm also, I'm hashtag blessed. <laughs> you are hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Uh, so, in other, so you're gonna roll both those dice in the box of doom. I'm gonna roll mine. Whoever rolls higher will determine what happens. One, two, three. Yes! 21! <laughs> I'm up his ass! He's up his ass! And I yelled to yeah. Fabian, I'm doing this because of you! <laughs> Do not implicate me in this in any way. You figured it out, we need to go in his ass! <laughs> Let's jump in! I Fabian and Riz! Wow, good no. job. Okay. You guys, the ball you guys, you guys weren't sure if this ooze was intelligent or not until this moment, because the ooze whips its like weird eyeless, noseless, earless head around its gaping mouth and just goes, Oh. <laughs> With a look of confusion and shame. I'm gonna say strong shame is what you're getting off of this ooze. Uh, it's been pooping in front of a bunch of people. This is what he yeah. feels shame for? Yeah. Uh, the shame, old, it, things are supposed to come out of there. I'm gonna abort all his little corn babies. Yo. Oh, like, <laughs> and they're just like, yeah. 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 Incredible. Thank you, Box of Doom. Bye, Box of Doom. Bye, Box of Doom. Well this time. Uh, so yeah, oh, uh, you guys see Riz yeah. race across the cafeteria, rapier forward, and 
Uh, I wish that it was like quick and easy, but there's a good three to four seconds of like strong getting your shoulders up in there while uh -huh. it's Don't worry, baby, and I'll do it for both of us. Stop implicating so one, one of your like nice black briefcase kid dress shoes pops off as you're trying to pull your foot into the thing's sphincter. Uh -huh. uh, so that's your. That's your movement and your your action. I don't think Ooh. I don't know if you have a bonus action right now, but you're you're way in there. I will let you if you want to make another skill check with your okay. turn. You can make another skill check. Cool. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll do it. investigating. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to investigate its ass. <laughs> Pull out the magnifying glass and snoop around. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot to investigate. Uh, 14. Do you add four to it? Or no? Oh, I guess I, I, I'm hashtag blessed. Uh, 16. You scoot around in there and you find a, what, you can't see because you're deep in hot corn, <laughs> hot cream corn. Um, but you grab what feels like a fistful of, of something uh, solid but very flimsy, like like either a fabric or maybe like a piece of paper or some kind of parchment that you grab and you feel an incision in the middle of it as from a blade. I, I'll try to fucking tear it up. But that's your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna go, my hand on it. Corn, gram, um, uh, corn gremlins um, goes, uh, he's gonna actually fly over your, uh, well Riz is, <laughs> Riz is in, there. in his ass. <laughs> I'm gonna remove your mini from the board. Yeah. Um, it's deep inside. Deep take out, take out the inside the corn's asshole board, and then yeah. <laughs> and inside. Oh wow, uh, Gorka, oh, you can go ahead and take an attack at. Are uh, they all coming for me? Yes, they are. Uh, uh, you can go ahead and take stop. an attack uh, <laughs> on uh, one of these as it flies by you, attempting to get to Fabian. Okay, I guess I'll hit this one on the far right. Cool. Go ahead and roll your attack. Hashtag blessed. E. Oh, no. I hit it for, I, I hit, what was it, five plus, mm -hmm. at 10. 10 does not hit, so you Sheesh. swing. Um, these gremlins, uh, I'm gonna need to make some opposed uh, athletics checks. Okay, great. Am I still blessed? Um, uh, you are still blessed, yes. Great. No, no. Uh, three plus four, seven. Oof. Um, uh, uh, go ahead and make another opposed athletics check. Uh, 17. Oh, excuse uh, <laughs> me, more than 17. 17 plus four, 21. Um, you see that two of them try to go for your legs and you manage to kick them away, but the other two come up under your arms and go and pull you up into the air, kicking and screaming uh, directly over the corn ooze as it goes and opens its oh, mouth. Oh my God. Uh, 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 and they uh, prepare to drop you. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Temperature's just fine. Uh, Kristen, that's gonna be you. Uh, great, and I'm gonna try to get to one of those little cornies. Please, please try yeah. to get to the little cornies. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, one, <laughs> like it's just two, three, four. <laughs> Uh, cool, you're here. Go ahead and take a swing at one of them. Awesome. Am it? I blessed I if I bless three rolling. people, or was I? You're I would not have blessed. to pick myself. Okay, pick yourself, yeah. So. Can she hit the ones with me or hoisting me, or are they the other one? One. That one. one. That one. Ooh. You and That's your staff it. flies out of your hands. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Dang. Uh, uh, um, that's going to be uh, uh, Fig is still out. Um, Hey guys. Check in with <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can like crawl a little bit if you want, but you're burned and fucked up. Um, uh, the ooze opens its mouth, uh, and the corn gremlins. <laughs> baby and falls. Uh, and this thing um, is going to now make an opposed athletics. It's going to try to chew me? It's going to try to chew you. Has oh. teeth? Go ahead and make an opposed athletics check. Uh, six, uh, ten. Uh, ten. Uh, you are engulfed. Uh, wow. and you sustain, uh, seven, uh, nine points of damage. It goes, and you guys see Fabian disappear uh, into this thing's mouth. Jesus. Wow. 
Oh. Well, at least Corn Riz yeah. went in by choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone threw me in there. Um, <laughs> it could be dead. Uh, the launch lady stands up uh, and is going to grapple with you, make an opposed. Do you get an attack of opportunity on her if she stands up, or no? Uh, standing up from prone? Um, yeah, you can attack of opportunity. Go ahead and take a, uh, take a roll. Uh, 19. Ooh. That nice. hits. Oh yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll, uh, roll that, that D4 plus dexterity modifier again. Slapper. Slapper with a ladle. Uh, five. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're beating the shit out of Dory. I'm sorry. <laughs> she stands up and says, <laughs> third tries the, and you hit her so hard in the side of the face that, face that her jaw breaks and a bunch of teeth fly out of her mouth and she passes out, hits her head really hard on the table <laughs> and falls over unconscious. Oh my God, I Push vomit. Push her body next to mine. You know she's paralyzed. Are you a Push her You just million dollar mind. babied this woman. No! What'd you do? You have like a blood I lust. I definitely have a panic attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go ahead and make the, you know what, honestly, you go in for it. Yeah, you have a full you're, on you're panic done. attack. You're <laughs> uh, <laughs> The ladle has like a weird curve to it now. Uh, and you're covered. You're covered in blood. You have a fragment of tooth hanging in a gob oh. of blood off your jawline. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, Adon's turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just standing there breathing heavily. Yeah. Gorgog, that's gonna be you. And do I have a sense of where they're at inside the corn <laughs> monster? Uh, make a make an insight check. Okay. Or make a perception check. Perception. What do I have? Okay. Cool. Uh, I got uh, twenty two plus three twenty five. You I've see. Uh, something, something screaming in like a stomach area with like some kind of acid or dissolving agent in it. Um, and then you see a much more, for lack of a better word, industrious bulge <laughs> near one of the buttholes that seems to be unperturbed by the digestive juices of this corn monster. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to try to, can I try to slash uh, out Fabian from from the, the oh, mouth. Oh, okay. Um, uh, go ahead. So here's what you can do. You can either just take an attack and deal damage because you, uh -huh. because you won't hit these guys. I will let you make uh, an attack with disadvantage uh -huh. against this creature um, uh, to attempt to uh, extra to like slice out Fabian. Great. I will do that. Okay. I'll, I'll go for that. Ugh. I got uh, uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Uh, Whoo! Uh, uh, yeah. You slash, and there is a momentary opening where you see Fabian's. There's like you slice through like congealing corn flesh that like seams open, uh -huh. and you see like Fabian like half of his face that's like burning and sizzling with like an arm partially exposed. Uh, what does Fabian say as this momentary seam opens up? Help me! <laughs> <laughs> um, do I roll damage on that or no? Um, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll roll damage for me real quick. Oh, I don't do that. Uh, that's five. That's five um, uh, cool. Uh, this thing is looking fucked up, gang. Um, uh, Riz, that's gonna be you, baby. Great, I have like a piece of paper in my hand. It... Yes, you have like a piece of paper in your hand, absolutely. Great, rip it up. Um, uh, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. Let me know what you get. We'll call it a DC, a we'll say this is a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Okay, I've got a plus one to wisdom and I'm blessed. Uh, eight. Eight. <laughs> um, you hear, as you start to go to rip it, you suddenly realize the last thing you want to do is rip up this piece of paper. This could be a clue, Riz. God, think about all the stuff we could learn from this weird piece of paper. Why would you want to rip it up? Don't rip up the paper. Rip it up. Rip um, it up. <laughs> uh, so you, uh, you may take another action if you'd like. Cool. Can I try to just take the paper out of its ass? <laughs> Uh, go ahead and make an acrobatics check uh, to get out of here. Yeah. Okay. God damn it! Seven plus uh, Four. eleven. Uh, you start looking for the exit, and you are in an, a vast ocean of hot corn plasm. Um, uh, as you start to look for that door where you cannot find it, I'm gonna need you to make also a Constitution saving throw. Call it a DC 10 constitution. Okay. Fucking five. Um, you take 
Um, uh, four damage. What kind of damage? Uh, you take four damage as you start to suffocate because you can't oh. breathe in this corn news' oh. asshole. Great. Yeah, what are we doing Great. in this fucking corn thing? Oh my god. Cut me out! <laughs> well, there's paper in there, I guess. I've got uh, something. Cut uh, me out! Uh, the corn gremlins uh, turn to the rest of you guys. Um, they're gonna start <laughs> taking some swing. <laughs> These three are going to take. Now you're flanked. <laughs> uh, these three are going to take situation. swipes at. Um, oh, okay, cool. Kristen, uh, one of them hits, dealing uh, four points of damage to you. Um, uh, and then one of them's going to take a swipe with advantage at Gorgug. Uh, what's your AC? Thirteen. You take two points of damage. Dead. Dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah! um, yeah. Well, how badly injured is Christian right now? I have three points remaining. Yeah, baby. Um, uh, Gorgug one, drops. Seven? Um, Kristen, that's gonna be you. Cool. So you got these corn gremlins. You're very badly injured. You hear a shouting from inside this thing's butthole. Pull me out of its ass. <laughs> Um, Fabian is looking at like a seam that he can maybe escape from. Uh, uh, what do you do? Um, stick your staff up its butt. Yeah, yeah. can I like she stick my staff up to have him uh, hold on to uh, it? Yes, go ahead and make a uh, just an acrobatics check to grab your staff up right. off the ground. Call it DC five. Let's call it DC five. <laughs> Two. Oh. oh, you're oh you're not blessed. Oh. Two. Uh, you fail to grab your stick. You mm. fumble for ah! it. There's just a lot of <laughs> corn fast. here. Yeah. You're in the path of where the corn thing was. Uh, you gotta grab your staff. What action uh, will you take uh, other than trying to grab the staff? Uh, I guess I'll attack one of the corn. Try to... Just like, just take a swing with your fist? <laughs> <laughs> grab my hand. Uh, yeah, can I try to reach a hand in and... Uh, go ahead and make a strength check up this thing's butthole. Okay. It gets a plus yeah. four. What's your strength? Uh, 15. So you get a plus, plus two. I have a plus two. You get a plus two. two, unless you're, yeah, you have plus two, you get plus four. Nine. Oh, um, you attempt to fist this corn ooze, <laughs> and, um, your, <laughs> uh, it, it has learned its lesson, and its butthole is clenched, uh, just diamond tight. I still know what to do. <laughs> uh, uh, that is, that's your turn. Uh, Am I now this? Uh, <laughs> no, it's sort of like kind of tried oh, to, yeah. Okay, yeah. you know, you're going in there. Um, right. uh, now the ooze turns, gra starts to grab barrels and barrels of creamed corn um, and bursts them open, raising them over its head. All the open barrels are over its head. Its mouth is open. It has not yet poured the creamed corn into itself. Uh, that's going to be, uh, ooh, also. Um, uh, another little corn gremlin pops out. Um, that's going to be uh, uh, Fabian. Okay, so I've, <laughs> all right. So, so I've seen, I can see, like, so there's been this seam cut. You, you can make an athletics or an acrobatics check to get out of here. I'd love to make an acrobatics check to get out of here. Cool, it's gonna be called DC 10. DC 10, with bless. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes uh, nice. 21. Woo. Uh, you, oh my God. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. You burst out of this <laughs> thing. Oh my God. Um, so that's your movement. Uh, you have an action left. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay, so I know Riz is in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, attempting to pull Riz out, what is what are we working with? You can either try to brute force your way out this thing's butthole, okay. or you can attempt to do what like Gorgug did and like slash and make your and, and try to like leave an opening for Riz to escape from. Uh, do you reach all the way up a butthole and you <laughs> slash <laughs> the yeah. side wall of it? C section. The, what's the what's the check for the butthole? Or for uh, the... Is it, it's a pure strength versus strength. The uh, the cutting is a disadvantage attack roll. Okay, uh, I'll take the I'll take the, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, I'll take the strength versus strength. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Am I blessed for this? Oh, uh, it's ass. Uh, yes. Go for it. Great. Yes. Yeah. Twenty three. Uh, you're wrong. Lean <laughs> athletic frame. <laughs> 
comes yeah. into an incredible oh. fucking Street Fighter <laughs> uppercut. <laughs> Boom! You feel your face press up against the sphincter of its asshole as your full arm, all the way past the shoulder, gets all the way up in there. Um, and that's gonna be Fabian's turn. Uh, Lunch Lady's fucking, she makes a death save. Uh, natural one? Um, <laughs> And it was like the only cool person at the school. And not, and not a not like a corn gremlin or a weird monster, like a human, like a full person. <laughs> I know! We were supposed to fix this and then she was gonna come back to life. Yep. None of these, nobody's supposed to get fucking eaten. Yeah. Nobody's supposed to get trapped in a butthole. We were just supposed to fight it and kill it. We spent too much time jumping on tables. <laughs> uh, you see, uh, that's gonna be, uh, uh, Adine, um, uh, you see that the, the lunch lady looks up at you dying and goes, and the, the sunken aura disappears from her eyes, and she looks up at you and goes, the faculty, you don't trust the faculty. And you can't, it was them, one of them. I'm on my teeth, I can't feel my teeth. Uh, you see, uh, uh, that's going to, uh, uh, Adine, what do you do? Ah, uh, fuck, uh, I'm gonna cast friend on the fucking corn monster. Okay, um, uh, go ahead and, uh, cast friends, go for it. Charisma. And then I'm like, hey buddy, why don't we put the, the, the corn down? Why don't we put the corn down and let my friends go? You see that, um, uh, this jiggling mass of corn looks at you and goes, uh, and doesn't appear to under, have a deep understanding of friendship uh, and mutual responsibility to another person. Um, Gorgug, I'm gonna need you to make a death saving throw. Uh, blessed or no? Uh, not blessed here. Hell yeah, success. Um, uh, Riz, that's you, baby. All right, I'm um, investigating, looking for that hand. Uh, make an investigation check. Fucking three, uh, nine total. Um, you swim around, you can feel something just out of reach. It's so hard, it's so close. I was uh, really hoping for that predator handshake <laughs> inside the asshole. Like, right <laughs> um, these guys fly for Adine. Uh, these guys are going to uh, start taking swings uh, at Fabian. So take a swing at Kristen. Uh, Fabian, what's your armor class? 16. Two misses. Nice. Ooh, hand, hand remains in place. <laughs> um, You're just like. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, uh, uh, that's going to be. What's your armor class? 12? Uh, Adine, you take first two points of damage, and then another two points of damage. Are you still alive? Yes. As they uh, rend, Wild. covered in yeah. blood. Uh, I'm gonna say the sleeves of your like private school uh, thing come off. So now you're just drenched in blood. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's now going to be uh, Kristen. I'm going to, uh, I have really high persuasion. Can I try to persuade the corn thing to not pour more corn on itself? <laughs> make, it, make an insight <laughs> check. Okay. 19 plus, what's You insight? think that these corn gremlins are actually more possessed of a mind than the ooze is. The ooze is, is not getting a lot of social graces. Uh, uh, but it's up to you what you wanna do with your turn. All right, fine, I attack a corn. Uh, uh, one of the gremlins? <laughs> yeah. Cool, go for it. Not great. Not what great. What do I add to it? What are we rolling? What's what the number you're rolling? Four. Ass for three turns. <laughs> I've been um, face planted the entire time. That's a swing and a miss. Um, Fig is still out. Um, can I bash my we head really against the wall? We really didn't start with our game Just so I can do saving throws again. <laughs> <laughs> the ooze pours the cream corn into its gullet. <laughs> And you see it starts to grow bigger and bigger. Um, uh, the, uh, its wounds 
all heal. All the injuries you guys have made on it heal. That's going to be Fabian. That's your turn. Mother. You've, got, you've you still got your arm all the way up that butthole. Uh, is there, uh, is there, are there rules I could make to make it easier or find some way? Three corn gremlins pop uh, out of the butthole. Fuck you. Is there some way I can make it easier for real? Is there anything I can do or I, or could I like, because I feel like it's either that or. Uh, so so what, do you, what is it you want to try to do? I want to, if anything I can do to make it easier or more apparent for Riz that my hand is where my hand is. Oh no, you can just take the help action and give him advantage on his next roll. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, cool. Uh, you take the help action. Um, uh, do we all have help or just him? Uh, anyone has help that wants it. So you can be you can be doing stuff to like help people and give them advantage on rolls if you want. Um, uh, lunch lady uh, is gonna make another death saving throw. Remember me. No! As I was, a single woman of yeah. some years I <laughs> who old lady. made pre-prepared oh, meals for children. I asked for nothing, and I didn't choose for this to happen to me. It's your responsibility to make this right, because you killed me. You did it. Only you. And you didn't have to. You chose to. These were your choices, and you live with them. Remember my face every time you close your eyes. Jesus. <laughs> I her, kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> and she uh, passes from this mortal plane. Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> I am not gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's going to be Gorgog. I need another death save. For, oh, sorry, Adine. Uh, that's you. Can I cast friends on one of these little cuties? Sure. Yeah, you can take us on a little cutie. Great, and then be like, and go, ahead and you go make for a, this dude. Yeah, you can make a persuasion check if you like. Great. Remember back when they were all fun and they mm -hmm. were yeah, yeah. We they were all so cute. 15 of them. 15. Uh, and you get advantage, so you can roll again if you like, and take the better roll. Oh, okay. 15. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what do you say to the little corn thing? Um, I say, that guy was talking about you should attack him. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying really bad things about him. Yeah, him, him. Fuck that guy, right? <laughs> and he turns and lunges at the corn gremlin next to him. Yeah. Um, uh, that's going to be Gorgog, make a death state. Who knew they had egos? <laughs> so, failure. Um, Riz. Okay. So I get advantage, right? <laughs> Go ahead and make this. You got a lot of advantages. Okay, going. investigate, okay, come looking on. for my man's hand. Okay, hey. that's great. 19 plus 25. Uh, that's going to do it. You feel a goblin hand <laughs> right here. The worst oh, version of Predator ever. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so slippery. Um, uh, and I'm gonna say, because you're ready to like yank him out, go ahead and make uh, an acrobatics check right now to try to slip out of this thing. Please. Cool. To try and make yourself like a pencil so you really slip yeah. out of the asshole. Cool. <laughs> do not. Cream corn lube. Speed of 10. 11. 11 will do it. Oh, uh, Back on the table, you baby. You rip Riz out of there. Hell yeah. And uh, a slimy piece of parchment falls out of his hand, covered in strange runes. Uh, uh, Kristen, you're standing right nearby. Can you make a knowledge religion check for me? Yes. Eight <laughs> plus 10. Uh, you look at it and see there are runes here. Uh, from uh, the like strange realm of the Nightmare King, runes of darkness and midnight, runes against Helio and Soul. This is a page of darkness and a warping of the true gospel, and it is a testimony to uh, the force of night and darkness itself. Um, and it's a piece of uh, horrible dark magic. Um, uh, Riz, it's right on the ground. Corn gremlins, um, uh, see this happening. Um, Riz is back out on the board. Uh, Fabian, you can take an attack of opportunity on one of these guys. Uh, 15. Uh, uh, Jesus 15, I'll go ahead and roll damage. Uh, 12. You skewer one as it flies past you. Um, but they are surrounding you. Um, uh, that's going to be uh, the corn gremlins turn. Uh, Riz, what's your AC? 15. They both miss. Uh, Fabian, yeah. what's yours? 16. 16? 
Uh, one of them hits you for uh, three points of damage. <laughs> we gotta kill that paper. Kill that paper. Hey, I got you out of that yes, asshole. Thank you. <laughs> Make it worth it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, with a freshly fed corn ooze and more corn gremlins than there have been on this battlefield at any point before, it is now Kristen Applebee's turn. Okay, um, so I could either go to ruin that paper or I have a freaky idea. So I'm holding oh, no. this yeah. this <laughs> book of Telos. Get uh -huh. freaky. Can I cast light on this book of Telos and throw it into the blob? Oh God! <laughs> like a sacred, blessed book into the middle of this blob. Uh, uh, yeah, you could totally do that. Should I do that though? <laughs> Just question. destroy the fucking paper, dude. Uh, you, like you may do do whatever, you, <laughs> do whatever you do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. Why don't you do both? Why don't you like stomp on it as you throw the? Book? Yeah, can I take my staff and like slam it down on this cursed piece of paper while throwing my? Go ahead Gifted and make book. an uh, acrobatics check to pick up that staff. All right. Do you see? Pick Five. up the staff. T Nat, Nat 20. 20. Uh, oh, so I... light fills the room and the staff flies into your hand. Uh, uh, go ahead and make an attack roll uh, uh, on that parchment. Nat 1. <laughs> 21. Oh, the staff oh. into your hand. Uh, uh, throw the staff down at the piece of parchment. Slip on the corn. <laughs> um, your staff is glowing uh, uh, with holy energy, and you take uh, uh, three points of falling damage. That was all I had. <laughs> so your your staff is still glowing. <laughs> Great. And you hook, slip, bam, head on the ground. What a disaster! Wow. <laughs> Why did you destroy this like paper? <laughs> um, big. Uh, the wow. ooze <laughs> turns around and is going to take uh, a swing at Riz. What's your armor class? 15. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a miss. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Fabian, I'm going to need a death saving throw. Three. That's a failure. Uh, Adine. Uh, I cast Mage Hand and grab the piece of paper. Grab the piece of paper. Um, uh, uh, the paper flies to your hand. Uh, Gorga, I need you to make a death save. Okay. Nat one. Oh. That's two failures. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, oh my no. god! <laughs> Gorgug. Gorgug's dead. Gorgug is dead. Uh, oh my god. Gorgug straight up dead. Gorgug Wait, is... do I get some sort I have something, I think, I, we, right? I don't think you have anything there. You don't have revenge. You're unconscious. Uh, he's dang, uh, fully he's dead. dead. Uh, does, anybody, wow. does one of the teachers have revivify? <laughs> Uh, that's going that's to be. That's true. If we have his can body, I, maybe later. Wait, if we when I I grabbed that was this. when I did mage hand for that thing. That was to. I oh, so I that was, could, that was my entire action. I couldn't rip it up, as well. No, I'm afraid not. Fuck. Uh, my Yeesh. God, uh, this is uh, fucked. Uh, Riz, that's going to be you. Cool. Um, I am going to. <laughs> uh, I am going to disengage mm -hmm. from these cornies. Um, how far can I get here? One, two, three, four. Um, and then I'm gonna tell her to hold up the paper, and I'm gonna try to shoot it out of her hand. <laughs> Rad. Uh, uh, roll and attack, you still have that bless active. Okay. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, this is wild. Oh my god! Freaking. I think we can bring your body. 18, 18. 24. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. <sighs> what is it? How many fucking pieces of damage does this fucking piece of paper here? Eight. Disappears in shadow. <laughs> the ooze dissolves into nothingness, and in a blast of light, <laughs> uh, corn flies everywhere as all the gremlins disappear. Yes, but oh no! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Yeah. Uh, fuck. Oh dude. boy. Um. Oh. Do we see that he's like dead and not breathing? Um, uh, to that? 
I don't know if I'm allowed to speak because I'm dead too, but or I'm at zero. But I think we could bring his body to a. I'm gonna try to run to and try a, to find like a priest here, like yeah. a cleric or something. Um, uh, you guys, uh, uh, so Riz, you sprint out of the cafeteria. So the only people that are still alive right now are Adine and Riz. Now you see that uh, we're not done yet. Uh, uh, you can run if you'd like. Kristen and uh, Fabian are still making death saving throws. Just. Okay, I guess I'll start with um, medicine. Check. You can make untrained I'll just, medicine. I'll just make checks. an untrained. Great. Medicine I'll I'll check also do on, an untrained medicine medicine check. Um, uh, Fuck. Cool. Thirteen. Hold on one second, because that was, that was Riz's turn. So Kristen, I'm gonna need you to make a death saving throw. Oh yeah. Nineteen. Cool. That's a success. No worries. Um, uh, Fabian, I'm gonna need you to make a death saving throw. I roll a one, and I also. <laughs> Six, two. Uh, uh, that's not going to be Adine. Because I've met the teacher, mm -hmm. can I message him down the corridor? Uh, which teacher is this? The teacher who was in detention with us. Mr. Gibbons? Yes. Uh, yes, uh, you can message him. Great. Can I fucking scream? Okay. Yeah. Really um, loud in his ear. Cool. What do you scream? Uh, everybody's dead. Wow. Help us, everybody's dead. That's a lot dead. of strong feelings. Everybody's fucking dead! Get in the cafeteria right now! <laughs> uh, Mr. Gibbons opens the door, looks at- What? Uh, well, uh, the Doreen is dead, so the arcane lock is gone. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, real quick, so that's Adine. Gorgug is fully dead. Uh, Riz, Corn Gremlins. Uh, uh, oh, Riz, it's your turn. So. Great, okay, I'm gonna try to bring her back, and hopefully she can bring other people back. Okay, what is a medicine? Medicine is wisdom. So I got a plus one and I'm blessed. Hell yeah. 22. Uh, uh, you fully stabilize uh, Kristen Applebee's. Great. Um, Meaning uh, I'm back with some health? Uh, no, you're still just at, at zero. zero. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, so she's not even awake. She's just stabilized. Just stabilized. Sorry, can I do that on Fabian then? Because he's almost dead and she's uh, not. Sure, you can do it, Fabian. Okay, so Fabian. I'll just break Fabian back. Oh, thank you. So, I was like, oh, really? Okay, fine. Yeah, I, one yeah, I thought, I, thought I, I forgot that it wasn't like uh, getting so him up Kristen, to one now, HP. So now, Kristen, you are making another death cool. save. <laughs> Don't get a one. 16. Cool. Uh, There's a success. Uh, is that two successes now? Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, you see... Oh, Gorgog, I loved you! <laughs> I'm sorry I hate you, okay? <laughs> Maybe if uh, I hadn't hit you. Okay. Now, you see that uh, Mr. Gibbons opens the door, looks out, and goes, Wow, now this looks like a lot. This looks like a whole lot. There are dead people in here! Do something or get somebody who can do something! Okay, if that's what you want. Right fucking now! <laughs> you see, he sprints out of the cafeteria, um, I'm covered in blood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that cob of tooth there. Um, uh, so, Riz, it is your turn again. Cool. I'm gonna sprint out in the hall. Kristen is still making saves. She is. Yep. Fuck. All right. But I have two successes and zero failures so far. Cool. Um, I'm gonna take my chances then. I sprint out in the hall. I'll do like, can I do like an investigate check to see if I know where like any kind of clerics would be or anything like that? Sure. Make an investigate check. Go for it. Cool. 21. Uh, uh, you rush in back to the place you broke into before. You see the door is still slightly ajar. Uh, Eggfort's office is there. Cool. Uh, you duck into the office and you see Principal Eggfort, who's sitting there. Ugh. A student is dead. We need to revive him somehow. Dead? Yeah. Right like this way. And you see that he uh, <laughs> ducks. Um, he like grabs a couple things off his shelf and ducks and runs down the hall. Um, oh. um, this is insane. So that's you run back with egg for it. Chris, I'm gonna need you to make the death saving throw. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I'm not dead. I'm just in a in between consciousness, mm -hmm. talking to my god. Two. Two. <laughs> it's a failure. At least it's not a critical failure. Yeah. <laughs> Fabian stabilized. Uh, Adon, as Mr. Gibbon runs, uh, uh, do you do anything else here? You can. Yeah, I mean, you... I guess I'll go and try and stabilize Kristen. Uh, go ahead and make a, a uh, uh, make a medicine uh, check. Eight. Uh, you don't quite know what you're doing. You're covered okay. in blood. And you're scared. And sad. <laughs> um, uh, Kristen, I need another save from you. Oh yeah. All right. Five. That is a failure. 
I have one success and one failure left. It's uh, down to <laughs> down to it. I don't uh, like this full uh, uh, Riz uh, and and Principal Eggfort uh, uh, rush into the cafeteria. Um, uh, you see that uh, Eggfort raises his hand, holds it out. Uh, you have advantage on your last death saving throw. So you roll two d twenty. Take the higher roll. Oh, cool. An eight and a three. <gasps> Oh my fucking god. Cool. Did I die? Uh, full dead, yeah. Yeah, full dead. Okay. <laughs> um, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> we really came into this like la di da, and it was like a hard cord challenge. Cuties. We all called them corn cuties, and we all acted there like it was. were corn cuties who spent time jumping hey, up and the jumping corn down. Cute, they, they were still cute. A they bunch of our shit was, was gone the by enemy, the time we got here. The enemy was now, a piece of paper. You guys see. Uh, that uh, Principal Eggfort and Mr. Gibbons walk into the room. Um, you see that Principal Eggfort looks at uh, people who have fallen here. Adon, you're covered in blood. Riz, you're covered in corn. <sighs> he looks at Mr. Gibbons next to him, and you see he says, Death is a part of life, eternal and unforgiving. It exists around us in all places, for energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Can you fucking do something or not? Death is an old friend. It's a glass Are there of clerics or priests or anybody here? It's a spoon when all you need is a knife. This is Alanis Morissette lyrics. I know I'm dead, but... <laughs> you see, he says, death uh, waits for us all with the exception of some immortal beings such as gods and uh, vampires, some form of undead. Um, but death waits for many of us. Maybe not elves. Elves are immortal if, they're, if they live in their homeland. Riz takes off down the hall and tries to find uh, somebody else. <laughs> uh, as you take off, you see he says, however, there are times when great magic can work wonders. You motherfucker! You see, he reaches into his coat and takes out um, a swirling ball of fire uh, <laughs> with surrounded by pieces of like red feathers. You see, he says, the egg of the last phoenix. However, death will exact its price. There is foul play in this school. And only you can save us. A life for a life, eh, Mr. Gibbons? You see, Mr. Gibbons goes up and says, I'm sorry, what? And you see that Principal Eggfort takes out a gun and shoots Mr. Gibbons in the head. <laughs> and then takes the gun and says, the price must be paid. Bam! And shoots himself in the head. Gorgog and Kristen, you come back to life. What the fuck? Wait, the lunch lady, what, what about her life? It could have counted what for the one of them. Fuck? Uh, you're all back at full hit points. What the fuck is <laughs> What did, you, what did you just do? We gotta go, guys. Chris just starts like cleaning up. Will someone take my body, please? Everybody, I, oh no, all of you, everybody's at full everyone health. Everyone really? is at full health. Yeah. You're surrounded Maybe by fiery I phoenix. Myself. You guys are surrounded by- Is this by... still going? If I kill myself, will I save Doreen? Uh, <laughs> is there a magic energy? You are surrounded by fire flame energy. Do uh, it. The fiery flame energy is gone by the time you are fully uh, uh, so if I kill myself, it will bring Doreen back? You don't think it will. The lunch lady? <laughs> you don't think it'll bring Doreen In back? In episode two. Um, but you see that Mr. Gibbons and uh, Principal Eggford are both dead. He just oh, had a gun? This is gonna Jesus. look like it's our fault. We need to... Also, what someone the... told you that it was foul play. It was like the teachers who did all of this. So were Guys, these two good teachers, or were they involved? Uh, tune in next week for another exciting episode of Fantasy High. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. As you walk through the gates, you see Helio himself. I saw a horrible place, and Mr. Gibbons was there. They say the most powerful fiends used to be angels. Maybe the jock threw something in Your with Bible you. Your Bible has all this stuff about corn. True. Penelope Everpetal looks worried. Do you remember a girl named Penny Luckstone? Riz throws up. I just <laughs> shut my backpack. You hear a voice that whispers to you, save me. Uh, guys, we gotta go.
brain this old lady across the back. With her own ladle. With her own ladle. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't trust the faculty. Table, you baby. rip Riz out of there. Hell yeah. And a slimy piece of parchment falls out of his hand, covered in strange runes. I'm gonna try to shoot it out of her hand. <laughs> that one. Poor Cook's dead. Oh, oh my no! god! Did I die? Uh, full dead, yeah. Yeah, full dead. Okay. <laughs> life for a life. Hey, Mr. Gibbons. Principal Eggfort takes out a gun and shoots Mr. Gibbons in the head. <laughs> Bam! And shoots himself in the head. Gorgog and Kristen, you come back to life. What the fuck? Last we left off, our intrepid adventurers, uh, we're, in a, we're in a real spot. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna take a little dip away from Elmville for a second. Through the mists, Kristen, you approach yellow gates of corn and wheat and waving grasses. An endless expanse of heavenly heights unfolds before you. Angels in polo shirts and with nice quaffed hair wave merrily at you as they fly by. And the celestial choirs sing with heavenly joy. You approach the gates having passed from this mortal world, and you hear a warm voice beside you. <sighs> oh, my sweet girl, ah, to behold the heavenly heights, and a warm hand rests on your shoulder, and you see Arthur Eggfort standing next to you. Uh, he smiles and looks at you, his little purple coat, and he says, well, it seems that you had lived a very holy life and had arrived at your final resting place, but I am afraid your work is not done. I'm going to crawl into your backpack, and if you can just go ahead and walk through the gates, they're going to straighten all this out. Wow. He going to unzips your backpack. <laughs> and just starts oh. to crawl in. Hey. It's all good, just walk what? in. It's Don't. all good. It's all good. <laughs> you see his face peering out from the backpack as he zips it closed. It's all good, just walk in there and we're good. How big is he? Is okay. he like He's a full human sized like man. Like Voldemort, okay. No, he's a full human sized dude, he just gets in there. Okay, <laughs> and you, you just want me to walk through we're the gates? Just walk in there and everything will sort itself out. Just go ahead and go in there. As you walk through the gates, you see that the figure of Helio himself, a bag of corn kernels at his side, long flowing beard, he looks at you. Wow, Kristen, it's so good to see you. I, I, I've known you your whole life, but now you get to see me face to face. This is great. Whoa. You see, he gives you a big hug. It's the warmest hug you've ever felt. As he's hugging you, you feel your backpack jiggling around. You see he's clearly got his eyes closed in the hug. You feel Arthur slip out of the backpack now that he has passed the threshold of heaven. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. And winks and sprints into heaven as fast as he can. <laughs> Uh, he was so fast. <laughs> you see, Helio looks up and says, what? Hmm? What are you talking about? Oh, I was mentally saying goodbye to a friend I was remembering. Here's the thing, Kristen. We checked. It's not your time. You have more work to do. Oh my god. I know you're gonna do a great job. And I care about you. And what's more, I know that you care about new friends, and I think that's cool as hell. Thanks. Hey, huh. go knock them out down there. <laughs> I will. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why is, why is there so much suffering in the world? Later, and you <laughs> disappear. You are vanished and <clears throat> snap into your blood-covered body <gasps> on the floor of the cafeteria. It's so weird that you, you lied to Helio. You lied to your god. I don't. <laughs> 
I finessed the truth. <laughs> I, was, I don't know if Helio is as smart. I need another god, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now we're going to uh, uh, go to another place real quick. Uh, Gorga, you snap into not wakefulness, but some strange, pale consciousness, and you behold a dim forest stretching out around you. Oh, no. The leaves fall with a shriek and a whimper, and the blood runs from the bark of this strange forest. Try to catch a leaf. It slices your hand. Ow! Oh. And then you look through your hand to see the ground beneath it. What? You hear a voice next to you as the leaves part, and the spectral figure of Mr. Gibbons stands up. Oh, wow. Some really powerful feelings here. What happened? Well, I don't... Why are you here? I, uh... Last thing I saw, my boss murdered me. <laughs> and there's a lot of powerful feelings there. His eyes start to glow a little red. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna take me a while to process these feelings. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have some unfinished business. Hey, what? Yeah. Yeah. You're looking awful. I need to have a little talk. Oh, God. <laughs> running. Uh, you <coughs> snap awake in your body on the cafeteria floor. Uh, oh my God, he's gonna haunt you forever. <laughs> uh, you uh, are looking at a Fabian that is completely covered in boiling, steaming corn. Uh, uh, Riz, who is uh, likewise uh, covered in uh, not as steaming corn, but corn nonetheless, uh, uh, and some like partially formed corn gremlins, uh, and he's got a smoking arquebus. Um, Fig, you come up from the floor covered in tuna surprise, with blood coming out of your nose, the sound of your father's distant motorcycle far away. Uh, and uh, you see that Adine is the only one covered in someone else's blood. Uh, the sleeves of her coat shorn off, holding a bent ladle with a chunk of tooth and gore hanging off of her jawline. Uh, and you guys are in the cafeteria. So, what do you do? Well, um, I what? run over, I, uh, okay. what is going on? Where is Doreen? She'll save us all. Is she safe? I died. Uh, I don't, I don't mm. Yeah, let's get Doreen. It, I, it was... Well, she was hurt pretty a bad, right? Suicide situation. I Green died. is dead. What? You died. I Where's died. Green? You died. You died, and you also died. I know. They came I in. And they had a sort of a rising phoenix situation with uh, some sort of egg that came open, and um, yeah, the big guy shot little guy. I shot I, himself. I, dead. Brought you guys back. So cool. Wait, and I'm Mr. so pissed. I missed it. I, Mr. Gibbons. <laughs> Killed, that's awesome. I killed Doreen, but I didn't mean to. She was attacking me, and then she came back to herself right at the end and gave a really, really intense speech about how it's my fault and I'm gonna be haunted by it for the rest oh, of my I life. Oh, I did hear some of that. And she said something about how the faculty was in on this somehow. So yes. we got to talk to the cops before another teacher sees, because if another teacher sees this, they might be in on this. They might, they might put this on. We need to hide, I think, and get cleaned up. You guys. Well, I don't know this, if we should hide. You guys, this is exactly what teenagers have suspected all along. Adults are the bad ones. Yeah, we can't go to the sure. cops. What if the cops are on in, in on it as I, well? Yeah. My, the cops are not in on it. My mom's a cop, and she's cool. Your mom's yeah, a cop? How old mom's is, she? Mom's a cop. is she? Is she 19 or under? No, then I don't trust I, her. Okay, I can can uh, I kind of look around and see how is, is there any sign that the phoenix thing happened? Like, is the egg still there? Is anything there? Uh, it, everything that would have helped to explain your situation has largely disappeared or vanished. Where's now, Doreen's body? Yeah, are the Doreen, dead bodies. There? The dead bodies are there. So here's what's there. <laughs> Doreen's body is there. Uh, there's a lot of corn, cream corn everywhere. Uh, there's some like smashed barrels, both there's some in the pantry and some back in the kitchen. Uh, there's a lot of corn cobs that are freakishly large, but no longer animated. Uh, and also Arthur Eggfort's gun is there. There is no Phoenix egg. Can there I pick is, up the gun? 
No, don't touch the gun. Nobody touch anything. Don't right? touch anything. Are the bodies of Egg Fort? And... I'm just saying it's so rock and roll to have a gun. Wait, don't I touch the gun. Not. I have a gun. I'll let you hold not. my gun later, please. Don't I touch saw this gun. Mr. Gibbons. I saw. I think I smuggled Mr. Eggfort into heaven. Oh my God! My fingerprints are I all know. over this murder weapon. Okay, Honestly, I'm I? pro coyote, you so I was to happy heaven? to smuggle. Yeah, I met God, and it was really disappointing. I went. I think I went to hell, and <gasps> or just with the whatever that we call that. Mr. Gibbons went to hell. Yeah, and he became. He was started turning into like I cut. Well, it's fine now, but I cut my hand, and it, I could see. And then Mr. Gibbons was like a. He said he had unfinished business, and then he be, like became like a demon. Wait, uh, demons are a cool thing. We have. Okay. I am not going to stand no, here over it. these two men's no. dead bodies. All right. Uh, I'm going to go get that dragon man. All right. He. he, uh, he uh, I don't. Uh, he seems fine. Well, what if he's? You, uh, what if he's in on it? Yeah. What if he's in on it? Oh we can't trust God. any adults. The only one we could trust was Doreen. My parents yeah. are gonna kill me. Speaking of Last which, of our words. I need to remember Doreen the way that I know she would want to be remembered. So I take her hairnet and I make some. Uh, Sick, um, uh, what do you call those fucking tights? Nobody fucking cares, all right? <laughs> well, I, we, I, I make some sick fishnet tights. <laughs> okay, Doreen, right. I'll never forget you. For like you one gotta leg. not touch the body. It's down a bit of um, She burned your face. Uh, uh, go ahead and give me a, uh, we'll call this a craft, like an oh intelligence check. Oh, okay, okay. Dead okay. Woman. Are we all just standing here one yeah. here? <laughs> so? Um, that's gonna be a 17. Uh, it looks fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> They look Great. really good. You We're did glad a great you're job. Honestly, agree. They look fantastic, but that's not important Wait, right now. Is that? Is there anything left of that little rune paper that I shot? Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> fucking fuck. Okay. If if not, okay. yeah, if we don't go to his mom, where Can do I we do want to go? Can I do one to see what I would think if I was like a cop, like yeah. with the survey the scene? Go ahead and make an investigate check. Cool. Uh, twelve. Um. You look around the space, you see that there is the big corn ooze. Uh, what you think about this as basics for a cop is uh, Arthur Eggfort's wound looks self-administered, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the wound Mr. Gibbons will be traceable to Arthur Eggfort's gun. Something confusing happened here that doesn't look like six kids did this whole thing. Right. Uh, you also uh, discover uh, what you think is like the source of of like where the corn ooze came from. There is one uh, barrel, not in the pantry where it was headed towards, but in the back of the kitchen, there's one barrel that it looked like it crawled out of. Oh, can I go investigate what's in there? Uh, uh, yeah, you, if you want to go investigate, absolutely. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use thaumaturgy to like open it, so I'm like, I don't have to be near it. It's actually it. already open. The barrel was, uh, uh, it looked like the barrel that, um, uh, Doreen was serving out of. Oh, can we? Day. Can I cast detect magic on that barrel? Yeah, go for it. I cast detect magic on the barrel. <sighs> Adine's eyes glow brilliant blue. You detect a little trace of a mage hand spell. And the mage hand spell comes from a young elven caster who's you. This was the barrel you lifted Kristen's book out of at lunch earlier today. Fuck. So I'm in that so much jerk. trouble. This it, How is it possible that the only spell that's been on this is my spell? I will say, that's the first thing you detect. Looking further at it, you see any wizard is gonna be able to see all kinds of insane uh, shadow slash infernal demonic magic that occurred here, right? So while the physical evidence of the ooze is gone, clearly some powerful dark magic is, has some residue. However, that will fade over the next hour or two. So they're, okay, okay, so we can't like scoop a little so bit. So it might have been a cursed thing of corn and then that jerk threw my Bible into it yeah. and that aggravated it? Yeah, or maybe there was something in your Bible that aggravated it. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe the jock threw something in your with your Bible. Your Bible has maybe. all this stuff about corn. True. I think we should set your Bible on fire. I, 
I think that we need to get a teacher very call quickly. call my mom. I don't think okay. we should get a teacher. I am with this no, one. No, no. I'm going to go get a teacher. No, 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 I'm going to go get a teacher. Why would right? you get a no, teacher? No, all right. We you know, need, let's have someone, a vote. No, we need someone who is cool, not a teacher, my mom's not cool. affiliated have, with the school. My I mom have is cool. an in it with an adult. An hour. I have an in with an adult that I think I can manipulate. Who? Um, Vice Principal uh, Goldenrod. Fantastic. Let's go get him. He's. Uh, let's just. I. I, I really don't, don't think we're going to agree. We just call the cops. Let's no, just. We can do both. No, guys, we do only have an hour. All right, I'm with the cop mom. Let's idea. just go home and talk about it tomorrow. No, and pretend like a, nothing happened. No, no. The, you're. We need to be more proactive than This that. is the worst idea. I, I, I must have to go all the way. That is a bad idea. Yes. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> wait, can you... Can we study any of this stuff ourselves? I mean, can you guys take a look? I think know. that we should get the vice principal. Guys, I, don't, are, I don't think it's him. He's. I don't think he's the bad guy. There are girls disappearing from this school. My mom has been investigating it. There's... But not very well. You guys haven't solved a thing about right, those let's disappearances. Vote. Let's vote. Let's Fine. Vote. Let's. I vote that we go somewhere else to talk about this, so we're away from we, the crime we, scene. We don't have time. Be we have an in hour the before all of these spells will disappear. I'm with the, and then I switched that teams I to the vice principal. Idea. Vice principal. Vice principal. Your mom. Okay. <laughs> vice principal. No for vice principal. Your mom I, I walk out of there and to wherever I best believe the vice principal uh, may be. Okay. Fabian strides out of the cafeteria. Um, uh, you walk out, covered head to toe in corn. Hell yes. And oh, you walk out of the lawn, you see you pass a like sort of like a gentle breeze, there's some birds singing. You see that Vice Principal Goldenhorn is out under a statue of Arthur Eggfort talking to a bunch of young adventurers. You see he goes, well, well, that's marvelous. A group of young freshmen forming their own first adventuring party. I, I remember my first adventuring party. Uh, Mr. Goldenhorn, would you kindly follow me uh, to the cafeteria? Uh, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Casting, please follow me to the. I, I, I start walking back to the cafeteria. All right, one moment. Hey, Golden. Why are you not in detention? You should be in detention, and you. You we, actually have twice I, as many. Detentions. I would like to. We can explain everything to you uh, once All you right. finish. Well, there's us, a certainly some explaining to do. All right, fantastic. Uh, he strides along with you, looking very officious and pompous, um, and he comes into the cafeteria. Um, he looks into the. Uh, he looks into the room. Uh, sees Arthur and uh, sees Mr. Gibbons and Doreen and goes, <laughs> and you see fire crackling in his mouth and he, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, all right. What hap What happened? What happened? Are we in danger? Is the uh, whoever did this still loose? We don't know what happened, but uh... Uh, there was a scream, and then the lunch lady went crazy, and there was something in her eyes that, that was demonic in some way. She was possessed, I think. And it all I... started with one barrel of cream corn. And yes, it's right there's, here. There's this, runes this... in the corn barrel, and some monster came out of it and possessed the lunch lady who attacked us and along with the monster. And we both died, and then Arthur killed... He used the, the last rising, phoenix Rising eggs. phoenix, he had a phoenix egg. Yes. The, the what? He had a phoenix egg? He had a phoenix egg and then he shot. There's only one of the, phoenixes famously don't lay eggs. They die, turn into ash. And that's like the number one thing about phoenixes. I don't fucking know what you want us to tell you, all right? We just told you what the fuck happened. I'm scrambling to figure out this is a. Well, they were dead. They were killed by the. They died. They were dead. You two students died. I got Arthur into heaven. What? I got Arthur into heaven. You're kind of freaking out, so maybe do you want. I am not, I'm a disciplinarian. It's, you obviously have been through something traumatic. We're going to get Mr. Gibbons. He's going to talk. Mr. Gibbons is dead. He's right Why? there, he's dead. He's what dead. happened? Arthur oh, shot no. him, and then Arthur shot himself to save us. Principal Eggfort shot the guidance counselor in the head? <laughs> yeah. And then himself. And then I think Mr. Gibbons became a monster. You don't Honestly, need to tell him I about wasn't. I, I have to be clear. Can I pull Riz aside? Riz, I'm sorry. I, I think I did this wrong. I, you should yes, go no, get your this, mom. He's <laughs> just going to be a middleman. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, uh, okay. Well, listen. There is a protocol for these things. We are going to call the police. So no. let us Thank call the police. You. Uh, yes. You, all of you, um, you see that he uh, uh, yells well, out of the door. He says, don't call just any police. What do you don't call it? I don't we have, have their individual numbers. We have his mom's we number. We could have called my mom. 
Oh, going don't to... be spiteful. Yeah, please don't be spiteful. Please don't be spiteful right now. Don't be spiteful right now. Don't be spiteful. I was on your side. You were on my side. But I still feel like you shouldn't be spiteful. That's enough of everyone! This is a tragedy. Oh, you see, he says, uh, I need some faculty in here for these children. No, 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 no. So the no, left lady right before she, while she was trying to kill us, as she died, she said that somebody on the faculty was involved. Uh, you see, he says, the, we're involved with, this is enough. All of you, you come with me right now. You, the six of you, come with me right now. You come here. And he strides down the hallway. Um, you see that a couple other members of the faculty uh, approach. Uh, you see that there's a huge, uh, rocky-looking barbarian. Uh, this guy Can was... I try to hide to make sure that the faculty doesn't try to clear up the crime scene? Uh, yeah, go I'm ahead. I'm trying to check. hide as I'm yeah. walking with the thing. Uh, 14. Stealth. Uh, okay. Um, so you hide in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. um, you see, uh, uh, he looks at them too. You see, he says, uh, very well. Uh, you see, he says, Porter, Jace, you will stay in there. Make sure no students go in. Uh, the big rock guy with the war hammer says, Yes, yeah, so, uh, all right. Take a look. And you see that the half elf sort of sorcerer looking guy says, Okay, is there a problem? Is something kind of going that doesn't. And he looks in and sees the bodies and goes, Oh my God! Uh, screams, they rush in. Uh, what was the reaction of the, of the other guy? The rock guy? The rock guy. Uh, make an insight check. Oh, baby, this is gonna be so good. Um, that's gonna be a 20, not nat, but <laughs> as close to it uh, as you can get. <laughs> the Earth Genazi, the barbarian, uh, kind of rocky looking guy, um, doesn't look surprised. Uh, you see, uh, they both walk in there. Uh, you see, Golden Horde says, you with me right now. And he walks to a small classroom that's empty because the school's been let out. Opens it up, walks in, closes the door behind him, and he goes, All right, all right, uh, Mr. Gibbons is dead. Um, listen, are you all right? You did the right thing by, uh, well, you, in the future, feel free to call the police, but you did the right thing, uh, going and finding an adult. Did you, did you defeat? The monster, is that why you died? You died in combat? Yes, right. all of us did. We were all alive the whole time and we all contributed to the battle. I was killed <laughs> by a piece of corn that came into life. <laughs> I was eaten by a piece of corn. I was swallowed by a corn monster. Mm -hmm. I, I did lots of moves corn and cutie. spells and stuff. I was you a really big died, part of the you battle. You passed out immediately. Really I don't know. She's dead. No, she I don't died. actually I never fully really died. Yeah, I, don't, I remember that. She it. says, well, I, I, I want you to know um, that I'm very sorry that this has happened. Um, this is a traumatizing event. I want you to know that you are in good company, all right? I remember the first time I died and was brought back to life. What? This where is, did you go? Where did I go? When you were yeah, dead, what, was what it did like? you were... I saw a vision of an endless plain of gold what? and I was swimming in it like it was water. That... It's very different and than what I experienced. the platinum dragon Bahamut soared overhead and he said, you've been good, Golden Horde. You have as many coins as you want. And my mom. All you want is coins? <sighs> All right, you went to hell, okay? You clearly yeah. went. I think he it's was not, I know. Empty. Gold is a very spiritual thing for my people. I'm sorry. It's not a, it's not a empty. I saw a horrible place and Mr. Gibbons was there. And it felt Mr. like Mr. Gibbons was in hell. You don't need it. He's our guidance counselor. Like he's, I guess going he's... to hell is honestly the most embarrassing thing. Please and don't. You're embarrassing. Hey, leave him alone. If I went somewhere and there was a bunch of skeletons, I'd make a party of it. I just don't like what? that kind of stuff. <laughs> what did she say? I don't know. Like if I went somewhere that was scary, I uh, would. It wouldn't Bob necessarily Bob, be please hell. Please don't tell my dad. I mean, you know for sure I have to tell your dad. Do you, well, uh, I, you spin me, spin me she a situation really where it's okay that I don't tell. She was your really dad. heroic. You she could tell him that she, he just, she, she killed the lunch lady. He just won't get it. He already thinks that the adventuring academy is stupid. My understanding is you. He stops himself and says, "I understand why you don't want me to say anything. What I will tell your father is that you very heroically." Um, 
ended the life of oh god of uh, a woman who uh lived a long life that's no don't tell him that. <laughs> yeah maybe I, maybe just be like i worked with doreen i'm processing grief as well oh okay. maybe you recognize this i show my legs see he goes <laughs> why that i'm amazed that it Fits to the contour of your leg. It's a it's for a head. It's, it's a completely D, different shape. It's what D would have wanted. D? I think you know. <laughs> you gave her a nickname already. Yeah. Posthumous nicknames notwithstanding, I want you to know that this is a traumatizing event, and you are in good company. Here, here. All who adventure. You can't drink <laughs> here. It's a school. You see, he snatches it? it out of your hand and goes, look. You are all within your right to ask to be transferred from this school. Nobody would fault you for not wanting to continue your education here. This is so weird because I originally didn't want to go to this school, but now that I know something's afoot, I'm going to come here. I think I want to stay too. That was, I don't know, I'm starting to have questions about my religion. All the evil stuff was corn, and it happened because my Bible went into the thing, and then God was like a... A frat boy. <laughs> God was wearing that those sandals that have bad. the beer bottle opener at the bottom of the sandal. Like it you want to put the bottom of your shoe on top of something you're gonna drink. There's I a world where that's really Infernal chill way. and cool. Hmm? That's better than leaves that cut open your hands. I hell, just, just call it hell, all right? <laughs> I don't know. That that sounds so metal. metal. What if it's metal heaven? I that just you went can't to? go to Mumple. I mean, I have to stay here because I'm Mumple not going is to Mumple other. either. I don't think any Mumple. of us want to go to Mumple. Golden Horse says Mumple is a fine. The school no, is the no, gifted. <laughs> you don't have to be nice around us, all right? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. What we need from you right now is honesty and directness. All right, all right. I'm going to. Go call your parents. We're gonna cancel your detention early. Hell yeah. Obviously. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least Come you got on, something man. out of this. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm traumatized. But, you know, there was a brief Hell moment yeah. in which I forgot. <laughs> Again, again. Oh, sorry. Yes. No, I'm not even talking about that. Oh, okay. No, I just got to, you know, this thing, oh, I forgot everything that happened. Now it's all rushing back into Christ. I'm so, so sorry. So wait, can we never say hell yeah now? No, I was, you're going to get all hot and bothered. No, you guys, I was saying hell. exact, I all mean right. the exact opposite. I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to call your parents. Um, you see, he says, uh, we're going to take care of this, all right? Um, you see, he uh, walks out. Um, Bye. Uh, he walks out. Um, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> after a little while, Coach Daybreak comes in. Um, you see that Coach Daybreak looks over and looks at you, especially Chris, uh, Kristen, and goes, gosh, kiddo, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. He's got a big stack of owl bear uh, like sweatpants and sweatshirts, and he's like, Are we all on the team now? No, it's, your <laughs> shit's covered in blood. Oh, sorry, your stuff. It's okay. We, we, I'm on my way out. I jumped to a really weird conclusion. You see, he says, sorry. if you want to hit the showers and get cleaned up before your folks get here, here's some towels, here's some clothes. You can go for it. All right? Can I sense motive on this guy? Do an insight check, yeah. Six. This is a good and decent man. He I could have told you that. You I've grown clothes. up with him. I want to do an inside check as well. Yeah, go for it. Oh. <laughs> so that one. That one? You got it. Uh, this guy, it's weird because you are a half orc. This guy could be your dad. <laughs> dad? <laughs> <You're now. laughs> That's exactly what a nat one gets all of us. Uh, <laughs> this could be your dad. Inside <laughs> check about everything. <laughs> everything. You see, <laughs> if you look at my dad, it could be your dad. Daybreak looks at you and goes, what? <laughs> Are you my dad? No, because he's a half orc and you're a half orc. So. I know. I'm a human. Oh. I'm a full human. Cool. He's a, oh. He went to hell today. It's a, it's you a see, whole he says, thing. God, kiddo, you gotta, you gotta go. I'm gonna go take a shower. Go take a shower. Go get yourself cleaned up. Yeah, we're all gonna go take showers. Uh, you yeah. see, the, I'm not going to. I'm gonna rub a little more blood on myself. I also am not interested in taking a shower. <laughs> I'm gonna scrub myself. I'm so gonna hot. definitely take a shower. There's corn in my uh, red hair. Uh, one by one, your guys' parents come to pick you guys up. Um, uh, uh, you see that Golden Horde walks in. Um, 
and uh, looks at the six of you and says, oh, your parents are here. Uh, I've told them some of what happened, but I didn't want to go into detail because uh, my responsibility is not solely to them, but also to you. Um, they know that there was combat. They know that some of you passed away. They know that, um, well, they know that you killed who you killed. And you told them that we all had an equal part in the fight, right? I don't know that I thought to mention that okay. specifically. <laughs> you didn't tell them that I killed her with a ladle, right? Because that's worse than not doing anything. Your mother asked a question about what spell you used, and I think my silence oh, spoke volumes. Oh, was. Uh, well, adieu. Everyone have a good night. Um, and you guys wander off. Bye. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Am I, was I with them? Oh, sorry. You were in the cafeteria the yeah. whole time. Um, you're there with Jace and Porter in the cafeteria. Um, actually, hold on a second. Uh, you see at the moment that uh, Goldenwood says, Porter's I hope you all have a good night's sleep. Where is that goblin? Where is that guy? Oh, the ball? Oh, he's, yeah, the ball. the ball. Oh, he's probably in the shower. He just, yeah, he's yeah. in the shower. He takes really shower. long showers. Really long if showers. a teacher is your dad, <laughs> they have to tell you, right? <laughs> what? There's, no, there's got to be a rule about that somewhere. If a teacher is your dad. Are you thinking of a cop? If they're a cop, they have they to have tell to you? If a teacher, no, I think I've heard that. If a teacher's your dad, <laughs> they have to tell you. You couldn't right? even get through that. <laughs> you see, he says, I, first of all, there's a sort of epistemological question hanging in the air, which is they might not know that they're your dad, oh. right? Whoa. So that's a possibility. Okay, never mind. Also, we probably shouldn't edit, it's probably not your dad. The odds seem low. I think okay. that your dad is gonna come to visit you in like a in like a vision at some point, because that's what happened with me. Yeah. That's that might be true, but that's an irresponsible thing to tell an adopted <laughs> child. I think that. I just gotta knock myself out. No, <laughs> okay. no, don't All listen right. to Fig. Everyone go home. I'll go home. <laughs> Um, we're gonna come back to, uh, uh, in the cafeteria, Riz, you are concealed um, from sight. Uh, you see? Much like a ball. <laughs> I'm trying not to be a ball, but I'm a ball. <laughs> You're trying to be a stick. Um, you see that uh, Jace walks in, uh, who is the sorcery teacher here. Um, uh, sorcery, the, in your first day here, you heard Jace teaching some classes. Sorcery is an innate ability of people to cast magic, so a sorcery teacher is kind of just like, an older adult friend to like hang out and talk shop for the most part. Uh, but you see he goes like, Arthur dead on the first day? Mr. Gibbons gone? Doreen? <laughs> Wild. And you see uh, the barbarian says, yeah, seems uh, things are getting started, you know, a little earlier this year than normal. Um, you see that Jace uh, casts a sort of divination spell um, starts looking around, uh, and you see he goes, my God, it's like some kind of conjuration happened here. Looks like divine in nature. Yeah, some demonic entity, maybe fallen angels from the Helionic faith, something like that. So he goes, that's bizarre. He's like, what happened to the ward? We shouldn't be able to summon creatures on school grounds. And you see that uh, Porter looks over and says, well, wards are like walls, you know. If you're strong enough, you can break them, I suppose. Uh, you see, Jace says, everything you say sounds fucking creepy, man, and I gotta be straight with you about that. I don't know why you talk that way. I'm trying to make a bridge between you and me. We're coworkers. I'd like to get along. You know, you're not required to be my friend, but like a little cordiality, man, like spoonful of sugar. Help me out, man. I'm here trying to make something happen. Uh, you see that Porter says, I'm gonna go check on those kids. It doesn't seem right that they're all alone. You see that uh, Jace says, well, hey man, they're not alone. They have each other. And they kind of do have each other because they've missed the window to form an adventuring party. So they're kind of de facto one, unless they leave school. There's a couple options open. All right, well, I'm gonna go log this stuff in the uh, sort of arcane register. You have a good one, man. Uh, and you see that Jace leaves and Porter just sort of guards the door for the rest of the time that you're there. Cool, I just wait, <laughs> I guess. Uh, about 15 minutes after that, cops show up. Okay. And your mom's there. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, they come in, they start to sort of put the tape up. You see that there's this uh, old looking gnome who's like got a, a bit of a paunch and a trench coat. And you see that he's got these sort of glowing blue eyes from like a permanent detect magic situation going. He pulls a stub of a cigar out of his mouth and he's like, looky, looky, what we got here? Little old murder suicide, huh? Yeah, I tell you what, man, I ain't seen a phoenix egg since uh, way back in 1112. You know what I'm talking about? All right. Look at this poor son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> you see that your mom walks up next to him. Uh, she says, Dusty, uh, what are we looking here in terms of arcane? He's like, arcane? <laughs> I tell you, Sklander, you wish this was arcane. This is pure divine magic. Thing got summoned up some kind of dark, uh, I don't know, antithesis, right? He says, you ever heard that theory about uh, the, high, the higher planes and the lower planes? You, know, you got angels and you got fiends, right? But they say the most powerful fiends used to be angels. You know what I'm talking about? So you got someone like Asmodeus, who's uh, the, you know, the boss of the nine hells all the way at the bottom, got like a reverse hierarchy there. He used to be up in the celestial heights, running around, doing good, all kind of stuff like that. <laughs> Um, what are you gonna do? Uh, I will, I'm gonna, I'll wait for a moment when like the, maybe the other guys turned around or something to kind of like let my mom know I'm there. <laughs> kind of cool. like give her a... Uh, make a sleight of hand check to get your mom's attention. Sure. Uh, pretty good, 21. Awesome. Ooh. Um, you see that your mom, her eyes are over to you hiding and you see that she's sort of writing things in a notebook. She looks over at you and goes, No, 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 come no. no. I wanted to call you. I, I, was, I made friends. You made friends? Oh, sweetheart, that's great. They didn't, wanna, they didn't trust me. Why are you in the murder scene? I was here. You were here present? I was one of the kids, yeah. God! Go sneak out the window. Meet me in the parking lot. Okay. Sneak out. Um, cool, give me a stealth check. Oh, hey, hell yeah, yeah dude. Uh, mm -hmm. 27. Oh, yes. so slick, so slick, dude. <laughs> Out of there, dude. Um, you guys get picked up by your parents. Um, uh, uh, quickly, can we like exchange numbers in the parking lot or something so we can start like a text chain? A, a group text. <laughs> Let's just talk tomorrow. <laughs> That sounds good okay. to me. That sounds like a problem. Well, are you yeah, guys fine? Are you guys online? I gotta go. Yeah, yeah I'm also <laughs> going to leave. Hey, I'm real sorry. quick um, before we go, like I just want to tell you guys, like I know that I don't really wear my heart on my sleeve, so like you guys might not tell this, but like I trust you guys. I think you're cool. Like you're cool with me. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying too. Like we just went through a lot together. Are you at least online? You guys can find me by my name, and then we can all just like chat. Yeah. Yeah. I. You, have, I, you all have my business card. I am, Sorry. but I my parents monitor everything, I, and I feel I, like I'm definitely. Let's just meet here tomorrow. Why don't we yeah, meet in the we'll parking just, lot tomorrow we'll morning? Tomorrow? Okay, but I do once a week. I it's not a Bible study. Okay, but it's oh, like I'm okay. 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 Yeah. No. no, you guys go no. head out. Um, you see, uh, uh, Gorgug, um, you get into uh, you squeeze <laughs> into the back of a tiny little gnomish car. <laughs> And you see that your mom and dad have both clearly been crying so hard. And you see they look back there and they go, Hey, bud, how was your first day at school? It was bad. Oh, <laughs> buddy. And they both clamber back and give you a big hug. I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bud, we're so sorry. We're so sorry. Have you ever died? <sighs> you know, um, it's not that I've died. But you're not alone, so I don't want to ever say that I haven't gone through something you've gone through. <laughs> I just rolled down the window and just put my whole head out. <laughs> <laughs> you see that both of your parents are just like, both of your parents just stare ahead with this look of like, we can't understand our son. And they just drive <laughs> off together. Yeah. Um, uh, Kristen, your parents pull up. Uh, in the station wagon, you see your three little brothers are all in the back. Um, you see that uh, your dad looks at you and goes, <laughs> "Wow, uh, what happened, kid? Are you okay?" Yeah, I think I'm okay. Uh, Mom, Dad, you a big hug. Yeah, it was uh, really scary. I think I went to heaven and I met Helio. <gasps> oh, we gotta tell Pastor Amelia. 
Yeah. You gotta tell you. I have actually a lot of questions after meeting Helio. Do you think we could stop at the bookstore on the way home? The books? What? Uh, do you mean the church? Yeah. Oh, no, the church bookstore. I need to get some books that explain other religions also. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Second car. Um, you guys take off. Um, uh, Fig, um, <laughs> you see that a giant griffin lands in the lawn and your mom stands up, gets off of it. <sighs> Sweetie, are you okay? Yeah, I fought valiantly. <laughs> I was part of the fight. <laughs> Baby, I believe you. And she kisses you on the head. Thanks, right. Mom. Hop on, let's get out of here. Um, by the way, I know that dad drove a motorcycle. She blanches completely white in the face. And I just want to say, in terms of choosing men, that's pretty metal. <laughs> she smiles, a little sort of half embarrassed smile. You guys get on the griffin, take off. Uh, Riz, you meet your mom out in the parking lot. You see, she looks at you and says, sweetie, what the hell is going on? Oh, uh, well, the, um... Well, I'm sure you saw the crime scene, but they resurrected two of our friends. We were attacked by some kind of corn monster, but the lunch lady, while she was possessed, or rather after she was possessed, said that one of the faculty was involved. So I hid under the table to make sure that they didn't mess with the crime scene. One of the faculty was involved. That's what the lunch lady said before she died. Okay, and the lunch lady, you trust her. She's someone that you use credible. I don't see why she would lie right before she died. Okay. I mean, it was worth looking into. I wasn't just gonna trust that two random faculty members that I didn't know yet were gonna not do something. She looks at you and says, that was extremely reckless to hide in there, because even if they were uh, criminals, then you'd be in there alone with two adult criminals, kiddo, okay? I know. I'd, I'd rather have you safe than crack the case, you understand? Okay. Okay, get in the car, let's get home. Um, Adine. You see that your mother and father show up. I'm standing so stiff. <laughs> uh, you see that uh, your father uh, pulls up, your mother goes out of the passenger seat, your father does not get out. Your mother walks up to you briskly, kind of has like a hand up over the side of her face. She says, uh, your father would like you to get into the car. He doesn't want to step out and be seen here. I don't have to have him step out for me to get into the car. I'm not an idiot. He wanted to let you know that he wasn't going to step out. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? How very mature. I don't think that this is a proper time for you to be chastising your mother. You are, first of all, sleeveless. And second of all, I understand that you defended yourself through your martial prowess. I say nothing to them for the rest of the night. Uh, <laughs> you get into the car with them as you're driving along. You see that uh, your father doesn't say anything, mother doesn't say anything until you're right about to get home and your father says, I never thought I would have a daughter that would receive detention. And he skips out of the car and walks into the house. And in time we am like, that's the thing he's mad about? <laughs> <laughs> I killed a woman with a ladle and he's mad that I got detention. My parents suck so much. I know, I kinda wanna fuck up your parents. I really <laughs> do. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Fabian, um, uh, you see that uh, uh, a, a huge, uh, like it's like a, a long hot rod, like multiple engines, you can like hear the elementals screaming in the engines. Um, uh, uh, pulls up, it's just like red and gilded. It has like a figurehead of like a woman holding a trident on the front of it. Um, oh, so dope. Uh, awesome. Rolls up and you see your father steps out of it, goes, ha, there's the boy. Now, tell me true, lad. Did you fight with honor? Uh, it was, uh, I, I did, Papa. I did. Can we, uh, can we get in the Fight car? with honor? That'll be 40 lashes! You fight to win, boy! Uh, Papa, <laughs> uh, can we go home? He sweeps you up in a hug and he says, My boy, ah, oh, you did violence your first day at school. I love you more than words can say, my boy. Uh, Papa, can we, uh, can we please go home? I just, I just want to go home. You, go, you don't want to go downtown? 
You could, we could, we could go down there. We could tell people about your exploits. No, Papa, I just, I just want to go home. See, looks at you and goes, well, all right, a little confusing. That's all right, let's hop in. He opens the door for you, gets into the car with you. Papa, do you remember the first time you watched someone die? The first time I watched someone die, it was me father. He was lying in his deathbed and I had a dagger up under his ribs in his heart. And I looked him in his eyes and I said, you'll never speak to me out of the side of your mouth again. And then Mama took me back to first grade. Um, right. Uh, is, that, is that relatable to your experience? Uh, 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 We're the same, you and I. Uh, we are, yes we are, Papa. Uh, <laughs> but don't you try to put a dagger in my heart. Uh, It'll be the last thing you ever do. Of course, Papa. I'll put you in the ground before I let you kill me. Uh, I never would. I never would. But I, just, I love you with all my heart, boy. All <laughs> my heart. And I you. Uh, Let's go get this lad a drink! Okay. <laughs> uh, you guys head off in the car. Uh, wonderful. Full rest. You guys, you know, you guys were already at full hit points, can but all conditions removed. You guys are second level now. Yes. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't Hell know if this yeah. is possible okay. in this world, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. but is there a way for everyone when they wake up to get an alert of some kind that I've added them to a system called Prayer Chain? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say that that falls under the auspice of your thaumaturgy. Ability. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, so they sure. all get a little vision that appears and is like, you've been added to Prayer Chain by <laughs> Kristen Applebee's. Oh and it just says, hi guys, we can communicate on here. Can there I... are three other old women who are using this for their real prayers, but they're not gonna understand anything we're talking about, so speak freely. Can I use my thaumaturgy to make Prayer Chain erupt in flames? <laughs> uh, you see that it, it doesn't overwhelm the whole channel, but there is basically like a, just a, a GIF of that. GIF? GIF? Yeah. GIF. 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 Yeah. GIF. I hate GIF. GIF for graphics, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, you see, uh, some fire appears in the prayer chain. Um, oh. You see uh, an old, there's a string of halfling. I don't know if any of you understand, uh, which basically seems like. Oh, I do. Uh, you see that there is an old woman saying, <laughs> what is this? Have I done something wrong? <laughs> oh, God. Um, the rest of you guys uh, uh, are all on the prayer chain together, uh, and you arrive at school. Um, school begins with an outdoor assembly. Um, you see Principal Golden Horde up at a lectern. He's got a long black coat on. There's no longer a suit. He's got like a black overcoat on. And there's kind of like a funereal thing going on here. Um, you see that there are little flowered wreaths for Principal Eggfort, Mr. Gibbons, and Lunch Lady Doreen. Um, he stands up as people assemble. You see, he says, uh, Students of the Eggfort Adventuring Academy. I'm not going to lie. Yesterday was not a great day <laughs> for the school. Um, here, here. <laughs> get, get the drink, get the drink. Do we not, who's at the front desk that's letting this happen? Um, you see that, uh, <laughs> you see that one of the faculty comes over and says, can I take the, can I get the glass? Can yeah, I you take... want some? I pour a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna need to take both of those. I'm gonna okay, take both okay. of those. You, you, you might Fair, you I've got it. more, that's it. cool. One. I get it. Okay. Um, you see that uh, Golden Horde says, <sighs> um, risk is inevitable in the lives of those that would seek to do great works upon the face of the world. Danger, combat, and even death. These are the things we risk to make a difference. And while we've never had three on the first day, for sure people have died here before. It's an adventuring school. People die. It's frankly insane that we're open. <laughs> I'll be for real. It uh, doesn't fully make sense that we are an accredited, we're a publicly funded school. We get money from the government and we've had, this, uh, again, never three faculty in the same year, let alone the first day. 
This is um, a great eulogy. It's crazy huh? that we're back at school the second day. Is <laughs> 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 that a day off? <laughs> yeah, you'd think there'd be like a day of remembrance. Yeah. yeah. Also, what is this weird thing about the government? God. <laughs> um, so? He's sweating. He's sweating a uh, lot. Did you guys get my prayer chain? Yes, yeah, shut yeah. up and please stop. It's very invasive. Uh, basically, uh, I just wanted to say to you that you are safe here. But, you know, don't be an idiot. You know, stay on your toes because it's it's gonna it's gonna come up again. Um, How many people do you I think are like, gonna die today? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like we like started. To like <laughs> end this. We're starting. To <laughs> uh, make a uh, make a, oh, a flat charisma check. Great. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, you lean back with your cool kid attitude and get a clap going, and everyone just starts clapping. And Goldenwood looks relieved to have it out. Great. Yes, that's the principal, Egg Force. Uh, lunch Lady Doreen and Mr. Gibbons. Um, I'll never forget uh, Principal Egg Fort. Uh, the school bears his name, and uh, it will be hard to live up to that. Well, uh, moving on. Uh, some quick announcements. Um, wow, I mean, talk, yeah. talk about a hard transition. <laughs> hard pivot from uh, the eulogy to I know obviously you see the murmuring of the crowd starts. He says, obviously hard, obviously this is not taking away from the grief that we are all moving through. If anybody has grief to process, you can talk to Mr. Gibb. Nope, you can talk to, I guess, this. I guess me. I guess it's me you would talk to. Come. And talk to me. Can ah. I start a Goldenrod chant? <laughs> <laughs> His name's Golden. Make a flat. His name's Golden Horn. <laughs> Make a flat. <laughs> Make a what? Uh, charisma check. This is a flat charisma check. Uh, that's gonna be a nineteen plus six. <laughs> golden rod. 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 Okay. <laughs> It's different than my name, and I guess that's funny to children. <laughs> Why did we do that? Yeah, now, that was weird. That uh, was kind quick of funny announcements. The, got weird. Uh, uh, the vote came in. Uh, we're bringing prom king and queen back this year, so that's fun. Oh, A light geez. note. Maybe it can be Doreen and Egg for it. Whoa. Okay, it's gonna be, okay, <laughs> students. But again, this is I... not really a back and forth. It's more of an announcement like situation. <clears throat> uh, you see, he says, um, we are looking for some new kitchen staff and a guidance counselor, so if you know any adults, Is parents, this really so, I would think you would post this in the newspaper <laughs> or something. Uh, <laughs> You're asking me if I know any. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I get that again? <laughs> <laughs> it's effortless, no more needed. Another applause, he says, Okay, uh, okay. Um, Goldenrod is falling apart. Uh, you see, he says, <laughs> we will also be introducing um, uh, a new system to, for safety purposes. Uh, please give a warm uh, round of applause for one of our very own seniors and the head of the AV club, uh, Mr. Biz Glitterdoo. Um, you see that uh, senior who's this like very like, chubby little uh, pixie, he's about like a foot tall. He's got like a little t-shirt that has some like eight bit pixel thing on it and butterfly wings. He's got like little, uh, like sort of thick glasses and like a little like spike of hair, long sideburns. Um, sort of, like little chuck, tail, kind of converse -y sneakers. Flies up uh, and he goes, uh, hey guys, uh, wow, super exciting to be addressing the school. Uh, AV Club spends a lot of time behind the scenes, so you can imagine how excited I am to uh, come up here and shoot the breeze with the number one uh, student body in Elmville. Uh, Woo! Bruce, you see, he looks at you, <laughs> he looks at you and says, yeah, this guy gets it. He makes a genuine eye contact with you and immediately is like, I like this guy. See, he goes like, yeah, all the, right. The so, ball, don't encourage it. <laughs> the so ball. he goes, uh, so basically, we're gonna be taking uh, a lot of uh, dream crystals and we're gonna be putting them up over the school. These are just basically gonna be recording uh, clairaudience and clairvoyance information, so just sound and picture. Uh, it's basically just a security system, so we're gonna be able to see what's going on at the school uh, so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen again. Uh, <laughs> 
Wow, um, Riz, you really turned on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. Like, you see that? Uh, Pick a side. Uh, there's a drow kid in the very back who's like a, like a junior or something who goes like, Police state! <laughs> Fucking police state! Panopticon! Uh, you see that uh, <laughs> the drow goes like, that fuck yeah! Yeah, dude. You see that uh, Biz goes, oh, it's okay. I see that we're having some negative reaction. That's understandable. Actually, guys, it's super cool. And if you're interested in learning how it works. Uh, applause. <laughs> go ahead and make the Christmas check. Great. Uh, 10. Uh, you clap a little bit, uh, and you see the other people turn to look for you because they're confused if you like this or not. <laughs> mm. Damn it. Uh. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, question. Isn't it true that these crystals can be magically manipulated? Oh, dream crystals are extremely complicated pieces of arcana attack, but they are a, a, a very skilled or proficient technician. So is gonna... perhaps a member of the faculty? Huh? Well, Why is we... the... Why don't we have this conversation with him later? Yeah. 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 All right, this seems more complicated than I was ready for, and I'm not prepared. So I'm gonna leave it there. Let's go, owl bears. Hoot. Growl. Hoot. Growl. Hoot. Growl. Growl. He looks so psyched that that worked. He just it's weird that we say growl grows. rather than actually growling. Uh, and growl flies out growl. of there. Um, you see that uh, he dips out of there, uh, and classes begin. Uh, what do you guys do during your first break? Okay, I would like to go to find the lost and found, um, and I'm gonna take some of like the old clothing and the lost and found, and I'm gonna throw it over these crystals. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, awesome! Go ahead. Are you gonna try to do it stealthily, or just or just fuck it? Stealthily. Uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Nine. Um. Uh, you you throw a jacket from the lost and found like a hoodie from the lost and found on. Golden Horde walks right around the corner, looks at you, and goes, <laughs> "What's the deal, Fig? Huh?" I don't know. What's I should deal? be asking you that. God <laughs> damn it! Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you, all right? You know, I actually took a class on managing, you know, um, students that are, you know, you're uh, attracted to. <laughs> all right, bye, bye, and he just runs down the hallway, and then he turns around from far away and says, "You stop that! I am." You stop it! Uh, and goes, um, uh, after a couple minutes, uh, you see that a uh, uh, woman walks over to you who looks like a member of the faculty. Um, you see that she's got a sword coming up over her back. She's got like a shield on her left arm. Um, uh, kind of like seven league boots. She looks like not in the like vibe of this place. She looks like she's been coming out from like ranging for a long time. Um, she comes over and says, Fig. How's it going, pal? What's your name? Uh, you can call me Ms. Jones. Ms. Jones. Um, uh, it's good. Yeah, I've got a really productive thing I'm doing. Okay, but we can't allow that to happen, right? Because the school has kind of decided on this, so... The school has, but where do you weigh in? Well, I'm a member of the faculty, so I do what the school does. I'm not asking what the school thinks or what a member of the faculty thinks. I'm asking what you, Ms. Jones, thinks. I like it, and it's a good idea. All right. Cool. Do you have a class to be in? Probably. It's, it's day two. I know you had a, a wild day yesterday, but do we think maybe there is some chance that you would like attend a class? Actually, what does Porter teach? He's a barbarian. So. The Earth Genasi. Yeah, he teaches. Uh, Could I audit a barbarian class with him? To see if I want to yeah, be a we don't want to tell you guys how to live your life. If you want to multi-class, that's fine. You can do that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna audit one of his classes today. Perhaps. Uh, cool. You head over to Porter's class. Um, uh, you, I imagine Gorgug is there, I'm, right? I'm in that class. Cool. Uh, I'm here to spy on Porter. You just walked in the middle of the class and told me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it loud. I said it really quiet. Raw, raw. Everyone settle in. Uh, we're talking today about rage. Yeah. Now, what does rage mean to you? I don't, you weren't asking specifically me, but I well, don't you've, know. You've elected to start talking, so. I know, I heard myself out from outside myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's, what's everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> everyone just give them a minute, just give them a minute. Um, they're just ready to be, I don't know. I don't know what, I'm, it confuses me every day. Okay. It confuses you, yeah? So, what's confusion then, right? What does that feel like? Um, 
like when you when you it's when your brain just doesn't understand what's happening. Yeah, there's a there's like there's a wall there, isn't it? Yeah. Now, what you feel like when there's a wall that's stopping you from getting where you want to go? How does that start to make you feel? It's like not good. Like it's okay. Bad. Yeah, not good, but yeah, bad. When you right, so you come up against that, and there's a bad feeling, right? And you can't get what you want, right? And there's something in your way. What do you do? Well, my mom and dad would say, sing a song at it. Like, Let's see what everyone else in okay. class thinks. <laughs> what other people, what other people kind of think. Okay. Uh, young lady, what, what do you think about rage? What do I think about rage? What do you think about it? Um, well, I kind of think it's inevitable. Because, I mean, like, People really let you down, left and right. So you're always going to feel rage. It's just a matter of whether or not you use it productively or just whether or not you control it or it controls you. A small tear forms in the corner of his eye. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. That is amazing. Thank you. Uh, Please stop. Get out of my way. <laughs> That's like a song my mom... Or my Please dad don't. was. Jake feels bad Please for him, stop. so she tries to play along with him a little Please bit. Please stop. Don't get out of my way. Don't, don't, don't. Is it get out of your way or don't get out of my way? It depends on if, how much they're in your way. Even in your song, you're, you, you don't want the obstacles to remove themselves. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just was trying to. She, her answer is so right. I wanted to piggyback off of it. <laughs> Well, you know what, we're gonna take a break. Here's a little tip. Generally speaking, barbarians don't use words like piggyback. Can I just secretly give him some bardic inspiration? Because uh, I yeah. feel bad for him. Go okay, for it. You've got some bardic inspiration. Uh, the, sort of the, the strum of the bass guitar kind of fills you with a little bit of purpose, and it's nice having Fig around. At least there's someone here who gets you a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's everybody else doing? Uh, I think I'd like to track down the AV Club guy. Cool. Uh, you go over to the AV Club. Um, uh, you walk into the AV room. Uh, there are like crazy copper wires and these like weird crystal screens glowing. There's like a weird golden like gun camera thing. Uh, it's all like glowing and humming with different arcane energy. You see that Biz is here in his t-shirt. There's also a very lanky Aarakocra, like a bird person with like wings and long face. Uh, and you see that there is a uh, what looks just like an anthropomorphic turtle. Just like a turtle person. Okay. Um, turtle person's kind of <laughs> at a little thing, tinkering something at a table. <laughs> and you see the bird guy is kind of like moving wires from one part to another. This weird like brass cooling engine for some kind of crystal technology. Right. You see, Biz turns around and says, "Hey, can't we? Uh, dude, hold on one second. He starts looking in a bag for something, and he takes out a business card and hands it to you. Uh, well. Boy, do I have something for you. What the <laughs> hell? Give me a break, dude. <laughs> oh, God. What's up, man? Riz quietly wonders if this is what he's like. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, I mean, the AV club seems really cool. Like, who let you, what faculty member was, like, giving you all this stuff, letting you do this? What, what faculty member? Yeah, like, you guys got, like, who's the head of the AV club? Oh, well, I'm the head of the AV club. Yeah. We had to file for the club. Uh, we had to go and approach Principal Egg Four and Vice Principal Golden Horde, um, and then uh, Coach Daybreak checks in on us from time to time. But just because we like record games and right. stuff like that. What? Who? Whose idea was the camera? The the crystals out. Watch everyone. Oh, that was like the uh, police and Vice Principal Golden Horde were talking about that. That might be a good idea. Okay, interesting. Cool, very cool. Dude, do you want to join, dude? Mm, yep, <laughs> I do. I do, I think dude, this is really good dude, for me. give me that. What's up, man? Yep. Yeah, that's awesome, This man. is awesome. <sighs> cool, well, uh, orientation. Uh, why don't you, just, we're kind of working on some stuff right now, but orientation's gonna happen like tomorrow, because we might have some other students just like drop by, because we had like some interests. Like people have been, you see that the uh, Eric Cocker turns around and goes like, it's been crazy here. <laughs> people have been coming in left and right. It's been nuts. <laughs> 
if I met you guys yesterday, I'd be so pumped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you see some business. Dude. <laughs> Man, where are my banners, dude? Uh, these are my two boys. <laughs> uh, this is Scrank Douglas. And you see the bird person says, Scrank! <laughs> Scrank! Uh, <laughs> uh, I carry a briefcase. That's my thing. Exactly. Here's a business card. Takes it. Yep. And he see he says, uh, and this is Shelford. He's kind of the bad boy. Uh, you see that Shelford turns to you and goes, The turtle. What's up? Hey, Shelford. Yeah, whatever. Oh, man. See, he's a, don't worry about him. He, uh, he's he got a little bit of a shell emotionally. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, sick, man. Yeah. Sick. Did you have, uh, do you guys have one of those crystals, like, outside? Could you see if, like, you know, somebody was hanging out outside the school or anything sure, like that? Sure, we have some front-facing cameras for sure. Can I, Can I see? You see, he says uh, he looks out and he starts uh, dipping through some screens, kind of adjusting them or with sort of like a cantrip or something like that. Uh, and you see the different images come up of like around the school. Basically, it's like a security cam, you know, okay. CCTV kind of thing. Yeah. I'm looking to see if uh, Johnny Spells is there creeping on anybody. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check for him. Okay. Fourteen. Um, you see that. Uh, out by the parking lot, even though it's it's uh, like sort of the in, interim between like between periods right now. Um, out by the parking lot where you saw Johnny Spells yesterday, you see Penelope Everpedal by herself, standing sort of under a tree and checking a little watch. Uh, make an insight check for me. Uh, ten. Um, she looks worried. Generally worried. She's like checking a watch, looking around, rubbing her legs. Uh, it looks like something's wrong. Okay. Uh, well, it was great meeting you guys, and I'll be back for all the meetings and such. Oh, awesome, dude. Dude, do you, uh, do you like any games? Do you do like gaming at all or anything like that? Um, a little bit. I do uh, mystery games and such. Oh, yeah. awesome. Very cool, dude. Mystery games. Yeah, man. You gotta have like a Sherlock vibe. Dude, that could be like your nickname. I need to go right now. <laughs> but this is really fun, you guys. <laughs> All right, man. You do it, dude. I'll see you, buddy. I bolt out. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, and I'd like to try to find one of these guys or see if anybody's out. Uh, I'm going to say that you guys, actually, that there's a free period and you guys all find each other. Okay. I just need to real quick make sure you guys know that I, I think something's up with Porter. He wasn't surprised when he saw the crime scene. I Porter. was. I stayed in the cafeteria yesterday and he didn't do anything while they were there. But, but he wasn't surprised. More pressing, there's a dude named Johnny Spells, and he's rad as hell. Uh, and he rides a motorcycle, and he's a Tefling, and he's got... Sorry, what? <laughs> he the rides... Man? He's this dude, he's rad, he rides a motorcycle, uh, he's got these magic powers, and he drives around on his Does motorcycle, and he like creeps fertile? on girls. I, yeah, he definitely fucks. <laughs> What? He definitely what are, what fucks. He rules. What does he this rules, but I think he's a. He think he's like a guy. Okay, look. Do you think he has something to do with the corn? I, I, he might have had yeah, something to do with the corn. Look. Okay. There is one of the popular girls is out there waiting in a parking lot. I think something might happen to her if somebody doesn't get there soon. Should we all go to the parking lot? Well, I'm going to go to the library and I'm going to find out about the faculty because I don't trust these people. I'm telling you, I'm going to go to the library too because I'm going to get. I'll, some I'll come ball. out to the parking right. lot with you. All right. I kind of. I don't want to go to the library, but I don't want to do the other thing. So I might just sit here. <laughs> Where is Penelope? Where is She's Penelope? She's in the parking lot. Okay. Just feels like is she like sitting on a bench or anything? She's the standing motion. there waiting for something. So. All right, I'll go outside. Right. <laughs> How do you want to handle this, the ball? I've got an idea. I'll go, well, do we want to kind of try and... We want to see what's going on. If you want to pretend to be her friend or something and see what's going on with I her, got, we can just hang I back. I can do you one better. I well, can, are you going to become see really Johnny well. Spells? No, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to pretend to be blind and stand next to her. Oh, okay. oh, oh brother. Oh, brother. She's, you're a cool girl. She's a cool girl. Just go talk to her like a person. I don't know if I can go back into that life. From I mean, yesterday? 
<laughs> no, I'm saying like that life of like she's Popularity. a different type of. Okay, oh. she might be kidnapped right now, so I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Cool. I'm coming. I'm cool. coming. Who's going out to the parking lot? One, two, three. And then we have oh, and four. Uh, We're going to the parking I, lot. Like, you two go to the library. Uh, Adine and Kristen, you guys head to the library together. Um, Arrive at the library, you open the doors, and once again, you see there's the restricted section over to one corner, and then big towering columns of books, ancient grimoires of magic, tomes of forgotten lore, and uh, you see there's a small, small human librarian woman who's walking around stacking books. Excuse me, um, yes? are there any books on uh, Maybe the history of the school and also current faculty members? The history of the school and current faculty or members? Files or anything that we might be able to read? We're just new to the school and we want to find out about mm -hmm. it. We love, we love this school so much. Yeah, the more you know. Uh, uh, you see, she says, and any of the books while we're at it or no? Uh, yeah, there was a, a big um, deathly tsunami on the island of Falunel. And oh, no, I just want to read about the history of that, and I'm just kind of obsessed with why bad things happen to good people. Because I never really, I got to meet God and he just refused to answer that question. So I'm just gonna do a little reading on my own. All right, cool, okay. Uh, and Fort was in my backpack, but I was cool about it. Oh, and if you have anything on the, uh, are there any news reports on, on what happened to the Elven Oracle whose ship Collided. Newspaper, periodicals. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is a school library, but if you want you to You have a newspaper at the school library? Well, we have a school newspaper, but it wouldn't have any information about hmm. shipwrecks. You're well, welcome to, I can write a pass you to go to City Hall and requisition the microfiche. Uh, maybe later. Maybe Just later. Just the other books for now. Um, she goes off to look for some books. You see that the librarian returns with a couple books. She says, uh, these were the books I was able to find. Uh, this has some about the founding of the school. Um, the Aeons of Solace, which is a tome uh, referencing the history of the nation of Solace. Uh, the, I couldn't find anything about the f full faculty, but the only book I could find that sort of fit that was an autobiography of Arthur Egfort. Uh, Abracadabra, look at me now, my life in magic. And you see that there's a book with like a glossy Arthur Eggfort on the cover that looks like a kind of like tell-all like memoir. <laughs> um, uh, this is from the restricted section, but not because it has dark magic, it's just pretty spicy. <laughs> Uh, you see, she uh, hands it to you and she says, and uh, this is a, a, a people's history of Falunel. Um, it's a, uh, basically a history of the elven continent uh, written from the perspective of dispossessed peoples and the marginalized, so it's sort of a, uh, a contrasting point of view to some of the more documented histories. Uh, it's a lot of information about kind of grain and economy. Hmm. It's pretty dense. A lot of people hit that sort of first year of college. Uh, this will help in my search for deep answers. Yes, it should. If you if you really crack in there, you'll find some. You'll find it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Um, thank you. And she goes back to stocking books. Um, we'll dip out to the parking lot. I, I think maybe I should hide in one of your backpacks because I'm the ball, and I don't yeah. think this cool girl's gonna want to. Yeah, talk hide about in my it. backpack. I'm gonna go over to her with my flask. I, I'm, I'm gonna friend. I'm gonna oh, cast right, yeah. friends. Can I, Can I cast backpack? friends on the liquor in my flask? Um, uh, so that anyone who drinks from it will have friends cast on them. Um, that's for sure not how the spell is used, but I'm gonna allow it because it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just stay kind of by the edge of the parking lot because I I can see very I have good perception. Cool. You guys approach Penelope. Um, uh, go the ahead and make a stealth check. Oh, you can get, you can get in my backpack. Get in my backpack. The ball. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, 16. Fabian, don't cool. drink from this. I, 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 I um, don't drink. I'm not going to drink from that. Uh, you walk up to her. She looks over at you. Cutting class. You see, she says, sorry? Are you cutting class? Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> we um, are as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was being rude. You want some? Make a persuasion check if you'd be so kind. <sighs> Gladly. That's going to be a 20. Not Nat. Not Nat. Um, you see, she goes, you brought alcohol to school? Yeah. Uh, Are you oh. worried it's going to make you seem cooler and make it more likely that you become prom queen? Oh, you see, she looks yeah. at you and says, um, 
I'm sorry, you're a little freak, and I love it. <laughs> Can I get some of that? Yeah, absolutely. She takes a hit of it, she says, oh my god, that is so good. Yeah, it's peppermint schnapps. <sighs> Minty, I like that. Yeah. Um, you see that she hands it back to you. Uh, she says, um, well, what's up? Are you guys like, Hang out in the parking lot too, trying to cut a class. It's like, if yeah, A4's not here. Like, what's even the deal? Yeah, we're what? actually uh, we're actually here waiting for somebody. Wait a minute, you're that kid who like sliced it up on the field yesterday, right? Uh -huh. Guilty as charged. Can okay. I just say, like, I think it's bullshit that you're not on the team. That's <sighs> crazy. You are too sweet. Your dad is Bill Seacaster, right? <laughs> Again, guilty as charged. <laughs> uh, well, that's rad. I mean, I'm sure you guys are like just biting him from inside his back. <laughs> you see, it's like he. Uh, you see, <laughs> stop. <laughs> so she goes like, she goes like, um, and this is like a freaky question because I'm like so much older than you guys, so you probably have like your own parties and stuff. But like, I have like a birthday coming up. If we were ever to have like a party and like we couldn't have it at my place for some reason, do you think your dad's place would be like an option? Oh, 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 guilty and shocked. Oh my god, that doesn't apply so there. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it, it, it doesn't grammatically uh, fit to what I said. No, I, I, I mean, I was just, I was just, uh, I was saying, of course. When yeah. is your birthday? Yeah, when is it? My birthday? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's May fifteenth. Oh, so you don't have a birthday party coming up right now? That's like at the end of the. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I thought you were like, saying you later. had like a birthday. Uh, you know what, it doesn't matter. Of course, like I, my parents are always away and like traveling, so like we could totally hook something up. Like it, it was sure, of course. Oh, that's awesome! I'd yeah. love that. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Um, what are you doing out here? I'll make an insight check, both of you. Can I make one too? You get one at disadvantage because you're in a backpack. <laughs> can I make a perception check? Can I both my head yes, out? you can. <laughs> Eight. I only Eight. got five. Oh. And that one. I got a 16 from far, what well, you far away. What is it? So you're across the parking lot. She looks, you cannot hear what they're saying, but you see a facial expression that looks like deep hurt and worry. Um, <laughs> Should have gone over there. <laughs> you see that she says, um, so, I don't know, I'm waiting. My friend Sam Nightingale is being really weird, and she's hanging around with this guy, Johnny Spells. Mm. And oh, is he the tiefling who rides the motorcycle? Yeah. Is he like old enough to be one of our dads? The other kids said a dad thing the other day. Do you guys all have like dad stuff or what's no. the deal? No, Absolutely I mean my father's Bill Seacaster. Uh, after. <laughs> sure, but like you might still have dad stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, have dad stuff. I mean, <laughs> if we're speaking candidly, who doesn't have dad stuff? <laughs> well, I don't have dad stuff. What is he doing right? I mean, he just like raised me and just like was very loving and attentive. I don't know, he's like a solid parent. All right, I stand corrected. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> so is Sam, is Sam, Sam's yeah, Sam coming, Nightingale. or is she? You see, it says, um, it's just weird, because like, she didn't show up to school today. Um, and she like always does, so I'm not super sure, like. So you're just kind of like, playing the friend part, being like, are you coming? Well, I like here. shot a little message to her crystal and it was like, I didn't get a response back and it's been like 10 minutes. So it's like, what's going on? Like it takes two seconds to send a text message. Totally. Weird. Where does she live? Yeah, where does she live? <laughs> also, um, do you know where Johnny lives? Johnny doesn't live anywhere. He hangs out at the fucking gas station by the highway. Oh, like all like often? Like if we like went there in the evening, would he be there or? Sam and he have been like, sort of going steady for like basically the whole summer. Mm -hmm. And he for real is like, I've never even seen him lie down. Like I don't know if he has a home or if he even sleeps or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, he like obviously like is around town a lot. He hangs out with like a group of dudes that are all like sketchy. Do you know what I mean? Like, Of course, yeah, yeah totally. Uh, they sound cool. But like, I know that they're like, he has like a souped up car and like, it's like a super fast car and he has like his motorcycle and stuff. And there's like a garage over by the highway. Um, but like, it's a really seedy part of town. Like only fucking losers live over there. Sorry, I, I'm just, I'm wondering, like, are you saying that you're, like, worried, like, do you trust Johnny, or what, what are you worried about with Sam? Make another persuasion check with advantage this time. Okay. Can I make a perception well, check? Well, it's going to be uh, 24. 13 or, on my It's going to be 24. 24. You see, she looks at you and says, 
Do you remember a girl named Penny Luckstone? Riz throws up in your backpack. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I see the vomit says, dripping from your backpack. Did your backpack just make a fucking? It stinks Dude, did in your here. Tupperware uh, spill? Yeah, of course. My Tupperware spilled. What kind you know, of gross fucking lunch does your dad pack you that you fucking? It's he's generally eating. It's just a lot of citrus and raw meat. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go clean this out, but. Yo, hey, hit me up if you ever need that party, all right? All right, uh, I, I actually, uh, do you mind if I leave my backpack here? I'm gonna go grab. The back, I would rather you stay and the backpack go. Okay, you know what, actually, uh, I just <laughs> chuck my backpack. I like throw it, I like throw it. I aim for I him. Get an athletic <laughs> track and try to Can I try and okay. throw it? You <laughs> hurl it. And I, and I had just rolled it and I got a, uh, I got a 10. You got a 10? <laughs> you, you make an athletics check, you have to be at a 15 to get it to where, uh, uh, Oh, nope, nine. <laughs> uh, so you go leap for it, Gorga. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that you, Riz, take, uh, six points of damage oh, as you are hurled skyward and slam into a car. Oh, oh, glass shatters. Oh. Wee, 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 wee. I'm gonna I'll, I'll just grab the backpack and run. <laughs> she Penelope looks at the princess. She looks at the princess. I think that freak loser just stole your backpack out of that car you hit. Oh, what a fucking loser. Oh, uh, that get that back, you fucking freak. No, What's you your know, deal? You're wait. a fucking creep. This kid's no, a fucking creep. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, I'll take care of it. I'll, and then I pretend to throw fire at him, but it's just thaumaturgy. Am I allowed to do yeah, that? Yeah, for sure. So I'm like, I'll take care of it. But it's not, it doesn't actually, it's not fire. You see, she goes, Jesus Christ, you are a fucking insane bitch. <laughs> and I fucking love it. Yes, yes. I, yes. I just I run around you. the corner. Uh, I'm crying. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, and okay? there's no clothing left yeah, in the lost have... and found <laughs> for you to change into. Can I have like some of your shirt? I'm small. No. You can have like a crop top. I just start biting his shirt <laughs> with my collar <laughs> to make a crop top so I can wear like a toga. Um, Fabian and Fig. Yeah. Uh, you see that Penelope says. Pointless. She's probably not going to show up. Like sometimes she gets a ride here with Johnny, um, but like it's just so weird. The relationship is so fucking weird, honestly. Um, yeah, especially because since he's like old enough to be someone's dad. I don't think he's old enough to be someone's. I mean, he could be someone's dad. Okay. But he's like honestly like very weird about that stuff. Like Sam honestly gets pissed at him because they like haven't like done it. What? He's like extremely weird about it. Everything I've heard about this guy is that he fucks. <laughs> no, like straight up, he like the I thing did that hear like that he fucks. we both heard he fucks. <laughs> yeah. No, I know that everyone hears that he fucks, but I'm telling you, like, it's like yeah, he mm -hmm. doesn't. That's the thing. Uh -huh. That's so weird. Yes, of course. It's like honestly, I get it. But you guys, are, you guys are like young. You guys are like 15. Right? Oh, no, I'm 16. Actually, I just oh I'm, cool, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm 17, I'm, but I'm turning 18 oh, and... Totally. Right. Of course, I'm partying at my house. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm 15, but I started partying like pretty early, so yeah, I like... I fucking believe it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my you know, God. Actually, potentially, I'm gonna go uh, get my bag, uh, but it was so good to meet you, and like, yeah. to you totally Jeez. have my vote for prom queen. Let's I totally party. Yeah, let's, let's party. Totally party. I let's heard party. a lot of people are trying to <laughs> get... Did you fucking cast a friend's spell on me? No. Yes, you fucking did. Are That's you kidding me? I used up all my spells like yeah, it was on that, that freak dude. kid. Friends is a fucking cantrip. Do you not go to school I don't here? have friends. Like I don't have that spell. Yeah, you're not gonna have friends when I'm done with you. And she turns around and but walks Penelope! <laughs> uh, can I, can I cast after? friends on her again? <laughs> uh, you can go for it if you like. If you look at friends. <laughs> I know, I know. It lets people know that you've cast it at the end of it. Uh, it wasn't me, it was that freak. You see, she turns around, make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Disadvantage, okay. I got a 10. A 10? She turns around and says, the creep did it? Yeah, maybe. Penelope, I'm I just know saying he that was creep. Fine. That's like so. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Oh God, uh, 15. 
That's totally his game. Honestly, I'm so sorry I freaked out. I'm just oh, like in this place totally where like my cool. best friend is no, like with this fucking guy who hangs out at the gas Penelope, station. Of course. I'm gonna make sure that that kid dies. Okay. Die? What? No, but like socially. No, of course. Like yeah, socially. Of course. Oh my god. It's so hard at adventure school because you want to like use hyperbole, but no, fucking people are always yeah. like. Can I make a perception we... check from around the corner? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I get what? A 14. 14? Yeah, you hear that. <laughs> uh, wow. We're gonna go. Like, will you totally hit us up if there's like yeah, any? Yeah, just let like, us know if there's a party. Yeah, we're honestly like worried about Sam as well. So if you could just like, let us know how if she's okay and like if you hear anything, that'd be so honestly, dope. girl. I'm just gonna say it. The thing I'm most interested in is this Johnny Spells guy and how he doesn't fuck. Like, so honestly, I'm like, what's going on spread there? Spread the word. It's so, yeah. so crazy. Fucking so I definitely got, just like, like the jacket and everything, and it's like fucking. If there's a party, just invite me so I can be like, what's up with you? You don't fuck. Yeah. 100%. Anyway, totally. See you later, later, Penelope. Bye. All right, Jamie. Same thing. Later. Bye. Bye, kiddos. Hey, Riz, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck I was that? I am so sorry. I, I had to. What did you say about Penelope? What did you say about Penelope? What did you say about Penelope? Don't fuck you, dude. Don't fuck my fucking backpack That's my babysitter. My babysitter's missing. Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. He hangs out at the Akron, uh, at the Archon gas, uh, gas station and garage. He has a car we there or something like that. We don't know anything about Penny because you threw up in the bag and we had to do damage control. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Speaking of damage control, Gorga, a shirt, totally a shirt, cab. Uh, and then you guys... and Kristen walk out with your books at this moment. Oh dear. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, fine. Uh, was... Good in some ways. Ew, I, I, yeah. Can I use? Can, you can use I cast mend? mend on their clothes? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, thank you. We are already oh. not very popular, and I just joined the AV club. <laughs> you joined the AV club for all the day had to. We socially murdered you. We socially what? murdered you, and I'm really sorry. Why? But it was good because now so we're it. in with her. So worth but it. that's not good for me. I mean, you weren't like you weren't gonna fucking climb very high in the yeah, first place. Yeah, let's be so, honest. But yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Gorgug and I will play the nerds if it means we can solve the mystery. Okay, play the nerds. Sure. Okay, uh, but we, we might have to act like we're unpopular, but can I join I the AV club? I guess. Yeah. Sure. We oh, did you guys are looking something... for a club. I actually run the oh, oh, fellowship oh, of uh, oh, Helioic. Athletes. I found some books. I drink my own flask, and I'm like, oh shit, why did I do that? <laughs> what what, <laughs> what kind of books? What books did you find? Uh, there's a book oh, so about the history of the school, and then there's. Uh, Professor Eggfort's autobiography, which apparently is a little spicy. Ooh. I yeah, don't know what that means. Section. I bet he. Um, Fucks. I bet he fucks. Yeah, he fucks. Speaking fucks. of people who fuck, Johnny Spells doesn't fuck. Yeah, that was actually Johnny crazy. Spells doesn't fuck? Johnny Spells does not yeah. fuck, according, supposedly. That's, all, that's what wanna, you found out? This maybe guy, he's this saving himself guy doesn't for fuck? marriage. Well, if these people are disappearing and if he has something to do with it, maybe... Where is I'm he? I'm saying a man who... Maybe I, he thinks that if he waits, then that night... <laughs> Oh my god. Right. I, I think we oh, waited meet. so long. Kristen, you your pants are punching up in the weirdest way. Please stop, Kristen. <laughs> All right? Guys, meet at Crom's Donna after school. Okay. 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 Does anybody want to just like figure out how to go over there together or? Yeah, I could use I'll a come with you. Yeah, I oh, could wait, I can't be seen with you around. Yeah, we also oh, wait, we talk to one person me. before we leave? Yeah, who? Uh, there's this uh, dwarf. Uh, who went on a little spy mission for me yesterday, much like you guys just did. I'm sort of a pattern of behavior You're for me. You're not the boss of this group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Don't, 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 don't we want to know who, where these yeah, but you can't people are? slip into a de facto leader role, all right? Yeah. I'm not so saying. Weird. Yeah, you seem to be sli you I was outvoted last time, and what? I was right. Yeah, how about you go talk to your dwarf girl, and we'll go do right. whatever the fuck we I want. I think we were. I think talking to Goldenrod worked was out. Was great. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, you want to go talk. All right. All right. I just want to find out what happened. By yourself, or um, do you want to bring said, the new AV club member? I said anybody can come. Okay. I'll go. Why don't we just see if we can find her? Cool. You go take a look for her. Um, uh, you uh, go ahead and make an investigate check. Sure. Uh, bad. Nine. Uh, it's okay because it's the easiest thing in the world to find. It's a DC five check. Great. You see, this dwarven girl is laid up. Uh, in the nurse's office, oh. um, she's on a bed. Uh, she's got her like fists balled up and is drooling. One of her eyes is kind of like, oh, oh. Uh, and you see that the school nurse is like tending to her, and that her father, this sort of like um, uh, out of work, kind of shabby looking dwarf, kind of like he's got like almost like a Carhartt jacket and like big boots, is sitting next to her. Um, 
the nurse comes over. Uh, you bring us one nurse. Uh, her name is Fatima. Um, See, so she walks over and says, "Hey, are you guys all sick? Anything from yesterday?" We are just checking on our friend. Is she okay? What happened to her? You know, ostentation. Yes. Uh, you see that uh, take it, it takes you in. Um, you see that ostentation again is covered in jewels, and you see her dad is again this like very working class looking dwarf. You see he's holding her hand. He's like, "Anything for my baby? Anything? I give you anything, sweetheart. Eh? Anything for you?" Um, you see he looks up at you guys and goes, "Riz, Riz, want to use Riz?" The ball, yeah. <laughs> My name's Paul. Uh, he's, what, what, what's, what's up with Riz? Uh, he reaches into her hand, takes out a crumpled piece of paper, and first of all, it's written in Dwarven. Okay. I do not speak Dwarven. But. I have Comprehend Languages. Sweet. Uh, and you can ritual cast that, so that's no sweat. Um, in that case, I'm going to hand this to Siobhan, who's the only one who can read it. Sweet. Um, there you go. You see, he says, she just, she she got knocked out. She just, uh, last night, she, she, uh... She, At school or after school? No, she came home, made a cup of tea, and then, you know, went to her room, and I came in, and she'd fallen down. She was whispering and, and acting crazy. It was like she had hit her head on her desk. She'd fallen, but she wrote out a note real quick, and she said, Riz, a couple times. Did somebody cast a spell on her? You see, um, he says... No, you see, the nurse says, um, uh, some form of poison, we think, which is unusual. Very powerful poison to affect a dwarf at all. Huh. Uh, this is... We should go. Uh, <coughs> we should go. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go somewhere else. Let's go get flowers for ostentation. That's yeah, fine. That's let's a great idea. Let's go get flowers for our friend ostentation. I have a flower. Oh, let's go get uh, more of them, though. Yeah. yeah we don't need Can like, I just yeah. give her this flower? Yeah, right that's fine. Yeah, I cast true. glow on the flower. And see, the, the father says, oh, she'll, she'll love that. Thanks, kid. I appreciate that. Hey, there you go. Um, you see, he uh, tucks the flower in the little corner of one of her necklaces, and he pats her head, uh, and she looks off going, uh, is she gonna be okay? I asked the nurse. Sweetie, you wanna ask me that right in front of her dad? I didn't. Why don't you guys go get some flowers, huh? All right. Take a little yeah, hike. Okay. Yeah, I'll All see you guys right. later. Okay, what does it say? Okay, so, I mean, I think our spelling is pretty bad. Or maybe it's just my, my dwarven isn't good enough, but uh, it says Penny, but spelled P-E-N-Y, and then Johnny, I think, but J-H-N-Y. And then crystal, but crystal spelt. Stop! I don't care about the spelling. What does it say? Penny Johnny Crystal Palimpsis. Do you know what a palimpsis is? I know a palimpsest is a grave without a body in it. How is it spelled? But it's not spelt like this. P A L Y M P S I S. P A L M Y. It couldn't be Penelope, could it? I don't think so. Well, it says palimpsis, crystal. Penny, Johnny, crystal, palimpsis. Was or was crystal the name of the other? No, no, no. I think crystal crystals are crystals are, are being phone. installed. Right. It also might be a name. Yeah. It looks like a name. But all of the other spelling is so bad that I don't know. Just gonna say, if you look at the first, if Penny and Johnny. The so words that are missing us? are N and O. Yeah, you guys are being watched by Crystal yes. right now. Cool. So what Let's is get out of the school. Yeah, <laughs> Can yeah. we go to the library and look what look up what a palimpsis is? Or let's uh, let's I mean we can let's we'll, I'll off. go back I to mean, the library yeah. with you and then we'll meet you guys. You guys head back to the library. Uh, go ahead and make an Arcana check for me. Both of us are just. Sorry. Uh, you can make an Arcana check as well if you'd like. Uh, 24. Oh. Ooh, hell yeah. Um, you race to the library, Adine. <laughs> you mage hand a book off a shelf <laughs> into your hand, open it up, uh, and you find the definition of a palimpsest, which has a couple of different definitions. Um, uh, first of all, it is spelled incorrectly. Um, looking at the script of the hand here in the library, like under better light and better conditions, uh, you see that it is, uh, uh, not only is the spelling wrong, the letters are shoddily written. 
right? Mm -hmm. So it's everything looks bad about this, right? Oh, okay. Um, uh, a palimpsest, in addition to being a grave without a body, is also a uh, sheet from old books prior to printing presses <gasps> uh, that has been scrubbed clean to re-record over. Um, so a palimpsest is can be a thing of like, here's a thing, uh, here's a page full of script or illumination. We shear the page, like old sheepskin pages, for example, sheared clean uh, when we want to rewrite a book or make changes or amendments or do other such things. So both in the definition of a grave and in this first definition of palimpsest, it is a thing that was full that has been wiped and made empty. Can I we cast thought... identify on this piece of paper to see if anything Cool. Any you, other things uh, pop up on it? You guys identify, no reaction from the paper. It looks like just a scrawled piece of, of parchment. Okay. okay. So. And is crystal spelled like the phone? It's spelled C-R-I-S-T-A-L. Exactly. Do we know whether or not Technically, it's that's... not spelled C-R-I-S-T-A-L because it's written out in Dwarven Futhark. So it's, it's oh, okay. misspelled it's in misspelled the Dwarven runes. in Dwarven. Okay. Cool. But I don't know whether that's just because a she's name. an idiot. And Crystal's not a name, is it that we would know from like the missing people? Not a, not I mean, a name. Always could person. ask Penelope. Uh, yeah. Well, we know it says Johnny, so we, maybe we should still follow that. Just maybe we yeah, don't know the answer we right at now. The, um, can we run I'm and just, meet them at the thing and talk. I'm just gonna point out. Yeah, yeah. I think that we should we should leave school and yeah. talk about this. All right, let's oh, go. Before I leave school, can I go talk to the sorcery teacher? Yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah, you find Jace on their way out of the school. Great. Hey, Jace. Yeah. Hi. I'm, hey, what's up? I'm Fabian. Uh, I'm, awesome. a, I'm one of the new students. Awesome. Hey, uh, can I? Can we speak candidly for a second? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm one of the uh, the students who was impacted by yesterday's events. Yeah. Uh, and it was just really hard for me. Sure. Uh, sure. And you know, I just there's part of me that just really wants to see justice served. So I was wondering if, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, if you ever hear anything about what's going on with regard to that investigation, I just would love to kind of, I don't know, I know that you're not supposed to tell students everything, but... Make a persuasion check for me. Uh, 15. See, it looks at you and says, what you're asking for is uh, very out of order. And guess what? Out of order is what we look for at this school, okay? Jace, I just If knew. you were interested in the proper channels, you wouldn't be at Egg Fort, man. And the fact Thank that you. you get it this early is huge. Thank you. Uh, and I really appreciate it. I mean, truly just from like the bottom, like from like a very real place, it just means a lot to me that, I don't know, it was just very hard. And yes, it was very hard. Yeah. And this, you, today, you're making it much easier. I bet. Hey, I bet. And you know what? You know, this world is magic. Life is magic. Uh-huh. I'll be real. Great. I see magic potential in you. Hey, Jason. Jason. Oh, Are so we done? Good. Yeah, I just, okay, yeah. We're done here? Yeah. Cool, man. Later, dude. Take it easy. Hmm. Um, you head out of there. Um, you guys I'm going to pop my uh, head in and wave goodbye to the uh, to Porter, the barbarian that I just audited the class Cool. Of. You leave, uh, he grabs you as you're leaving and says, uh, Phoebe, uh, I just want to say, um, you know, I know you got the guitar. Yeah. Um, come by class anytime. You know, because I mean, Thanks, obviously, yeah. I'm sure you want to, you know, check out the bard classes. Of course, you should I check know, it out. I really should get to that. Have you not done it yet? No. You might not be a bard. Maybe you're a barbarian. I definitely, you know, everything you were saying, I was really relating to. And so I definitely think I will be stopping in again. You have a lot of potential. And I, I don't say that lightly. Thank you. I'm sorry I sang earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it just. No. You were there too. <laughs> I've been quietly standing here for a minute. Gorgas he he also has total potential. <clears throat> do you, is this a friend of yours from? Bob? I was in your. Do you? I was. He was in the class. You, you sang. That's right. I'm actually yeah. in your class. Actually yeah. in, the, in the class, right? Mm. Well, keep at it. You know, uh, you got uh... potential. Were you gonna say I have potential? <laughs> <laughs> what was the rest of the come center? by sometime, Gorgug. Mm. Hey. Keep at it, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time. And you see that he walks away. Um, <laughs> so heartbreaking. I think I think he just is. I think day. he just is. He's like, trying to think of the word. The potential. word he forgot the word potential. I think. Um, yeah. I want to write a little note to these guys, or find a corner that it, is it pretty safe to assume that there's kind of crystals everywhere that we're kind of yeah, be watching no matter what. I'd like to write these guys a little note. Um, I. I write five full notes. 
Um, <laughs> very verbose. Uh, basically just asking, should we consider going into the AV club and trying to erase the footage of us talking about this stuff? Do we have a sense of if it's like, it's like CCTV, like it's not recording every conversation people have, it's just people just Did chatting. I get yeah. any sense of that while I was in there? You did not. You don't know how it works. I don't think And we... not only do you not know how it works, you don't know if you would know how to even erase it. You could like smash the machines around. I mean, uh, worst case scenario, we could pay all of them, but uh, I mean, I don't think there's any right, point. Just I think paying them would be admitting You guys that. head I mean, off I mean... to the diner. Cool. Um, Fabian, you order a car for the gang, you guys pile in, travel down past the highway to Crom's Diner, a glowing neon and formica temple to comfort food, 24 hour a day service. You guys walk into the front door past the little gumball machine with those little sweet candies all throughout, with little taking, you know, copper pieces instead of quarters, and you guys walk up to a booth, red line, you guys gather all around, and you can look out the window to see the tieflings gathered around their motorcycles in front of the garage. Yandi, the halfling waitress, a little bit older in years, moves from table to table, offering up crawlers and knishes and dwarven stew of some variety. You guys take a seat and order a bunch of milkshakes, which you are all happily enjoying as you survey Johnny Spells and his gang. Okay. I've actually never had a milkshake before and I'm not talk telling any of them, but this is like a major thing for me. We don't have sugar in my house. <laughs> okay, so the ball, any thoughts? I mean, should we check out the garage? I'm saying I feel like I'm a tiefling, they're tieflings. Agreed. I can kind of casually, I can distract them and you can go sneak in. Um, you guys hear from out there, you hear a guy say, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's enough, Tony. Come on, lay off of him. And you see Johnny goes, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, knuckleheads, break's over. Let's get back to work. They walk into the garage, open a door, um, and you guys see that deeper in the garage, um, you see that there is a full dance studio with a wall, a mirrored wall, and like a bar up against it. And you see the tieflings start taking their jackets off and stretching. Uh, and then one of them closes the door behind them. Okay, so I what? need to know more now. All right. Okay, I am fascinated. I mean, yes. Um, I mean, there's there's reasons outside of. Uh, I the, thought it was a chop shop. Yeah, but uh, well, I don't know. I, I think I do agree, Fig, that you will blend in with these people uh, better than oh, any okay. of the rest of us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Choose your words okay. carefully. These are nothing. I actually right? see. I find that I can fit in with anyone. Who's a good dancer? I mean, uh, I play music. I'm an acro I'm very flexible. I do a dance with a scarf that represents how the world can taint you. I'm speechless after what you just mind, said. Yes. You haven't even seen it yet. Wait well, a here's second. the thing okay. is... <laughs> Christian, Christian, okay. Christian. Okay, actually, you know what? I want to use Thaumaturge. Is the door locked or unlocked? It's too far. This is all the way across the oh, street. Okay. So okay. they're now inside. You can't see them anymore. Yeah, they're yeah. inside. I think, I think we, we should just to... go spy. Can we talk to the people that work here? That's sure, you can talk to Yanni. Yeah, yeah, that's a good no idea. We can stop dancing. Please stop dancing. What? Yeah. Wait, it only has oh two color splotches on away. it from greed, from greed and sloth. Away. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Can yes, you tell us, uh, please, about the garage that's across the way? Oh, the garage, yeah. Well, those boys hang out over there. Those boys? What do they do there? They're, um, they're a little rough and tumble, you know? See, maybe we were mistaken, but we thought that perhaps we saw them dancing in there? That's right. You know, they uh, when they rumble, they do a whole dance before. When, when they, they rumble, rumble, when they fight? Yeah, they do a little fight. They come out, I seen them, a bunch of sort of half-orc bruises came by one time, and they said, hey, you know, we, this is our turf. And they just started going, pa, cha -cha, pa -cha, cha -cha. and they started doing this incredible they dance. Are, they They're, are the Jets. What? The, the Jets. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't catch that reference. So they, they danced and, and then they They're beat them up? They're a dangerous gang. They do a dance. I heard it. They, that, that, and that I was the fighting. Was the, there was no fighting was after they're, any... bar, they're bards. They're... Was that? No, they do bards? a dangerous dance. It's Does, scary. Is it it's magic? so muscular and the dance it's magic. Scary. What's that? Do they kick it with their magic. dance It is magic. I was moves? transported. Was it actual magic? Because surely, Fig, demonstrate a magic musical 
Okay, I use thaumaturgy and I play my guitar and I'm and I make the a tremor happen in the. And I instantly diner. pull out my scarf. Stop. Okay. Um, so, was, was it like was it like this or like this? Uh, you see that the uh, uh, Adine, the milkshake you're drinking from, ow, gets hit by that tasty cord. There's a little thing of like liquor, a little like airplane liquor bottle in the top of it now. Um, you see, and she goes, wow, that's pure rock and roll. Thank you. Yeah, it's like that. You're welcome. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Okay, so they have some kind of thing tonight. They have a fight tonight, This is that's what this means. Oh, good so I want to see this so stay, bad. Yeah. If we stay, first off, we should try and spy what, on what them. What do you mean they have a fight tonight? Oh, um. No, they rehearse all the time. Can I get another curler? You think you could just ex- <laughs> You think you want another? Can we just get around a crawler? Can we get around a crawler? Should all get in? There's only one crawler. But yeah, just get say. You think you can just jump into a dance extemporaneously? No, you have to rehearse a lot. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Do a threatening gang dance. You gotta put the work in. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, that crawler. Right, there's no need to be rude, but please go get our crawler. Oh, six more crawlers. She walks away. And fresh ones. I don't think. Please don't come back. I don't think it's actually rock and roll to be rude to wait stuff. I'm not being rude. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't trying to be rock and roll. I was trying to. She was eavesdropping. Also, let's be honest. Too they're wait stuff. <laughs> well, well, come on. Uh, okay. Well, well, I don't know. No. They're wait stuff. Uh, we're we're not on the same page here. For being quashed. I got a, uh, I got a 21. Now I got a nat 20, Seven, baby! 20. Um, 20. Which turns uh, into three. a 22. Uh, you hear a voice coming from the garage that whispers to you through your vibrating guitar that you just played, and the strings whisper to you, save me. Uh, guys, we gotta go. Go where? We what? gotta go to the garage. Why? Someone what? needs to be saved. What? Uh, yes, we need to go to the garage. A what? whisper just came through my guitar. I don't know if you guys heard, but it said, save me. Was it like I a heard, halfling voice yeah. in the guitar whisper? Do I know? Do I have any kind of idea? No idea, voice boy said save me. <laughs> okay. Not sure. Just a general guitar whisper? Just okay. a general right, fine. Then how are we going to go about this? All right, that's the real question, right? Because all the six of us running up on this garage, I mean, these boys Wait, look you scary. Wait, you guys, <laughs> listen to me. Can I do inspiring speech? Uh, absolutely. Go ahead and take it away. All right. We're probably gonna have to go in there and encounter what we already did, which is corn cuties. Corn <laughs> cuties. I <laughs> worship the corn, and yesterday I had to see its perverted, upside down. It's gonna get inspiring. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, she's standing on the table. It's so. really hard, and it was very confronting. Uh, yeah, sure. My whole thing is praising Helio. Uh, who is a corn? Yeah, sure. Yesterday, maybe because my Bible went into the corn, the corn went evil and at us. Okay, I have a lot of questions, not a lot of answers, but I think that if we go in there, we can save that person. Maybe not through Helio, but through some sort of good in this world that I worship. I'm getting more into a like, one love place in my life. Um, like maybe it's not just Helio, maybe there's like a lot of gods, or maybe there's just like the glint of good in everyone's eye, and we all can decide to follow that or not. Um, I have a lot of reading to do, but anyway, um, something it's has been. Get inspiring. Yeah, something. Don't worry, I'm ready to clap at any moment. Something has been like giving me a lot of power. You guys all witnessed it, right? You made jokes that you were going to be yes, religious we, yeah, soon. Yeah, yes, we did. I just, I just know that I have been praying for you each night, uh, each of you individually. So one night. One night. Uh, it's been one yeah, night since I. Met us. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, before I even met you. I prayed for the friends and the company that I would keep when I entered this school. That's and uh, I want the best for you, and I'll always heal you. Uh, <laughs> you will. Uh, I will. You and will. Um, yeah, so uh, if you would just take my hand uh, and let's close this out. Uh, let's pray. Uh, dear, really big God, maybe not Helio anymore, because you were kind of. You kind of looked like you've been, you've date raped. Um, <coughs> anyway, uh, something better than who I met as a god. Um, please be with us as we go in there. Uh, and thank you for this day. And thank you for this food. 
Thank you for Amen. your gifts. Uh, oh, okay. You all gained five temporary hit points. Yes. Yay. Now, was it the prayer or was it the crawlers? <laughs> Ow. Uh, what do you guys do? Oh, can I? Can I yeah. recover any of the hit points yes, from my? Oh, That's a short rest. That, I guess I'll do if it. he does that, I might do. How much do you Song need? Song of rest is plus yeah. one to six, and that's what you can use that as many times as you want. I can. Um, I think so, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Woo! I get a D8 hit dice back, and I'm I've lost six hit points. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think we're gonna take another short rest. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah do it. it. Okay. Okay, five. so I got five, and then what did you give me? You get a D6. Roll okay, another sweet. D6. So <laughs> I'm at full, and then great. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, everyone full. Full yeah. plus, and then five. plus five. Great. We have a plus five temporary. Dang, you bitch. guys. Uh, you I'm a guys, healthy tiefling. Uh, so, you guys exit the diner. Uh, you head over. Is any particular person in the lead? Because you still have your detect magic, so you can see. I think we, I'm gonna be in the lead I, just because I'm a tiefling and I can always play dumb and just pretend like I want to. If you, we get. Do we want to maybe have you? Try to talk to them yeah, so while they're distracted. I'll try to sneak should. in. Me and Riz can sneak in the back. Yeah, I, I think we should maybe try to spy first. I don't first. want to split up that much. Yeah, I don't think we should split up entirely, but I think we should see if there's any windows, try and spy in. If that goes bad, I'll throw myself, and then if there aren't any windows, then I can knock on the door and be like, I'm a tiefling, and I just want to get to know other tieflings. Okay, want me to, maybe I'll do a quick round around the back of the garage and come back to these guys. Cool. Make a stealth and an investigation. Okay. And I will go with him. I yeah. think that okay. makes sense. Cool. Stealth is 24. Ooh, right. my stealth was 7. Okay, no worries. My investigation oh, is God. 12. My 12. investigation was 9. Uh, you stumble and fall out on your way, but these guys are dancing up a storm in the other room. They do not notice. You can hear them being like, Bruno, Bruno, when I'm here, you gotta be here. You understand me? I'm at, I'm at this, all right? Bam, 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 bam. Kick and flip and turn. You understand me? What's the f Hey, don't fucking talk to me that way. I'm trying, all right? You're more limber than I am. Uh, you see that uh, peeking through a window, you see something that you wouldn't have noticed, but it is glowing with arcane power as you gaze at it. There is a crystal that looks like it has been scarred up or scraped somehow, some way, as if by magic. There's like little fractures all throughout it. Uh, you cannot see this. You see a figure of a young girl made of arcane energy putting her hands up against the outside of the crystal from the inside of it. Uh, Next to that, with your investigation check, you notice a small crate that is open with some tea leaves in it. You also see a set of keys on the dash where that, of that little workbench. Tea leaves and keys. Okay, we will go, let's go back and uh, talk to these guys. So we go back to them. So we saw what we saw. Okay. Uh, that girl was sick, that girl was poisoned. Right. With yeah. tea leaves. But you stole you a tea stole from the, the vice president. From the president. Or the principal. vice president. <laughs> from the principal. They were and trying and to the place it. The principal was saying terrible. this tasted terrible. They're trying to. They were trying to. So he is to, good. If, they were if trying someone's to, against him, he is good. Yeah, they were trying to poison Eggfort. Or is Eggfort bad? No. These Egg, guys are good. Eggfort's These good. guys have a girl trapped in a crystal. Yeah. I don't oh, think yeah, that's good. scary. Yeah. Maybe that's the crystal that she was talking I, about. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. scraped like it was... Uh, right. But, but they must have also been responsible because the, the other word, palimpsis, yeah. is a... Is a um, scraping clean, but how did those girls no, no, no. know about it? I know it's what you're saying. Was it that piece of paper that yeah. was in the corn? It could have been, or it could just mean she's in this crystal. Yeah. You guys are right near the front of the open garage. There's the workbench with the crystal on it, a set of keys, a little skull dangling off of them, and then that thing of tea. You hear the noise of the oh. dance rehearsal in the other room starting to wrap up. Okay, Should we steal I'm those keys go, in that crystal? You yes. guys go yeah. steal it. I'm gonna go knock on the door and just try to distract them. Great. Can I use Mage Hand to um, grab the I crystal? I think it's gonna be- You can use Mage Hand to grab that crystal and those keys right now. Great, okay. I do that. You get the crystal in your hand, you grab the keys, uh, you see that there is a sick hot rod 
right so the, there. You guys want to go for Let's a ride? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Is there anything else? Can I look Maybe around? Maybe let's get a team to get a stick so that we can get an anecdote. Uh, 27, 25. Uh, you see there's a little tea bag right next to it, but it has a little letter drawn in a script you don't recognize two Johnny spells. Mm. Okay. Grab that grab the police. Yeah. Uh, cool. You grab it. You guys hop in that car. As you hop out, the, le- the door opens behind you. You see Johnny at the front look out, and one of the smaller tieflings says, Johnny, they're getting in your car! Does anybody know Johnny how to drive? See Johnny Spells goes, all right, gang, <laughs> let's rumble. Oh. Everybody roll initiative. Right. Woo! Up here? Oh. Oh, is it that? Yeah, roll it up there. It's oh. going to be a four for me. Uh, me too. Oh, a natural one. <laughs> uh, Mine's a two. Thirteen. Uh, hold on to your rolls, gang. That's it for this episode of Fantasy High. End. Tune in next week, and we'll get started with a little rumble, courtesy of our old pal, Johnny Spells. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Let's rumble. Oh my god, we stole a car. We stole a car. I hope you break your leg, bitches. <laughs> Can someone stuff Riz someone in a bag? He lands on the back of the car. Let's get it, boys. Must be a dead center of the highway. <laughs> <laughs> Conquer this world of mortals. Guard's definitely yeah. gonna explode. Yeah. No, fuck. I'm, I'm not gonna... wearing a seatbelt. Why am I wearing a seatbelt? You see, this dwarven girl is laid up uh, in the nurse's office. Oh. He reaches into her hand, takes out a crumpled piece of paper. It says, Penny Johnny Crystal Palimpsis. Deeper in the garage, there is a full dance studio. I need to know more now. You hear a voice coming from the garage. Save me. Uh, guys, we gotta go. There is a crystal with the young girl putting her hands up against the outside of the crystal from the inside of it. You get the crystal in your hand, you grab the keys, there is a sick hot rod right so there. You guys wanna go for That's a ride? Yeah. Absolutely. One of the tieflings says, Johnny, they're getting in your car! Johnny spells goes, all right, gang, <laughs> let's rumble. to another episode of Fantasy High. Last we left our heroes, they were speeding down the highway in a stolen hot rod. So Um, rad. So fucking rad. As you guys leap into the car and peel off, you guys see that the tiefling greasers rush to their motorcycles. You have a few seconds as Fig peels out of the garage parking lot uh, to talk about what you're gonna do. Oh my god, we stole a car, we stole a car, we stole a car, we stole a car. Yeah, yes, we, we did, we stole a car. But, okay, they're after us. Um. I turned the mute. <laughs> I, t- I turned the radio on. Okay, I think mean, that's not helpful for you. Just drive! Okay, who can do What's with the crystal? Who has the crystal? Who has the crystal? Uh, and we are in combat. Right. <laughs> uh. I'm still, I'm just looking for the right song. Looking for the heavy metal Focus station. On the road, please, Vic. Mm. Oh, um, NPR? No. Uh, I'm going to need um, uh, Riz to kindly make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Nine. Johnny uh, speaks to you as <laughs> motorcycle speeds up. He goes, Hey, kid, don't you want to be cool? Why don't you pull that car over to the side of the road? Great idea, Johnny. Uh, and that's going to be uh, Fabian's turn. Uh, Riz still is, is, like appears to be acting normal. Acting normal. Okay, great. Uh, I uh, I uh, I turn. It's like it's a convertible, right? I can. You guys are in the sickest, dopest hot rod. It goes everywhere. Smells like leather and a little bit of brimstone. Mm. You are peeling through this neighborhood over across the highway from Elm Valley. This is where the Fayeth home is. Crom's dying at the gas station. Woo! There's like some sea, like garbage and stuff around here. Uh, I'm gonna use my hand crossbow. Uh, to try and uh, strike the uh, the second, the one just behind Johnny. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack roll, man. Uh, 20, uh, not nat. Uh, 20 is going to hit. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and give me your damage there. Of uh, 10. Hell yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, this is Mr. Spike Chain right here? Yeah. 
don't, um, I don't like that spike chain. <laughs> <laughs> the second guy? This guy? Yeah, the second yeah. guy. Uh, you see, he's going, yeah, let's get it, boy! <laughs> <laughs> right into his throat. <laughs> Hot, fiery blood comes oozing out of his mouth. He looks fucked up. Um, Woo! I, that uh, amps uh, me uh, up uh, I think. Uh, uh, Gorgug, that's going to be you. Okay. Uh, can I make an inside check on top of... Is that my turn? Go, no, right. you can make a free inside check. Uh, I'm going to take a... Because I, I want to look at that motorcycle and see if I can understand it more. That's alive. Go, go <laughs> That's, ahead. Yeah. Um, is that an is it insight? Uh, uh, that is insight, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, 18. Um, uh, the, it is a pure hell beast. You have a feeling that some kind of creature of the lower planes has been bound into this motorcycle so that Johnny can ride it without having to steer it so that he can cast his spells. But okay. you are familiar with hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is, yeah, like, did I, hell I start thinking about on, that. Go, on I, him? I start thinking about that and uh, it freaks me out so much that I go into a rage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and I throw a hand axe at the skull of that motorcycle. <laughs> At the skull of the motorcycle. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and throw. All right. So that would just be um, advance. Okay. So one. Okay. I got an eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, it's a dead-on hit, but there's some. It's very very hard. So the skull surface. You go whoo, bang, and you see a tiny crack appears, but it doesn't deal full damage. You get the, the sensation that this thing can be hit, but it will be very hard to deal damage to this. Gotcha. Um, that's going to be Riz. Do, am I under Johnny's control? You think that the smartest possible thing to do would be to pull this car over Fuck. and hash ah, this out. Can I fight against this at all, or is this just? You are allowed to interpret that whatever way you want. Uh, uh, you don't have to enact violence on your friends, but you got to get this car over to the side of the road. Cool. Fuck. Um, I hop up to the front, I guess, with those guys. Mm -hmm. The fuck are you doing? I think we should pull over. Uh, Riz, what? I don't, no, let's not. Oh, fuck, Riz. Uh, can someone stuff Riz someone in a bag? Him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna physically. It. I'm not gonna physically make you stop, but I think that you should uh, pull over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it some thought. Yeah. Great. I turn the radio off. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, Riz. Uh, if you feel like your friends are not listening to you, that's your action for that round. But uh, these guys need to. You gotta get that car over to the side of the road. Um, uh, that's going to be uh, Adine. Um, I would like to cast as a non-ritual, identify on this crystal that I'm holding. Uh, uh, rad. Um, you cast identify. Um, uh, immediately, you... <laughs> the crystal swirls around. Um, you hear a voice saying, Hello, Adine. It is I, the raw force of your arcane intellect, here to talk to you about the exciting things to discover about the nature of this crystal... Palimpsest. Oh, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> the palimpsest is a form of dream crystal, an arcano technology used in Ooh, acquisition. Speed it up. Ah, you will find. <laughs> Basically, the crystal palimpsest is used for storing information. Now, most crystals, dream crystals, are monitored by the Council of Chosen. However, it is possible to remove the enchantments by using arcane techniques to scrape away those divinatory elements so that a dream crystal may be removed from oversight of the council. This process is involved in the creation of a palimpsest. Is that bad? I am raw intellect. Your moral weight <laughs> has no effect on me. Oh. Pure data! That school I was sent to was bad. <laughs> I don't know what that means either. Uh, that's is there something be, trapped inside? Sorry. Uh, that's going to be, uh, yes, you sense that there is a person trapped inside this, basically. Right. One person? One person trapped inside this. Um, that's, uh, that's not going to be Fig. So Fig, you can take your turn. You're also driving. 
Um, uh, driving is going to take your movement for the turn. So you My have movement. A, okay. You have an action and a bonus action. Um, the uh, the main thing for you to watch right now is I need you to make a perception check, if you'd be so kind. Okay. Meh. 16. 16. Uh, you're, uh, so you are approaching an intersection. Um, so there's a stop sign coming up ahead of you on the road past here. The speed of this combat is occurring so fast that tactical movement on the board would be impossible. So you guys are just flying from road to road, basically. Now, uh, what I need you to do, knowing there's an intersection coming up, is I need you to decide if you want, you have a couple actions you can take. I'm gonna tell okay. you the different actions you can take with your movement. You can floor it which is just accelerating, which is gonna mean that they're gonna have a harder time catching up with you unless they also floor it. You will have disadvantage on steering if you do this. Okay. You can cruise, which is going the same speed you're going right now. You can hit the brakes, which is gonna give you an advantage on steering, but it's gonna slow you down, letting them catch up. Uh, or you can move evasive, which uh, slows you down, but gives the car a plus five to its AC. Can I cruise, but lay on the horn? You may absolutely cruise, but lay on the horn. That okay. is totally fine. I'm gonna cruise, but lay on the horn. Um, but I still have an action and a bonus action, That's right? That's correct. Okay, so uh, I turn the radio up. Uh, it's uh, Rainbow in the Dark. Um, <laughs> it's glaring. I look in the rear view mirror and I cast Sleep. On, uh, oh my god! All of this. This is a 20 foot radius, yes? The, uh, yeah, 20 foot radius. Hold on a second. That's a good idea. Uh, oh okay, tell me God. where you want this. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna do it on, uh, let's do it on all the lackeys. Jesus Christ. Hell okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I get to roll my D8 five times and that's how many people it puts to sleep. Uh, you get to roll your D8 yes, five times. That's how many hit points of people it puts to sleep. Oh, I see, okay. Hit. Two. Eight, um, 11, uh, 18, uh, 22. 22 hit points worth of people. Uh, you see that uh, this guy with the arrow in his neck and the guy with the crowbar right next to him each fucking dip. Oh, mighty night. <laughs> um, this guy fucking takes Does it all, hurt them? Because they fall off. This guy takes all the way off into this bench and crashes into it. Uh, this guy is going to uh, fly off the side of the road this way. Uh, Johnny's gonna have to make a dodge attempt to not get hit by the <laughs> motorcycles going off the road. He swerves out of the way as the guy with the spike chain flies off the side of the highway. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and do uh, 3d6 points of damage for each of them. This guy is, uh, this chain guy is straight up fucking dead. You watch him dip into a ditch off the side of the road. His whole spine snaps, you can all hear it. Oh, Bam, oh, gone. Oh, um, uh, and the other dude who goes into the bench uh, is extremely fucked up as well. Uh, uh, oh, Johnny! Um, uh, you see... What a pussy. <laughs> I'll never dance again. <laughs> oh yeah, I hope you break your legs, bitches. <laughs> uh, and then uh, uh, for my bonus action, is there anything else, any other business there? No, that's just okay. your spell. Bonus action, I'm gonna give Bardic Inspiration to... Not you. <laughs> I'm gonna give Fabian to Bardic Inspiration. Let's get it. What does that mean again? He, uh, he can choose to add a D6. In the next 10 minutes, he can add a D6 to a roll. Oh, cool, cool. Hell yeah. Just to an so, attack yeah. or ability, a not cool. a damage, though. Oh, cool, cool. So I look in the rear view mirror, make eye contact with Fabian, I give him a wink. Uh, I feel feelings I've never felt before. <laughs> Uh, and try and uh, get, try and uh, get back to the matter at hand, but, and very much. What was that? What, what, what was that? What does, what does that mean? Is it like a thing? I don't. I don't know. Uh. You see that the greasers behind you uh, draw a bunch of weapons. Three of them draw arcubi, different pistols and stuff like that. Uh, they take some shots. Uh, what is your armor class? Eighteen. And what is your armor class? Thirteen, but I'm raging. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I take half damage to certain types of attacks. Ooh. Does it qualify as one of the types of attacks that 
is halved? Or? Uh, he misses you anyway. Oh. You guys, see that you're actually your armor class is a little bit improved as well because you're ducking in a car. Oh, okay. You're like looking at the back Ooh. of a car. Um, uh, one of them, however, does. Uh, so one of them hits you, Lou, and deals you. Who is Lou? Who is Lou? I am Fabian. <laughs> uh. um, you see that this dude with the flaming sort of orange hair in the back pulls out an arquebus, pops you for uh, seven points of damage. <laughs> Oh. Uh, and uh, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, seven. But you could add I could a d6 add. if you wanted. I don't actually, what's happening? I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, oh, it's a seven. I'll take the seven. Um, you take the seven? Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, you see that the bullet enters your body and you immediately feel <laughs> a rush of fire inside of you. Oh, God. Uh, um, maybe I should have taken, oh. the, should have taken the more inspiration. Uh, uh, you feel a sickening, infernal thing. As the bullet, you see the guy behind you goes, ooh, bullet burn. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you're gonna let no. him get away with that? <laughs> Absolutely that not. That was so, <laughs> wow. Uh, some kind of weird, infernal, fiery dance magic is happening in your body. Uh, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Got it. Yes. Um, For how long? Uh, 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 you are under the effect of the poisoned condition. Got it. Um, then uh, another one of them uh, hurls something at the car. Uh, I'm gonna need everybody to make a dexterity saving. Throw. Oh, cool. I have an advantage on dexterity. Shit. Oh, oh fuck. 15. Uh, 18. 6. Oh, I got a nine. 19. Um, uh, who here got a 12 or above? I did. You guys each take one point of fire damage. Mm -hmm. um, the three of you each take three points of what fire if damage. I'm resistant to fire then damage. Then you take uh, one point of fire uh, See that one of them goes. <laughs> and a Molotov cocktail and a little liquor bottle whoosh, smashes. You see that Johnny turns around on his motorcycle and goes, hey man, that's my car! Um, the team goes, sorry Johnny, I'm just trying to stop him. <laughs> uh, that's now going to be uh, Kristen. Heck yeah. All right, I'm going to oh, cast yeah. Bane on Johnny and the next two tieflings. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Rad, they're going to roll some saving throws, I believe. Yes. Right? Uh, charisma saving throws. Uh, what is your spell save, DC? Spell save. I would like to give Johnny the uh, my three divination oh! on that saving throw. Oh! 14. <laughs> 14 is my spell saving. Dude, um, that's awesome. Uh, that is so fucking rad. Uh, uh, so they made so fourteen is your saving throw for them, mm -hmm. and it's him and these two guys. Mm -hmm. Rad. Um, you see these, and it's a charisma saving throw. Uh, it's fourteen. Kristen leans out of the side of the thing. You're casting Bane, so you're like calling down the yeah. anger of the gods. What do you say? Hey, my Helio, maybe <laughs> I cast you, Bane. <laughs> Uh, and you see that, so you're like leaning in this fucking wild curve, you lean and like hang out the fucking side of the car, and you see that as it's happening, Johnny raises a hand up to prevent the magic from happening, and Adine leans out the side of the car too, and eyes go blue, woo! You see Johnny goes, as fate and destiny twist around him, bam, affected by the Bane spell. Uh, you feel its effects also occur on this fellow with the ax right here, are both okay, cool. under Bane. Um, Awesome. So That's that means every time they roll, what happens? They roll a d4 and it subtracts from it. The beginning of the next round. You guys are <laughs> speeding through the intersection here. Johnny Spells pulls up alongside you. Make a dexterity saving throw, if you'd be so kind. Dexterity you'd... saving throw. That's gonna be 16. You make your saving throw as uh, you see a car coming through the other way, pulling out of the stoplight, full of a whole happy little halfling family. Oh my oh. god. Uh, but the horn. You're laying on the horn. <laughs> uh, um, uh, you see that you approach the intersection, uh, laying on the horn, fucking music blaring on the radio. You're slinging spells and axes and bolts out of the car as these tieflings come up alongside you. You hear, you see up ahead this little halfling. He's got like a little thing on his foot to reach the pedal, and he's got a little thing to help him see over the back. And he goes, 
All right, kids, we'll be at ice cream soon enough. Diner's just down the <laughs> wall. <laughs> uh, no. And you uh, slide and fucking fishtail Tokyo drift. Bam, hit the hydrant. Yeah! Whoosh, on the other side. Now we're going to make some saving throws for the tieflings to see if, if these happen. Oh <laughs> they kill all these tieflings. If they kill all these tieflings. They're going to make some checks here. I oh, love that bang off the hydrant. Great move. Great move. <laughs> Great maneuver. Can I, um, are, are the halflings rolling? The halflings aren't rolling anything. They're oh, okay. in a terrible situation. You're going to give them your high throw? <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll be yeah. fine. The motorcycle. Yeah, the that, motorcycle is the that's made out of steel, you know? That's like, uh, that's one of those classics. <laughs> um, uh, you see this car sort of uh, spins around this way. Boom! Uh, rushing past it, the tieflings all dodge and avoid uh, the vehicle uh, one by one. Johnny comes right up alongside you guys, right up at the driver's side window. Boom! Uh, up on the sidewalk. Uh, over here, this guy, I'm going to make his aim for him. Um, hold on. That's the, that's the guy who hit the bench. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he'll get fucked, right? Not the halflings. Uh, you see the tiefling right here in the middle of the street uh, makes a full-on collision with the vehicle. Um, he's oh. now going to make a dexterity saving throw. Holy shit. Um, uh, you guys see this event unfold behind you. The injured tiefling who's going, hey guys, wait up for me! As this happy family goes, oh my lord, <laughs> ever heard of a stop sign? <laughs> uh, the last motorcycle, bam, hits the collision, dealing not enough damage to hurt any of the halflings inside that sweet little car. Oh. Crazy Leo. How Are they still gonna get ice cream? Nice. That is for a different campaign. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, however, that tiefling on the motorcycle uh, makes his dexterity saving throw. I'm gonna make an acrobatics check for him. And he lands on the back of the car. He falls oh, over the halfling what the vehicle. Fuck? So you see that he must have rolled a freaking nat uh, twenty. He rolled a nat twenty. Uh, he smashes into the side of the car. Motorcycle up. He goes over the hoods and goes, "Ooh, daddy, play it cool!" <laughs> no. Bam! Lands on the Everyone back. Everyone has of a daddy thing in this <laughs> game. <laughs> Everyone has a daddy. Uh, you guys see. Um, uh, so that's just the beginning of the round in this next area. Johnny Spells uh, is going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Your condition is broken because it's concentration for him. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. A wisdom saving throw. Oh, 21! 21! Yeah. Um, yeah. You see, he pulls up alongside, his eyes glow bright green. He goes, hey, sweet thing, I'm unattached at the moment. What are you doing later? I'm not sweet, I'm sour. <laughs> <laughs> Angry little mama. Um, uh, his suggestion spell fades. Uh, that's Johnny Spell's turn, that's Fabian. Uh, I'm taking this man on the back yeah, of our trail. Yeah, he's already injured. Uh, yeah. All the way down. <laughs> That dude is going to hell uh, right now. Yeah, let's fuck with that guy. But I guess I'm rolling at disadvantage? Uh, yes, rolling at disadvantage. You are poisoned. So nine and six. Uh, six, uh, 12. Uh, 12? Uh, yes. You uh, uh, you leap up with your sword, uh, and the <laughs> fire spreads through your body, preventing you from fully... <laughs> and he ping, takes with his crowbar. Ooh, little man wants to rumble. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Ooh, I'm all loose and limber from dance practice. Oh my god. Ugh. You see Honestly that? though, man, this is kind of what you sound like. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I don't sound and like you this. You do, it's very no, flat. It's very presentational. Yeah, I know, I'm going to say papa. Yeah. I love my father. Oh, oh, Gorga, that's going to be you. I uh, I see this guy who's jumped on there and I'm so mad. I'm like, I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> and I roll, uh, ooh, I only get a uh, 12. <laughs> only get a 12? Uh, 12 is not gonna do it either. Um, so, <laughs> you whip, and you see he leaps over the ax and he goes, Ooh, play it cool, Daddy. Oh, oh. God damn. Honestly, I though, like, I could hear this you saying like, all of all this. All the time. <laughs> I can hear you <laughs> saying <laughs> every word. That's how I talk. <laughs> uh, you guys now see, uh, uh, so that's Gorgug. Uh, next action is going to be Riz. Uh, I turn 
to Fig and say, sorry, that wasn't me. I'm going to shoot this guy in the dick. And then I pull out my gun and I try to shoot that guy in the dick. <laughs> you guys standing on your car? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Uh, 13? 13's going to miss, sadly. <gasps> oh, motherfucker. Oh, Damn it. See, he does, he does a full like arch back. <laughs> you, see, I hate you can it. see his abs like pressing up against oh. the white undershirt. All right. These guys his have abs. zero. You can see his, a- we're all like, <laughs> you see his abs oh. through his jacket. I look at the oh. rearview mirror and I'm like, whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's going to be Adine. Um, I would like to cast Ray of Sickness on... Johnny, Ooh. and I would like to use my high roll, please. Uh, that, that, that's to hit, right? Yes, so um, that will be 14 plus 6. Which uh, my 14 plus 6. Oh, to hit him. So 20. Uh, uh, as your attack roll. Yes. Um, you hit. That's, that is a hit. Great. So it's 2d8. So 8 and 7. So 15 sickness damage. Uh, so constitution. And then he has to make a constitution saving throw and a failed save. He's also poisoned until the end of the next turn. And he has Bane on him, right? Yeah, and he has Bane Ooh. on him. Which guy? John. Oh, yeah, he's um, got a roll of D4. And you're using, you're using your, that's for your attack roll. Yes. So now he gets a minus four to this. So what's your, he got a 13. What is the DC for your spells? 14. Spell save DC is 14. Hell yeah, yeah! he's one away. Um, uh, <laughs> so he is now at Bane and Poison. So he goes up, you see he's like f- doing this weird magical flirting with Fig. Uh, you raise your finger and a stream, just, it's not, it would be cool if it was like magical like energy. It is pure liquid. It originates at a small portal at your finger and <laughs> like a four speed like foie gras duck uh, just down his throat. So sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> not cool, little mama. <laughs> Somehow, you calling me Little Mummer is so much grosser than you puking. <laughs> uh, 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 nobody steps to Johnny's. Nobody's. Nobody's. Uh, boys! Ow! Papa's hurting! Um, you see. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah, you did 15 damage? Yeah, I did 15 damage. God damn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Um, That's powerful. Powerful ass spell. Um, you see. Uh, bu- 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 That's gonna be Fig. And now you got to do your drive thing as well. So are you flooring it? Are you cruising? Are you hitting the brakes? Or um, are you going to I'm going gonna, gonna to keep cruising. Oh, for sorry. You can actually make a perception check okay. beforehand if you'd like. Perception check? I got a four. Uh, you don't know what the road coming up is going to be, so you tell me what you're going to do. I'm going to keep cruising, keep laying on that horn. Keep cruising, keep laying on the horn. You got it. Uh, so you take your action, your bonus action. I'm just going to look this is a cantrip, right? Okay, I'm gonna look in the rear view mirror at this guy and cast Vicious Mockery on him. Uh, what's the, Wisdom? Yeah. Uh, he fails. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, that guy's not wise. Okay, <laughs> he takes just two, just two points of damage. Okay. But he also has disadvantage on his next attack roll. Gotcha. Uh, these guys are getting fucked up. And then I'm gonna give Bardic Inspiration to... Oh, Gorgie. Gorgie. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I'm just so I look at, now I look in the rear view mirror and I and make eye contact with Gorgie <laughs> and I wink at him. What's, what's that about? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, cool. um, uh, rad. Uh, they're going to take some more shots at you. Uh, the guy standing on the back of the moving car, moving from side to side. Reaches out with his crowbar. He's going to take a swing at Gorgug. Does it with disadvantage. Uh, for Gorgug, will a 13 hit? My armor class is 13. Cool. So he hits. Um, uh, he swings at you and pops you for six points of damage, right. which is three points of damage. Uh, you see he goes like, hey kid, let me teach you the samba. Boom! <laughs> oh, so samba. <laughs> Huh? That's not what that dance is. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you see that the other teeth are going to take some more shots at you guys. Now that one of their crews in there, they're not going to throw another grenade. Um, uh, that dude. Someone throwing a grenade? Axe is baned. Uh, so three of them are going to take shots. Um, two of these are going to be shots at Fabian. Uh, both misses. One's taking a shot at Gorgug. Uh, that's going to be a hit. Um, he's going to go ahead and deal um, uh, six damage, which is now three damage again. I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. 
Just don't make the same mistake. Oh, oh, <laughs> use your bardic you inspiration. <laughs> oh, I got a six. Bardic oh, inspiration. Okay. Well, bardic oh. inspiration isn't going to get you to what you need, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Six altogether? Cool. Yeah. Um, you are under the uh, poisoned condition as well now. <laughs> um, uh, that's now going to be, uh, that's the greaser's turn. That's now going to be Kristen again. Great. Um, okay. I am going to cast Bless on uh, you three. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's cool. We're all that's busy. A, that's a smart person you know, to do. So, uh, yeah, they all have Bless. Cool. Uh, Riz, Fabian, three. and Gorgon? The three people with weapons. Cool. Oh, although, just throwing it out there. Well, she's driving. I'm driving, and I have to do all these saving throws. Oh, yeah, true. Um, okay, cool. Go so ahead and we... make the call. Okay, you two and Riz. So. Yeah, the ball. Riz is on our side now, ball. so. <laughs> yeah, the ball is back. Uh, ball is back, baby. Let's move these off the board. God, it's so it's nice having some hail. heals at some point. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of hit points goes What is everyone's hit points? 21. I'm on 18. I'm at 20 because of the 10 24. hit points. I'm at 26. The entire speech is down. Okay, steep curve. Wow. Steep curve. So the first thing I'm going to need is that saving throw. Ooh, is that saving throw from... Uh, uh, fig, a dexterity okay. saving throw. Do you have a bless now? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, we're looking at 20. Fig is like the best drive you guys have ever seen. Uh, fucking, yeah. you have time to light up a clove if you want. I do. <laughs> I take out the flask, but I think better of it. No, no, no. I'm thinking and driving. Uh, your little uh, spell energy says, very good to your friend. It's always a danger and never cool to drink and drive. <laughs> oh my god, my own mind is so lame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make some saving throws for these dope ass tiefling bikers. Uh, they all succeed on their saving throws as they wheel around. Uh, you see that the uh, uh, that guy up on top also makes his Acrobatics take this to stay on, which is successful. God. Are you taking Bane for Johnny's saving throws? Ooh, I need to take Bane for his saving throws. Hold on, let me actually re-roll his savings throw real quick. No, makes it. Um, uh, worth a try. Uh, worth a try. Uh, so, uh, you speed around the corner. Uh, the greasers have now pulled up alongside you. Um, Johnny Spells is going to go. Um, he looks at you, who's just poisoned him. He's now poisoned and baned. Jesus. <laughs> uh, he has the bane here. Uh, Adine does a uh, ba -ba -ba, 14 hit your armor class. It does. Um, okay. Uh, you see, uh, he goes around. Uh, ba -ba -ba, uh, raises up his hand and he says. Ooh, you think you're a big bad spellcaster? Well, get ready for a big bad spell. Wah! And a green skull appears in his hand, and he wah, hits you for 11 points of acid damage. Oh! Ow! <laughs> Thank you for that speech. Um, yeah, that's yeah. going to be. Um, Where are you at? I was at 18, so seven. Uh, uh, oh, that's right, you had those temporary hit points. Yes. Uh, that's not going to be Fabian. Uh, I'm dealing with this man on the back of the car. <laughs> I hate this guy I so much. I hate this guy. Please kill him. Uh, bless, I should roll after the, whichever is the disadvantage, I guess. Uh, 17. Oh, God. Wait, no, uh, come back. You can just re-roll it right now. <laughs> uh, and 14. Oh. Ooh. Uh, 17. Oh. 17 hits! Woo! Oh, yeah. Uh, Kill him. Which is it? D A D A D A D A. There it is. Uh, five, uh, excuse me. Uh, eleven. Yeah. Eleven, 11 damage. Yeah. Uh, this guy goes. Ooh, what you want to do in a big bad sword fight? <laughs> <laughs> and you skewer him right <laughs> through the head. Oh! <laughs> so you feel it crunching through like the keratin of his horns. <laughs> Bam! It's this golden rat basket hill. <laughs> oh, you don't have to call me daddy. My last just, words were daddy. No, they were. You, this should have you rethink your papa. No, okay, I'm not. I love my anymore. papa, all right? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, he falls off. Bam, 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 bam. Gone. Christ. Uh, you see, <laughs> Gorga, that's going to be you. Um, am I swinging distance to this guy? Yes, on you my totally. Left? Uh, you'll, you will uh, not get the cover provided by the car if you lean out to hit him. 
Um, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a reckless attack at that guy, and I'm mm. gonna just yeah. swing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. then you yeah. just yeah. Gonna, go so crazy. you're not advantage or disadvantage. You're just rolling one dice. Oh, I'm not. So your advantage your from reckless cancels out your disadvantage from poison. Gotcha. Oh, right, right. right. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, uh, 17. 17 hits! Yes. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's a d12. 1d12 plus 5. Oh, plus 5, yes. because I'm raging. Great. Uh, ooh, I hit him for uh, 11. Um, you see that you whack into the side of him, and jacket tears, blood comes out, and he goes, ah! Why you gotta crimp my style, green man? <laughs> Not crimping anything. <laughs> uh, badly injured, this dude. Um, beer bottle is uh, very badly injured. His name's Beer Bottle. I named oh them by what they're God. holding, Kristen. Uh, I can tell you Whoa. what their names are if you're interested in what their names are. Not I that you know. Know. Beer bottle. The names of the tieflings. Not that you know. ever got. You don't want to know. I personally. I named them all. <laughs> in case you want to know. What? Yes, I would love to. Who know. Who died yeah. first? Who was Spike Chain? Spike Chain was uh, uh, Tony Tanari. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Tanari. What was his home situation like? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> the other people, the guy you just killed, uh, was named uh, Billy Hellmouth. And the four others are Hot Hands O'Malley, Scorching Ray, Bruno Lake of Fire, and Barry Barbazoo. Oh, oh my god. god. I have words oh, with Bruno Lake of Fire. That's like an old family name. <laughs> oh, no, was one of them Howling Ray? Scorching Ray. Scorching His name's Ray. Raymond, but they call him Scorching Ray. That's hilarious. And all of their Howling own lives. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, just, you know, sometimes as a DM, you do work and people don't get to see it, and that's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, that's now going to be uh, Riz. I shoot that guy with my magic gun, the one that yeah. I hit, and I'm gonna fucking hit this time yeah. and do something Yay. because blessed, I'm blessed. Right? Great, 17, 23. That'll do it. Great. Yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. And he's within five feet of uh, this guy, right, Gorgog? So the sneak attack? Um, uh, yes. Dope. Ooh. Uh, so, 14 damage. You know, the problem with crimping my style is <laughs> full head off the side of his body, horn, ear, flies off. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's now going to be Adine. I would like to cast Witch Bolt on Johnny Spells, please. Uh, please go right ahead. Fuck, it's a nat one. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm gonna roll uh, a little It just here. makes him uh, radder. Uh, he just gets so <laughs> rad. He's just so fucking rad. Um, oh my god, I'm so wet. It like gets caught in the wheel and it's like spinning <laughs> and then it blows. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna need you to roll 1d12 damage if you'd be so kind. Oh shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Eight. Oh. Um, your witch bolt. Uh, flies out of your hand, shoots into the engine of the car, and uh, you see something break and pop and ping around in the engine of the car. Shit. And the engine starts making a very weird noise. Um, You've been a great driver so far, though. Elaborate. I think you can handle it. Uh, go ahead and make a, uh, we'll call this a, just a raw intelligence check. You're blessed. Um, oh, yeah, baby. Uh, seven plus four is 11 plus... Uh, well, I get to have Jack while trade, so I add another one. So, uh, 13. Uh, the issue is that one of the things in the engine has popped out when it shouldn't. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Me talking to I'm so any sorry, mechanic I'm so sorry, ever. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You see, it is now Fig's turn. Fig, uh, go ahead and make that perception check for the road coming up ahead. Okay. Uh, nat 20. Nat 20? Plus two, plus... Oh. Uh, uh, so it's actually 24. Nat 20? Nat 20. Uh, your choice. Intersection, curve, or straight away. Going up onto the highway. Going up onto the highway? Mm -hmm. Let's go on the highway, baby! <laughs> A lot of people there. <laughs> I think yeah, we can, maybe we can right, him. More I mean, it's we don't have to worry about hitting a car full of halflings. Yeah, you don't have to worry about steering highway. either, so you can floor it if yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna floor it onto the highway. Whoa. Awesome. Uh, now these greasers are gonna go. Um, uh, there are how many? Four of them? Mm-hmm. Um, you see that one of the guys goes, Johnny, I think it's time for this rodeo to come to a grand finale. <laughs> is that what happens at the end of the rodeo? 
course. <laughs> uh, you see this guy uh, leaps onto the hood of the car um, and is going to take a swing at you, Fig. Um, Bring it on, come on. What's your armor class? 100. <laughs> 12. <laughs> Uh, he hit clocks you in the head for eight points of damage. Bam! Over the uh, windshield. I look up with my face bleeding and I smile at him. <laughs> yeah. And I and also I use thaumaturgy and my eyes glow red. Although that wouldn't intimidate him. Whatever. I still do it. <laughs> um, this guy's gonna take a shot at you, Adine. Um, uh, misses terribly. Uh, next guy's taking a shot at Fabian. Uh, hits for uh, three points of damage. Uh, that's going to be uh, Kristen. Great. Um, can I use my staff and shoot power up in the air to try to land onto Johnny's skull? <laughs> uh, sure, what uh, character ability will you be using to do that? Uh, <laughs> staff <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, God, insight with my god. Insight with your god. Uh, you are welcome if you would like to uh, make, you can make a stab attack. There's actually guys right, there's like tieflings right outside. Interesting. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Using it as it's intended, but that's, you know, up to you. Um, yeah, which one? Uh, this do? guy's within range and so is this guy. Okay, axe. I'll do the not axe, the not baned guy. Cool, this guy, what does he have? He has a little beer, a little shattered beer bottle in oh, his cool. hand as beer well. Oh cool, beer bottle, I'm going for a beer bottle. Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll. Great. 13 plus 417. That's gonna hit, go ahead and roll Sweet. damage. Sweet. Uh, D6 plus two, four. Eight points of uh, awesome. damage, but it's uh, not. Hell yeah. Um, you crack, lean out and smack him across his forehead with your holy staff. Ah! What's your deal, Mama? Don't you want to learn how to jive? <laughs> Wouldn't you like that? I would not like to learn how to jive. <laughs> All right, sweet thing. Catch you on the dance floor. Ugh, I hate these people. They killed a bunch of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're dead. I hadn't really taken a Process second. Process that. I hadn't really. No, because. <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, that's the end of this round. You guys get up onto the highway, up onto the ramp, <laughs> floor it, tearing off. You guys are now going like 75, 80 miles an hour. Uh, you see that one of the creatures, creatures calls and says, Johnny, we got to do it, man. They're going to get away. And Johnny says, come on, not my beautiful car. Uh, they all fall back. Um, you see, Johnny goes, makes an attack roll. With Bane. Ooh, with Bane. Nice. Thank you for the reminder. Hand goes up, wreathed in green energy, fire, skull, chatters menacingly in the smoke, <laughs> aiming right to the engine of the car, and a flash of light <laughs> incinerates it, and it skews off to the side, fizzles, and misses the car. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Fabian, go uh, for it. With, uh, with, with regard to attacking the man on the hood of the car, <laughs> is that, would that be, how, is that acrobatics in, on top of it? or? Is yeah, you can make an acrobatics check to get uh, over him onto the hood of the car. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd, no, we'll just hand crossbow him from my seat, comfortably. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sitting down. Sitting down. Uh, uh, yes. He opens uh, up like crossed. a to-go coffee. Uh -huh. uh, six again, uh, seven. Oh, uh, excuse me, seven, uh, 13. 13. You could uh, add bardic inspiration. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it, it's time. Uh, 15. 15 exactly hits. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and roll damage. Right. Uh, ten. Uh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, uh, you see the guy with the bat that says "little slug" on the side. Um, uh, goes, goes. Oh, I take the stage to. <laughs> and he's been tracheotomied by a crossbow bolt into the throat. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> 
I, and I'd sit as comfortably. Uh, I'm still uh, suffering horrible poison. You were yawning while comfy, pulling as, it. It's comfortably. Uh, uh. Honestly, that's how Fabian's fighting. You cannot move your body, so you just have enough strength to get this one hand crossbow uh. <laughs> up into the air. Uh, that's gonna be Gorgug. I'm gonna take another reckless attack and throw a hand axe at. Johnny and Woo! not his motorcycle. Oh, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought of a strategy of hitting the guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Interesting. Ooh, I hit, uh, yeah, 20. One. Hell yeah. yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. 1d6 plus 3. Oh, plus 5. Um, I hit him for 9. Jesus. You lean at the back of the car, whoo, uh, 85 miles an hour going in one direction and throwing in the other. This ax is a fucking blip. It's like a neutrino moving through space. So, bam, hits him right in the chest. Um, and you see that raw, evil, infernal energy circles out of the wound. Ah, why can't you guys just be cool? Why'd you have to be so lame? And screams out in pain. Uh, that's going to, he's badly injured now. Uh, Riz, it's gonna be you. Okay, I am going to shoot this guy that's on. Oh, should I shoot Johnny? You should shoot Johnny. All right, I'll shoot Johnny. Because I can maybe hit the guy in the thing. Uh, 21. That'll do it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. Oh wait, not a D8, a D6. Seven damage. Seven damage. Um, uh, uh, he is so fucked up right now. You raise your pistol, boom! Other shoulder. Uh, he is looking hurt, hurt, hurt. The I'd boys. like to, I have a, I have a skill called Fury of the Small where I can do my level damage to anybody who's bigger than me, so I'd like to do two damage to him. Hell yeah. Fury of the Small. Fury <laughs> of the Small. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you fire your thing, uh, uh, and you hit him just like right in the stomach pfft, uh, with another bullet, pfft, uh, covered in blood, shoulder, shoulder, uh, stomach, he's got fucking covered in poison. I don't want to rumble no more. I don't want to rumble no more. Uh, Motion to rename it Fury of the Ball. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and pass that in the Um. Uh, Adon, it's gonna be you. Um, I am going to use Mage Hand to throw dust in Johnny Spells' face. <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah, kick up some dust. Um, uh, go ahead and give me like a sleight of hand check. Great. 20, not nat 20, but 20. Full 20, cool. Yeah. Uh, a little dust storm kicks a bunch of dust into his face. Ah, they're both. Uh, boys, they're concentrating on me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> You're the leader, Johnny. Um, you see that? Uh, oh, that's not gonna be Fig. Uh, uh, make a perception. Okay, check. make a perception check. Okay. I got um uh twenty. Tw oh, full twenty. Not Nat. Uh, you have a limited amount of time before something bad happens with this engine. Okay. There is more straightaway ahead of you. There is also some construction on an area of the ramp that goes over to a repairing ramp. So you can go straight on the highway, in which case there'd be a lot of distance with this shitty car. There is also an area off to the side coming up that forks off, which is another straightaway that ends with a section of construction. And you see a hay cart tilted down uh, facing the empty chasm space and the rest of the highway over it. So in other words, two elements of highway over here with a chasm in between. Uh, question. So yeah. would you say at this point, like, I'm driving so slick that it's more of a performance at this point? I would say that it's more of a performance at this point. Okay, I'd like to rip a sick U-turn <laughs> and hopefully knock this guy off and then start driving at Johnny. <laughs> oh! <Sick. laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, a hundred percent. Drift. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, Don't get drift, baby. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to need you to. So here's what I'm going to say I'm going to need you to make a drive check now. Okay. What's that? 
uh, uh, it's not a dexterity saving throw. It's a flat d dexterity roll. Um, and I'm gonna set in my own mind right now a DC for getting that guy off and a higher DC for pulling a sick Yui <laughs> and driving at Johnny Spells. Go ahead and roll. Okay. I'm not gonna kill us, am I? Whatever. <laughs> Great. Okay, I got an 11. Uh, I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh, I got a nine. Um, you Fuck. crank the tunes, drag that club, <laughs> grab the wheel, and the car fully fishtails and flips, oh. tumbling over the highway. Oh, Oh my it. god! I'm not wearing a seatbelt. Why aren't I wearing a seatbelt? <laughs> I'm going wait, I, wait, wait, I also. Okay, yeah, I don't know what, what order you want to do this. I have a bonus action that I wanted to heal her. I wanted uh, to go use for it. healing you, word as yeah, a use the bonus healing action. Word. To Great. So, so while we're as, as, the, air, air, as, air, as air, the car starts air, to go air, sideways, air, as you're like, this is going to be so fucking sick. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the back end. Ten! Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> At least I did something before I destroyed us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So now what I'm gonna need oh, everybody no. to do <laughs> Holy fuck. is I'm gonna need everybody Jesus here Christ. to roll um, dexterity saving throws. Let me know. Oh, what and I get advantage on dexterity. But you get disadvantage because you're poisoned. So you just roll straight. Got it. Uh, 10. Oh, 12. I got a 19. Kristen Applebee's is not gonna do well. I Negative one. <gasps> I got a Shit. seven. A uh, 16. I got a 10. Uh, I got a 19. I got a 19 also. Okay, hold on one second. Jesus. So who, <laughs> who got, you were doing so well. Who got, I thought maybe, that's why I asked her, I thought maybe it'd be performance check. Cause I am good with that. Well that's oh, what you were God. asking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, that's really cool that you thought that. So here's this is gonna work. Oh my god. It's gonna be 12. Oh. Minus oh, one. Jesus Christ. Everyone who failed the check didn't get a 15 takes 14 points of damage. Oh my uh, god! It's my half or no? Uh, uh, yours is half. Okay. Uh, Thank God everyone, you healed me. Everyone, I am so sorry. Everyone, everyone that succeeded takes seven points of damage. Oh, sorry. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh. Um, what about that guy on the hood? We're gonna roll for him. Oh, oh he's, hell yeah. He's gotta fuck, be fucking right? He better not do a fucking backflip like that <laughs> yeah. other dude rolling nat 20. <laughs> the car flips. You fully crush him <laughs> under the car. Okay, so he goes like, he goes, oh, you want to rumble? Coming up next to the plate, Scorching Ray with the little <laughs> you, the, the <laughs> He goes from being a full person with a life and dreams to being not even really an object, but sort of like a an element of the road in a fraction of a second. Do his guts get on Adonine? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, once again, uh, everywhere. Uh, we're gonna. Set up. He this falls in it. the car with us as we are. Jesus Christ! People that had a successful save, go ahead and give me an acrobatics check. God, I hate this so much. Thirteen. I'm really sorry, Seven. guys. That's totally okay. okay. Seven. I got eleven. You can just bless with I that. suck I so much. Ten. Uh, uh, Sixteen. Ten. Uh, uh, Sixteen. Okay. Ten. Hold on Eleven. One second. Get it. None of these dice are dead. All of these dice. I are thought dead. this was an awesome He's idea. I mean, uh, He's just really, running away. I, as far as I'm concerned, this is our this is our like run in a uh, run up in its asshole moment <laughs> of this <laughs> yeah. episode. Yeah. It's just this time it didn't every work. Friday, I we gotta go up an so asshole. Every yeah, dope. every Friday we gotta run uh, up an asshole. Did anyone succeed? Did anyone, who got the who got an acrobatics check? What you get? Uh, Sixteen. Uh, you leap fully out of the car, and uh, uh, while you take some damage, you actually do a three-point land and skid in your sneakers right here. Hell yes! <laughs> At least they're Finally! That. Fucking tables are impossible, but uh, <laughs> vehicles moving 85 miles per hour, very doable. Yeah. Honestly, the car was fucked anyways. Okay, if sure you think thing. about yeah, it, guys, you know the car was fucked, so I, sure. it was gonna do this on its own, probably, if we're being honest. Oh my god. Specifically, this. Specifically, this. The whole uh, flipping and the dying and the 
everyone getting injured, that, that thing was gonna fully happen. Dead. Jesus Christ. Very cool. <laughs> this is hell. This <laughs> It's not hell. You know nothing about hell. <laughs> okay. Again with you. Uh, so this fucking sick move. Uh, is, yeah. Uh, uh, so everyone's you know somewhat injured. Is anyone fully dead? No. No. All right. Oh, thank I'm, God. I'm like okay for I'm, how much. I'm very close. But what are you at? Two. I'm at nineteen. But I also, I mean, I'm out of spells, so I. And what were you? Oh. Uh, that is now going to be. Uh, that's the Greaser's turn. Um, Fuck this. <laughs> um, now we're gonna move into some tactical movement. Um, both these guys uh, swing right past you, take two attacks. Um, you get an attack of opportunity on the first one. Me? Yes. Great. 13, 12, 13, 19. Uh, you actually hit the first guy. A uh, rapier or uh, crossbow? Uh, rapier. Uh, this is uh, D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D he deals you six points of damage. Um, he goes and slashes the beer bottle. Uh, on his way past you, he as he's in the arc of swinging, you go right up under his uh, shoulder, pierce all the way to the shoulder, pop up so he can see the blade coming out of his own body through the eye into his brain and out with a flourish of blood that whips across. Boom. That's the one who poisoned me, right? <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I showed you beer bottle. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you sound just like him. No, I don't, all right? I, I don't say daddy, I say papa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next one's gonna take a swing at you and misses. Boom, as he uh, <laughs> races past. That's going to be Kristen, that's your turn. Okay, great. Uh, am I at a place where I can attack? Um, uh, go girl. ahead and make. <sighs> How do you adjudicate crawling out of a flipped car on the side of a highway? What role is that? Uh, I'm gonna say go ahead, uh, and you can either attempt to make um, a, like, uh, make an athletics or an acrobatics check to get out of here. Um, I'll let you do it with advantage if you take some damage. So in other words, you can either just give it a roll to do athletics or acrobatics to get out, or, you can allow yourself to sustain some injuries and you just like muscle and push your way out. Hmm. I think in st uh, this is just to have me like stand up, right? Yeah, because you're in the flipped vehicle basically trying to like crawl out from under it. Okay. Well, I don't want to attack. I think I want to do a spell instead, but I do want to get out of that car. So, and, okay. Uh, okay, cool. 12, 8. Uh, cool. So that's a. Uh, uh, 12 plus whatever your... 12 plus whatever your strength is. Oh, cool. Uh, so that's uh, 14. 14. Okay, that makes sense. Um, you take uh, six points of damage. Um, uh, How are you doing? So you... Four. Because you're like not oh. decked. You're like very clumsy. The car is like collapsed. You're pushed up against the guardrail. Yeah. So you just... Uh, ah, you can feel you're like your kind of skin tearing against the metal of the guardrail as you push yourself out. Uh, and you are no longer prone. You are standing out from under the car, uh, and you can take your action. Okay, I have Cure Wounds and Healing Word. Mm -hmm. Healing Word is a bonus action, so uh, can I do both of those? You do both of those. You also have your Preserve Life ability, just to remind you, which oh. only works on if people are yeah. below half. Oh, cool. But it's totally 10 hit that. points spread around. Oh, I'll do that, yeah, heck as, yeah. Uh, so, so I don't know if anyone's super critically low, um, uh, but you can do that, or if, you, or if there's like one person that you definitely want to give more points to, you can do that as well. Could you do oh, healing no, word and that? Yeah, 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 you could do healing, healing word and that, yeah. Why don't you do healing oh, word? Because it's a bonus action. action. And then oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, idea. you can't do two spells in the same round with bonus action. Is yeah, preserve life true. a spell? I thought it was no, it's not. Ability. Oh, that's an ability, that's right. Yeah. Hell oh. yeah. It's just channeling your divinity. This game's Sick. got a lot of rules. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead, so yeah, you use healing word. So how many hit points is that? I think it's one uh, D4, D4 plus, plus your plus, ability modifier. Yeah. So, so go ahead and roll guy. that little pyramid cool. thing. So this yep. only? Okay, cool. <laughs> 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 
Oh my goodness. Let's go. That's okay. gone. That's what? gone forever. What the fuck just happened? That was insane. I'm sorry. That was your U-turn. I wore a sweater. That was ridiculous. What? 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 Okay, one plus, uh... One plus six, right? Yeah, one plus six. Seven heal, two Fabian. And you just put that ten up between you and Siobhan and win one. Great, five and five. Great. And what did I get? I got seven? I have to... I can't wait to watch that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's preserved forever. That's yeah, that was really good. Uh, incredible. <laughs> Vroom, healing energy spreads from you. Uh, oh, I think you actually, you have a feature called, uh, of your lightsman that actually adds some extra to your healing spells, unless I'm much Sweet. mistaken, right? Yeah, disciple uh, of Life. Oh, what does Disciple yeah. of Life say? It's, it's three. Disciple of Life, right? I think it adds your level to it. Yeah. Spell level plus two. Oh, it's the spell level. Spell level plus two. So that's one plus two, so, so add three. another three on there. Cool. Ooh. You're very good healing people. Um, that's going to be Dang, uh, the Applebee. next round. Um, uh, Johnny is going to throw an No L more driving throws. <laughs> <laughs> Although we might want to run away from this car. You this car's probably gonna gonna You're up. still sitting yeah. in the driver's seat, just moving the wheel. <gasps> yeah, we should probably get away from this car. Uh, Johnny roars past you on the highway, <laughs> uh, throws an Eldritch Blast your way, that you effortlessly dodge from. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, that's now going to be uh, Fabian. That's your turn. Uh, how, Johnny Spells looks pretty fucked up. Uh, yes, he does. Uh, all right, I'm going to use uh, Action Surge uh, mm -hmm. to fire my crossbow twice at, uh, at Johnny Spells. Um <laughs> uh, so I see, I see blessed, you move out to the blessed. middle of the yes. highway. Yeah, cool. I stand dead center of the highway, <laughs> like, trying to like watching his motorcycle like move, poison as fuck. Uh, uh, so sick. So use your bless. Thirteen. Oh, that's... critical failure. Uh, okay, on so, the first one. Okay, critical failure. That's disadvantage. Um, uh, cool. Uh, so it's the first attack. Ping. Um, uh, you see that your. Uh, let me actually make a roll here. Cool, you're good, roll again. Great. That's uh, nine and six. Uh, God, six, uh, six, eight, uh, 14. 14 hits. Yes! yes! Yeah. Uh, 14, uh, yeah. Uh, nine. You skidding under the shadow of the car flipping overhead, landing, <laughs> sliding to a stop, Rapier out, skewer the first tiefling that roars past you. Another one comes, takes a swing, you dodge, dodge another eldritch <laughs> blast and like a spinning capoeira backflip, and you step out dead center. You can see headlights in the distance of vehicles approaching. Johnny roaring down the highway. You take out your hand crossbow. Complete miss. It's fumble. Another arrow. That's my boy. <laughs> Johnny is over the handlebars. Go, 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 go. Fucking road rash smeared across a section of interstate. Johnny Spells is dead. Yeah. Woo! Fuck you, Johnny Spells. Yeah. So do we only have one guy left? And would he even attack with his like leader gone? Um, I think we get him. That's that's let's, let's, uh, let's that's I'm hold gonna it taste up. Of blood. Um, am I? Do I have to like sneak out of this car or anything? Like uh, yes, you can make an athletics or an acrobatics to get out of there. You're still raging, so you have advantage on strength checks if you want. Oh, I'm just gonna do the strength check. So how much strength do I add? Uh, uh, you just oh you just add your normal. Strength. Oh, advantage. Okay, so I'll do. It's just a strength check. Oh. Just a strength check. Yeah. All right. Uh, 13 oh, plus that's three. Gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you uh, crawl out of here. Um, uh, you are out from under the vehicle. Um, I'd love to just take a reckless attack at this last guy. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's just make sure your motion is good. Um, bada boom, dude. Um, uh, give me an athletics check okay. uh, <laughs> just to get over the card. Again, you have. I got 19. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, go ahead. Make your reckless attack, dude. Okay, so. Uh, but I'm still poisoned, right? You are still poisoned. So that that's the only attack I get. All right, so that I, I hit it for 12. Have 12. you used your Bardic Inspiration? Oh, yet? and then Bardic Inspiration, thank Hell you. Yeah. And that's a, which one? D6. 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 
two. <laughs> so uh, 14. that would, 14? 14. 14 hits. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Uh, and then that's a D, yeah, a D12. Uh, I hit him for uh, uh, 10, because I'm raging. Uh, you <laughs> hurl, you crawl on this thing, covered again in like blood and fire, uh, <sighs> leap the guardrail, <laughs> grab the f overturned car, flip off of it. This guy's roaring past you. <laughs> Wham! His fucking whole motorcycle sandwiches in on itself. <laughs> Boom! Fuck! <laughs> into the asphalt. Uh, this greaser is no fucking more. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Hell yeah. Do you want to sing now, Gorga? <laughs> I scream, somebody get me out of this car! Yeah. Get me out of yeah. uh, yeah, it! Can we help our friend out, out of the car? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, are we out of combat? You are fully out of combat. Okay, everyone run away from the car. It's definitely yeah. going to explode. Yeah, can we, yeah, can oh, we get yeah. Let's pull her out. Let's pull her out. Yeah. Uh, does anybody with actual strength and not yeah, a negative go, human strength want to pull somebody I, I'll out? I'll go over there and pull like out uh, uh, a dime. I want to run to Johnny Spells' body. And I'll help with Fig. I'll help get Fig out of the car. Cool. Um, you guys start pulling I'll your friends out of you. the car. Um, let me make a roll real quick. Car does not explode. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hate that, that is a, that's something you had to roll. <laughs> <laughs> the car does not explode. Uh, uh, cool. You pull your friends out from the vehicle. Uh, Riz, you're running down the highway. To Johnny Spells' body. And I'm with him. Cool. Yeah, I uh, want to go to that. Cool. Motorcycle. You guys all run down from the flipped car uh, to Johnny Spells. Um, yeah, covered in poison burns, <laughs> a hand axe wound, bullet hole, and a crossbow bolt in the back of the head. Um, you see that he is laid out on the highway, partially just torn apart by the velocity of falling off the bike. Um, but you see that the way he has landed on the highway, he's actually doing this. <laughs> so uh, so even sexy. in death, even in death, terribly. Rich. You're telling me this guy doesn't fuck. Yeah. Um, no, Penelope. Penelope you. says he does not fuck. All right. Oh, this now is we're incredible. never gonna find out why he doesn't fuck. fuck. Okay. Why did I? Kill well, maybe this perhaps man? we can find out. Oh, I want to yeah. search his body for um, like <laughs> I want to see if there's anything. Yeah, can we check like, for don't, any sort of clues of why In this world, we don't have phones. We have like crystal things or something. Uh, uh, oh. Yes, your little crystals. Yeah. I want to see Ooh. if I can find his crystal or any clues to any of the girls, the girl he was dating or uh, anything. Make an investigate check if you'd be so kind. Great. Oh my god, and we have his body, so if the crystals need like a thumbprint or something. Yeah, man. Cut off his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how bad I rolled, but I rolled, I got a 15 overall. 15 Don't overall. you have cool. Bless, though? I have Bless. I rolled oh, a okay. one on Bless, and I rolled an eight with my roll, but I have a plus. Can six. we also so investigate? Your, your guys, yeah, your guys also, your poison condition fades away. Did I come uh, out of rage? Do we? Did come out of rage, yes. I just start crying immediately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like when the little kid's too mad and they... Yeah. Is there something where You got any more of that inspiration? Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, do you want bardic inspiration? I have one left. Would love it. Okay, so I'll give you some bardic inspiration, but then also is this a time that I can do my song of rest? Yeah, absolutely, go for okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna play a sick song of rest. It's gonna be... Just let her go for three. Yeah. It's so great because we can't tell what it is. Yeah, so what is this? I don't know. Uh, jazz? Maybe um, jazz? 15. Can uh, I add inspiration? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Add two. 17. Um, Getting them out of the way. Oh, so Song of Rest is if anyone uses any hit dice, you get to add a d6 to it. Okay, That's fits. why I played that song. I wasn't just doing it for no reason. I mean, it was fun. Yeah, if, you just, if you were just doing it for no reason in celebration, I've it's fun. I've only ever listened to classical music before, so it was very As, interesting. Guys, he kills people. Well, he killed a man. He uh, uh, did. We're, also, we're not 100% sure he's a bad guy. We saw them at a dance studio. We saw. Yeah, we, we did, stole his car. We did we murder this man club. without. <laughs> we had a lot That's of questions. Sure he's do. a bad guy. He literally. He did. He did bleed pure evil when we when you axed him. Totally. We gotta go uh, break into the dance yes, studio. Yes, we killed them all. Now we can go Why back there. Why are we breaking into so many things? Because it's adventure. Yeah. I, also, I is, have his, a is his motorcycle? <laughs> what shape is his motorcycle in? Is it uh, still alive? Uh, yes. uh, uh, go ahead and make an investigate check. Hell yes. Can you speak demon? Infernal, I no, speak infernal. but 
Uh, I can speak it a little bit. Seven. Oh, <laughs> seven plus oh, seven plus bless. Uh, oh, Ooh. eleven. Uh, you you look at it. Uh, you see it. It is humming with like a. Oh, can I go? Oh. Can I go get on it? <laughs> You take the dead man's <laughs> motorcycle. <laughs> you ride it, uh, and it hums with like a warm, uh, a, a warm resonant feeling. That's, I, that's I like can, an animal, I man. Can, I don't know. You want to ride? Can that? I do some like very like baby like practice oh, in a parking oh, lot, like boy. circles? Uh, go ahead and make a uh, make an animal handling check. Ooh, I'm very bad at that. Um, oh my god, it's like a demonic uh, animal. Eight. Uh, uh, so twenty nineteen. Nineteen. Um, you hear a voice whispering in your head, saying, "I have walked through endless nights, strode through midnight forests, the aching worlds of eternity beyond dimensions of madness have been my dwelling place. Who now strides my custom leather seat? My name is Fabian Arab May Seeker." Son of Biddle Seacaster, I have finished off your former master, and now you belong to me. Ooh. Ooh. Daddy. <laughs> oh, yes! Uh, <laughs> right motorcycle in your inventory, dude. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, you have a demonic entity. Does it speak Infernal? Can it teach me Infernal? Yeah, do you, uh, want, go, do you want to go speak to it? I mean, yeah. I'm just gonna, I probably know like, a, I know, because I've been trying to learn Infernal that ever since I found out I'm a tiefling. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use like the couple of words I know. Hi, how are you? Uh, young maiden of the Nine Hells, do you come to court my master? Master, let her get on the back. The back. No, Let her get on the back. Do you, uh, do, uh, oh, sorry, do you, you, you shall put her hands around your chest. It'll make her have to feel you. Oh, How are, are we getting, getting home? home? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I would also like to know that. Are you How getting, are we getting home? Dating what's up advice with this guy? What's, what's, what's on his mind? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true, uh, yeah. Cool, hold on, one. Yeah, oh, sorry, we got, I got yeah. sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> that bike is I just reading the game to crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a it's a very it's a very obvious bike. Like people know this is Johnny Spell's bike, right? It's the only living bike. Oh yeah, we should probably <laughs> keep this in. You should probably keep this in your garage yeah, you for a while. Wanna, Can you be under a tarp? Disguise on it. Yeah, have yeah. being disguised self I mean, only guys, works on myself. Yeah. We'll yeah. hey, give it a new paint job. Yeah, for sure, do that. For sure, do that. I mean, we probably the skull has yeah. to say, but I, this is. But my you can put like a little it's, hat on it, like exactly, a pirate's like a hat on the skull. Yes, I love that. Absolutely love that. Skull and crossbones, baby. Yes. Um, uh, we just add crossbones. You to find oh, in his, uh, uh, you find in his belongings uh, a number of things that you can only assume are like fiendish, sort of like warlock accoutrement. Um, Ooh, does my me. detect magic spell still working? Yes, it is still working. Do I see anything? Um, uh, yeah, you see that there is a, a little object that appears to be his like phylactery or like, the source of his like warlock's connection to whatever fiendish overlord he has. Wait a second, he was a warlock? I thought he was a bard. That's fucked up. I put like, my hands you know. on his chest and say, what were you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we I? should take that thing so you can yeah, talk to Yeah, I mean, it, I guess um, I'll... The phylactery is this beautiful, like, dark mahogany and silver and ivory, little sort of three-part, there's like, a little thing with a small button on the end. It looks like a switchblade. Ooh, I think this is bad. I'll take it. It's I infernal know, I don't... and fiendish. That's no, like No, I don't think it's I think we should good. take it. It might have information. Yeah, let's give it to the police, uh, Golden Horde. If, look, We're not going to no, 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 no. these people. I have, if I, I just need 10 minutes with it and I can cast Identify on it, but I need 10 minutes and I don't think that yeah, we should hang around with this crime scene uh, okay. in the middle the of other things, The other things I'm you saying, find are, uh, mm, you find so. his, a crystal, but the crystal that he has is in a casing fresh from the store and it's like a cheap crystal. Burner. It's a burner. Burner, burner, a burner crystal. Or he's flipping it with the crystal he has. I'll take it anyway. Uh, he also has a little black book. Uh, sex book. With all the people but he, he hasn't doesn't have sex with. with. <laughs> Could have had sex with her. Could have had sex with her. But didn't mean um, he had sex with him. 
uh, he also, in the little black book, um, you see there's also a little like day planner he has there in paper. Uh, there is a, uh, there is a monthly meeting that he has on the last uh, Friday of every month um, that is just called Tea Time. Oh my God. Wait, I need to steal some of their clothing. Do they have any like jackets that have like a, a crest on them or anything like that? Anything that looks like it would be like gang accoutrement? You can steal a leather jacket, yeah. Okay. I want to take because a leather I can jacket infiltrate too. that. I'm a tiefling, and if I wear <laughs> gang yeah, colors, uh, uh, so there's tea time. I'm gonna take a leather jacket. Um, <laughs> what was this crew called? Or like, what would I call this leather jacket? I don't think you guys ever found out. They don't have their names anywhere. Dunce okay. Squad. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so uh, you look. He has the crystal in the casing. He has the little black book. You see that it has. Uh, uh, Sam Nightingale's name in there, and it also has uh, Penny Lockstones. I throw up. <laughs> no, please! It's a call. No, that was I on my clues. backpack. When I hear clues, I throw up right. because I'm excited. The ball. It's not a bad vomit. The ball. It's a good vomit. You have vomit. to work this out, all right? You can't keep. Yeah. You, 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 if we, if, if, <laughs> I love addressing him as the ball, seriously. Yeah. The ball. The ball. Oh, you climb into Fabian's backpack to Get out, continue okay. reading the book. <laughs> I need a, I I need a back, minute. I, I have a little backpack. flashlight in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> the things you find in Johnny Spells uh, on his person, the crystal in a case, uh, the little black book yep. that has Sam Nightingale's number, it has Penny Luckstone's number. Um, Whoa. Wait a second, we could text them from an unidentified number. His and crystal. Well, his crystal, he said it's a burner, but yeah, we could text yeah, it from his. Yeah, we should his, take his burner. We should maybe text Penelope or something uh, like and that. And then mm -hmm. in the part of the little black book that is like a day planner part, you see that once a month thing, tea time. Cool. I feel like this crystal is, because the crystal that they took was scratched off so that people couldn't track it. Yeah, the so they're gonna test. replace it yeah. with the crystal Should that he has. Should we take this stuff and get yeah. off the highway? Yeah. You're yeah. gonna see that little car <laughs> pulls up. <laughs> Real bike. Uh, a little car, the, the, the headlights that you saw in the distance pull up, and you're gonna see a little family of halflings with ice cream cones. Uh, they made it. Uh, turn around, turn around, tell the kids See the guy rolls down the window, and he goes, well, <laughs> do you guys need a ride into town? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, can we swing by the ice cream place again? I think your you kids see, would like more ice cream. You see, he looks at you and looks back at his kids and goes, double ice cream, anything for you kids! And he rustles one of his kids, we're going ice cream again! Eat your ice cream fast! <laughs> These kids just start horking down ice cream uh, as fast as they can. I ride on my motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. He's like, now, you gonna put a helmet on? I, I, I will, I just have to go buy one. I promise I will. We gotta go, okay, because because there's nothing funny about not being safe. No, of course, but I will. Uh, we almost got hit by a biker earlier. We know we did get hit. He shows the death <laughs> over yeah. by. He says, "You still got ice cream." Oh, really? That's, we have. We there was a insane. crazy. There was a car driving right past. There's a bunch of bikers, and this one guy he just plowed right into the middle of the car. And uh, almost ruined the ice cream trip. Oh, let and me then guess, he did he flip and land on the back of another car? What? Mm -hmm. He did exactly that. He flipped all the way to the end. That's been happening around here. Yeah, we've been hearing stories that. about that. Let's get you know it. what it is? It's that these kids are doing drugs. I know. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, what I think. that's why we all want to go get ice cream. We're very yeah. safe. Mm -hmm. Me and Fabian on the bike. Real okay. clean cut. I have on the I bike. quickly I... mend all of our clothes. You see the bike? The bike says, no, 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 not the, not the ball, get the girl, get the tiefling. I'm glad you recognize this the ball, that's, that feels good. I hate this ball. I give my card to the motorcycle. Okay, you know, oh, <laughs> flame. <laughs> Please don't solicit my bicycle. Ah, greetings and salutations, my uh, bike friend. Master, together we will conquer this world of mortals and send their souls to hell. Uh, yes, yes, in due time, by <laughs> now to the ice cream shop. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's all the time we have for Fantasy High this week. Come back next week for another exciting installment of our adventure where we see just how much ice cream these guys can eat. Later! It's a lot. It's a lot <laughs> it's of ice cream. It's a lot. So much ice cream. Trapped Inside It is 
a girl. What? Oh my god. How did you guys get this? What did you guys do? We don't know how high up the chain goes. What are we doing? Fuck! There's a lot of danger here. I'm very, very scared, but I don't want to show it. If they ever cross you, you cross them first, you hear me? The fuck are you doing, the ball? <laughs> oh! I'd like to rip a sick U-turn. The car fully fishtails and flips. Oh. I stand dead center of the highway, <laughs> like, trying to like watching his motorcycle like move. <laughs> Johnny is over the handlebars. <laughs> Johnny Spells is dead. Right, motorcycle inventory, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what I say? You guys see that little car pulls up. Do you guys need a ride in town? Yeah, yeah. Can we swing by the ice cream place again? Master, together we will conquer this world of mortals and send their souls to hell. Uh, yes, yes. In due time, <laughs> Mike. Now to the ice cream shop. <laughs> Fantasy High. My name is Brandon Lee Mulligan. We're back with our intrepid adventurers here in the town of Elmville in the Nation of Solace in the world of Spire. Last we left our heroes, they flipped a car, doing 85 on the highway. <laughs> oh, we were going faster. <laughs> yeah. We were going faster. Uh, and now we find ourselves at Basrar's Soda Fountain, a wonderful little white and silver soda fountain shop, little ice cream. There is a uh, icy, windy Jean, uh, who's, who's like a little smoky tornado below the waist, who's behind the counter making malts and milkshakes and stuff like that. Big old handlebar mustache, icy blue skin, got a crisp white shirt, little bow tie, a little paper hat. Uh, a couple people here enjoying a nice Sunday, a banana split, maybe some kind of icy confection. Uh, you guys are all seated in a corner booth. Some of you are having your second milkshake of the day. <laughs> uh, you are all covered in insane road rash and nice. like uh, blood and other things like that, but you're, you know, mostly okay. At this How point. did my Doreen's fishnets hold up? Perfect. The fishnets mm -hmm. are gold. Wow. Hell yeah. Uh, you find yourself uh, kind of coming out of the shock. Um, Looking at each other now, uh, you hold onto a couple of objects that you recovered at the very end of the insane car chase with Johnny Spells and his tiefling greasers. You have his little black book, um, which once again, I'll tell you what his little black book has. Uh, it has phone numbers of a bunch of people, but the important names are Sam Nightingale, very recent, Penny Luckstone, Katia Cleaver, Sam Nightingale, who I've already said, uh, Danielle Barkstock and Antiope Jones. Uh, most of his little black book is like, there's like a planner section of it where it has that last Friday of the month tea time. Uh, most of the planner is filled up with various rehearsals, uh, sort of dance rehearsals. There's like a jazz section, there's a hip hop section. Mm -hmm. uh, is the word daddy in there? The word daddy is in there a lot. <laughs> his schedule is rigorous in there. Uh, also, you see that there's a number of these that are crossed out which are new unlabeled phone numbers that have like a pin and an activation code. So these new sort of crystal numbers, a lot of them are crossed out. There is one very one on the, on the last written page that is not crossed out. Um, additionally, you guys also got this little switchblade which you still haven't opened, which your Detect Magic uh, highlighted as the source of his infernal powers. Uh, you also have a sealed in sort of plastic wrap crystal, a fresh crystal, uh, unopened and unactivated. Um, trying to think if you got anything else from him. No, I believe that's it. Um, oh, I'm wrong. You got the scratched up, scuffed yeah. palimpsest, the big fucking thing. Yeah. You guys have a palimpsest that has some kind of spirit, soul, something trapped inside of it. Can anybody detect what is inside this thing? I can try. <laughs> okay. Hey, somebody not Gorgug? <laughs> okay. Well, no, I think Gorgug will uh, say this. Yesterday during the fight cast um, identify on it, 
And um, essentially, this is a crystal uh, whose all, all of the identifying uh, nature of it has been scraped off in some way. Um, and then trapped inside it is a girl. What? I don't know. I mean, I, it, it, it seems very odd. I don't know how a person could get trapped inside a crystal, but... Could you talk to her? No, she just was, like... Sad inside Sorry, it. so there's just a girl just pressed a... up against this, the edge of this crystal? You're saying that as if we don't live in a world where magic is Oh, real. okay, no, well, all right. I've just never experienced putting people inside of small balls. And you can put people inside of all <laughs> kinds of things. I just have never I threw seen up this. in your backpack yesterday. Yeah. Or today, okay. this morning. I mean, that's not the same. I feel like that's I'm trying to make that sound same. analogous. I think it's really not. I'm a goblin. Yeah. Basrar uh, wends his way, <laughs> tornadoing, dust deviling through the fountain shop. Uh, comes up with a whole bunch of ice creams and things. Ah, oh, my friends, welcome one and all, here you go. Can I get you anything else? Simply say the words and your wish is my command. I spiked my milkshake. <laughs> that is not allowed in here. <laughs> um, why, you, why could you not wait 30 seconds? Fine, fine, I'll wait. put it back and then I try and pour the milkshake back into <laughs> Gross. Okay. Also, doesn't that flask have the friend spell cast on it. I keep almost <laughs> dosing myself. <laughs> All right, uh, well, I hope everything else is good. Uh, let me know if I can get you anything at all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Basra. Uh Yes, and can of I, course, yes. Can I do a perception check on this guy? Sure. I don't like his attitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, because he told you not to drink in yeah. his soda shop? Yeah, I don't know about him. <laughs> uh, it's going to be 14. Uh, 14, uh, Basrar has a, I assume this is like an insight check, right? Not yeah, a check. yeah, I want to get a read on this guy. Uh, he has a deep sadness about oh. him. Oh, um, <laughs> what's up with you, man? <laughs> what? I am good, I am good. How's business? Business is great, uh, no overhead, because, of course, I can make all the ice cream in the world with wishes, so? What about what about the family life? How's that going? <laughs> Thank you so much for this ice cream. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank so you for the much. ice cream. Uh, hey, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I am starting a prayer chain. If you want to just fill out this card, uh, yeah. I'll add you to my prayer chain. I'll go ahead and make a persuasion check for me. Sure. <laughs> You're rolling a d12. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> you saw that too, but you couldn't say anything. <laughs> That's a. That's Not a, two. That's a two. <laughs> cool. You see, he goes, um, that is okay. I am a creature made of elements. The gods uh, are meaningless to me. When I die, my soul will turn into pure icy wind, and my consciousness will evaporate, and eventually my story will be gone forever. Yo, that is so metal. Huh. I tip him. <laughs> Hold on, what was that last part? Sorry? I'm gonna pray for you for all of that stuff. Uh, my story? Story will be gone mm. forever? If you guys want any ice cream, you can come <laughs> up to the counter. <laughs> Thank cool. you, Basra. Thank oh, you so you. much. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, okay. <laughs> and he's like, whoosh. <laughs> Heads What's his story? Yeah, right. right? I know. His story. I know. So, but anyway, so like, I don't know anything about crystals, but maybe your AV club Freaks will know something. Oh, I'm, oh can, can they see? hack these crystals? Kristen, can you see if the, if it's like evil or something, or if that's yeah, a friend yeah. that's in there? I'll do. Uh, I will cast uh, uh, detect magic, and then I think I have. Can you just detect, detect evil? good and evil? Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll cast detect good and evil on this. Oh wait. Oh, take, okay. Didn't we already do that? I did detect magic, and that's how I saw that the girl was trapped oh, inside cool, of it. Oh, cool, cool, yeah. But I don't I think we just want to make sure this isn't a demon person that yes. is. Yes. Uh, yeah, I would love to not let a demon person <laughs> escape from a crystal. Cool. Unless it's really wrong. Yeah. Um, you go ahead and cast detect uh, good and evil on it. You detect neither alignment. Um, uh, the creature trapped within here either is obscured from your magic's vision or it does not possess a powerful aura of either celestial or infernal magic. Mm. Okay. So it might just be a regular person. Can I investigate it? Sure, go for it. Cool. That is a 23. Um, you investigate it. It is a powerful piece of arcanotech. 
it's been really banged up. Some powerful magic has occurred on this. You see that part of the sort of scratching and fracturing of the crystal is what's keeping the soul inside here, if that makes sense. Oh. It's like a fun house, right? So deep within all the cracks that have been created in the crystal, it's created something that has almost more holding capacity. It's like when someone jailbreaks a phone or if somebody uh. were to go in and like, you know, uh, but a magical version of that. Something's been done to this that has fucked with the original mechanisms that were supposed to keep the thing safe. Yeah, we that, need that AV okay. club. So we gotta get so this person out. This might be one of the missing girls. Yeah, sure. Uh, and if that's the case, maybe we should, uh, I don't know, put, give this to the police or someone someone more better suited to handle this. We, we're going to give, uh, what, a, uh, the possible soul of a girl to a bunch of nerds? Well, well, Why first are you of all, such a goody two yeah, shoes? I'm not a goody two. I don't want. To, we're, 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 what are we doing? I mean, we're all currently sitting in an ice cream shop covered in blood, <laughs> all right, with the soul of a person. Yeah, Maybe. and we're going to uh, save it. You guys see that uh, Bud, the dad of the halfling family, speaks up and says, now the problem with going to the cops, of course. Is he sitting at the table? <laughs> you see, you guys have forgotten that they're here. The whole halfling family oh, that drove God. you here in the car. Right. Uh, they're, they're actually, they're, they're called the Cubbies. It's the Cubby family. <laughs> Very um, cute. Uh, Bud Cubby speaks up and says, now the problem, of course, that you go to the cops is that um, you know, there's just no counting on them to do the right thing. And now there are some good cops, of course, but mostly police are enforcing the status quo, right? And that's mostly going to benefit the people who are already in power. Have you wow. had personal experience with this? Uh, you see that his wife, Daisy, <laughs> speaks up and says, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Listen, you know, uh, people get a real bad rap uh, from those uh, police officers. Uh, you know, halflings don't get the worst of it because we sort of have that model minority thing going on, but we certainly aren't all, you know, people say halflings have, you know, sticky fingers. We get looked at when little trinkets go missing and stuff like that. So, you know. Do you send your kids to school? Oh, sure. Okay, good. Just The whole family it. goes to Mumple. We're all Mumple people. Oh, cool, cool. That's Very great. Heard great, 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 great stuff. Great. What do you do? What is your job? What do I do? Mm -hmm. Oh, I work as a waitress over at Cram's. That's great. Cool. Oh, I live right near there. I'm uh, in there a lot whenever I'm fine with my mom. You know, not so you. You. <laughs> uh, you see that they sort of look at you and sort of make a sad face at each other and sort of pat your arm. You see Bud says, uh, and I'm a, a postal worker. I work for the post office. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> Can I do an inside check just to make sure they're not secret demons or something? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a what? That's an eight? I want to make. Yeah, I'll yeah go for it. Too. Everyone, go ahead and make it. Oh, I got a five. Oh, I got a nineteen plus four. Yeah. I got a nat three. one. Jesus. You do not think that they are demons. Okay. Fourteen. Cool. Okay. Um, you see, uh, you see, Bud says, "Yeah." Now the problem here is, of course, if you go to the uh, the cops, right, and you get a real snake, then all of a sudden he's going to get his buddies on the inside. They're going to hold that thin blue line there, and you're going to be in a whole heap and helping the trouble. Um, you guys are just so innocent, and everything you're saying just feels like it shouldn't come out of your mouth. You see that uh, the, the Bud and Dace look at each other and say, "Listen, we're law-abiding citizens. All right, we don't belong to the thieves' guild. We're not any kind of you know nothing to be worried about." Uh, you see that uh, Bud says, "Now, what you could do is you could make an anonymous call to the cops. Right? You get one of them to show up." And you bag him, right? Throw a sack over his head real yeah, quick. We're not I'm sorry, gonna, gonna, I think it's cool that these hoplings are anarcho socialists. I think it's very cool. Yeah, that's what I'm definitely sitting here thinking. Sorry, you, are, you, are you suggesting. I'm not advocating that you kill a cop, all right? Okay. I'm not advocating oh, that Lord. you put a pig down. I'm um, saying what you do. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, well, well I, I, my I, I mother see. is a cop, good sir. All right, well, you know. Uh, it's a Thank you so much for Thank these ice creams the so, and for picking us up on the side yes. of the road. I kind of really agree with you, though. You see, <laughs> he looks over and he says, "Well, I hope you kiddos enjoy the ice cream. That's on us, of course." No, yeah. no, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm here, sorry. I, yeah, I, I have to. I don't mean to. I got to insist. All right, you guys flip that car, and I just want you to know that I'll be fucking dead in the ground before I say something to anybody. Right? <laughs> I appreciate that. Can I do an inside check on my ice cream? Because right now I feel like they might just have a little cyanide capsule there. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think these guys are just ride so, or die. Yeah, yeah I think they're just, I think die, they're just die, die. die. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, if you ever need yeah. to go to the post office, uh, we will come to your window. Yeah, actually, it's great to know because perhaps someday we might need someone who's connected like you. All right, that's for sure. Take it down from the inside. All right, later, guys. Bye. 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 Take it down from the inside. That was a wake up call. I guess. <laughs> well, I feel like the AV club is maybe still the yeah, best. Yeah, I think we want to hang, hang on to this because we don't yeah. want it to just get yes, thrown yeah. into evidence. Oh, uh, Kristen, can you maybe do a detect good and evil on this warlock switchblade that seems to have a lot of it's terrible, evil. horrifying it's arcane power. Evil. Well, yes, here, I know, but just Here, like... I'll do a detect evil. I grab it. Yep, it's evil. I'm going to be a bitch about it. You're right. Now, so funny. I'm sorry, <laughs> so funny. Did, you do, did you do identify on the... I think you only did identify on the... Oh, yes, I only did it on the palimpsest. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you should identify Yeah, on I'll it. cast... Uh, ritual. I will ritual cast identify on the switchblade then. Oh, uh, cool. So you take 10 minutes to start examining. You guys see your sort of little <laughs> arcane runes. Don't steal my milkshake while I'm doing this. <laughs> I've already, I drank I, it. I, <laughs> I leave to go to the bathroom for a little while. Uh, you go to the bathroom. Um, uh, you come back. At the end of the, that 10 minutes, um, you guys see that. Uh, uh, Ardine has looked down at the device and suddenly you hear, ah, yes, what, what we are looking at here is a switchblade comb. And you see that instead of a knife coming out, a little comb pops out. Oh, that's so much lamer. <laughs> this is the phylactery of Johnny Spells, also known as a packed boon. This magical item serves as a symbol of the promise made between Johnny Spells and his benefactor, the <gasps> demonic prince who granted him all of the power for his spellcasting. Is there any way that we can destroy it without releasing the demonic powers within it? I don't no, think No, Adine, ask who, ask who his benefactor is. It might be my dad. Who's the benefactor? Isn't your dad another tiefling? Why would you... The... No, my dad's a demon. Oh, okay. We don't know how high up the chain he goes. The benefactor of this particular warlock's pact was Gorthalax the Insatiable, a fallen oh, angel, uh, originally an angel of Sol, the sun god, who fell during the reign and fall of Calvaxis, emperor of the Red Waste. Oh, so it's one of yours. Whoa. I didn't tell you guys this, but uh, when I hid after the giant corn monster fight, mm -hmm. some of the cops were looking at the crime scene and they were talking about how uh, it wasn't arcane magic, that it was holy magic. <gasps> That oh. It must have been made by a fallen, fallen angel angels. or something like that. Oh, so this shit. is all starting to add up. However, there would have been certain taboos of behavior as a part of the pact made with Gorthalax the Insatiable, as well as a need to fulfill certain obligations in order to maintain a hold of the switchblade comb. This has been another use of the Identify spell. The Identify spell is the lamest person. Does it yeah. just almost plug its Instagram at the end? Though? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like a weird slug. <sighs> Wait, what, what was it that needed to be fed in? Is the Identify spell, can the Identify spell tell what had to be plugged into the switch comb in order to keep it going? Well, he couldn't fuck, right? Oh, oh he couldn't clearly fuck. Clearly he couldn't fuck. Okay. So he, he's just a no fap guy. He's getting his power from no, no fap. He's getting his power from no yeah, fap, and maybe it ha also sure. has something to do with the missing girls because they're all right. in they his little be. black book. He yeah. might have to offer up. He the, offers uh, up the women that he wants uh, to sleep yeah. with. So he wants to sleep with the women, and then he can't because he has to offer them. That is sacrifice. so twisted. I'm also I really no hope Orthodox isn't my daddy. Yeah, we know. Yeah, it's yeah. really we obvious. This much. <laughs> Um, just feel like it should we go? Should yeah, we go? I guess well. I mean, it's it's the middle of the night. Uh, is, we, can we go? To, it's let's the go AV to, club. Let's go to bed. Let's yeah, go, let's go, let's go, go to the AV club tomorrow. Uh, yeah, cool. first thing tomorrow. I'll see you guys at the AV club. Great. All right, cool. Well, um, hey guys, like, look, I know, I know, I don't wear my heart on my sleeve. I know I'm like hard to read. I'm like a. Locked book no, we or get whatever. it. We just have like a lot of daddy issues. We do a lot of like stuff. I know. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You're very on the surface yeah. about it. Yeah. I'm listening from halfway. <laughs> I have the doors open. <laughs> One headphone on. I just want to say, like, <laughs> I mean, like, I thought you all fought like really valiantly, and like, I was like honored to uh, drive down the highway of life with you. Okay, bye. That's enough. I run away. <laughs> <laughs> just.
from the soda yeah. fountain as long as fast as you can. Yeah. I, was, I was gonna say thank you, and then I agreed, and then yeah. I was glad we're friends. But uh, you know, she's tearing off down the street. <laughs> oh, there she goes. She's gone. She's yeah. fast. Wow. Um, you see, Basrar uh, comes over and says, uh, "So I hope that everything has been wonderful this evening. We will be closing up soon. I noticed that your friend." Sprinted out of the ice cream yeah. shop, so I hope everything is okay. Can I ask you a magical question? I don't want to impose. Certainly, you can ask me anything. I will do my best. I want you to know, though, that if you are going to ask for a wish, I can grant any wish you want. It just has to be ice cream, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I've already had a lot of ice cream today. Okay. Um, Some people get really upset when you can't do non-ice cream things. What about if I wish for ice cream later? So at a certain point... I want to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just like... at some point in the I, next... I just get an ice cream. If you'd like to wish for ice cream later at, at an undetermined time, yes, I can do that. Then uh, I would like to wish for us all to get ice cream later at an we undetermined will all time. get ice cream later at an undetermined time. <laughs> Make sure I'm in on that. Make sure I'm I in on that. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm not here. Uh, you see that a little of like frosty magic comes and circles around you as you run is down the street. Is this what friendship feels like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's my secret. I was going to wish for ice cream anyway. Duh. Oh, that's very nice. I hope that's true. <laughs> and you see he whisks behind the bar and you just hear deep sighs from the kitchen of the soda fountain. Uh -huh. No. Uh, cool. You guys head out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys head out the next day. You guys arrive back at school. It's day three. Ooh. Day um, three of school. Me meeting at the AV club? I'm Are we? Certainly going. Can I, before we go in, I have a present for, I have a present for Gorgug. Cool. What? You're out on the steps. People are arriving that morning. Hey, Gorgug, before we go in, because, you know, I, I can't be seen with you, um... <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't know that. No, I remember because I saw. I, I guess I didn't out. think it meant you couldn't see me ever. Right? Yeah. Okay. What? Well, um, I just thought it was really cool that you. I feel like you look really scared. Don't be scared. I'm not scared of. Okay, go for it. I just, you know, I, I liked that you were trying to sing. I think it's like the right direction that your, um, that your family members uh, want you to sing to channel your rage. Um, but I was thinking maybe it's like music is right, but the medium is wrong. So I got you um, some drumsticks. Just drumsticks? <laughs> yeah. Just to sing songs? No, I thought you could get into drumming. Oh. Okay. I never no tried it. There's no pressure. Awesome. I just uh, wanted to yeah. give it to you. That's Thank all. Thank you. <laughs> like a. <laughs> Maybe you oh, should take a you class just, or yeah, something. Yeah, you all right, get, like, thank you. I just like keep walking like this. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to drum right now, man. You just you, you just put them in your back, back pocket. Back pocket. And then it looks cool. People know you. You don't have to hold them like this for people to know that you have them. But I do have them. Yeah. If they. All right. <laughs> all right. Well. Uh, uh, you guys walk into the halls of the Egg Ford Adventuring Academy here, day three. Uh, you hear Vice Principal Golden Horde come over the PA. Welcome, welcome back to day three here at the Egg Fort Adventuring Academy. Nobody died yesterday, <laughs> so big plus as far as we're concerned. Let's keep it going, gang, and everyone enjoy your classes. Um, he you did to... murder someone, yeah, no. yeah. and a bunch of his That's friends. No one I can't died believe here, that though. nobody, no we didn't here. get in trouble for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we you just crashed a car. Uh, <laughs> um, you guys, uh, uh, you guys walk through the halls. Um, you see, uh, Gorgog, you're going to your locker, um, and you see that there is a um, uh, a young woman uh, who's at the locker next to you. Um, you see that she's got sort of like hair like hanging bangs in front of her face, and she's got like a sort of weird like sweater that's a little bit too big for her, and she's got goat legs and a little pair of horns that come up. Uh, you see that she sort of uh, opens a locker next to yours um, and looks up at you and goes, oh, uh, 
cool, a cool drumsticks. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna learn to play sometime soon. <laughs> so I have them. Sick, that's cool. Yeah. You're one of the six kids who the, the, the freaky thing happened to, right? You guys, the uh, rumor started that like the six of you were in detention when that thing attacked. Can I make an insight? Yeah, go for it. 20. <laughs> um, you have never guessed correctly when somebody likes you before. Uh -huh. And you have some reason to believe that you might be a, a thimbleful cool to this person on this occasion. Oh, um, I mean, yeah, I guess that was us. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of crazy, I guess. <laughs> I like, start trying to go through my back, my <laughs> do my combination on my locker. Uh, go ahead and give me a sleight of hand check. <laughs> Four plus one. You, uh, <laughs> as you were talking about how cool you are, you cannot get the combination to your locker open. Yeah, pretty um, wild day uh, that was. Um, that's aw that's awesome. Um, if you ever, I don't know, like I am thinking about trying like the barbarian class at some point, but it's it seems like not like for me. I don't know or whatever. Yeah. What, what you were? What I'm? Well, okay. <laughs> I. Uh, I was a, I'm in a barbarian. I'm in a barbarian class. I'm a barbarian. Class. Really? Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I'm still figuring out. <laughs> yeah. Kind of what I'm gonna be. Totally. Um, Are you having trouble with that? I. Uh, I'm just playing with it. Can I make a bluff check? <laughs> yeah. Can I make a bluff check? <laughs> um, what is that? Uh, what would, which one would that would be? I, Sorry. Uh, Deception. Deception. Oh, I, just a seven. Um, you see, uh, she looks at you and goes, oh, <laughs> rad. I play with the little locks, too. <laughs> yeah, it's just like being funny. <laughs> uh, you hear a voice behind you say, you know what's funny, and your head gets smashed oh, into the locker. Um, oh, my God. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> you take... Uh, nine points of damage. Oh, oh God. Uh, and you see that Rog Barkrock is behind you and goes, that's what you get, you fucking freak. This kid's a fucking freak. Hangs out in the fucking parking lot and steals backpacks, dude. What do you fucking do, you jerk off in I it? You don't... fucking jerk off freak? I don't do that. Uh, I don't do you, that. That's you, dude. That's what uh, you're like. <laughs> I'm really mad, but that's okay. <laughs> Because this song is about being mad and not being fine. Uh, no. <laughs> you see that Rog trembles as he realizes that you just tried to sing at him, and all of his like bully neurons are like firing. He's almost having like a stroke as he <laughs> is like <laughs> realizes the opportunity that is presented to him. He looks at you and says, "Did you just fucking?" I. This kid, fuck! And he grabs you. Um, <laughs> uh, he grabs you and hurls you across the hall <laughs> into the other lockers. <laughs> this guy fucking sings when he gets his ass kicked, dude. He's like a fucking. He's like a fucking jack in the box, dude. He, like you fucking hit him and he pops out and sings a fucking song. All right, I go into a real rage. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, you see that uh, Rog uh, uh, fully joins you and leaves you. Go ahead and make an opposed athletics check. Mm -hmm. uh, nat 20. Ooh. Nat 20. Yeah. Uh, you, Second nat 20. what do you want to do to, uh, what do you want to do to, you, well, you're in a rage, so yeah, awesome. What do you want to do to Rog as a result of that nat 20? Use everything on Oh, him. I'm just going <laughs> to, like, cartoonishly throw, like, spin him around uh -huh. and throw him down the hallway. <laughs> Fucking pants him, dude. Uh, <laughs> you fucking, whoa, whoa, he goes fucking flying as a bunch of students gather around. Uh, he lands ass over tea kettle, looks up, bloody nose, and he goes, 
This guy's a fucking freak. He fucking threw me down the hallway. This guy's a fucking maniac. Are you man. crying? <laughs> Dude, this guy fucking sucks. Fuck you, dude. And he gets up, runs off down the hall. Um, you see that, um, uh, <laughs> you look over, go ahead and make an insight check for me again. Uh, ooh, uh, I got a 19. Uh, Zelda, uh, the, not that you've got her name yet, but the satyr girl looks terrified uh, and kind of backed up against the lockers. Oh, um. Uh, I, can I come out of my rage? Sure. Okay. Whoo! <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I, he made, I felt bad because he was being mean to me and I, it just, I, I sometimes that happens when you're a bar, in a barbarian class. Uh, go ahead and make a persuasion check for me. Ooh, that is only, uh, oh, wait, nope. Zero. Uh, Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Um, you see that she goes, sure, I get it. Um, later, and walks up down the hall. Bye! Bye. <laughs> uh, the rest of you guys, uh, what do you guys do with your day? You guys want to go to the AV club? Sounds like the plan. Yeah, I'll come to the AV club. Uh, sure. Can I join the like AV club? So oh. socially, I'm in such a precarious position that I don't know if I do want to go to the AV club. But if the cool kids are going, I'll go. Well, don't worry, I'm going to stand outside of the door. Just yeah. know, look, see, I'm not. I don't want to be seen going into the AV right. club. Right. If you guys want to, it's guess... pretty important that you guys are in with the cool kids. So you yeah. two, the rest of us are doomed. Let's face yeah. it. Yeah. Fine. Then will you let me table tap you in front of some cool <laughs> Fine. kids? Fine. Cool. Yeah. So... yeah. Why don't you both be pretending to carry me and push me in the lockers yeah. as we go to the AV? Club? <laughs> I'll pretend to be a nerd. Yes, can I spin the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give me an athletics roll to spin the ball. Uh, eight. Eight. Um, you attempt to like Harlem Globetrotters, like get all the way around, and uh, uh, Riz uh, immediately falls off and uh, face plants on the ground. Um, you guys uh, basically just shame and humiliate Riz <laughs> on your way to the AV club. Um, but you all make it's your important. way there. It's important. Uh, you get it's there. I'm sorry, it's necessary. Um, so you get there on like a little, basically like your lunch break. Ooh, um, I'm also, as we're walking, gra yanking on lockers in case any of the uh, locks are undone, so I could open them. Uh, go ahead shit. and make an investigate check. That's gonna be a 19. A 19. Damn. Yeah. Um, uh, you yank on a couple, um, you actually yank on one, and you see that it is, uh, Penelope Everpedal's locker. <gasps> oh, shit. Yep, we're gonna look in well, there. Well, you guys cover me, because if she comes, I can't get into shit with her. Do you wanna just throw me in her locker? Yes, I will pretend to be doing that. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me an investigate check. Come in. I Matt. rolled a goddamn one. <laughs> on that one. Well, here's the thing. The place is, it's pretty spotless. Penelope's locker is like well-groomed, organized. What you do see that even a nat one will get you is that there are a lot of pictures of her in here um, with her like uh, uh, sort of like pastiched or collage with like her in like a beautiful gown, her in a thing of like roses and flowers, her with like a crown on her head. There's a thing of like Dane Blade's picture next to it and she's like kissing him. Um, you find one very old little crystalline like daguerreotype thing pressed up against the back of the locker, which is a picture of her in braces, uh, which does not fit with how stylish everything else is. And she's got an arm around Sam Nightingale, who's also like middle school aged in the picture. They both look like they're 10 or 11 years old. Can I see if there's anybody else in the picture? Like if something's blocking it or anything? Like is uh, it a collage? You are looking through to see if anything else is being blocked by it. Um, you guys start hanging out in front of it. You see Penelope starts walking up to her locker. Okay, um, I just loudly say to Fabian, shit, did you really see um, Johnny Spells outside earlier. Like, I right did now? see Johnny Spells outside. Penelope, Johnny Spells is outside right now. Go ahead and give me a deception <laughs> roll. 16. 16? Nice. Uh, uh, 11. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna take a picture of what I just rolled for later. 
Is it a 20? I hope it's a one and not a 20. <laughs> it's one or the other. I think a one is much more. It's a classic 15. <laughs> oh my god, it's such an interesting roll of it. Uh, you see that she looks at you and says, Oh my God! Johnny Spells is outside right now. Yeah, like some guy. Or we don't like we don't really know. Him. We saw some Johnny's... guy on a motorcycle. Yeah. Um. Oh my God! Thank you guys so much for telling me. I super appreciate it. Um, and you see that she turns tail and runs out the uh, uh, runs out the other hallway. <gasps> knock knock. Get out! Get out! Get out, get out. Uh, the ball. <laughs> the ball. Uh, I try to see if there's any false walls or anything in there. You got There's nothing, baby. That nat nothing. one. All right, bro, um, get out. Uh, cool. Uh, you duck out. Um, I'm gonna need everyone here to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh so shit. shit! Why? Am I there? Are we all there? Ooh, three. Uh, wait. Plus two. Five. Seventeen. Nine. Oh, ten. Twelve. That's my wisdom. Five. Save. Cool. Uh, Thirteen. Uh, dope. That's it. We'll move on. Uh, you shit. guys head <laughs> off. Uh, you guys head off down the hall towards the AV club. Um. You guys arrive there. Once again, Arcanotech, little beakers going. Um, you guys see that Shelford, Scrank, and Biz are all here hanging out. Um, What's up, boys? Uh, you see that Shelford turns and looks at you and goes, Pfft. whatever. Uh, oh you God. see that Biz says, guys, cool. uh, he says, Oh, guys, what's up? Oh, welcome back. Oh, look, it's packed in here. That's nuts, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, Gorgug. Yeah, hi. Uh, can I, Riz, can I just like level you super quick? Yeah, sure, what's up, man? We kind of have like a, like a rep here at the school and if Gorgug's kind of hanging around. <laughs> what did we do? We I'm excited to be here. This is like exactly what I wanted to do, I think. It's just kind of like maybe he, maybe like don't super bring him around all the time. All this stuff is so cool. I feel like he's kind of, I feel like if anything, he actually might fit in real well with like us. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe he would, but also like, one of the things is this, like, AV, we kind of, like, ha of the, like, clubs at school, we kind of have, like, a bad boy mystique that kind of feeds into us because, like, it takes a lot of fucking skill to, like, work these machines, and people kind of look at that, and they're like, that's dope. Right. And if Gorgon's here, he's kind of like a freaky weirdo who, like, creeps on people and steals their stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's the thing about Gorgo, though. He's got something really fucking cool that only me, you, and Gorga can look at. You see that uh, he looks over and goes, "Oh, uh, okay, yeah. If he's got if he's got dope stuff, yeah, let's take a look." Uh, you see, he says, "Can I show shelf for this or should it just be us?" Okay, I think it should probably just be us. Um, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill at the front of the door towards toward wherever they're hanging out, almost like a bouncer. So like if anyone else tries to come in, they gotta get past I'm me. I'm gonna go with you. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Staff. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put the staff like sideways on the door. Uh -huh. and, like... and I'm just gonna play with a lighter. <laughs> awesome. Um, so you see that uh, uh, you, Biz, and Gorga go into a corner. Biz goes, hey dude, hey, <laughs> cool. It's... So uh, my man Riz here tells me that you got some cool stuff to look at. Oh yeah, totally. Hold on, and I pull out the palimpsest. Palimpsest? Palimpsest. I palimpsest. cannot help. Sorry. It is a palimpsest. <laughs> <laughs> the ellipses. I got a palimpsest. It's a palimpsest. Uh, you see, uh, Biz looks at him and goes, "Holy moly, that thing's been beat to hell. What happened? What'd you guys do?" I think yeah, there's, I think there's something inside of it, and somebody's trying to make it more difficult for it to get out. Could you look at it and tell us what it is? This is what, like data or something? There's some like information or memories or dreams or something put in there? Um, Gorgug thinks there's like a person in there. Like, so <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean? Like a, like, like a prank? Like you guys pr um, pranked on somebody? Maybe it's like a prank. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> why don't we go? Hey, why don't we go to the dark room and we'll just take a look? Let's, and let's, let's just take a look. And we'll let's look at it. Let's crack a, I also we'll crack get in there because like, I understand why this is happening to Gorgok, but also this is all of my work that Gorgok, <laughs> for some reason, is getting the credit for. And I worked really hard to get all of this information. <laughs> you see, uh, uh, Biz <laughs> looks up at you. Uh, um, he, Biz has not really noticed you up until this moment, but as you sort of try to muscle into the dark room, he looks up and goes, oh, uh, uh, and you see that he flies on little pixie wings and gets a little like trilby hat and puts it on his head and he goes, Milady. Oh. <laughs> bows. Oh. oh, God. I couldn't wow. help but notice from your uh, accoutrement, but you bear the visage and resemblance of a spellcaster. Uh, our uh, birthright, you as a high elf and myself as a pixie, would see no. us. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, no. No. No to what? Just no. no? And I, I whisper in his ear, I think it would really impress her if you figured out what was up with this crystal. Dude, you are the number one wig man. You <laughs> get it. Uh, forgive me for being overly forward. Uh, the, uh, as the poets say, the heart wants uh, what looks good. <laughs> So the, hearts, it's, the heart wants. I just want to cast so many shitty spells on this dude, and I'm not going to because I know he can help us. But I'm <laughs> so skewed so out. You just have a ray of sickness like at just your like, fingertip. Just like, like oh, I'm holding um, it in. So the three of you go in um, to the dark room with Biz. You two are at the door, which just leaves Fabian with Scrank and Shelford. <laughs> <laughs> can I just look over at Scrank? So. Do you eat worms? <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, what? Do you? Uh, no. Uh, but, you know, I'm a. Um, what? I'm uh, a. Uh, Most, mostly I wouldn't eat worms. I eat uh, rabbits. Oh. Um, but also just like pizza. Oh. You know, just food. Wow. Incredible. I'm like a full person, dude. <laughs> uh huh. So do you uh, do you play? Do you play sports? Mm, I do. Yeah. Well, I should be. Uh, I could be. I'm. Yeah, they do. It, it's a sore subject. Uh, I play <laughs> crystal sports. I'm sorry. I play like crystal sports. I'm sorry. Uh, I play a, crystal sports. What a, what a <laughs> you, is, it, is it like a ball game? Do you throw a crystal around? Or? Yeah. Well, no, you don't throw a crystal around. You throw a ball around in a crystal. So it's like all the strategy and tactics of like a, like a real game. You know, like a like a sports game, but it's a, yeah, on a crystal. Uh huh. Oh, oh, that sounds that sounds delightful. <laughs> Shelford <laughs> looks up and goes. Uh. Don't mind Scrank. He fucking sucks. Oh, and you're you're what cool? <laughs> <laughs> fucking loser, dude. Who? Me? You? The Birdman? What? Who are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we killed it. Great. Great. We're good. Uh, uh, we, we know what's going on. We know what's going on here. Uh, we go back uh, into the dark room um, where Biz, Riz, Gorgug, and Adine are gathered around. He takes a little sort of brass clamp that goes around to these four little sort of hook talon things that jam into the crystal. He turns on a little weird centrifuge engine and this crystalline blue energy fills up the palimpsest. <gasps> And you see a spectral form of Sam Knighty, deep, deep within the crystal, reflected hundreds and hundreds of times over. Biz looks at it horrified, goes, oh my god, how did you guys get this? What did you guys do? I, I don't, I, 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 I don't, I don't want any. What is it? You see, he says, okay, look, there's, he sort of like, holds his eyebrow and goes, so, okay, every crystal, right, is 
logged with the Council of Chose. There's a special bureau of it that's dedicated to Arcano Tech safety, right? So every crystal is unique, right? And there's a way to kind of scry on it or find it if people do stuff with it, right? So this has been turned into a palimpsest, right? All that stuff's been scrubbed out. So a normal dream crystal is only capable of holding like certain amounts of data or information, right? Like textual information or it's able to run certain cantrips or run certain spells that have certain applications, right? So that most of the companies that buy and sell crystals, they have very limited use, right? But the dream crystal in its natural state is capable of holding vastly more information than just uh, sensory data, light, sound, things like that. A, a crystal can hold kind of anything. And I had sort of never seen it fully developed or tested, but it appears that this crystal is holding a, uh, a soul. Well, so how do we get her out? Uh... Well, I know how to like get like music off of like your mobile crystal onto your like home crystal. So you're useless? Is that what you're telling us? You're useless? <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, far from useless, uh, milady. I uh, uh, I could I could get her out. I could definitely get her out if you could. Um, definitely, just don't kill her. But yeah, if you can get her no, out, no, I, I would. I well, that's the thing. There's no. Uh, what do you think you could do to get her out? I would need like more, I would need like better equipment than what the school has. Where, what place Yo. has better equipment? Than a high school AV club. <laughs> this is, I mean, my parents might have something. If you, look, I won't lie to you. I think I can figure out how to do this, but Doing it here feels really dangerous. Also, whoever did this is extremely dangerous. Did you, you guys, we are not the ones who did it? No, 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 no. Okay, do you mind telling me if you're trying to enlist me in a covert operation? Yes, you are a hacker. Yes, dude! <laughs> Fucking did it, dude! Yes! <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! I mean, just to be clear, you're not oh, God, in our adventuring so party. I'm a part He's of the team. You're not a part of He's the adventuring a hacker. party. Uh, He's a hacker. Seven of us versus the world. Nice. Yeah. He's a hacker. All of us. Uh, so okay, so I'm like your, I'm like the man, in, I'm like the man in the van, right? Like I'm your guy in the sky, kind there of. Like go. I'm like in over here, and we're like pow, 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 pow. Like, yeah. Dude, this is so friggin' rules. This is so friggin' rules, dude. Mm. Right, okay, so Hacker. Hacker. Where do you think we could get equipment that would be better? Uh, okay. I can get started with, with what I have, although I sh probably should do it on school property because weird stuff's been happening at the school, right? right? Right. So I can get started with what I have. If you guys could talk to like Gorgon's parents or uh, to see if they have any Dream Crystal equipment, I'm sure they do their tinkers, right? Yeah. Basically, Andy, I, what I really need is like a power source. I need like a machine because I can do a lot of the processes, but I don't have enough juice like on my crystal at home. So any kind of power source you can get me is going to be like super helpful. What okay. kind of a power source? I don't know. Uh, any kind of arcade power source that is going to be strong enough to kind of like let me run a lot of very complex operations. I can like daisy chain a couple of crystals together, but at a certain point, like. I'm gonna blow the breaker at like my parents' house, and I'm gonna get in trouble. I mean, do you have... this it might be too dangerous, but I do have this warlock switch comb. Well, 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 milady. Does... Don't if you call me milady one more time, I will make you vomit in front of the coolest girl in school. <sighs> Well, if you want to make me vomit in front of yourself, oh. that's your prerogative. Oh. That was pretty I would say good. Go for right? it at this point. <laughs> uh, you see, he says, uh, uh, "Yeah, it, that has enough juice in it that I can at least get started." I don't know if it will mess with it or not. It's possible that. You see, he looks at it and says, "Is that Johnny Spells switch comb?" How do you know Johnny Spells? Uh, he's been coming to the school and dating people for like the whole time I've been here. That's so creepy. Yeah, he's like not great. He's like a bad guy. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. And it's <laughs> always like, it's always like, yeah, of course girls are gonna go for like jotty spells because he like has a motorcycle and is like super in shape. But like, there's like nice guys who, honestly, like have a lot to offer that they would like oh. never. I mean, oh, I hate that I'm gonna even tell you this, but like, I think that you feel like you have a lot to offer, and please take this the right way. Sure. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to see a great way to take that if I'm being <laughs> super honest. Like, what are you doing to work on yourself to make yourself more interesting and attractive? Uh, like, are you just thinking that women should, like, change themselves and lower their standards in order to date you? Oh. <laughs> I'm saying this to you now because, like, like... Wow. I, I really think it will help you, even though it's very hurtful. It's like Siobhan didn't say vicious mockery, but I think she's casting vicious mockery. <laughs> he sort of thinks for a second and goes, okay, uh, well, I'll get started on doing this really dangerous thing for you guys. And, uh, uh, I guess I'll take the switch code with the palimpsest and you guys just, I'm uh, sorry. I don't know if we should, I don't know if you, if, if we can just leave these with you. I think there's dangerous people who are maybe after this. Okay, do you guys... So maybe we should meet up with you after school. You guys hold on to it, hand out, hand out to me after school, yeah. and I'll get started. I'm sorry, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I just didn't also want you to kid yourself. <laughs> I think you would actually get along really well with... You have a sister, right? I do have an older sister. She's very mean. Oh. I'm the nice one. I don't think that you would get along with my sister. You're the, you're the nice one? I'm the nice one. Well, here's the thing. I, uh, I, uh, I won't lie. I have been cut down a peg or two in this social interlocution. However, See, here's the thing. Interlocution. Saying interlocution in say, instead of saying conversation like, this is a part of the problem, dude. Do you have anything else about me that you'd like to be different than how it is? I'm not saying that you need to be different. I'm saying that, like, if it is what you want, a specific thing that is... You know what? Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. <laughs> You're a hacker, man. I'm the hacker, dude! I'm the hacker. You never forget that. At the end of the day, you're a hacker. <laughs> um, cool. Well, you you guys out at the front, uh, you see that Vice Principal uh, Golden Horde walks up to you guys as you're hanging out. Goldenrod! Hmm? Oh! Uh, <laughs> Golden Horde. Golden Horde. Uh, hello, you two. Hi. Are you... In class right now, or kind of what's going on? Now I'm cutting to get your attention. Okay, <laughs> what's going on here? There's not a thing here. There's not a thing here. All right. Uh, it, I uh, I put my <laughs> combat boot like way up to tie my shoe, but it's like kind of erotically <laughs> positioned. I can't, I can't tell whether you're trying to be inappropriate or masquerading Doreen's final gift to you on this earth in front of me. But either way, Dude, it's inappropriate. I'm tying my shoes. Okay. Unless you're trying to take What's it there. What's going on here? There's not all right, bye, go to class! And you see he scoots off down the hallway. I'm reading like a cool Christian book this whole time. That's like, <laughs> like saxophone, Kit Kats, and reflection. <laughs> um, if you're looking, by the way, at the books that you guys got from the library, mm -hmm. uh, the People's History of Falunel that you have been like paging through, uh, the Crusaders of the Church of Soul committed countless atrocities against different elves, like wood elves that lived on the outskirts of the forest, the Nightmare King. There were like invasions of Falunel by soldiers of the sun. Uh, it is like blowing your mind. Yeah, as you cool, read. cool. Can I also have been using this time, you know how we got detention slips in uh, Golden Hordes? Uh, uh, presumably he wrote them, right? Yes. Can I be practicing his handwriting? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Go ahead and give me a like a pr proficiency like calligraphy check. It'll just be like a dexterity check. Dexterity. Okay, dexterity. Uh, okay, only eight. You're, you're, it's hard to get because he writes with a big claw hand, so you're, it's taking time to get it. I'll keep at it's it. It's chill, dude, I have a losery script. Um, I know, I'm but... also proficient in calligraphy. So. Um, oh, you are. <laughs> you guys leave the AV club that day, end of school rolls around, um, and outside, oh, who, do you guys all hang around to meet up with uh, Biz? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. 
I mean, if we, if, if we're, so first off, I want to put it out there that that switchblade could be a connection to <clears throat> my dad. dad. So <laughs> I would prefer to go where the switchblade goes. I also think in general, maybe the switchblade should be with me. Um, just putting it out there. I would love that. I'll leave it up to the group because I don't know if I say this enough, but I really respect you guys. Okay, just oh. don't run away. We respect <laughs> you also. Yeah, don't run away. Just stay here. Just stay. Here. Just stay. Yeah. Just stay. Yeah. Don't cool. I, I stopped running away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but I would say that if, if we're worried about someone coming after Biz, we could leave a couple thugs, myself included, to sort of stay in guard I with think him. we should go with Biz wherever. Yeah, I think is. so yeah. too. You need to go to your parents though, right? Yeah. To get the... Or should we just stuff? bring Biz to your well, house? Well, oh, yeah, maybe. Is this a power? I was confused. The was, power yeah. Is Would the power source the... Power source uh, we can't like go to my house. We could sneak around. I mean... It would be kind of fun. Uh, Wait, I thought we... the, the comb was a power source. Uh, you guys see that Biz walks up with like a little trench coat and a different trilby that looks sort of more. Oh god! Okay. This is the guy you're I mean, talking I'm sorry, about. Yes, this is yes. we, we Riz brought is, him Riz into the is learning so much about himself in this moment. Yeah, I mean, look, we can go to my place, but you guys have to sneak in the back or like up into a. Do like, you have a like an window. extra whole house or something? I feel like. No, the house is just really big. Well, I, they would well, never give well, me. Well, well, well. Looks like our little clandestine meeting has arrived. Enchanté, mademoiselle. Enchanté. Hello. Oh my god. I look through my cantrips to see if there's anything that will shut him up. Uh, I'm trying not to say Do you have memory. the parcel? I think we're all gonna go together. Yeah. To my h house? Is that where we're doing it? I thought you needed a power source. I do need a power source. I hang out, I have like sort of, my mom kind of lets me use like the whole basement. Okay. Okay. Should oh. we go get a power source and then meet him at his house? Yeah, or oh, yeah. we have it. We have this. This we thing have this might bag. take a couple of days, guys. Just as like a, a like heads up. Uh, Should yeah. we take off like trade out shifts so someone is always with? My mom's you? gone all the time. I can just sleep at his house. Okay. Yeah, dude, cool? sleep over, dude. Yeah, that'd be oh, That's awesome, Jesus. dude. Yes, <laughs> yes, dude. It's like I wanna, pr I wanna protect the items, but and I say this out of earshot of him, but I don't. <laughs> He's standing him. right there. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. You're not my vibe. I'm I sure I'm not. I understand. Either. Listen, in this game of shadows that oh. us in the intelligence community play, trust is at a premium. I understand that. I use message to cast to the other girls, do not leave me alone with this dude, please. <laughs> <laughs> so very, very well. I have an auto uh, reply back that says, have a blessed day. <laughs> with a bunch of verses. <laughs> I have an auto reply back that's some really emo lyrics. <laughs> uh, if I need to earn your trust, I understand that. You're more than welcome to come hang in my house. My mom always has snacks, and we're pretty much good to go. Uh, um, cool, another point of business. We got a phone number that we can call. Why don't we number. meet this we guy later? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Is, why don't you get ready? We'll we'll be at your in your basement. I'll get ready. Um, uh, do you want, sh do you guys want to hold on to the stuff, or do you guys want me to get started? You know what? We'll, we'll hold, hold on, on to, to the, the stuff, stuff until we get to yours. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, awesome. We could um, just go to my house and get and try to find a power source. Which, yeah. Which of your also... houses would have a better like gnomes or elves? I mean, um, I don't know of any specific power sources, but I'm sure there's something cool. Know. Yeah, would I think we your have any clue? Each good. of you guys roll. Wait, your parents will like. Each of you guys roll an Arcana check to see if you have something uh, dope at your house. I got a three. Uh, oh. I got a thirteen. Also, Can I check for mine in case I have a cool power source for like my amps or something like that? Go for it. Mm. Also thirteen. Also thirteen. Cool. Seven. Uh, I would assume my. Mom no, you guys probably don't have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got. You're not sure. It's it's a weird question. You guys have never considered it. It right. would be it would be like someone asking a high school student, like you know, what's the like, what's your fuse box like in your basement? It's like I don't. Fucking know. I just, Do you guys just want to stop by I both just, houses and I'll see? I'll go if we to can... my house. I know it'll be easy at least to go to my house. Yeah, your house. I mean, at least your parents will probably yeah. help you. My house will have to sneak around. Do we want to go by Gorgug, see yeah. what we can get, and yeah. then go from there? I cool. think so. Cool. Yeah. En route. Should we call this mysterious number from this yes, burner crystal? Can you it. pretend to be Johnny Spells? Yeah. You open the casing of the phone. Biz has already 
taken off. You open the casing of the phone. Um, you turn the phone on. Uh, the phone has not been activated yet. Okay, let's, uh, let's activate it. Um, you, it asks you to input the phone number and activation key. It's gotta be the one that we haven't used. So let's just do that because we might get messages on oh, it. Oh, yeah, So let's great. do it. Uh, you activate the phone and immediately an unknown number, there's no context in the phone obviously, it goes ping. The text reads, page didn't work. We need another one. Can we organize a meetup? Page didn't page work. Didn't work. We Do need we another what? one. Well, there was a page in the there corn was, monster. There was a page yeah. in the corn monster. We need another one. Okay, I'm gonna say yes, because I also stole a bunch of his clothing. I could straight up disguise myself as Johnny Spells, be mm-hmm. shrouded in shadow, and meet up with this person. Yes. Uh, when you're texting back, make sure to use the word daddy over Yeah, I'm definitely going to. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say things like jive. Um, okay, Emo- we need another one. Can we meet that up? that are, um, like, uh, saxophones and stuff. Oh, yeah. No. No. <laughs> Down the dancing Do we know the name of his motorcycle? Did Because you have his motorcycle. I don't think it has a, did it, ha- it didn't have a name. Okay. I'm just going to say, um, uh, I think that we should text back, like, sure thing, daddy O. What time jives for you? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sounds just like him. <laughs> also, uh, and then I'll text and be like, Oh, yeah, no, 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 I, I'm not going to say anything else. Yeah, don't do a double text. Though. Yeah, that's so, too thirsty. Looks needy. Sure yeah. thing, daddy what time jives for you? Um, you get an immediate response back, dot, 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 aren't you dead? <gasps> Fuck! I mean... I don't, I don't go anywhere near the keypad, so there's no dot, 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 like, to show I'm typing. Mm-hmm. Just going to take a second. Um, I, can we take pictures with the, this thing? Can we take Screen pictures with Crystal? Um, yeah, you can take pictures with it. Oh, yeah, let's make you look like I don't Johnny think Spell. I should disguise yeah. myself okay, just yet. Yeah, I should save it for if I meet up with them. Well, do we want to lie Maybe and say... Maybe just say laying low for now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, things went awry laying uh, low or yeah. something like yeah. that. Things, uh, things got weird oh. laying low for now. What if um, you? What if we take a, an audio re- clip of you revving your new bike to show that you're still alive. That might be more obvious. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Still <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, good try, Kristen. <laughs> you know? Uh, Why didn't you just uh, talk? I don't uh, know. <laughs> go ahead, that, if you'd be so kind, and make a, this is so weird to do over text, make a deception roll for me. I should have fucking leveled that up. 16. 16? 16. Um, you get a response back that says, okay, dot, dot, dot. Uh, so the person they buried at Cravencroft, that's not you. Um, maybe, maybe I'll just say like, fuck, should we say like, uh, I think we should just say like, I think we should just say, like, I can't go into it now or something. Yeah, it's just yeah. like it takes more than a few high schoolers to defeat me or something. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, well, they yeah, might yeah. not know it was high schoolers. That might give them a yeah. clue. Oh, okay. Um, but I think you're on the right path. I mean, I've crashed like, my bike before. Or yeah, like, you know, yeah. Like, what if yeah. you just said, tell you later? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah I think it's yeah, more like, vague, more yeah. ambiguous. Too much. Yeah, 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 too much. Yeah, yeah. Daddy of the story. Too much, we have a problem with Sam. Oh, okay. Um... Daddy O, uh, too much uh, for text. We have a problem with Sam. Make a deception check with advantage if you'd be so kind. <sighs> Thank God. 20. Nice. Yes. Zero, Very cool. First. No, four. What was a four? Oh. So, um, uh, the response you get back is um, no shit. Meet up at the pit instead of tea time. Ooh. So we know it'll be a Friday. At 10? Uh, at the black pit? The yeah. pit instead of tea time. I forgot to do my... What's a, what's a good jive What's a good jive response? Just a saxophone. Um, yeah, just a, I send just a, a saxophone, saxophone emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you just send a, just a pure saxophone emoji? 
we die because of this. Oh boy. 100%. Oh boy. <laughs> the illusion fades immediately. Yeah. Um, uh, but also say like, like sweet. Sweet. Cool. Um, uh, rad. Uh, uh, that exchange ends. Um, uh, what do you guys do after that? So this isn't tonight, right? No, it's gonna be a couple weeks. Oh, okay. Um, we can go to my Yeah, house. let's go to your house. Yeah, we go to Gorgon's Can we all pile on the back of your bike? Yeah, how many, I mean, how many <laughs> people can fit on the bike? Cool. Oh, you'll have your mom's car as well, right? Or no? I don't. No, no. Yeah. I definitely want to go on the bike. Although it's really funny when Riz goes on the bike because the bike hates him. Also, it's a very recognizable bike. So riding yeah. it around town. <laughs> oh. Honestly, oh. you didn't ride it to school, did no, you? Of course, I rode it to school. What? It's a motorcycle <laughs> what? that drives itself. Biz knew who Johnny Smells is. Okay. Biz knows who Johnny right. Smells is. I added a pair of crossbones, to, and so it, it's very much my cool. own. Why don't you go ahead and drive that home and then meet us at Gorgas? Hide it. I don't want to drive. <sighs> Fine. Uh, you drive your bike home. As you drive it home, um, you see that your um, uh, dad is having a bare knuckle boxing match with uh, one of his employees out in a little sort of sand patio. He looks over at you riding up on the bike, looks over, he's got like his shirt off, his one eye patch, he like, pops his tricorn on. So he's like old as hell, but still just like buff and wiry. He looks over and goes, really lad? What's that treasure you've set yourself astride on? Well, Papa, I bested a man in combat and took it as spoils. Ah, be that then your first plunder. Tis, Father. Oh, my boy! He picks you up. <laughs> my darling boy! Oh, and, and how did you do it? How did you end the man oh, whose things were yours all along, but he never knew? Papa, it was incredible. One of our uh, other members of my party had tried to do an insane maneuver in the car that ended up at flipping. But me, because I'm so lithe and <laughs> acrobatic, really I jumped, <laughs> landed perfectly, walked out <laughs> into the center of the road, and then I aimed my crossbow right at his eyes as you rode at me on this motorcycle, and oh, I heard your voice in my head, and it was just, I missed the first shot completely. Oh. The second one, dead on. It's a flare for the dramatic is what it is. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And, you know, in my day, we called it a crew and not a party. Things yeah. change. I'm, I'm old now. I don't get it. I'm yeah. old. I don't get it anymore. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's your time. It's your time to shine. And shine you will. Yes, Papa. Brighter than the sun in the sky. Yes, Papa. Everything in this world is yours, lad. Yes, Papa. My beautiful boy. Well, what do you think? What are the of the aesthetic here? Do we want it different? What do you want here? Well, I mean, we ha I mean, it actually would work out best uh, seeing as right now it looks too much like uh, the bike of that man, and I need to make it my own. Oh, you uh, need to fence it. You need to launder it, do you? Exactly. <laughs> uh, but I was thinking maybe I'd put a, put a couple of crossbones on it. I mean, it already has the skull, and maybe change the color to red. You, you know, need really. To have some crossbones. On. Yeah. Uh, and oh, I was, well, we can get that done. We can get that done. Uh, I was also thinking about na uh, naming it after uh, your ship. You'd like to name it after the Hangman? Yes. What is the name of the ship? The Hangman. Oh. Yeah. I was thinking either uh, <laughs> Hangman Junior or uh, the second Hangman. Uh, he says. That the hangman is fine, lad. Ain't no confusing a motorcycle and a ship. Besides, <laughs> the hangman's not as her sailing days behind her. The hangman. The, hang the red hangman. Yeah. He says, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done then, lad. We'll get it done and we'll... Hey, hey, uh, you done me proud, lad. Uh, what do we think? We, 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 uh, we'd like uh, w w w colors and all that. Will, will you? I'll surprise you. I'll surprise you. Oh, thank you, Papa. Uh, skull and crossbones. That's my boy. Uh, now, how does this thing? You see that the skull flares up and goes, oh, Unhand me. I am my master's vessel. You see that? Uh, he goes, Oh, look at that. Ah, seize me down, boy. Oh, it's wonderful. It speaks. Yes, it does. It's possessed, Papa. <laughs> Ah, I'm possessed with pride for my son. Oh, Papa. <laughs> All right, I'll get this fixed up in a jiff. We'll, we'll finish the boxing match later, boys. Now, you come on back home and by tomorrow morning, it'll be all spick and span for you. Neat as a, a shiny new pen. All right, thank you, Papa. I actually I need to go. I'm going to meet my friends. Uh, we're up to no good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Now, remember, friends are good. A crew's better. There is no one in this world more important than you. And if they ever cross you, you cross them first, you hear me? Yes, Papa. 
All right, my sweet boy, let's get this motorcycle fixed up. Um, you see the theme? Um, uh, uh, he takes the motorcycle and walks off with it. Um, he gets a, a car ordered for you to go to Gorgug's. Your dad is gonna, like, die. This motorcycle's gonna kill yeah. him. No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. Let's not even talk about it. that, all right? Um, uh, you guys arrive at the Thistle Spring Tree, where you see uh, Digby and Wilma are tinkering out, and sort of there's like a little open work table out in the yard. You see, they look up at you guys approaching as you get out of the car. Well, bud. <laughs> hey, mom. Well, well, what's going on, pal? Uh, well, I... did you get banged up? You see, sort of lump on your head. Yeah, I, I, I hit my head on a locker because a guy was, well. That guy pushed my head into the locker. Oh, bud, are these people, these, are these social workers? Or these they... are my friends. These uh, are... Hello, Mr. Thistlespring, Mrs. Thistlespring. My name is Adine Abernant. You see that they look at each other and they both shake your hand with both the little gnome hands wrapped around it. Well, golly, we got a real elf here. Look at, and I look at that orb and that book. Are you, are you a wizard, young lady? I am. Well, 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 golly, how about it? Uh, we're, 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 let's so get some. Cute. Uh, we're gonna get some. Get some tea. Use lemonade. We have. We have pink lemonade. We have red uh, lemonade. We actually. Um. I don't know if we can hang out for super long, but. Sure. I, Dad, I was gonna ask you. Do you? Um. Would you? Ants have... on a log. And you see that they both oh. run into the tree. Oh shit! I love that. Ants shit. on a log. Yes. You know what ants on a log? Yeah. Okay. I actually so brought tasty. some cornbread for everyone. If you want some. You brought cornbread. I mm -hmm. Don't want to be near corn. Really. Anymore. Oh. Yeah, actually Why do you bake your god? I it's more just like a, a form of worship. Hey, Dad. Oh, okay. Uh, Dad? Yeah, bud. So they come out with a bunch of ants on a log. They have like uh, lemonade and stuff. You guys all take a seat. Sit, 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 sit. Thank uh, you so much. Now this is so exciting. You're now you're all Gorgug's friends. Now you all go to Egg Fort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, we met, we all met. You know. I'm uh, trying to start a band with Gorgug. She gave me a drumsticks. A band. Let me see him. Well, I thought it was super chill that you guys taught him to sing. Well, you know what? I play the gnomish horn, and then I also play the ukulele. And you see, uh, they they go get their instruments from inside. They have a bunch of instruments. They say, well, we should, I'm going to say it, because I think we're all thinking it, we should jam. I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, hey, hey, I, hey, that, I got to, I got to, unfortunately, we, we're looking good. for something that's like a power source. Do you have any kind of power source? I'll tell you sources? about a power source. This little kiddo, when he was growing up, growth spur after growth spur, he was popping up all over the place. His limbs are going everywhere. <gasps> we have pictures. And you see, they rush inside. <laughs> Dad. So cute. Stop. I've never this met is, anybody yeah, as cute as your parents. I love so they rush out with a huge cute. album so cute. of just like gnomish like leaves and a little binder. And it's just pictures of Gorgug and them. He's like a baby and is as big as like the two of them, and they've got their little arms around the giant half orc baby. This is Gorgug when we first uh, found him, all right? Now, he was, I'll tell you, he was hungry. He was a hungry guy. I've never seen a baby eat raw meat, and he ate it up by the handful. Wow, it's good. I still like raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Thistlesprig, uh, Fabian Seacaster, uh, son of Bill Seacaster. Fabian, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, we actually have a group project uh, that we need to be working on for school. Ah, oh, yeah. look at this, Wilma. We're getting in the way of academics. You see, Wilma says, "Look at us. Well, we're not gonna. You're not gonna fail on our account. I'll tell you that. Uh -huh. uh, well, what can we do to help? We need that. Pa we need a power source. Do you have any sort of bigger power, like something that's like a magical extra palace big? Was. Yeah. You watch both of these gnomes change from like exuberant that their son has friends into project-focused gnomes, and mm -hmm. you see that the dad says, "Okay, power source. Talk to me. What are we talking about here? We're talking about some kind of project. What are you trying to run? What kind of power source for a spell? Like a spell wow. engine? You're talking about some kind of helix matrix? What are we talking? You see that they both start changing into like curly pointed toed shoes that are like work curly pointed shoes. We're all taking a we're all taking a rogue elective class that's okay. about uh, breaking into people's phones. Okay. Uh, so we just need a power source that can like help us break into phones. Power yeah. source? Adine was gonna put me inside a phone and then she had to get me out. Break him out, yeah. So it's, it's sort of a magical rogue situation. Defensive magic type situation. Yeah. Done, 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 done. We got it. Oh, you see they both rush really? inside. Wow. Um, they... Your parents are so nice. I'm so jealous. I love them. And I I'm... love them. My parents are so mean. I... It's really hard for me to lie. 
Oh, we gotta that, stop by my. We gotta stop by Galir. Just be just, then. Just be quiet. Eat I'm these gonna ants be just praying. Okay. Just um, fill your mouth with cornbread. Are those actual insects? <laughs> no, it's raisins. Oh, on peanut okay. Butter, so I really don't know what. You're so I, rich, you don't know what ants on a log I was, are. Like, like this it, whole what? time, I was like, are these people eating insects? I was like, no, no, no it's like an old dove. Honestly, what do you you a ridiculous person. What? A ridiculous Baby, person. What do you snack on? Kippers. <laughs> Kippers? What is a kipper? Kippers? What is a kipper? Kippers? Like, kippers? <laughs> like a kipper? Uh, like no, a, no, 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 no. Kippers. It's a smoked fish. It? It's a little, it's a small fish. Small oh, fish, very expensive. Eat, it's <laughs> very small fish. Raisins you get a hole, you just have some way fish and milk. Than fish. I'm sorry, what's a raisin? Raisin? It's, a, it's like a grape that got old. That got tired. Well, why would you eat something like that? A tired old grape? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That sounds disgusting. Like a grandma grape. It's like a why grandma grape. Why are you making grape. them sound so disgusting? They're good. Taste, it's just taste power it. Power source. Why are you being Do such a good yeah. uh, they, These gnomes rush out with like a bandolier of tiny crystals. They push a huge crystal in like a big like brass orrery. There's like an astrolabe with a bunch of crystals in it. One of them walks out and you see that there is this like screaming fire elemental inside of like a gilded orb like cage thing. Oh, so oh you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now, this you guys would be did from like this? an elemental engine. Now you have this over here. This would be from more like a dream crystal thing. Now oh, this the dream one... crystal thing. Okay, great. dream crystal. We'll put... You see they sort of kick the orb with the screaming <laughs> elemental and it kind of rolls away a little okay? bit. Is he okay? Is he okay? He's fine. I put him all okay? time. Oh yeah, he's fine. He's in there. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, um, now. Uh, what we got here is, uh, 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 you see they pick up this big thing, this just huge spinning like crystal. You see that it's in multiple stages, like cylindrical stages that are spinning in different directions and hovering in the middle of a ruined silver disc. Uh, and you see that uh, Wilma puts her little finger up under the point as it's hovering and lifts it, the whole giant thing up as it floats and lifts it over to you, Adine. Go. Uh, now it doesn't take much to move that thing around. I recommend if you're move, if you're attaching things to it, try to move that around with a mage hand rather than using your finger. So you guys know how to put people on crystals, so you could just help us. What? They, we don't want to. I'm gonna I feel, pray. It's probably for because it's for school. I don't think we should. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that would be yeah. cheating. That would be cheating. Yeah, we we're not going to get you guys in trouble by helping you out with this, are we? No. No, 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 no. no. We got to take this to our friend's house, though, who we're doing the project at. Yeah. Okay. His house. Well, we're glad to be help. If you guys want to come back here, we'll get sleeping bags out. We can get some popcorn. We can get some other snacks and stuff. We also, can... rain check on that jam session. I'm like so sad inside because I'm just realizing that other people's parents are like really nice to them. <laughs> I'm mortified. <laughs> I stand up too fast and I hit this like, I knock a light off the ceiling. Or something. <laughs> Bam, the light comes down. Ow. It puts like a weird Goldberg machine into effect. Ah. It's like the eggs start cooking. Yeah. Oh, looks like it's early breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Is um, egg for some eggs? I would love to. Yeah. We gotta go. Oh, yeah, you're I right. think we okay. need to go. Okay. okay. We gotta go. Uh, you guys head away from the Thistle Spring I tree. I hold their shoulder and I go, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're doing it wrong, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you guys come back. Hey, and you see that as you guys are getting back into like this little ordered car, you see they both look at you, Gorgog, and go, great job, kiddo. You got they're great. Your friends are great. Great job, bud. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you guys take off in the car. You guys arrive at Biz's house. Very cookie cutter, little ticky tacky house, suburban house. You see that it is crazy on the inside though, because pixies have moved into like a human sized house. So the furniture is all like multiple level. There's like double decker. Like the living room has like a loft, which is like a separate like balcony living room above the main living room. So it's just this insane, because Biz is again about like a foot and a half, two feet tall. So the house looks insane. <laughs> I forgot that was the, um, that the guy who so was harassing me was. So these guys gonna have to like crawl? Uh, yeah, you guys get there. Um, uh, you ring the doorbell, you see that Biz's mom answers. Um, you see she goes, uh, hello, uh, uh, can I help you guys? Uh, I'm Riz. I believe your son Biz is expecting us. Oh my gosh! Okay, Biz, Biz, Biz. Like we don't always have to lie. To you. He's downstairs. On one second, I'm Bubble. 
I I love love it. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. No shoes. Okay. No, no shoes. shoes. Okay. okay. No shoes. You're not going to steal them, are you? Beg your pardon. Oh, oh God. Steal what my are you doing? Phoebe, I, I use so make so bad bad with him. Uh, you see that she goes. In. I just take. I take Phoebe's shoes off. I do steal his shoes. Can I steal <laughs> <Yeah>. his shoes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? what am I doing? Exactly. You step right on his hand as he's doing. The fuck are you doing, the ball? <laughs> away, away from my. I'll take my shoes off. <laughs> uh, Biz comes up. Can sees, I just like untie my shoelaces? Yes. Okay. Uh, Biz comes up, uh, sees the huge crystal you guys are carrying, goes, "Oh boy, that'll do it. That'll do it." Uh, you want to bring that around to the backyard, and I'll hook it in through the uh, through the. We should go laser. around back. Yeah, if you just want to scoot around, because I don't think you can super fit. Inside Do you want to like h hunker down? I don't want, if anyone like drives by, I don't necessarily want them to see that you're here. Can I start a case Why the joint? Why are you so mean to a friend? What? He's not being mean. He, he just doesn't want people to really see He's being really mean. Yeah. While this is happening, I can see, I sort of case the joint? About. I want to like make sure no one's spying on us, following us, check. or anything like that. Okay. Twelve. But uh -huh. like a really full twelve. Um, <laughs> yeah, you don't notice anything. Like a whole out of the ordinary. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, he says, "I'm sorry. All right, if you want to move that around that back, I'll plug it in through and I'll take a look at it." But like you know, this is what I'm talking about, right? Like you, you think that you're a nice guy, but you've been so consistently really mean to my friend. Wait, are you being mean to me? Yeah, he's being really. Wait a minute. That's not you. true. I've only been mean to people that I could be mean to and not catch shit for it. Yeah, you hate what you're saying, right? That didn't sound great as I said it. I heard it as I said it and realized <laughs> that that was bad. Like people are dunking on you and so you're dunking on the people <laughs> below you? <laughs> right. Just no dunking. Just, Just like, right. we have a no dunk zone. Within Nobody this is a no dunk zone. I'm sorry, dude. We have like a no dunk I dunk policy. I wow. straight up, I you slammed dunked on me? I slammed on Todd yet. I had no idea. It's okay, man. Okay. Okay, okay. if you want to bring that around that side, I'll hook it in. Uh, Riz, if you want to come in, you're good. Everyone else, you are free to come in. It's like a little, you might break some stuff. So if you don't want to come in, you don't have to, but. I'll be there... on bouncer duty again. Yeah, I'm just going to pace. I'm going to yeah, look I'll like. The crystal. I'm going to pace around the, the house okay. like a German shepherd and just scare anyone away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to come inside. <laughs> okay, you come on in. Uh, you guys come but inside. I'm like full infernal mode. Biz takes it downstairs, hooks the crystal up to this little brass wire. Uh, he goes, Great. Uh, do you have the palimpsest? I shot down from the window. I have the palimpsest. Uh, well, <laughs> Mademoiselle, if I may, can I please have the palimpsest? Do you think <laughs> Mademoiselle is better than Milady? It's not. I'm sorry. I. Wow, she's I don't really trying to fix I'm him. I'm really... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he snaps Everything's it in. Everything's a project She takes her. the palimpsest, <laughs> snaps it in. Um, some rolls real quick. Ugh, these faces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as he starts doing the crystal, you guys see a little, <laughs> and a little smoke pops out of the palimpsest, and he goes, uh, okay, okay. I, sh I need to be a lot more careful. Well, what, what happened? Do what so. happened? I, uh, I, 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 messed, I messed something up a little bit. It's fine. Can we do an insight check to see if he's... Yeah, how bad oh. is it? Yeah, do an insight check. Nine. Oh, I got 14. a 15. 15. I got a 20. 20? But no, no. He is uh, mortified. He, it, there's, there's a real threat to Sam if he fucks something up. Uh, his next role... Can I give him my 16 sure. for my portent? Mm -hmm. um, you give him the 16. He goes in, looks like he fixes something and says, Can we give him help? Yeah, you guys can help him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How can I help you, Biz? He looks at it and says, Here's the deal. Looking at this, there's a lot of danger here for Sam. I can, I think I can get her out. It's just going to take a while. If I do it fast, there's a chance it could go wrong. If I take my time, 
it's a, it's a certainty, right? Everything that I is is a potential for disaster is me trying to rush it. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 We have some uh, like passes, right? From uh, oh, bardic inspiration. Uh, or no, like the uh, the hall passes. I can write as a whole pass. Can we just like get you out of school tomorrow and work on this like nonstop? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Cool. We should do that. Can I also we'll just? That. I'm just gonna come in from outside. Um, I'm gonna head back out there and continue pacing like a German Shepherd. But real quick, mm -hmm. bardic inspiration. Um, okay. See, he says, uh, he says, thank you so much. Okay, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. Why did you wink, though? Well, it's how I winked. give. It's she winked I... at me, you see, the day. I, was like, oh, <laughs> um, no. I felt the same thing. I'm going to go <laughs> ahead, guys, uh, and we're going to move through a little period of downtime. Um, you guys effectively get biz set up. You guys forge some hall passes. He leaves school pretty much, like, every day or every other day to the point so that he doesn't fail to go home and work on getting Sam out of the palimpsest. Uh, you know, events happen, you guys get to third level where you're, you know, taking classes, you're learning stuff at the school, weeks pass, it's pretty uneventful. A4 Adventure Academy actually starts working, you guys start taking some more classes, um, you're learning your skills and things like that. Um, you take your trip that, that first Saturday with your mom. Um, to Cravencroft Cemetery to see your dad. When you're there, you should look for Johnny Spells' grave and see yeah. if there's any shit on there. Cool. Can I make a little investigate check? Oh boy. <laughs> Not been rolling well today. Two nat ones and a fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you see that there are uh, there is. Uh, other than the footprints that were originally around Johnny Spells, you see that there's some fresh graves of him and the greaser that got buried here. Uh, there are some fresh tracks that look like they visited a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, you do a sketch of the make and model of the shoe. Okay. Uh, okay. You can go ahead and put that in your inventory. Uh, they're like big, chunky combat boots uh, are the shoe print, but it looks like hardly, and they, like they haven't made that much of an imprint, if that makes sense. Interesting. Would I be able to tell if they were like tiefling or do they seem not like on normal? that investigate check? Okay, um, but you know that it was a big boot that didn't make a big impression. Got it. Um, dope. Uh, it gets to be the last Friday of the month. It's tea time, gang. Ooh. You guys arrive at the Black Pit, brick walls. You guys hear the thumping music from inside. This is downtown. This is in the seedy, across the river area. There's a lot going on down here. Uh, you see that there's a huge bouncer, this big human, kind of barbarian looking dude. Uh, thick beard, kind of rugged. He's got like a short sword and a long sword. Uh, he's hanging at the door. There's a line behind like a ratty velvet rope. Uh, the Black Pit is a music venue with multiple stages. There's multiple rooms going on. Different bands play here. The Black Pit is a divey, nasty, scary kind of place. I'm very, very scared, but I don't want to show it, but I am showing it. It is like, pretty scary in there, but uh, my church actually comes here a lot because this is a major hub for sex trafficking, so. Sex wow. trafficking? Couple of the, yeah, a couple of Jesus. the other kids uh, oh, in the youth group and I would come here to like. I've come here to people. so many concerts. I can't believe that there really? was sex trafficking. Oh yeah, it's, it's actually all over, it's an epidemic. Uh, so we just come here and uh, we wear like a black dot on our hands and then people know that they can talk to us. I've actually saved like a lot of lives. My church does a lot of good things. We're like pretty plugged in with like mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. that are wrong yeah. with society. Yeah. And, uh, uh -huh. yeah. Wow. If you guys want to join the prayer chain, yeah. so, still a prayer anyway, chain. I think, right. So here's my thought: is I think that uh, I it would be awesome if we could all get in there somehow. But I think that we should, rather than me disguising myself as Johnny Spells and being in there, that's going to attract too much attention. I think we should go in there, text them, and say. Hey, I'm almost at the pit. Are you here? And then we can potentially listen for the text to be received and then be like, cool, um, since everyone thinks I'm dead, I can't go in. Do you want to meet me out back? And then Ooh, we'll meet I him out back. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Then we can control the lighting. Yes, great. The control. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it'll be we dark can control and the lighting and my disguise will be a little less obvious. Do we want to case Hell the yeah. joint real quick? 
Can we do a quick yeah. wrap around? Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, can let's I do, survey. Can I do a little sneak sneak? Cool. Uh, go ahead and make a stealth and an investigation if you'd like. Okay. Uh, that's a 23 on stealth. Dope. And Dang. a 11 on investigation. Did you re-roll your, your daily thing? Yeah, I did. Uh, 11 on investigation? Cool. Um, uh, so investigation proves the Black Pit is in a huge row of what were once like warehouses and things like that. So the Black Pit doesn't have alleyways to either side and it, it's a huge long like harbor yard block before there's another intersection. And then it goes all the way out and you get a feeling there is no courtyard or back door. In other words, it's part of like just a huge concrete block. The Black Pit might only have the one front entrance mm -hmm. from what you're investigating. Um, it seems like one of those like fire hazard, fucked up, no license places that's just... Got it. Does it so have there's a no alleys? No alleys that you guys can see. Let's just check out what inside looks like and, and, and come back outside in yeah. a couple minutes that if it seems crazy. Cool. Yeah. yeah, let's... Uh, um, you guys get in line. You... Oh, no, no, no. Can we approach the bouncer? <laughs> You're gonna get us thrown out. Um, oh you approach God. the bouncer, big bearded guys with like red, kind of like red tawny beard. Got the stuff over, looks sort of black leather duster. He's got this enormous fucking like wolf dog thing chewing on a bone. He's like scratching its head. Hey, brother, how's it going, man? How you doing? I'm well, Fabian Seacaster, son of Bill Seacaster. <sighs> okay, man. Uh, how much? Just, he starts checking the list. Uh, we're probably not on there. Uh, how much for me and my friends to go inside? Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Uh, seven. He says, how much for you and your friends to go inside? He says, I don't know, dude. How much for you to eat my crusty, hairy asshole out here in the middle of the fucking street? You rich motherfuckers come down here. Mm -hmm. Fuck, how old are you? Does it matter? Yeah, legally. Uh, 23. You're 23 yes, years I'm old? Yes, I'm 23 years old. You're 23 Yes, years I'm old. 23 years old. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 18. Uh, 18. Uh, you see, he goes, Jesus, you look like a fucking baby, dude. You need some living done. You know what I mean? You need to go out there and get some living done, dude. That's what we're trying to do tonight. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, okay, you get in the fucking line, all right? You want to go in, you get in the fucking line. Dude, we're just honestly, Honestly, he's got a lot of, look, I'm friends with him. He's a rich idiot, and I'm trying to get you a little something to keep your pocket warm. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. 19. Look, I appreciate it, all right? Look, and these guys, I don't get paid dick. I know, I'm a bouncer too. <laughs> <laughs> make a deception check for me, please. What? <laughs> Twenty-four. <laughs> you see, he looks up at you and goes, "He goes, oh shit, you're a bouncer too. Wait, we're you don't bounce here, do you?" No, nah, I uh, I bounce at um, I bounce. Wait, this Come isn't off. happening real time. Come I bounce. Off. I bounce. Uh, I bounce at uh, the, uh, the Dune Fort. <laughs> Oh, you're hearing from the Dune Fort? Oh, you guys are just visiting. Yeah, that's why. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you a fucking hard time, oh, dude. Okay, dude, yes. Elmville things work a little differently, dude. You understand oh, what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. All right, you get it. Uh, I, ba I bounce out of Metal Bar. Red, do you know fucking Pete? No, I don't know him. You don't know Pete? Did Pete say that he works there? Yeah, Pete told me that he worked there. Dude, I don't. Th and Pete does not work there. Dude, that's he's fucking humiliated. Full of shit, that's dude. fucking humiliated. I'm here to look for people who are caught in sex trafficking. <laughs> all right, My you guys head on in. You guys all head on in. You guys just head on in. Right? Does anybody else? I'm good. You, see, you says, have to go to the depths of says, the depths to find. Hey, brother, help me out on your way in. What do you say? Seventy-five. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's an insane amount of money, baby. You'll just give, you didn't even like that guy. That would like pay my rent for so long. You just 
buying my is that apartment. Your money? Uh, yeah. You see that this guy looks up, and you see he looks down see at his I was big. Trying to Jesus, help you sister, out. you just saved my fucking ass. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know see, what? he pets the One guy. One to another. You see, he goes, Rover, Rover, we're taking you to the vet, buddy. <laughs> um, oh. Oh. Why are we awing? I paid for that dog to go to the vet. It's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, we're all, it's a good um, off. You can guys, I give can I give one of my bardic inspirations to the dog? No, no, yes, yeah. no. <laughs> this is how we were before the corn episode, yeah, and the corn yeah. babies this kicked our ass. If he has an episode, I need to know that he's got an no. extra d6. Remember, mm. Adine used all her spells before we got into combat. That is worth it, and I don't regret it. I will not worth regret it? this. Yes. Two people died. Um, I hope you guys. Not, at least. You guys move through the. Uh, through the black pit, you come in. There's a little merch table. You see that all the merch up at the merch table, right as you come in through the door, um, is for DJ Brains. And you see that there's this weird undead fucking DJ. There's a bunch of like mixtapes and T-shirts and swag all over the fucking merch table. I just start ranting about how no one makes music anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, there's also. Uh, uh, a band here uh, called the Screwy Louis uh, that are playing in, in what they call the Moon Room. Um, uh, you see that uh, you walk past a coat check area. Um, through there, there's like a little like pool room. There's like there's people playing pools. There's a sort of whiskey bar. You guys are very aware that like there are adults here <laughs> that are drinking, and it's uh, scary. Um, you walk into the next room and you see a bunch of like humans and half elves and half orcs, and there's a band of this, uh, this sort of screwy Louis band. This uh, sort of like mohawk and crazy hair, just go 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 go, just like scary, and they're just hurling into each other and hitting each other in this crazy mosh pit. I can't help it, I go mosh. <laughs> no fix. Uh, uh, you jump in. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. Oh shit. Eleven. Um, you take uh, three points of damage. Um, as you do it, though, uh, you see that this big dude with a leather, uh, he's like a leather jacket with tons of like patches and it's torn up. He's got a big red mohawk, looks like a sort of half elf dude. Uh, he's the one who slugs you for uh, three points of damage. And as he looks over at you, he goes, Oh, hell yeah. I haven't seen you before. What's your deal? <laughs> Just punch. I'm a bouncer from uh, <laughs> I'm a bouncer from the Doom Fort, and you just fucking punched me. Ah, right. You better have some kind of healing on you. You see, he says, you know what? They have great healing here. Hey, let's get this chick a drink, huh? You and your friends? Yeah, please. Oh uh, yeah, can I have one dr drink that looks alcoholic but isn't? Um, you guys go to the next room. Right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, it gets like a little bit more trancy in the next room. Uh, you get away from the punk vibe. And there's more of this like. So this place is huge. Huge, multiple like rooms, venues, stages. Uh, and there's a big, long bar, like a U-shaped bar. There's like weird mood lighting. You see people are like making out in like booths or at side tables Ew. nearby. Uh, you see that there are, um, uh, there's like a huge pitcher of what looks like a very dark sangria that someone's like pouring something into. You order your drink. Um, you see that the guy sluggy comes in with another person um, goes, Hey, uh, name's Mero. How's it going? It's good. He says, sorry for slugging you there, here. Uh, and you see that he puts the drink in front of you uh, and raises up a little shot glass himself. I don't usually accept drinks from strangers. Can I do like a perception check yeah, or something? Yeah, sure, go for it. Uh, 15? Uh, the bartender poured it right in front of you. Mm, this seems like a bad idea. So he says, um, is it know, is it a shot? It's a shot, yeah. Okay, I try, I do a thing where I look like I'm, I like turn, I'm like, thanks so much, dude. And then I throw it over my shoulder. It hits me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> or like, I just, I throw the thing over it so it looks like I chugged it. Uh, give me the sleight of hand. Oh, that's gonna be 22. <laughs> uh, it's gone, so he goes, oh, yeah, that's the good shit. All right. Yeah, you're a little badass, aren't you? Uh. Uh, you see, he says, all right, I'm gonna get back in there. Um, the bartender looks over at you and says, what would you like? Um, I would like a, uh, can you do something that has like a lime in it? So it looks like I'm not judging anyone, but I'm not drinking. 
Uh, you see that um, uh, the bartender says, okay. Uh, you hear a voice right behind you say, cute. Um, you turn around, there is a young woman, um, very like strong looking, like broad shouldered. She's got like, like hiking like jean shorts and a shredded up t-shirt with like the sleeves cut off that has like a kind of three wolf moon shirt on it. Uh, and a little bit of hair in the middle of her eyebrows. Um, and she's got like the side shave and a short flop of hair to one side. Um, it's Cameron Esposito. <laughs> <laughs> um, but very like muscular and like hikey kind of looking. Um, you see that she uh, looks over at you and says, no alcohol? Oh no, I uh, I know, I've known a lot of alcoholics. I do a lot of like outreach, so I just don't drink. Yeah, I can see it. You got your Bible shirt on in a bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> you see that uh, she looks over and says, um, listen, I don't like to get into it when I'm out drinking, but I fucking hate this band and my friends are all fucking dancing to it. So you know that like, that book is like full of contradictions, right? Oh my it's... god. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what? I'll be the first to say it. As a believer, I embrace the contradictions and uh, I'm reading a lot about uh, the atrocities that my people committed. Uh, it's been a nightmare. You see, she I looks... actually met God and he sucked. You see, she looks at you and you uh, make an insight check. Oh, nat one, baby! Oh. Um, you have no idea what's going on with this person. <laughs> she looks at you and uh, and goes, that's incredible. What do you mean you met God? I died. I was able to meet God. I asked him why there was suffering in the world that he supposedly created, and uh, he said, catch you later. And uh, it sucked, uh, but you know what? I, I'm gonna stick with this one until I find the next one. You know, you don't let go of a vine until you're holding on to another one, especially when it's this important to you. See, she says, <laughs> um, she says, that's the exact question I asked that made my parents throw me out. What? I asked something really terrible happened to me I, or at least I thought it was terrible at the time, but it ended up being like one of the best things that ever happened to me. And I asked my parents why Soul would let that happen, and they kicked me out of the house. Oh my God, what happened? You don't have to share with me. By the way, I'm Kristen Applebee's. You see, she takes your hand, takes it, kisses it, and goes, I'm Tracker. Oh, hi Tracker. You have some marker on your lips now. This wasn't a permanent marker. It was, it was all I had was dry erase. <laughs> you see, she looks at you and says, um, "This is crazy. Do you want to like grab a drink here? It doesn't have to be alcoholic, and like go just like talk somewhere." Of course, I'm always down to talk to a new person uh, about God. <laughs> um, she says, "We talk about God or like each other." Oh, cool. Yeah, God is in us all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, she walks away with you guys. Oh, what do the rest of you guys do? Oh, you see there's one final room you guys have not gone into past the bar. I do want to quick ask the bartender what was that drink that they served that he gave me? Uh, you see... Uh, I said, hey, uh, what, what gender is a bartender? Uh, woman. Hey, that guy just bought me a drink. I didn't trust it. I did the old throw it over my shoulder instead of drinking it. What was it that he bought me? Was it safe? You see, she looks at you and says, yeah, everything we served here is safe. What did he get me? I think he got you a sangria and whiskey. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. Um, I'm just being buffeted by everybody, <laughs> and I'm just kind of standing there, like, overwhelmed <laughs> by everything. Should we see if there's somewhere that... Uh, I would just like to find somewhere that's quieter. Should we investigate and yeah. see that's if there is a say, room that's yeah, where they meet? Great. Can we kind of cool. case the joint from the yeah. other side? Yeah, give me an investigate check. Cool. I have a plus Ooh, six, 11. and I haven't beaten, like, a nine today. Yeah. And it's not gonna be now, 11. <laughs> I also got, I got 11. 19. 19? Um, you guys spread out and start investigating. Um, uh, where do you guys think you are investigating? Do you guys, like, who's at the, who's like near the front, who's in the middle two rooms, and who goes into that final back room? I wanna go into that back room. Back room? I'll go with you. 
Back room. Cool. Gorgug and Riz go into the back room. I'm uh, just trying to honestly find somewhere quiet. Like, I'm looking for people who seem shady, but everybody here seems shady to me. Cool. Maybe you like, I think you might like go near the front or something. The, the, the room farthest from like the bands playing is probably the quietest. Great. Um, uh, and then. I guess I'll go with them to that back room. Cool. Um, front. Front, cool. Uh, two in the front, and then you're like in the middle talking to Tracker. Yeah, on a nat one, exactly how I was when I was religious. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Incredible. Um, uh, Tracker, by the way, immediately puts a hand on your knee. Oh, yeah, for just... sure. And again, nat one, just like, God, they must really want to know. <laughs> All of that, God. Um, uh, you three go to the back room. Um, you guys see a huge dance floor with another bar over in the corner, some like VIP big stage where DJ Brains is up there, who's like this like rail thin guy, who's up there. Um, and uh, go ahead and the three of you are in the back and make a perception check for me. Ooh, something okay. I hate. 11. A five. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven, what'd you get? I got an eight. Eight. Um, you guys look around. Uh, you're going to have to go deeper into the room to notice something. Let's, can I be sneaky? Yeah, go ahead and make Hey. Nat 20. You are Ooh. invisible, baby. You are invisible. You should um, go up to the so many with cool that stealth, that's like... I'm going to say you get like all the way up to the other bar nearer to the stage. You look out into the dance floor and see Zane Darkshadow, who was the kid who knocked the book out of your hand on day one, this like goth elf kid who has uh, a little rat on his shoulder and has created a light cantrip and is just like rave moving around dancing. He's just getting way into it. Um, uh, you see that uh, on his feet are a pair of giant combat boots. Okay. Um, can I, can I see him? Can I see him? This guy? Uh, yes, you can. I would like to turn the crystal on silent and then text um, OMW um, and, see, and see if anyone looks at their phone. You text that. Uh, I'm gonna need everyone here to make another perception check for me. N only those in the back room? Yep. <clears throat> 18. Uh, 11. 18. You look through the dance floor, and as you send it, Zane's pocket lights up. Okay. Uh, I mean, I just, I think I just look at you guys and I go. Should we, uh, okay, I, I want to sneak back and join them. Yeah. <laughs> as, as you are about to sneak back and join them, you guys see that the DJ switches the track. <laughs> uh, and you hear one of those old dubstep things where it goes like, <laughs> Well, everybody, now that we're all up and about, it's time to rage. Cut over to the middle room. Tracker is talking to you, and she says, um, there's just like a lot um, that I feel like losing faith shakes up in you, but it also has so much to like offer you, and you can see things that you didn't see before and you can feel things that maybe you didn't let yourself feel before. Whoa, yeah, that's so interesting. I feel like, you know, sometimes I take a break from praying for four hours every night and uh, that's like every Tuesday. And with those four hours, I just end up doing great works. She leans forward and kisses you on the mouth. Duh! Oh, <laughs> actually, I don't kiss. Um, uh, you see that she suddenly uh, goes, uh, she goes to you and says, I. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm sorry. I know. I'm. I freaked out and I. I'm, 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 <laughs> Looking throughout the bar, you see all over people hit the deck. Their clothes rend as their bodies start to change. You see that one of the people making out in a corner goes <sighs> as two fangs come out of their head. And I'm gonna need everybody here to roll initiative. Oh, oh, we gotta yeah. take out that DJ! We gotta take out that DJ! The beat drops, all of you draw weapons, and we'll start this battle next time on Fantasy oh. High. Oh. Oh.
Rage! This room is filled with people hulking out into werewolves. Just... Ah! Sasha! Lord of Whispers calls for the Blood Huns! The DJ has a rotting, necrotic face covered by a paltry illusion. How breakable does that glass look? Honestly, dude, pretty breakable. Oh, uh, not one! This is insane. Oh, shit. The DC for contracting lycanthropy is 12. I'll tell you that right off the bat. The lower means... I'm a level. Go ahead and roll in the Box of Doom. Activate the phone and immediately an unknown number goes ping. The text reads, meet up at the pit. I think we should go in there, text them, and then we can listen for the text to be received. You look out into the dance floor and see Zane Dark Shadow. I would like to text um, OMW. And as you send it, Zane's pocket lights up. There is a young woman. She takes your hand, kisses it, and goes, I'm Tracker. Tracker is talking to you. She leans forward and kisses you on the mouth. Duh! Oh, actually, I don't kiss. I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm sorry. All over, people hit the deck as their bodies start to change. Oh, oh, we gotta take out that DJ. We gotta take out that DJ. Hello and welcome back to Fantasy High. Last week, our intrepid heroes were deep in the Black Pit, Elmville's number one music venue. All the assorted patrons of the bar and club have just burst forth into their true monstrous form. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, now spread out across the dance floor in the various rooms and venues, and our heroes are scattered and in disarray. Here we see the board before us. DJ Brains at the turntable, two massive pulsing amps behind him. Zane Dark Shadow raving it up on the floor. Riz hiding behind a bar stool. Fig and Gorgug hanging back in the dance hall, looking on, having just seen the phone or crystal in Zane's pocket light up, being texted from Johnny Spell's burner. In this bar area, we have Kristen Applebee's talking about faith and getting uh, a, a romantic proposition from a young woman who has just freaked the fuck out and turned <laughs> into a ravening werewolf. And as far from the music as possible, our two most patrician party members, <laughs> Adine and Fabian, in the whiskey bar area as far from the music as they can get. We leap into combat, the first to act as the noise <laughs> rage. Uh, you see over at the pool table, Fabian, the guy across from the other player goes, You cheater! And his body starts to transform. You are first to act. Uh, uh no, are they transforming with like, can, like it, things are about to get vi- like it's like, it's clearly a fight or? Um, you see from that and you begin to hear the screams from the other part of the room, but your lightning fast reflexes afford you the ability to do something based right. on whether or not you think something bad's about uh, to happen. I think something bad's about to happen. I turn to a and I say, we need to find everyone. Uh, and I take off uh, toward the back room. Uh, so awesome. I would plan on dashing, <clears throat> if anything. Uh, you take your move, so it's gonna be one, two, Three, you have used 15 feet of movement. This room is filled with people hulking out into werewolves. Just, ah, so this was the mosh pit from earlier. Okay. Uh, Mero, the, the particular, uh, the werewolf that bought the drink is over by the pool table here. That's the guy that bucket. bought me a drink? That's the guy that bought you a drink. Who slugged you in the face? Fuck him up, I don't trust him. Uh, you've used 15 uh, feet of movement. Um, uh, you have another 15 feet left, uh, but you see this room. You look through the window here. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, uh, 14. 14. Um, you see DJ Brains. You do not see Riz, who is more hidden than he's ever been. Mm -hmm. um, you see DJ Brains, and you see Zane Dark Shadow all the way through, because he's got these weird glowing rave things around him, right? Okay. Um, you have the rest of your movement left. Uh, you can, of course, use a dash action if you want as well. 
Oh, I need to wait for a dine. Uh, can I, uh, I'll dodge? Uh, yes, do you want to stay in the door and not use any more of your movement? And uh, use your dodge I'll use action? more, I guess I'll move to war along the wall, I guess. Okay. Um. Uh, you use your dodge action. So you move three more spaces here, mm -hmm. and you guys see that the quickest to act, act, act after Fabian are a group of people that you thought were just gothy or like didn't get out much, and you now see are clearly vampires. Uh, this tall vampire with an open trench coat uh, grabs the person to his left, sinks his fangs into her neck, and exsanguinates her completely. Goes, <laughs> and she drops lifeless to the ground as he says, <laughs> he says, Sasha, Lord of Whispers, calls for the blood hunt! Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> uh, uh, this vampire um, is going to make a perception roll um, uh, and starts running straight for you, Fig. Um, other vampires are going to act as well. It's going to be. Um, Can you see you? Completely. Yeah, uh, this uh, uh, one of the vampires from the pinball machine rushes, grabs a young woman at the bar, and uh, begins to exsanguinate. Um, the rest of our vampires go. Uh, it just turns into a total feeding frenzy uh, over here, and you see, uh, Kristen, that one of the vampires attacks you. Uh, what is your armor class currently? Eighteen. Eighteen. Um, you take uh, nine points of damage as the vampire uh, slashes across your face Ooh. and goes, ah, little human girl, you look nice and warm. Um, oh, it's now Adine's turn. Shit. Um, well, all I've seen is this werewolf guy turning. Do I know what phase of the moon it is as a wizard? Is that uh, a thing that I would? Give me an arcana check. Great. Ooh, 11. You know it's not the full moon. Okay. Um, shit. Uh, I would like to run as close to this bouncer as I can get with a disengage action. Okay. So n hopefully nobody attacks me. Okay, Rad, go ahead and move. Uh, disengage means you can only move six squares. If you take a dash action, Oh, you then I will 12. take a dash action. 12. Uh, Rad, uh, you run as fast as you can, sprinting towards the exit. Um, uh, now <laughs> the zombies are going to go. Um, zombies, Jesus Zombies, bears, and werewolves. Are there any just innocent bystanders? Dude, they, we saw people get eaten. Yeah. Okay. This man at the bar. It's so sad. He looks like. Oh. He <laughs> looks like such a sweet. He's, so, he's, he's definitely here because he's in like. He's got a book under his arm. His oh no. no. Uh, I mean, just clubbed to death. <laughs> wow. Just, 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 just with, with their. They're not even hitting with their fists. They're like hitting with the like just forearm. Uh, crack his skull wide open. Um, to eat his brains. One, two, three. Oh shit, they're coming at you. Or both of them? Uh, yeah, it looks like they're coming at both of you guys. <laughs> Baby in hurry. <laughs> um, uh, they're gonna take some swings at you. Uh, that's gonna be three zombies on Fig. What's your AC? 12. 12. Okay, that's gonna be uh, 12 points of damage to you. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and uh, Gorgog, what is yours? It's 13. Uh, one hits you for three points of damage. Bam. Um, Riz, that's you. DJ looks okay with all of this. Uh, go ahead and make an insight check. Uh, 19. As the music spins, you see that the glamour on the DJ's face changes. The DJ has a rotting, necrotic face covered by a paltry illusion. Just a, a zombie, a fully undead, necrotic DJ. Cool. I'm going to run up on stage. 
Uh, Rat, uh, you're gonna take your movement. Yep. You get up there. Uh, and then I'm gonna try to actually I'll 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 use my insightful fighting okay. uh, to see if I can get sneak attack on him. And so it's versus it's, his deception, right? Yeah, it's my insight versus his deception. Twelve. Nat one. <laughs> Brennan, Nat one. God damn it. Nice. Nice. Nice, dude. I will just swing Throw that dice away. with a rapier. And that's pretty good. That's a 20 to hit. 20 hits? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Okay. 11. Fuck yeah. And then I'm also going to use Fury of the Small to do another three damage to him. So 14. 14 points of damage? Yeah. Woo! Theory of the ball. Mm -hmm. Theory of the yeah. ball. Theory of the ball. Uh, you run up on stage and hit him through this rotting, a, a pustule of green bile. Bursts out of the side of him, and he reaches out onto the turntable and goes, oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, you see that uh, that is Riz's turn. Uh, Zane uh, goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let him run. Um, that's going to be Gorgug. That's fine. We'll see him at school. Okay. Yeah, we'll find him at school. Um, I'm there gonna, is no exit, though, right? Sorry. I'm going to go into a rage. Gorgug thinks about singing a song, but it's just too much. He <laughs> just goes into a rage. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, not to mention this song is particularly, like, infecting. I think it was yelling rage at me. Yeah. 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 Rage, uh, Gorgug's rage. Um, I'm going to uh, attack this one uh, with, I'm gonna uh, use Frenzy and attack, well, I'm gonna attack that person then use Frenzy on another. Okay, so. Sheesh. That's only a 13. I mean, she's wearing 13 no armor. for a zombie hits. Good. Okay. Yes. Um, so that would be d12. Oh, d12 plus three. Plus five. Uh, that's uh, six. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, badly injured. Uh, so that's your action. You what? Hack into it. Um. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just use frenzy and attack it again. Yeah. Go for it. That hits, uh, and then that'll be uh, eight. Uh, eight points of damage. Um, that's 19. Uh, this zombie is fucked up. Oh. You... No, <laughs> she's Fuck. still standing. Fuck. Sheesh. Uh, as you uh, lay into this zombie with your axe. <laughs> uh, that is now going to be. Look at it, she's uh, run past him. <laughs> Um, I need to disengage. Uh, you guys don't have anyone in this room anymore, but I know what's happening. Um, <laughs> uh, this uh, poor soul is leapt on by these two. Um, is that Daniel Boone? <laughs> the Daniel Boone. Poor Daniel Boone. That's how he went. Did you know that? Whoa, Whoa what's that other guy? <laughs> There's a guy dressed exactly like you, but a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> what a copycat. Weird. Uh, Who's the dude with the helmet? Uh, the dude with the helmet is just a partier in a fucking shredded tank top who, he was here with a helmet before. Okay, great. <laughs> and he, is he coming for me? He's got a big anarchy sign on the side of the helmet and he's coming for you. He looks over and goes, hey man, this ain't your scene. Uh, <laughs> you, um, these guys have disadvantage to hit. Um, what's your armor class, my man? 18. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. Um, oh, yeah. You, uh, as these guys just try to get their claws, like, come on, man. <laughs> um, uh, this werewolf turns around, um, uh, leaps over the table at this vampire. Okay, Whoa. it's good to know. Yeah. Uh, takes some swings and partially mauls that vampire. Um, as the vampire shrieks out in pain. Oh. Um, yeah, fuck each other up. Yeah, maybe uh, we could hide. Uh, you see that Tracker turns to the vampire that attacked you. Romantic. 
uh, and <laughs> leaps on her, scratching her eyes out with her claws. Okay. Uh, that's going to be. Uh, that's going to be uh, Kristen. Um, okay, cool. Then I'm going to uh, run and jump up on the bar. Uh, sure, if you'd like. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get as close to this door as I can. Cool, that's going to be an acrobatics check to get up on that. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> we know how well this goes. 18. Cool. Uh, hell yeah. Oh wait, what's my acrobatics? Minus three, so 15. 15 will do it. Oh, great. Good <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you rush past, you're gonna, get an, <laughs> you're gonna get an attack of opportunity here from the one vampire off to your side. Oh, cool. Um, he's gonna go, uh, hits you with the claws for another, uh, six, nine points of damage. Uh, uh, so Kristen, uh, how far would you like to run? Uh, as far as I can. Okay, you're taking a dash action, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, what's up with that dude? Uh, there's a portly looking red winged demon guy who's like- Was he like that before? Yeah. Oh, he was like that before. He walked past. Oh, okay. He's got a. He's got like a green shirt on that says "Got Souls." And just so like, he didn't get. So he's not a bad is guy. Is he the devil? You don't. As you rush past, give me an insight check as you rush past him. Daddy. <laughs> insight. Ah, oh, not one. <laughs> With this side right. of the table. Yeah. Uh, Kristen. Yeah. This guy is here to help you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. All right. Cool. I would like to cast spiritual weapon. That's a bonus action. Ooh, Dope. I cool. Like uh, it takes the shape of a, a giant holy corn. It's a giant it's a ear of stock. corn. <laughs> it looks exactly like the corn cuties, but good. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Uh, who would you like to attack with this uh, corn? Uh, can it enter the next room? Um, you can't see the next room, so you couldn't order it, but you can like basically cast it in the next room so that on the next round it'll be there waiting for you. Cool, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll cool. cast it into the room that everyone else is in. Sick. Yes, so in that room, a big fucking glowing corn <laughs> cob appears <laughs> floating in the air. Uh, that is now going to be. I see uh, it and try to fight it. <laughs> <laughs> the corn cuties, they're back. Um, uh, these, the humans start freaking out and running um, for the exit. These guys start pouring out of this door here. Um, this that guy! man had no business. Also with the book. This is a lot of people me. just lot of books. books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a couple hours to kill. I just go hang out in this bar. <laughs> There's a DJ. I'll bring my book. <laughs> There's a, these humans are dead. on stage. Uh, yeah. These guys. Uh, this guy's dead. Uh, these guys straight up start. Fleeing for the run off stage. Uh, drummer, drummer has to He brings yeah. his drums. Drummer is dead. Cowards. Oh, no. You guys don't ability. live your aesthetic. That is going to be your wisdom. Uh, this guy hides behind the bar. You probably had him. Um, is this a human? That's a good question. He's just very focused on playing. Yes, he starts playing. <laughs> uh, or there's a werewolf there. He runs into the other room. And, <laughs> uh, uh, and hates what his choice. Um, <laughs> And this guy jumps up and begins and flies over the bar. Oh. Daddy? Is this a person over here? Yeah, uh, she's the like the coach check person. Coach check. Coach check. Uh, doesn't know anything. Right, so I hear some yelling, but that's normal. He's um, just like as people are fleeing, being like, Do, uh, "You have your coat here? <laughs> <laughs> tickets? <laughs> tickets? Tickets? Uh, that is now going to be Fig. Um, can I just like flip over Gorgug to hide behind him? Uh, you want to flip over Gorgog to yeah. hide behind him. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> you, you can actually, actually, you could move, you could take a disengage and move through Gorgog's space, for sure. Okay. But do I have to take a disengage? Can I just use my action to go underneath Gorgog's legs and hide behind him? You can take your move action to move through Gorgog, but they will get a tax opportunity on you, unless you take a disengage action. Okay, I'm going to take that disengage then. So I'm going to go disengage and go behind Gorgog. One, two. Um, and uh, I guess maybe, oh, fuck, that guy's gonna funk. Come you can me. go farther if you want, because that's it's two squares of movement to go through Gorgo. If you want to move further back, you can. I do want to move way further back. I just I'm, I guess I'm gonna go way back into the corner as far as I can. Close to the corner. Mm -hmm. um, and then, Three, but can I also four. use my? Even though I use disengage, can I at least give some uh, use bardic inspiration because that's bonus action? Yeah, you can do that. Okay, you got a little bardic inspiration. What is that about? 
<laughs> um, yeah, that's my turn for now. Uh, awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and need Riz to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. 18. Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah. uh, you see uh, DJ Brains goes, <laughs> now, all the good little children always try to lose their minds. <laughs> and you feel the music vibrating your bones and trying to rob you of your sanity. But you hold strong. Whoa. You are yourself still. I just uh, hate house music so much. That is now going to be um, back to Fabian. All right. Uh, <laughs> how breakable does that glass look? Honestly, dude? Pretty breakable. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna yeah. act, I'm gonna action surge to disengage from oh, these two nice. dudes, then dash through uh, this window right here. Uh, this Pass the rules. sad devil dad. That's 100 percent rules. Yeah, <laughs> is that, is that, watch out for my dad, dad. dude. That's 100 percent rules. That. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Uh, so you take your action surge, disengage, no attack opportunity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, you have four uh, mo uh, squares of movement left. You're using the dash action as well. Yes. Go ahead and give me an athletics check to smash that button. Uh, Hell 22. yes! Yeah. Um, you fucking like a, just a fucking gazelle. Just <laughs> uh, so you protect your face right into the shoulder. Glass doesn't even remain on your clothes as you're through the other side. Uh, you have four squares of movement left. How do you want to use it? Uh. Uh, I think I got eyes on my main man, Riz, so can I bolt the bar? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, go ahead and just give me another acrobatics check real quick. Uh, 24. Uh, you are well and truly behind the bar. Uh, so you the window, no glass on you, uh, and are behind the bar, hell yeah. uh, having used your move. Hell um, yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, that so window, by the way, is broken. Great. So, Sweet. That's um, helpful for everyone. Uh, the vampires are going to go now. Um, oh, come on. Whoa, it's going swords. right through that, that beam of light. Um, uh, it is going right through that beam of light. Um, uh, these two turn here. Um, vampires. Um, these guys swarm over oh, here. God oh, damn. There. Killing people? Fuck. This is hate blood. Bam. <laughs> Literally. More, more werewolves fighting vampires. Um, uh, I'm going to need uh, a Christian. What's your armor class again? 18. 18. Uh, a vampire leaps up on the bar after you and says, Where are you going? Don't you want to get to know me? <laughs> ah, uh, and your halo glows brighter. <laughs> uh, I don't yet. Not for five years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hell yeah. Um, uh, these two vampires uh, start going to work on this werewolf. Uh, their attacks do literally nothing. You see them connecting with the werewolf and punching it. Um, uh, this guy behind Gorgug is going to start swinging at him. Um, oh, I've, been, I've had my eyes on this two-sworded man for a while. Uh, what's your AC again, dude? Uh, it is 13. Uh, 13? Um, that's going to be... Um, uh, nine points of damage to you. Halved? What would uh, you do? Halved, yes. So four or five? Uh, I believe it's rounded It's down? rounded down. It's rounded down, oh. yeah. Uh, rounded down. Uh, so four ah. points of damage uh, as he slashes you with a bright silvery katana and shouts out, uh, Maltasia, go get the silver weaponry as fast as you can. It looks like the dogs have gotten out of their kennel. Um, oh my god. God. I hate him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Why um, do we fight the most erotic villains? <laughs> they're so sexy. <laughs> uh, uh, these guys both uh, join in on uh, Tracker over here. So sorry. Um, uh, you guys see. Dude, I don't think she was right for you. Uh, that's. I don't know who's right for me. Oh. I um, feel that. Well. Uh, that is now going to be Adine's turn. Uh, I'm gonna run out and like at, yell to the coat check and then yell outside like this is bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's vampires and it, 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 this is this is this is werewolves and I don't know what. 
Um, uh, you run out to yell it to the bouncer. Uh -huh. um, as you run out, you see the bouncer is going, Not again! Not again! Shit! <laughs> I run back in. <laughs> cool, you move a couple more squares in. Unless you move six squares back in. Um, and then I guess I will, fuck. Um, uh, well, have you, you've moved now six squares, right? Oh yes, yeah, so, you... so I'm done again. I think you're done again. Fuck. <laughs> um, uh, you mean, no, you actually you have one action left. You've moved six squares all told. You have oh, a okay. bit of speaking. Um, then I will cast, uh, ray of sickness on this werewolf that's right in front of me. Great. What's the save on that? Constitution. Uh, and what happens if he fails? Uh, he pukes a bunch. Great. Uh, 2d8 poison damage. Ooh, go ahead and roll 2d8. Six and four. Ten. Ooh, awesome. Uh, you raise your hand. <laughs> ray of bilious green energy surges out of your outstretched fingers and <laughs> he whines in pain as the horrible sickness overtakes him. Um, that is Adine's turn. Uh, it is now going to be the zombie's turn. Oh, wow, what a bad time. <laughs> um, uh, these guys are all going to take swings at Gorgug. <laughs> uh, what's your armor class again, my man? 13. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm raging, so it's half damage, at least. But, uh. You take nine points of damage spread over three. So five, which becomes two, and then two, so four points of damage from zombies wailing on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're just fucking hulking out. Thing um, is watching and she just cackles. <laughs> uh, you see that DJ Brains flicks a little uh, thing on it and says, Creatures of the night, come to aid your master. Uh, and these zombies uh, gather around Riz. I'm coming, the ball. <laughs> um, uh, they're gonna take some swings at you, Riz. Uh, what's your AC? 15. Uh, one of them hits you for uh, three points of damage. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna roll some acrobatics checks for these zombies to get over the bar. Um, you see that uh, all but one zombie are completely thwarted by the bar. Just... <laughs> they try to get over it. One manages to get up there, takes a swing at you, uh, Fabian, um, and misses. Um, that's gonna be Riz. Uh, okay, I am going to try to use my insightful fighting once again. Go for it. Hell yeah. Yes, that's a 23. 23 is gonna do it. Okay, please hit. I will do so much damage if I hit. You know what, I'll use this. This is lucky now. <laughs> this is lucky now. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. That's 2d6 and a d8. Perfect. Hell yeah. Wow. 11, 16, 20. 20 damage? Uh, Jesus. And I'm looking at Fabian to see if he's impressed while I do it. Fucking cannonball I'm not. over here. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Did you see me jump through that glass? I'm sorry, did you watch like me smash there? glass, vault, <laughs> dodge, or something? This guy's the leader. Oh, yeah, we, you this fucking, guy's the leader and I'm the ball. After three fucking turns, you finally land a hit, and yes, it's, ugh, whatever. <laughs> um, that's uh, <laughs> incredible. You skewer DJ Brains. <laughs> that's gotta hurt. Uh, meanwhile, he's just going. <sighs> uh, seemingly unable to feel pain, uh, but looking very badly injured now. Um, that's going to be uh, Zane. Um, uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Uh, you can take an attack of opportunity if you want. Five, six. Yeah, I am going to. I'm gonna fucking take an attack of opportunity. Um. All right. Is nine gonna hit him? No, it does not. Okay, so I swing at him with my bass guitar, and then when it doesn't hit, I pretend like I was just dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still dancing? Whatever. I'll see you at school, dude. Um. It's cool that we both got in, right? Make <laughs> mm. a deception check for me. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be uh, 23. Um, uh, 
yes, you see, he looks through the door um, with all of these fucking vampires being on the other side. You see, he goes, <sighs> oh, sick. Uh, and uh, stands back and <gasps> covers himself in magic and vanishes. You little piece of shit. Um, uh, make an arcana check if you'd like. Seven. He did something cool. <laughs> he turned invisible. You don't need Arcana to see that. <laughs> um, uh, that's going to be Gorgug. Okay. Uh, I think this is the one that I've been wailing on, right? Yes. All right. I'm going to hit her. Can I? Can I do the frenzy after I move? If I hit her and then frenzy and then move and then frenzy. Uh, you can hit that one, move, and then frenzy. Okay, yes. cool. I'm just gonna attack her. Cool. <sighs> That's eight. Eight hits a zombie. Wow. Oh! Interesting. Ooh. Thank goodness. Uh, one d twelve. Not dexterous. Plus five. Oh, wait. That's uh oh. That's uh fourteen. Woo! Would that help? Uh, you whoosh, decapitate this zombie in front of you. Um, and you are free to take your move. They will get a tax opportunity on you, but you're free to do so. I'm gonna take the, those attacks of opportunity and try to get as, as close to the DJ as I can. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Cool. So I wanna throw a hand axe at the DJ equipment. At the DJ equipment? Yeah. Uh, rad, go for it. Um, also, give me a perception check real quick. Okay. Uh, that is only a, where's perception, nine? Uh, nine's not gonna, you don't notice anything. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your attack, though. Okay. Uh, that is, uh, <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten total. Ten, and you, uh, axe flash from you and clings so, What about your, bam, bardic inspiration? Oh, shit, okay, is it too late to use it? <laughs> uh, uh, you can use it if you'd like. All right. I'll allow all it. Oh, six. Okay. F 16. Uh, uh, six. Um, you hurl it, go ahead and roll damage. Five, all right, uh, so that's 10. Um, you uh, 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 unleash this, unleash? Um, you throw a fucking hand axe <laughs> and it <laughs> connects with one of the amps behind DJ Brains. As it strikes deep within it, it goes <laughs> and you see yellow lightning fork out from the amp, grab the axe and forcibly repel it knitting itself back together with magic. Oh. This amp right here oh, appears, no now that the perception check wasn't great, now that you've thrown an ax at it, you notice this amp appears to be magical. Of, of the two? Of the two, that oh. one appears to be magical. Um, uh, but you've noticed a fucking dope magic amp. Um, that's going to be the werewolves. Oh, do those guys get attacks on me? Sorry. Oh, they do. Yeah, Great. they super do. Thank you for the yeah, reminder. Yeah. It's very yeah. similar. What, what is your dex and your constitution modifier? Uh, Constitution's two, dex is one. Oh, wow, okay. That's why your AC's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, you take, um, I'll have it for you. You take two damage, two damage, and two damage. Um, so six. Six oh, altogether. Okay. I, I halved it for you. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Um, and then uh, the vampire takes a swing, the sword hits and deals you uh, seven points of damage. Halved to three. Okay. Um, werewolves act now. Um, uh, you see these guys uh, rush this human here. Uh, toast, this human gets rushed. Um, uh, and is uh, toast as well. Um, this werewolf attacks, uh, badly injures this vampire right in front of it. Um, uh, this werewolf turns, there's no other people in here except that guy, right? <coughs> turns and rushes Adai. Great. Is um, he poisoned? No? Yeah, he is poisoned, I think. Is he poisoned? Yes, he is poisoned. Great. Um, rushes you, what's your AC? 12. Ooh, okay. Um, this werewolf. Uh, I, and he. Oh, you already rolled it. I did already roll it, but I don't. Okay. I didn't tell you what it did, so you can tell oh, me how okay. to play something. Oh, okay. So he gets a seven. On his first one or his, his second one? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. First one. Okay. 
Claw misses, bite hits. Um, Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm going to need you to make oh, a con. First of all, My dad's you take be so unhappy. five points of damage. Okay. All right, we're gonna bring out the box of doom. Uh, Adine, this is a constitution saving throw. You go ahead and take the box, thank you. Thank you. The DC for contracting lycanthropy is 12. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Uh, what's your so bonus get, constitution saving throw? Two, so I gotta get a 10 or more. A or 10 or more, 10 or more. And a nine or lower means? I'm a werewolf. Go ahead and roll in the box of doom. Oh. What'd you get? 13. 13! Oh. Yes. Okay! Oh my fucking god. Uh, you feel girl. the wound in your arm fester as things try to place themselves Ugh. into you. I'll uh, take that box of doom. I'm like, so much. genuinely like yeah. panic attacking a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, your character yeah, really is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's going to be Kristen. Okay, um, I uh, look at my Bible, which has flown open, and I read, I can do all things through corn who strengthens me. And I uh, <laughs> use a spell to turn undead. Ooh, your turn undead action. Yes, nice. uh, that's awesome. That's yeah, actually a special girl. ability. Oh, cool, cool. Um, uh, uh, that's great. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I run through the door and then cast that? So it's Hell another yeah. room? That would yeah, be great. I should have done that. <laughs> cool. So you're going to run through here. There's going to get one attack of opportunity on you. Where do you want to move to that in this space? Do you want to move next to Fig? Or? Um, I want to go a little bit a little bit in front of Fig, I think. Yeah. Okay. So you can go here because then 30 feet is going to be pretty big. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, dope. Uh, one attack of opportunity on yeah. you. Uh, which misses cool. uh, as the vampire ha, reaches out. Pshh, your halo glows brightly, defending you with the might of Helio, Sick. even though you guys are in a bit of a crisis of faith right now. But, we are, yeah. But in the moments that really count. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Helio's like <laughs> trying to reach out to you to be like, no, 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 we're cool, we're cool. And I'm like, yeah, maybe, but yeah, no, we'll see. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm also going to need you to make a perception check for me. Sure. Uh oh, just a. Uh, what do I have? Oh, 12. Uh, you bump into something as you rush through the doorway that you don't see. Ooh, can I cast Arcana on that to see what? Uh, yeah, make an Arcana check. Sure, go for it. Not cast, okay. Or just make an Arcana yeah, yeah. check. Yeah. 11. Uh, oh, an invisible creature is right in the doorway. Um, but you see tons of undead in here as well. Um, all right, they're gonna make wisdom saving throws. Um, is it just zombies or uh, like vampires too or no? Uh, it is zombies and vampires, which are both undead. Oh. Um, so I'm gonna see how many beings you affect real quick. Uh, it's all within 30 feet of you. Um, Holy shit. Um, uh, geez, that's a lot of people. Okay, so that's everyone. That's both of those vampires. Nice. Uh, rad, okay. So that's all four zombies and three vampires. Um, cool. I'm gonna roll their saves real quick. What is your spell save, DC? Oh, that's uh, 14. Uh, 14, okay, damn. Um, uh, Kristen, uh, tell me what happens as you raise your, you speak those words through, uh, through corner of strength, <laughs> raise your Bible aloft. What happens? This, you can feel, is something mighty working through you. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I raise my Bible and I hear that frat boy God voice. It's like, <laughs> hey, look. It feels like you're mad at me, and I'm like, shut up! <laughs> but then all this shit happens in front of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, my child, that things are not chill between us. If they are not chill between us, let them be chill before you! The light of the sun emanates from your book. All of these zombies turn, going burned by the light of the true god of corn. Uh, fleeing from your visage. Both of these vampires shriek in pain and uh, fear. This vampire turns to face you, and the darkness clouds around him. Cool. Ooh, do you think your little solar caress can possibly stop the flow of my midnight whisperings? <laughs> Dude, could you just like button up your trench coat? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. buttons fell off 200 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I didn't have time to. What? What, what were you doing? Well, do you time. think a lot of tailors are open when I'm around and doing stuff? <laughs> you could just learn how to do it. Just... I won't. I'm a noble. 
Are, um, do you know huh. Fabian? <laughs> <laughs> you also have um, your spiritual weapon, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and your spiritual weapon can attack if you'd like. I would like to attack that guy. Fuck yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll your spell attack. A uh, nat one! This is insane. Oh, shit. Um, you see that your corn kind of pokes him a little bit in the face. <laughs> and you see he goes, Ooh, you're kinky like that. You want me to do something to the corn? Uh, yeah. I can do something. And his jaw unhinges like a snake, and he kind of fillets the corn a little bit. Hot, very hot. Oh. <laughs> this is what I think. Oh, have you never been exposed to this? No, I think it's fine. I think I accept everyone. I, I have an uncle. It makes it less good for me if you accept it. You get that, right? Um, sure. Uh... Let's fight. Let's hey. fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is going to be... Uh, what humans are even fucking left? Uh, oh yeah, this these two bartenders straight up dip, uh, rushing through this room. Oh my cover. <laughs> uh, rushing out. And into into those two uh, into those werewolves. <laughs> um, and my dad. <laughs> and your dad. Um, <laughs> that guy's dead. Oh, this guy's gonna fucking run. Um, he makes it here behind his other werewolf. Um, she rushes back through here and goes and hides in this booth. That's um, a human. That's a human. Yes. Um, Get out from around. There. <laughs> ah! um, uh, and then. Daddy. <laughs> um, he really is like an older yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too old for this place. Oh, He's like well, Margaritaville meets a right? like, yeah. uh, demon. He went to CBGB's in the 70s. <laughs> uh, that's going to now be fit. That's amazing. Okay. I would like to move. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. That's how far I can go. So no one gets a tax of opportunity on me here, right? If I move here? Um, uh, oh, if you move there? Yeah. Uh, no, no one gets a tax okay. of opportunity. And then I'm going to cast, I'm going to cast, uh, where is it? Shatter, AKA Shred, um, on this, on, uh, on these 10, or this uh, 10 diameter mm -hmm. thing. I will warn you that casting a spell that deals damage to those undead will break the turning effect that is on them. Um, yeah. So, okay. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I hit a 10 diameter thing around here? Sure. If you want to try to fuck up uh, the turn. The DJ. Team. Yeah. You could hit those two zombies in front, the, D the DJ and his booth. Okay. That's what I'm going to try and hit. Sweet. Um, so I take out my bass guitar and I hit uh, a a really, really low note, and uh, it's like so low and powerful, and like, yeah, so cool. just deep and vibrating and uh, cool. And uh, they have to make 3d8 thunder damage. Uh, hell yeah, let me go ahead and roll and their also, constitution saves. What is your spell save DC? My spell save DC is 14. Uh, 14, okay. 14. And also, any non-magical items will, uh, will take damage. Any non-magical items will take damage, yeah. gotcha. Um, cool. Okay. Um, uh, I'm so nervous right now. And then DJ Brains is gonna make one of those. Uh, 14. Uh, and then his turntable. Uh, cool. Um, the turntable seems unaffected by the spell. It seems to have some kind of magic involved with it. Okay. Uh, one of the zombies and DJ Brains both fail yeah. their saving. <sighs> okay, seven. Nice. Eight. They take 20 damage. Shit. They, the ones who failed their yes. saves take 20 Anyone damage? Anyone who fails takes 20 damage. Uh, holy Hell shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you fucking raise your finger up, time slows. <laughs> And the one string, you can see the waves of the string on Fig's face. Uh, uh, the, the zombie here uh, is fucking just torn apart by the power of rock. Sick. Um, That's right, this is real music, bitch. Uh, the turntable cracks in half and DJ Brains is thrown up against the wall behind him. Yeah, oh, yeah. and then I turn to Chris.
person Applebee's and I give her a wink. She's got bardic inspiration. <laughs> why is, uh, why uh, is this Brands, happening to me tonight? <laughs> uh, DJ Brains is hurt but not down. And uh, his turntable is cracked in half, but he looks like he's still got some fucking cards up his sleeve. Um, that is now going to be uh, DJ Brains. Oh, uh, you see that he reaches into his thing, takes out like a tiny little Bluetooth speaker kind of thing, and a stinking cloud of like vibrating musical energy. Just, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, I don't know how to put it other than this music stinks. It smells bad. You hear it being like, boom, bah, 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 bah. Uh, and I'm gonna need you, my man, to make a constitution saving throw. Got it. Gonna roll a 20, so watch out for that. I actually roll a 15, so that's a 16. 16? Yeah. You save, my man. Nice. Uh, cool. Uh, that is now going to be Fabian's turn. Uh, Fabian, how? Is there music still playing? Uh, uh, yes, through this little Bluetooth speaker that he just dropped. Okay, great. Fabian's uh, like, I don't want to get involved. No, I, I He's no, making himself like a What drink. are you talking about? This like is the opportunity to be a hero. Oh. I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to, I don't like being trapped behind this bar. Uh, can I, uh, I'll take an attack of opportunity from this guy, I guess, to vault the bar over here, or to exit the bar here. Uh, that'll be, let's see if that works out. Sure. Um, Mrs., uh, you go ahead, give me that uh, acrobatics. Uh, yeah. 24. Hell yeah. Whew. Vault the bar. I can see that everyone else is attacking this DJ brain. Yes, absolutely. I'll take a hand cross put of DJ brain. Uh, go for it. Uh, that'll be 17. 17 is a hit. Uh, and that'll be six. Six damage. Um, uh, arrow straight to this guy's side. He's looking sad. He's looking like a sad zombie DJ. Um, yeah. Uh, vampires are going to rush in. Um, these two vampires... Um, were they feared? Or uh, they yes, they're turned. Oh, so okay. um, this, a werewolf's going to take a swing at one of them. Miss uh, is going to interact with those werewolves in there. Uh, other vampires are going to move in. This guy's going to take a swing at you. The rest of these guys are going to start coming through here. So one, two. Three. Are those baddies? These are baddies, and they're surrounding... Kristen. Mm. Um, rushes over here. How's Track doing? Tracker's not doing great. Uh -huh. oh, she, she's gonna actually run over here uh, to get some silver weapons. There's just a um, box of silver weapons or something. So the vampires surrounding Kristen are gonna go. Uh, the guy in front of you, who's referred to himself as the Lord of, Sha uh, Lord of Whispers a couple times, mm -hmm. he's gonna take a swing at you. Ew. He's gonna hit you first with a sword for four points of damage. Okay. And then uh, he's going to reach out uh, and hit you again for another uh, eight points of damage. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Shit. Are you really? Yeah. Anybody else have your wounds or anything? Yeah, I can heal her. Uh, you see that uh, the other vampires, that guy drops Kristen. Uh, these other vampires then are going to actually continue their move towards Fig. What, me? I'm just an innocent girl playing her guitar. <laughs> Why is you coming after me? Shit, I didn't get to bless anyone. Uh, that's now going to be um, Adine. I mean, I guess I'll fucking witch bolt the guy in front of me. Go for it. How fucked up is this guy looking? Uh, he's looking, um, not terribly fucked up. Great, then I would like to cast it as a second level spell. Okay, great. Yeah, go for it. Um, are you gonna take a move away from him? Because I know that it's bad to do it right next to somebody. Okay. Uh, if I withdraw, will he, um... He'll get an attack, get of, an opportunity. attack of opportunity on me? Shit, man. I'll probably just get a swipe though, not like a bite. To yeah, make you all right. Wanna... Well, I'll move back 10 feet and do this. Could oh. you, can you move forward 10 feet? No, I can't get past him. Uh, what's your AC? 12. Punch him. <laughs> uh, he goes ahead and hits you for uh, seven points of damage. <laughs> Claw. Okay. So I'm gonna do this uh, Witch Bolt, second level, uh, 14. 14 hits. Great. 
so it's 2d12 damage. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Four. What? Oh. A nat one? Yeah. Uh, this bolt leaps out from your hands, oh, hits him, damaging him, for sure. Um, zombies are gonna go. Now these guys all move over here. Uh, Jesus, Adon, how are we gonna get you out of this I one? No. <laughs> Adon, you got it. I'm in such it. a different fight than anybody else right you now. Need to, you need to just go home. I think he needs <laughs> to go home. He's a werewolf. I know, I'm but stuck there's like two werewolves, werewolves over here. attack on you. What are you at, health one? 10. I think you need to. He's a werewolf outside. Well, I'm stuck between hide. two werewolves. So, I mean, I think that they know where I am. Uh, Gorgug, what are you at, my man? Or what's your AC again? 13? 13. He's Whoa. attacking me. Oh, all those people? Oh. Wow. Oh, that's oh, great. Wow. Hey, thank you, Gorgug. Oh, wow. okay. Thank you. Hey, you got half uh, damage, that's dude. That's going to be six, so then three, and then three, so then one. So four damage altogether. Wow. See? Wow. You can, Nothing. You can take it. Oh. I'm still at 17 now. Oh, yeah. uh, and then two are going to swing at I haven't taken any damage. Fabian. <laughs> One of them hits Fabian. Oh, finally. Four, seven points of damage. Oh, wow. God. All right. Perfect timing. Uh, those are the zombies. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Any other zombies out here? Um, oh, yeah, this guy. Um, uh, he'll go take a swing at Gorgug as well. Oh, no. Uh, and he misses. Um, there you go. Uh, oh, and then the zombies surrounding Riz are gonna take some swings. What's your AC, my man? Fifteen. Fifteen. Have you also taken no damage? The I've, no I've taken some damage. Oh, okay. I still have a I've taken damage too. That's why. I'm... Oh, wait, fifteen? You said? Yeah. Okay. You take uh, five points of damage. Uh, and Riz, it is your turn. Great. I'm going to stab this guy in his face. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Uh, and I still I still have my insight on him. It lasts for a minute. Oh, awesome. So I get 2d6 and a d8. Oh, fuck. Nice. 19 damage. Uh, tell me what happens here. Oh, hell yeah. I say, I don't know what you had to do with it. You just seem like some kind of fuck, fucked up zombie guy, but this is for those girls, you son of a bitch. And I stab him through his fucking brainstem. <laughs> 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 Wow, uh, he prepared his own uh, yeah, obituary. Yeah. <laughs> uh, DJ Brains collapses to the stage, <gasps> turns into endless dust, ages a thousand years in an instant, on the wind, let the beat drop. <laughs> uh, and is gone, baby, DJ I'd like Brains. to yell to the room, uh, sorry guys, it's everyone's curfew, everyone go home. <laughs> Party's over. Oh my God. Party's dead. over, I'm everyone. I'm dead, but I'm still going, no. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock, and we all should be home. Does this one really think he's cooler than the hacker I'm dude? So Jesus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys see all throughout the bar that there is a momentary boom, shock wave of energy. Vampires, werewolves, all real uh, momentarily as their rage and bloodlust is subsiding for a moment. Uh, you see all of the zombies drop. Uh, all the zombies uh, deanimate, fall apart all at once. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, bye, bye. bye. Uh, so many fucking right? zombies. Well, I had no idea so that. Right now. Yeah. All the hot zombies are down now. Oh, <laughs> they rock guys just to see one of those butts up close. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Adine, uh, the werewolf in front of you uh, uh, it, it sort of looks woozy for a second. Um, I'm gonna need you to, uh, you have a moment of breathing in and realizing that you aren't dead, uh, and then you realize that you almost just died. Could you please roll for a panic attack? <laughs> Nine. All together? What do you add but, to? Pl what do I add to that? Uh, wisdom. Oh, uh, 11. Hey! Oh. You breathe in, control your breathing, everything is good. Uh, you see that the werewolf stumbles down to the ground. <laughs> um, Kristen is still dropped. Uh, uh, does anyone take any action 
Uh, we're coming out of initiative now as you see people kind of reeling from the violence. I, can I healing word her though, even though it's not an initiative? Yeah, it's a, it's a regular action, you can totally healing word. Okay, yeah, I look over to her and I play like, um, and I, and I play. <laughs> <laughs> Let a new song, oh my god. <laughs> the video no. just has to go. Uh, go ahead and roll to see how much uh, Kristen has uh, just healed. Okay. Girl, that's gonna be. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna girl. be uh, eight. Dang. Hell oh, yeah. Uh, you are healed eight hit points of damage. Uh, as you guys are standing around, there's a weird tension. Um, you see that uh, uh, looking around, um, one of the werewolves sort of walks uh, in from the other space, looks at one of the vampires holding the silver weaponry and goes, you holding silver? And even through all the shattered bar stools and all the stench of blood and the kind of moaning, uh, you see that the vampires and werewolves start to sort of regard each other through the window. Uh, it, you guys may not be out of harm's way yet. Really quick question, am I wearing any silver jewelry? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're wearing some silver jewelry. Some sterling silver. Wait, uh, but I think I'm kind of on the side of the, uh, I think I'm on the side of the werewolf. So yeah, let's, let's get out of yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I run up and I grab say... Riz off the table. <laughs> okay. I happily go up and do Zars. I, I help uh, Kristen up. Thanks. Uh, yeah. You rush over, grab Kristen. Uh, you see that the vampires start, uh, uh, these, this guy over here, Sasha, Lord of Whispers, goes, uh, Long have the vampires and werewolves fought each other. An ancient rivalry forged in the midnight of dangerous mists long past. I'm bored. Uh, <laughs> hey, can I? He's such a creep. Oh, wait, I don't have that. Werewolves, look, his swords are silver. Okay. What's he doing with silver swords? I grab Riz and say, stop it. Uh, <laughs> stop doing I, that. I pull on Gorga uh, and just quietly to the side say, can we take the long way out? I just want to see if Tracker's okay. My friend, uh, my new friend. Fine. <laughs> Run. And uh, you guys rush out uh, through Wait, the Shattered Glass. real quick, who is Lord of who is the Lord of Shadows going to be fighting? Uh, is he up against someone uh, at all? Lord of Whispers uh, has come out over here to near where Gorgug was as these werewolves have kind of uh, muscled in through this space. Okay, here. I'm going to wink and give one bardic inspiration to whoever's <laughs> fighting the Lord of Whispers. <laughs> Uh, you see that there's a very broad-shouldered lupine woman with sort of orange hair growing out of her fur. <laughs> just like, she just looks like a She's fucking, so beefy. So beefy. Nice. Uh, you wink at her and she goes, Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she on the other side, sister. I hope so. Rears a fist back and just cold cocks the Lord <laughs> with her yeah. in the face. Sick. Oh, look at this mangy curse striking me before the <laughs> rules of combat have been declared. <laughs> uh, you guys, Dip out of here. Uh, you to the front. Um, no sign of Zane Dark Shadow anywhere. The bar clears out as you can hear more rumbling. You hear police sirens in the distance. Uh, uh, you guys rush up to Adam. Adam in the front, the werewolf has kind of gotten up off his legs. He's still in that werewolf form. You see he goes, hey, oh, and he sees the claw mark on you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that really hurt. I, uh, what are you doing, man? Yeah, it's not me, you know, it's a, it's a sickness. Can't... I'm sick, I'm just sick, I'm not yeah, well. Look, man, we're all sick. Okay, we're not all sick, <laughs> all right? I have lycanthropy, you can go to a healer about it. Okay, well maybe you should go to a healer about it. I don't have healthcare. <laughs> oh, that's so go sad. To some, wow. Go to a clinic, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Do you want it? There's some guidance counselor positions opened at our school. <laughs> they have good healthcare there? I, yeah, I, I would imagine that they, they have benefits. Uh, mm, okay, wow. we're telling them. Yeah, cool. actually, uh, <laughs> well, we you, you, you teed it right. up. You teed this yeah, up. Yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah. So that's great. All right. Well, my yeah. name's yeah. Jawbone. <laughs> if you want to put in a uh, reference, uh, yeah. right. yeah. Mumble has right. better healthcare. Yeah. Um, I got uh, it in with the VP vice principal, so um, I could probably make that work. Thanks, Jawbone. Sorry, guys. You guys are doing. You guys rush out. Jawbone looks. Like, you know, you don't know this guy super well, but he looks like, hey, this is the first kind of lucky break I've had in a while. <laughs> oh, no. Um, All right, Joe. <laughs> uh, you guys see, uh, you guys dip out of there. You rush out the front door. Um, you see that Rover has been like restraining the bouncer from fully wolfing out uh, and has been remarkably successful in doing so, almost <laughs> as though it was inspired. <laughs> 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 
What? Rub by our heroism? Me. <laughs> no, by a magical ability from your bard. By a bard. Oh. <laughs> you guys get out, you hear sirens in the distance, you're in seedy fucking downtown Elmville. What are you guys gonna do? Let's my keep the party going. My mom's getting pissed if she finds me here. Let's get out. Yeah. Yeah. Go to someone's that... house. We can't go to my house. I will, uh, my I parents are pranked. I do live right around the corner. Let's so. go to your house. Yeah, hello. Okay, yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. Well, we can weigh the other option. Fine. Friends. 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 Okay. Friends. Okay. Friends. Okay. Friends. Okay. Friends. Everyone, everyone Joe, please you know stop changing. Now that you mention it, I don't usually like to. I know that probably I'm pretty hard to read. You guys don't really know what I'm feeling, but we are. Kind you of, like, have <laughs> spilled your guts to us twice a day. You are the one who most desperately wants friends. <laughs> nah, it's just like, All right, we yeah. should go. All right, fine, we, let's, we'll go to my house. Uh, okay. You guys rush, go ahead and give me like a stealth check. Uh, you guys can, if you guys wanna, uh, uh, I'll let the, whoever wants to make the stealth check can make it for the party with disadvantage. Well, I got a 15, personally. You got a 15 personally? Okay, oh. cool. I got an 18 minus oh, so I got a 15. I got a 20 to a net disadvantage. I rolled it a second time to do disadvantage, and I got a net 20. Oh, so I still be, only yeah. get a 15. Uh, so you still only get a 15. Uh, but that's great. So the group meeting, you hide the group really well. You guys see Fig seems to know like the back alleys and divey parts of downtown. Can I also be smoking so many cloves that the, the smoke is hiding us? <laughs> and that's how we're smoking. You are so fucking fully sweating, powering through cloves as fast as you can. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and make Constitution <laughs> save me, bro. <laughs> smells like oh, Pope God. <laughs> That's gonna be a four. You straight up barf. <laughs> yeah. You're just Riz like, also ah. barf seeing you barf. Ah. All right, everyone needs to stop barfing, all right? No one's coming in my house. There's no barf being brought in my house. Barf. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> Nine. Gorgon barfs and passes out. Uh, <laughs> all right, you know what? Everyone is going to, to get new Gorgug clothes. Back, throwing up on Gorgon as they try to bring him back. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you emerge. Everybody walked out of that fucking insane music venue, and now you're fucking dropping like flies because of the amount of clove cigarettes. I just, love, I just like, love the way they taste. <laughs> You're still smoking. You're like just Simpson eat candy. Flavor country. I think you guys got a Gorgon. It's like tastes so good. Uh, by hook or by crook, amazingly, you are not tracked, <laughs> that you are covered in your own bile. You make it to Sea Caster Manor. You see the incredible red and gold mana war brought up in the middle of a topiary hedge mage of hedge maze expanse with long white gravel driveways and everything else. Uh, and you guys arrive up at the door of Sea Caster Manor. All right, welcome to my house. Everyone, please, if, if there's any barf, you don't track barf into my house. All right, please, that's all I ask. Uh, you look over at the sofa and you see uh, you see Fabian's mom. Oh, hello, mom. Fabian. Oh, Fabian. how are you? Oh, mother. Oh, you what? You've brought friends? Yes, mother, these are my friends. This is the ball, Kristen, Adine, Gorgug, and Fig. Hi, I'm Fig. I love your kimono. This thing? Yeah. It was knit for me by dwarves. Skilled craftsmen. Dwarves knit you a kimono? <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I give her a very formal elven. Uh, she looks up at you as you speak in elven to her and speaks back to you in elven and says, Many long years has it been since I was spoken to in the tongue of stars and moon. A beautiful elf maiden you are. I married a human, you see. Yes, I know. And he will die. Dude, I think your mom's bi. Okay, no, but no one is hitting on my mother right no, now, right? I'm, I also speak Elvish. I speak Elvish too. I also speak Elvish, <laughs> all right? So let's all just keep it PC. Um, I'm, I look like a tiefling, but I'm like a part elf, so I'm also an elf maiden, if that's what you're into. She looks, completely ignores you, and oh God, just looks uh, right at Adine and goes, you're, wait a minute, you're, Angwin and Erianwen's daughter. Yes, that's right. I've heard such wonderful things about you. I've, uh, the, uh, the, the acceptance, the scholarship to Hudal. No, that's my sister. Hmm? That's my sister. Erwin is the elder. You are yes. the... Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I'm friends with your son. 
Yes, we're friends. Oh, Fabian, lovely. I'd like to see you make friends, my little baby. Oh, Mama. So <laughs> handsome. Stop, Mama. <laughs> uh, a heartbreaker through and through. Oh, no, it's, it's not like me. Uh, well, Mummy's going to go get a chalice of night wine, and she's going to retire to the sensory deprivation egg. In of course. The Oh, yes. We'll keep the noise down. All right. Do you want me to have Cathil to put out some food? Oh, no, there's no need. No, I'm pretty uh, I'm hungry. No, my yeah. friends are... I'll, I'll go wake Cathil up right. and make her make Do not! I eat cereal with water. Ta-ta! So. Uh, my mom is so hot. Okay, do not talk about my mother like that. Um, you guys uh, uh, look around. Eventually, Cathilda, the halfling maid, kind of comes up. And Hello, she... Cathilda. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh. How are you doing? You doing all right? I'm doing right. We had a rather crazy night, but really, you don't have to do too much, all right? They're just, my friends are peggish. Mm. Oh, I'll put out some snacks right away then, Shella. All right, thank you. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Um, you see that she uh, runs up into the kitchen. Um, uh, you guys hear a stomping of boots uh, as Bill Seacaster walks into the room. Um, Bill Seacaster walks in, uh, looks in and goes, well, look at this, then. A bunch of fine friends from a young lad. Yes, Papa. These are, uh, these are my friends from the Adventuring Academy. Uh, we've had a rather wild night. Uh -huh. Well, it looks like it. You've gotten yourself into some kind of scrap then, have you? Uh, yes, we did. <laughs> I, I tried to do the same formal elven greeting to his father. <laughs> what was that? What are you doing? I here? don't speak a word of Elvish, lass. Oh. I'm not a man of letters. I've come from nothing and made rather something of myself. Oh, I, I just, um, I, I was just saying hello. Right, well, hello to you as well, in the common tongue, then. <laughs> I hand him a business card. Greetings and salutations. Well, as I said, I'm not a man of letters, <laughs> so I can't read. Uh, sorry, uh, Papa, but, this is the ball, uh, Kristen, uh, Adine, Gorgug, and Fig. Hey, <sighs> if you're not a man of uh, letters, uh, I got something that I think you might like. And then I take out my bass and I play a, uh, I play a uh, sea shanty. Uh, go ahead and make a performance check. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. 25, baby! 25? <laughs> uh, the fucking sickest, shantiest bass line comes running out of your uh, uh, guitar. And you see that Bill Seacaster looks at you and goes... This is good. Sally Brown is a nice young lady! Way! We roll and go! <laughs> Come out, you dogs! And a bunch of pirates just swing oh, in on ropes. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking pop out of barrels. This happens a lot in this house. Uh, You're in I barrel this whole time? I pay him to stay here in case this happens. And he'll stay in the barrel until it does. You stay in the barrel until the music happens. Uh, oh, the pirate shit. is just clapping his hands and silently <laughs> weeping. It's I like, feel like I need to play for eternity so I don't have to go don't back don't in the barrel. In the Keep playing last. Okay. We'll sing. Till the sun rises. Right. Two, three, four. Sally Brown is a nice young lady. Quick, we're all let go. That's all for this week on Fantasy High. Tune in next week and thanks for watching. If you'd like, I'd be more than happy to run you through some training. There are two kinds of men in this world. A man who fights for gold is a man who knows why he's fighting. Has anybody seen Zane? Yeah, what okay, that's what I was gonna get back. <laughs> I was wondering, what if Zane? Mm -hmm. Cravencroft is a very spooky cemetery. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What kind of hell is that? Master, I am ready to serve. Maybe this is ill advised. <laughs> through the chain link fence. Oh, no. oh good <laughs> show, motorcycle. Or start going, crash, 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 crash. Zane, Dark Shadow, stands back and <gasps> covers himself in magic and vanishes. This is for those girls, you son of a bitch! And I stab him through his fucking brainstem. That's all. DJ Brains collapses to the stage. Sorry, guys. It's everyone's curfew. Everyone go home. Oh, I have lycanthropy. You can go to a healer about it. Okay, well, maybe you should go to a healer about it. I don't have healthcare.
there's some guidance counselor positions open at our school. Jawbone looks like, hey, this is the first lucky break I've had in a while. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you make it to Sea Caster Manor. You got yourself into some kind of scrap then, have you? Uh, yes, we did. <laughs> Keep playing, lass! Okay. We'll sing till the sun rises. Fantasy High. Uh, I'm Brendan Lee Mulligan. Uh, these are our intrepid adventurers. Say hello, intrepid adventurers. Hello, intrepid adventurers. Oh, uh, fucking dorks. Uh, last we fucking left off. Fucking hanging, why don't <laughs> uh, Last we left off, uh, y'all were in Seacaster Manor having a lovely time with Fabian's dad, Bill, and his crew of pirates. Um, and his mom. Yeah, his hot mom. Uh -huh. Please leave my mother out of our interaction. You guys haven't seen much of Hilarial. She's been in the Sensor Deprivation Egg. Um, She's been in her Sensor of Deprivation Egg. Uh, so the sun rises over Elmville. Far away, the tape around the crime scene of the Black Pit is going up, and police are investigating what may or may not have happened there. Pretty wild fucking event. However, you guys are all on a giant wooden balcony with an elaborate gilded balustrade and this amazing red velvet curtains blowing in the wind. You've been up all night. No, no, no. Uh, Why? Just because we're so amped from battle? Uh, Bill Seacaster has not allowed you to go to sleep. Yeah. He has oh, yeah. fed yeah. you and plied you with liquor and oh. kept you up. Oh, and, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, you see that he uh, uh, is out on the balcony uh, looking off into the distance and uh, you see that he sort of thumps his hand into the table in front of him going like, and we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot. <laughs> My fingers sleep. are blistered from playing sea shanties <laughs> yeah. with him. Are you okay, Fig? Yeah, I'm fine. It's good. Uh, whatever, right. it's whatever. Well, I suppose you children will be having some school this day, won't you? <laughs> Papa! But, oh. You're not supposed you're supposed to keep, keep that we talked about. Keep it snuff powder! What's the problem Stop. with that? You're not supposed to do it in front it's of the kids! Can I have some? No! No, you absolutely do not. When you have a guest in your home, they are welcome to what is yours. Papa, I don't want all my friends coming over here thinking they can get snuff powder Dude, from you. Dude, your dad just dunked on you. Me, oh, my dad, do not <laughs> dunk on me. Dunk I need to not raise a man to not ply his friends with liquor and snuff powder. Fine, ply my friends with snuff powder. Fig, you'd be my guest. Please enjoy. And he takes a little sort of just like a bust of like a sea drake on it, a little like blue thing, a little silver box. You can keep the box if you like. Yeah, I will. Fig, that's illegal. What you're doing is illegal. That's a Why wonderful you... point, so Thank enjoy it all the more. Thank you, the ball. <laughs> Finally, the ball contributes. Why do you think I'm doing it? <laughs> Whoa. Now, the point being this. Did that burn? Yeah, a little bit. My <laughs> nose is bleeding on the inside. What, is it? what does it do? <laughs> <laughs> well, it keeps you up. It wakes you right up. We've been up all night drinking. We need a little bit of snuff powder to put the fight back in us, don't we? I'll do it, because I don't judge. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Get in on it, Kristen. No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you enjoy it? Have you done it before? I, oh, I loved it. You know what? I'm cool, and you can always invite me around. I, I'm gonna do a perception check on Kristen to see if she actually did some or whether she faked it. Hmm? Five. Uh, she for sure did it. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, I'm uh, buzzing. <laughs> now, that's an interesting point your friend brought up here, and I'm sorry, because I'm just having a little bit of thought about it as I say it. Oh my god, no, no Because, no, it's a rather, listen to Shh, you. I'm it's fascinated by this. Now, you just mentioned that that's illegal, right? But of course, the fascinating thing about laws is that they are a fiction invented by the weak oh. to annoy and harass the powerful. He's so true. Also, do the laws apply if we're in a boat, which He's we are so right now. He's so true. Are you listening to yourself? <laughs> no. All I'm saying is this. There is one law, and one law only. That's the law of the blade. Oh, the law of the blade, as old as war and time itself. The very first thing that crawled out of the sea knew this one rule. It is kill or be killed. We, have, we have kind of been Get living up. by that uh, law. I mean, uh, yes. Yeah, now, true. who would like an omelet? I'll have an omelet. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Talk to me a little bit about this battle last night. How did it go? Tell me, I, I, I'm so excited. So, Fabian, you, you, you leapt in, you yes. saw where the gold, yes. you put rape you to the throat, and then walk me through the rest. That, uh, there wasn't as much of that. I, I, uh, we, well, we were started out separated, and so I had, uh, was, was with Adine at the front of the, of the black pit, and then I ran in, and I saw all my friends. I dodged, I, I, I delicately dodged Ooh. two, uh, two werewolves, <laughs> uh, and then I ran and I smashed through, uh, a glass pane, and, uh, then I, I vaulted a bar, and then I vaulted out of the bar, and all the while dodging undead, and then I shot DJ Brains with a, a hand crossbow. Uh, but it was actually the ball who did most of the killing. Um, I was the one who gave you the business card. Right, I remember. <laughs> now, uh, someone steadily paced me through here. You, you said that you were with your young wizard friend here. Yes. And you ran. Well, uh, well, he ran towards the fight. Yes, toward the fight, yes. All right, Where away we were... from the wizard. Yes. All right. Well, I assumed the wizard would join me, but then the wizard did not All right. join me. Did now why wasn't that expressed to one another? Uh, uh, we, we, we. Where was the? Where was your healer the whole time? Uh, I, uh, I, I got caught up with a, a new friend. Uh, oh, she's she, so cool. Then she fell down. She was knocked out for a while. Yeah, she was also yeah, a werewolf. Gotta, I'm gotta, thinking about yeah. taking a first aid class because. Our healer's been getting knocked out a lot. Yeah, I think I need to Your healer mind. has been getting knocked out a lot. I was pretty yes. much instantly knocked out. And I had the craziest dream. I went up on a green hill. And her now, face I was am afraid I'll have to intercede here for a moment. Y'all haven't been skipping your classes at adventuring school, have you? Well, technically, I've been going to barbarian classes, even though I'm not one. Well, there are things afoot that uh, have been putting our studies. All right, look here. Walk me through here now. Why did you draw steel last night? Uh, um, they seemed yeah. scary. Everything. They seemed scary. So your objective. I mean, I wasn't there. I just, I was in the other. No, no, no. Let me understand. So your objective was to draw weaponry until it got less scary. Uh. No, we went in to find a dude. Yeah. Shh. Um, I'm gonna, okay. I'm getting a little paranoid from my snuff, so <laughs> I'm gonna do a perception check on him, or like an insight check, because I don't like that he's asking all these questions. Sure, go for it. <clears throat> it's gonna be a big fat, real fat, 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 fat eight. <laughs> um, you, I'm gonna shoot you straight, even if you had rolled very well. Bill Seacaster's mind is a constant storm of emotion. <laughs> and trying to get a bead on a guy who seems to be hair trigger in every single interaction that he has <laughs> would be next to impossible. Okay. Um, you see, he says, I want to be very clear. All of your work is remarkable. You're walking out here all whole and healthy after having gone into the black pit full of vampires and werewolves. I understand that. And I won't take it away from you. There are two kinds of men in this world. And women. What? And women. Are you saying That's so? on me. Hold on. That's on me. <laughs> there are two kinds of people in this world. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, no, it's all right. And thank you for correcting me. I you am an old dog, but I can learn new tricks. <laughs> and I speak I in a little bit of an archaic vernacular. I appreciate you having the courage to check me on something that was honestly not all right. And if you speak again, I'd have turned a slit you like a fish! Papa, please. Now, there's two kinds of people in this world. Thems that fight for blood, and thems that fight for gold. One who fights for blood is a dead man right away, or woman. He sees only combat for its own sake. Now, those men would come to my ship. They'd ask for crew. They'd ask, say, I oh, put me in first, mate. And I could see that the love for blood was gonna put them into a grave. Soon, I have no use for dead men, only men that can make me richer. Now, a man who fights for gold is a man who knows why he's fighting, or a woman. And that's what matters. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, I had a uh, clay 
construct on my ship, and I've also had a sort of a, a fire energy being that both of them were genderless, yes, and they're so also they both excluded by be that, even by more men inclusive. or women. Yeah, that's right. Even uh, even people is kind of exclusive. Exclusive. That's right. I've had pe things that weren't people. Yeah. One time we had a tornado that just helped. I'd fall so I <laughs> And you considered the tornado part of the crew? I mean, no. The tornado conducted a share of the wealth. I hope it was part of the crew. That's we cut the tornado wow. in. Very generous. Wow. The tornado <laughs> served on but four what? or five missions what with us. Like what are tornadoes was... like? Gold. Yes. Oh. He was that, that tornado was extremely slow by the end of those five missions. It was so stuffed with gold. Did it was mostly gold swirling. a bunch of gold swirling around. I mean, I suppose that's pretty dangerous. I mean, gold is heavy and moving at a fast rate. No, absolutely. Every time the, the tornado got richer, it became far more deadly. I mean, you said Whoa. the tornado was at my third birthday party, correct? The tornado, by the way, sends its best wishes. It is actually. Well, tell the tornado. You should come by more often. <laughs> this is wild. This is your life. <laughs> uh, right. But, Papa, you were saying, did, the, what, did your ramblings have a point? They did have a point, which is this. I fear no one. Death to me is nothing more than a joke. And when my time comes, I will leap into hell and kill the devil. Whoa, that's so metal. But Can I borrow that for a lyric? I wonder if the devil's cooler than God. Certainly, <laughs> of course. Devil might be my dad. Is the devil a man? Uh, no. <laughs> it's a tornado. <laughs> now, the point being this. However, death is a part of every combat, no matter how easy to overcome it may seem. So, the way you avoid death is by knowing why you fight. You don't fight to fight, you fight to win. And winning looks like whatever your goal is. For some people, the gold is gold. For other people, the gold is other things. Silver. Love. Bronze. Not bronze. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> but silver I love, certainly. Some people fight for abstract ideals who, though they can never be fulfilled within their lifetime, are still a cardinal direction that they can move in. The point is this, I gold's bet, the best, what? I was gonna say, I bet some people fight for a friendship. Like, that'll yeah. happen in its own time. Doesn't need to be rushed. <laughs> this will grow organically as a process wow. yeah. to this. Okay. Right. Whatever. So, I'm not, I wasn't talking about me, losers. <laughs> I kick a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kick my furniture. I take the snuff box away from him. Uh, you see that Bill C. Castor looks and says, um, uh, if you'd like, I'd be more than happy to run you through some drills or some training. Oh, Where's the yeah. drill? Yeah. What is a drill? I know what a drill is. All right, we're doing this! And you see he claps his uh. hand. Um, you guys spend the rest of that day. Uh, <laughs> you skip school. You fully skip school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. Um, what, are, what do our parents think? We didn't come you home last school night. And did drugs At one day. point, <laughs> if, if any of you try to get a crystal to like let a parent know where you are, Bill fully disarms you and smacks you out of All right, everyone, hand. please just stop trying to call their parents, all right? I'm my not. father will continue to slap it out of your I'm hand. Exhausted. Awesome. You'll earn your freedom on the battlefield, you will. Um, you see that, uh, uh, you guys spend that day drilling and training. Uh, Bill runs through a ton of stuff with you. There's a lot of stuff about like, you know, like keeping like Fabian and Gorgug in front of everybody and keeping Kristen in the middle of everybody. And there's a lot of stuff about like, what languages do you guys all speak that like aren't common if you needed to communicate quickly and secretly with each other? Fig suggests that we come up with our own language. Uh, <laughs> that sounds vastly we, complicated and like we don't have the time. So what do most of us I speak? speak elvish, orcish, elvish. and goblin. I speak Gnomish and common. I speak uh, halfling. And a little bit of elvish. Orcish. I guess I know some elvish from miss missions trips, so I just know religious words in elvish. Yeah. We'll use yeah, elvish for religious I speak, words. I speak elvish, elven, high arcana, draconic, and infernal. Why don't Jesus we just Christ. come up with a couple words in elvish that we all know? Like anyone who doesn't know oh, elvish, yeah, like, we have like a couple words. Like stay, run, yeah. left, right. Yeah. Gorga, could you do that? 
teach you guys? No, no, no we like, teach you. No, you learned learn. five words total. Oh boy. Oh, I don't. I don't yeah. Know. We'll write them on your drumstick. The fact that you didn't understand the question oh. um, yeah, makes me yeah. doubt. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it. cool. It's settled. Elvish. 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 Fantastic. Elvish. Elvish. Okay. We'll uh, make up one. The day draws to a close. Bill Seacaster hasn't slept. You don't know when. You guys haven't slept either. You're fucking exhausted. Um, uh, Bill comes over to you guys and slaps you on the back and says, well, it is a good day's work. We have some cars coming uh, to take you all back to your homes. Um, do you all have a captain amongst you? Yeah. Uh, Unofficially. <laughs> I would say no. No. Oh, all right, don't you dare try and fall into a de facto <laughs> roll the ball. I think everyone thinks I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'd father, I'm here to tell you that no one thinks he's the no. captain. I don't like any kind of power concentration, so I'd prefer that we didn't kind of... Yeah, listen. I'm happy with a democratic... Yeah, yeah, with something of a democracy. Should we elect a captain? I don't... <laughs> do we need... I mean, is yeah. that what you're asking? Are you suggesting that we need a captain? I'm not I guess it would be you. No. I don't know. I, I you mean, didn't make I would captain of that happily team, do it. but I mean, you could be captain of I would happily don't take it this. on. I mean, I, if, if we're looking for a captain, I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at this man. <laughs> look at me. I'm son. I'm son. I can take, I can easily do it. Uh, but I will not be the captain of your teenage friend group. Okay. <laughs> I was just saying that. I was just saying we're cut from the same cloth. I understand. Okay. No, perhaps this democratic system can work. Democracies function best in situations where immediate forceful action is not needed. So hopefully the democratic process will avail itself to you in these combat scenarios. Oh. Oh. Now, those vehicles are on their way. I bid you all a good evening. Uh, my darling Phoebe, would you come with me for a moment? Uh, of course, Papa. Uh, Bill Seacaster takes you aside. Um, and uh, brings you over to the garage, and he raises it up, and you see the hangman. <laughs> Red and white, gorgeous skull and crossbones motorcycle. Um, you see that it roars with fire. Master, again I see you. I am ready to serve. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Papa, you've done such a fantastic <laughs> job. It's absolutely gorgeous. For my darling boy, this hellish contraption. I love you more than I can say, and may it serve you well. Oh, well, Papa, I've got to take her out for a spin once around the block, shall we? You and me. I mean, uh, I you mean, and me. Uh, me on the back. I, mean, I love it. Okay, and that's you that's see, that. he climbs on the back of his ankle, hugs his arms around you, and says, "Now go, lad, and never stop." Right. Uh, excuse me, uh, 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 Hangman. Uh, can we do once around the block, please? Or you wish just break up. Can I make a perception check out the yeah. window? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to see if I can see David got a riding nine. with his dad. Uh, yep, that's a uh, 16. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. You see Fabian in his letter jacket and his father, still shirtless, uh, hugging him in the back of the <laughs> motorcycle, tearing off down the street. Um, you see that it is, uh, you guys have been working all day, so it's like six o'clock at night. It's kind of like rush hour. Um, Fabian like pops up onto the sidewalk and you see that uh, Bill Seacaster draws his saber and just starts hucking mailboxes. Just, wah, wah, wah. Oh, stop! On you go! Okay. On you go, downtown Emville. It's never safe. Death around in every corner. Right. Uh, uh, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> you guys all get home. Uh, your parents Cute. are all variously freaking the fuck out. Uh, Fig, your mom is a little bit less so. Um, <laughs> My mom sucks. <laughs> um, uh, but the rest of you guys get home. Uh, the next day, you guys wake up and you guys head back to the Ake Ford Adventuring Academy. On my way, I'd like to stop by and see Galeer. Um, I guess I'd like to go out of my way to stop by the Strong Tower Luxury Apartments and see Galeer. Absolutely. For school. Um, cool. You knock on the door um, and your father, uh, your Father it's opens. My father. I wish my father would open the door. <laughs> opens it's the door. To see his um, you see that he is in sort of a white undershirt, boxers, and like a terry cloth back a bathrobe. God. Um, <laughs> you see, he looks out. Um, you see that there is like just a lot of 
uh, open like yogurt containers oh, and some like yogurt. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wet. It smells, uh, it smells uh, like dairy so in here. Wet. No, the yogurt. <laughs> the wet thing we just. Uh, you see, he looks and so says, <laughs> "Ah, my sweet daughter. Uh, hello. You've come to the Strong Tower luxury apartments early in the morning." Yeah. Um, I'm just stopping by. It's not a big deal. Um, I just want to let you know if you're looking for, you know, something to do with your days, um, a reason to get out of the terry cloth uh, bathrobe, there's two positions open at school. And, you know, I know you and I have had our differences, but it would be cool with me if you worked there. It'd be cool to see each other a little more and whatnot. Or whatever. He looks back into the apartment uh, full of yogurt cups and says, I have a couple of irons in the fire, but if those. <laughs> <laughs> really? If Which one? What those irons? I'm waiting on some calls on my crystal to come back. There's some people. A friend of mine down in Bastion City knows a guy who's. Starting up a crystal company, and they're looking Can for. Can I a... detect? <laughs> yeah, detect. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> detect what? Uh, I'm gonna detect his thought. He rolled in that one. I just oh, want to point yeah. that out. Uh, the thing that flashed across his head is is him saying, um, "Last night I couldn't go to sleep, so I tried to jerk off, but was too sad to, oh, and stayed up all night eating yogurt." Oh, oh God. That's what's on his. Head. That's what in that one will get you. <laughs> oh, 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 um, why are you, Fig? Why are you reacting that way? <laughs> um, you don't want to dive deeper into his brain. No, I, I, I rescind that. I try to stop detect thoughts from happening. I don't want to hear anything else. <laughs> you dismiss the spell. Uh, um, so I've got a lot of things going on. Pretty busy tell. over here. Yeah. But I will. If you want to come in, I kind of have an in with are the vice principal. Uh, are you asking me? Because because I because I can call my friend up and say, hey, no, nope, no, thank you. Yeah, I think make that call. All in right. fact, maybe I could help you get into something, clean yourself up a little bit, and you can come to school with me. I can introduce you to the vice principal, and you just be thinking right now whether you'd rather be a guidance counselor or a lunch lady. Well, I wouldn't be a lunch lady, I'd be a A serving. lunch lad, pardon me. I don't like lunch lad. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he, he says, I will get myself cleaned up, although as an elf, my hygiene is impeccable, and these terry cloths were woven by elves and repel all but the most powerful stains. <laughs> I'm so it's some powerful yogurt then? Oh shit. Um, I think just do, some a, the, just do a big change. Just some jam. Just do a big yeah, just a big change. Everything you're wearing, change it for something else. And then just dunk your head in the sink. Um, all right, I was thinking about buying a, my hair is kind of thinning up top. I was thinking about maybe getting a, not that elves necessarily go bald, but I th might have been, I think. Can I cast Minor Illusion so he has a little fedora on his head? Yes, you can. <laughs> I do that. How about that? I know not what has inspired this sudden act of mercy and kindness, <laughs> but I shall repay you as a father can in love. And if you want yogurt, I have some. No, no, I want nothing to do with yogurt and your yogurt and anything that you have to do with yogurt. Anyways, it's um... It's going to go bad in probably another day or two. I bought too much. That's, okay. Um, I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and close this door and stand here. And then when you're all ready, I'll be here and you can open the door and we can go walk to school together. Cool, cool, my child. Cool, cool. And he closes <laughs> the door. Jesus. Uh, Actually, wait, well, while he does that, can I go in and just throw out all his his yogurt while he's changing. It's, it doesn't expire tomorrow, it expired yesterday. Oh, oh God. <laughs> uh, you throw it all out. He comes out in like a crisp white shirt and some slacks. It's sort of like he, he, he put on a little bit of weight after the divorce and so it kind of doesn't fit super great. But he's got a little illusory hat on. Um, mm -hmm. He says, Jesus. very well, to the west. Or I guess north, mostly it, north. Right? North, yeah. North, we go. Cool. Uh, he gets in his sort of old ratty car, turns the little elemental engine on. You guys arrive at school. 
Um, you walk in. Um, uh, uh, where do you take your dad? To Principal uh, Goldenrod. <laughs> Golden Horde. Uh, you walk to Vice Principal Golden Horde's yeah. office, you knock on it, you hear a voice, come in, come in. Uh, you walk in, Vice Principal Golden Horde looks up and goes, ah, it's young Miss Faith. And he uh, says, uh, Galea Faith, I am the father of young Figaroth. More yeah. or less, we use the word father liberally, because obviously, uh, but. All right, that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> uh, go ahead, what can I do for you? Uh, I was thinking Galear, uh, AKA my dad, um, <laughs> would be a great guidance counselor or lunch lad. Sorry, what? <laughs> lunch lad? That's uh, hurtful. Uh, you see that he looks up uh, and you see that Galear says, it has come to my attention that my daughter would benefit from paternal presence. As such, I would like to avail myself of one of the positions open here at the school. I served as a counselor to the elven people for many long years, and I am gifted at understanding the ways of the heart and emotion. I have healed the madness and sickness. You see that uh, Vice Principal Golden Hurt kind of crosses his fingers and goes, I'm going to have to stop you right there. We've actually just filled the guidance counselor position. And you see he points in a corner of the room you haven't looked in and you see Jawbone the werewolf over there. Jesus gives Christ. Gives you a surf's up. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I fuck yeah, dude. I give it back. Oh, yeah, hell oh, yeah. Good night. Hey, fucking. Welcome. Dude, I got a job. Let's fucking fix kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's cool, because Galir is also interested in the lunch lad position. I am, I am, uh, well, I can already tell that your father is an expert in yogurt from the <laughs> glob hanging off that you see. Your father looks at you and says, I ate a quick cup to bolster my spirits <laughs> after I changed. I'm ever so sorry. You see that Jabo says, all right, well, no, it looks like the jobs are filled. Gil, nice to meet you, Jawbone. I uh, used to deal drugs out of a nightclub, but now I'm the guidance counselor here, so that's cool. Uh, tell you what, I gotta go crack some books, because I'm gonna, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do the shit out of this job. And you think I'm gonna fucking suck at this, you better wake up, because it's fucking guidance time. I'm All looking right. forward to talking to you, because I, I've been taking exclusively barbarian classes, <laughs> and I think it might be wrong. You see, Vice President Goldenhorn says, don't talk to him about that, it, talk to me. That's wrong. You have a class schedule. <laughs> Where? I, I mean, it's, it was handed out on the first day. <laughs> oh, I know what happened. You didn't give it to me because you wanted me to come in and Okay! <laughs> no, everyone out. You're both hired. You go to real bard class. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Slams the door. Um, you see Jawbone looks over and says, hell of a guy, man. Nice guy. Nice dude. He's great. He's a flirt. Watch out. Oh, really? Is he hound around here? Is he dog around? See, Galear oh goes. Oh <laughs> you see, Galear goes. Galear goes. This is my daughter. I know it's it's, but there I raised this young woman, and I hate this. <laughs> um, uh, you guys head off. Uh, lunchtime thereabouts. You see, Gil's got the hairnet uh, on him, uh, already Galeer? jumping in. Galear, yeah. yeah uh, okay. Galear's got the the hairnet on him, and you guys are all sitting down at lunch together. Guys, I, I wanted to ask you a question. I, I only have these like fake school uniform outfits because it's the only thing my parents will buy for me. But I was wondering if you guys could like help me have a makeover. Oh my gosh, yes! I have like 10 camp shirts, all of them different tie-dye. You can pick whatever mm. pattern you want. Well, like, like you guys got this figure yeah. exactly. I mean, I've got a yeah. leather bustier. I mean, maybe we could go shopping is what I'll I mean. I'll give you a $45 gift card and you can just go $45? Yes. <laughs> you just saw your, your house. <laughs> Excuse me. Your dad passed pieces. out 800 bucks worth of coke last night. <laughs> right, the snuff powder, right? But I'll give you a $45, <laughs> what is gold, it? 45 gold piece gift card. You can go I'm sorry, so what is so it a much? gift card too? Because that kind of limits us. Well, it's I like a Visa gift card. All of my clothes are handmade in foreign foreign lands, right? I don't know where people like you buy clothes. I have really good taste. Um, if you want my help, 
Thank you. As you can see, I have a beautiful hoodie. I'll go with you guys. <laughs> yeah, staples. I definitely. Gorga just does huh? staples. I'm gonna go though to make sure that none of you get seduced by the consumerist lore. Anyway, you get what? To, you wear clothes all the time. Yeah, if I didn't, it'd be weirder. Okay. I'm super in. I don't just wear tie dye. I've actually had my eyes on a new hoodie. Has anybody seen Zane? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what that? I was gonna give it out to. I was wondering, what if Zane? What are we going to do? You're right, Zane, Zane, yeah, Zane. He. Have we seen Zane? He's as somehow involved today? with the missing girls. Um, uh, as you guys are talking about Zane, um. You see Zelda Donovan, the satyr girl that you were talking to longer before, turns around from the table, makes her weird eye contact with you for a second, and goes, um, are you guys talking about Zane? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen him today? Um, he didn't show up at school yesterday. Oh. Do you know or where today? he lives? Um, I mean, he always hangs around uh, Cravencroft, the cemetery. Mm. You think he lives there, though? Okay. I mean, I know he's I mean, a but creep, he probably but... Hangs out there. Um, I wanted to say, yeah, I don't. I still haven't learned drums yet, but what are we watching? I'm, uh, what's it's happening? like a Michael Sarah talking Maybe. to Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, and uh, well, I'm sorry I threw that guy in front of you. It's okay. I um, I whatever. I honestly like. You know, everyone does stuff, you know, like I don't wear pants and it's just cause like I'm covered in fur, but like it's not a thing. It's like, you can't see anything cause it's all fur. I have goat legs. Are they talking to what each other? Are they just talking what down you the ground? I'm, I'm sorry. You see that she just starts sweating and says, I'm sorry, that's was fucking stupid. And no, gets up I, I didn't mean. And walks away. Uh, Is there any kind of first aid kit or defibrillator in the lunchroom? Yeah, for sure. You see one up over on the wall. Cool. Uh, you guys have been going down a lot. I might try to, uh, Steal this bad boy. Should we make a noise over here? Yeah, we can Ooh, bang. Oh yeah, I'll yeah. create Why don't you guys bang, bang around? I'll use thaumaturgy to create a uh, tremor and everyone will think there is an earthquake. Great. And I'll okay. yell, earthquake! <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> 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 Anyone want somebody run for the first aid kit? Okay. Hey, so should we still hit up Zane uh, and I can, Crystal? Ready? I yeah, can we will. I can get an I can cost unseen servant and send the servant to get the I like this plan. I like this plan. <laughs> Alright, let's do the earthquake plan. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Three, two. <laughs> Tornado! <laughs> oh, no wrong. Uh, oh boy. Okay, sixteen for stealth. Um, so you you yell tornado and then earthquake as an earthquake starts. Um, you see that uh, Rog Barkrock, as the things are running, rushes over, like holding onto tables and like crawling across the ground, gets over to you and smashes your head into a table and goes, this guy doesn't even know what a fucking earthquake is, dude! And starts crawling back to the like, uh, tables, back to his table. I cast Ray of Sickness on that piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with my friend, dude. Don't fuck with my f dude, friend. I do it. Hey, you're not a thing. Adine, in that commotion, I stole this coat. <laughs> So you don't have to wear a school uniform anymore. I mean, that's really sweet, but you should give it back. This somebody will notice that I'm wearing their coat. I also, know, don't wear it. It's cool. <laughs> that's my hoodie. <laughs> oh, really? That was you? I'm sorry, I've never done anything that wild. You, hit you me guys. In the head of honestly, <laughs> I feel uh, unwell. Uh, I keep having a lot of dreams. I, I think I might go try to find Coach Daybreak just to chat. All right, yeah. that's fine. Well, we can all agree to meet in Cravencroft Cemetery after school. Yeah, or in the and I'm lot. also I'm thinking of uh, following up on the crystal with uh, Zane. Did our earthquake John work? Oh we yeah, you you <laughs> okay, cool. you scooted right over, grabbed that first aching <laughs> off the wall. As you do, uh, you see no one notices. Um, uh, you see Galir, who's behind. Uh, the thing, it's like, it's like food is flying all over him in the air. Ah, no! Ah, in addition to yogurt, it seems I am not covered in all manner of wet foods. You see that he looks over and says, um, I don't know my job well enough to know if you're allowed to do that, but if you're not, don't. Uh, one of my friends got a cut. By all means, young girl. <laughs> uh, I take all, I like, pull it out of the wall, screws come loose. Can I also set up a little tip jar um, <laughs> in front of Galir? <laughs> so yeah. sad. Absolutely. I want him to get a little extra cash. The 
thing, the place full of teens sees the tip jar as an immediate fucking bit machine and the amount of written cruelty that immediately <laughs> begins to find its way into the tip jar is truly unnerving. Oh, that would so happen. Cool. That <laughs> um, cool. Uh, so you guys have made a plan to meet uh, at Craven Croft Cemetery mm -hmm. after uh, class lets out. Let's do um, it. Kristen, you go to find Coach Daybreak. Yeah. Hey. Kristen, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's good. How are you? Are you busy? Or I'm all right. Oh, great. Um, I was uh, I was praying this morning, and uh, I thought about a friend of mine, and I just need some advice. Uh, I was praying for her, and uh, she uh, she doesn't know if she's helioic anymore. Wow. She's straying. She's straying away from helio. A lot of things don't make sense. Wow. Uh, what would you, what should I tell her? I mean, I cut her off, you know, because she's going straight to hell. <laughs> really? Yeah, cut her off. I mean, there's no point messing around with that stuff. She is. Well, down you to know, fire. what if what if some of it's right? It, like some of it started because someone was like, "We gotta really be good, or else Earth is gonna be hell," <laughs> you know? Or, but maybe not all of it. Like all the little rules and stuff. Maybe that part that just kind of got added on at the end, and now we're still living with it, you know? Look, it's, uh, faith is kind of a wild thing, right? Basically, the way it works is like this. There's people that don't believe in Helio, right? And there's people that do believe in Helio, okay? And the people that do believe in Helio are good people. Right? Because they wouldn't believe in Helio if they weren't good people. Yeah, it kind of right. makes you become a good person too. Right. Focusing on... So the way I, I look at it is like this. The things that people who believe in Helio do are good. Right? And the things that people do that don't believe in Helio, those are bad. Right? Does that make sense? Am I, am I kind of making sense here? But I'm reading so much about the Crusades and it feels like all the people who believe in Helio just like... They killed a bunch of people. I heard a thing where they took... They all had coats that they loved, the indigenous people, and they burned all the coats like after they had already won. They just, they just piled the coats and they lit them on fire and they were like, these were ugly anyway. Right. Yeah. It was like a straight quote. Well, I think the thing about that to remember is, does it matter whether or not you burn a coat if the person <laughs> is gonna burn forever in hell? Does that make sense? I'm trying to think. My I, other friend's gay. Well, they're going to hell. Mm, okay. Uh, I don't, I'm just trying to shoot you straight. I think, uh, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I just don't want you to get caught up in that. See, what about? <laughs> here's the thing. Soul, right, is the god of the sun. Mm -hmm. And the sun gives life to everything. Mm -hmm. But it also burns, okay? And... <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> from the Zoot Suit Rock. <laughs> I was like trying not to laugh and it uh, came out as tears. Oh, uh, baby. Okay. Uh, you see, the uh, coach looks at you and says, my understanding of God is this. When I think about people that aren't like me, I get so mad and it feels like there's a sun inside me that's burning my insides, right? And, you know, whether soul says do something or don't do something, I believe in him. So I'd rather believe in him and not do what he said than do what he said and not believe in him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just be mad. Okay, I'm just gonna try okay. to spoil it down. Just be mad. Thanks. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. I'm gonna start keeping a journal uh, for each day my friend believes in Helio or doesn't, and then whatever the end total is, I'll, uh, hey, guess I'll what? just tell her to do that. Hey, guess what? Hmm. If they don't believe in Helio, they're not your friend, okay? Cool. Tell me about them okay. and where they are. What? Tell me about them and where they are. They oh, yeah, it's a friend that lives far away. 
Good. Hmm? Because they're not your friend. It's good. They're far. Yeah, this is, uh, you know what? You Thanks know for what? coming you know to me. You can all... hang out with different people differently. People different than Helium. I... Do you want this bracelet? Because I think I'm never going to wear it again. It's the one that says, remember to pray and the fire is inside you. See, he takes it and goes, you don't want it? You want it? You want to remember? Which one do you remember to pray? I'm, I have maybe a little too much fire inside me. I'm trying to... Oh, that's good. Too much fire inside is a good thing. Here's the thing. Okay, Helio hung out with somebody. Helio did that or this. Mm -hmm. There's a million of those things. You'll go crazy trying to keep track of all those rules. Just remember, you believe in Helio. <sighs> and then that's it. Okay. And then just and then just put your head down and go. Okay. Right? Okay, yeah, totally. You're a good Oh, uh, it's so good to talk to you. My parents so say hi. Oh, t say hi to them for yeah. me. I've got to say hi to Donna. It's great. I'm yeah. really awesome. All right. We'll see you Sunday. We'll see you around. See you on Sunday. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you walk uh, from that extremely horrifying <laughs> encounter uh, with Coach Daybreak. Uh, uh, you guys head out from there. Um, you guys see, uh, as you're walking uh, out of school to go ahead to the cemetery, which is actually not too far away. You can see it's sort of right nearby. Um, so it's easy to walk. Um, uh, you pass, uh, you see there's like a little grand opening of like a little chain uh, bank next to the school, uh, sort of opening up. Uh, you see this sort of smells like paint coming out of it. Uh, you see this big three red letters KVX on it, uh, KVX Bank, um, uh, as you're walking by. Um, uh, can we hop in and see if there's any like free pens? Or, or like... lollipops? Okay, why do we need anything? We, can, we will just go buy better things if we want them. Well, okay, well. Can we just look in the glass real quick? Yeah, can I, can I like check it out? Uh, cool, you check it out, uh, go for it. I want two as well. Uh, what is Three. check it out? Nat one. <laughs> I got a nat 20. Two. Ooh. Nat 20. Perception. Oh. oh, I have a lot. I have 25. I'm breathing All too right. much. All right. Nat 20 is great. Um, uh, you Hell look yeah. in and see that not only are there no free lollipops and no free pens of any kind, you see there's a big sign at the front that says, store policy, no complimentary pens or candies. This place sucks. Damn. I rolled a net one. And not in a good lollipop This place way. seems honestly kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you guys Are we want... going in? Can no, we... let's no, fuck it. All right. If you guys need lollipops and pens, I'll buy them for you. Wait God. a second. A bank without free pens or lollipops, isn't that a little bit suspicious? No. no. It's like just a, a bad bank. bank. No, something. right? Mm. I just want to... Well, people with money Did you do more of that snuff? Sure, I'll cost detect magic on it. No. Uh, within that 20, you don't even need to. You can see the place is uh, filled with magic. Um, you see that there's a bunch of like armored cars with ele elemental vehicles that are taking out huge things of like gold, big gold coins. Just out? Like, They're taking it out? Oh, of out them? of the trucks and into the oh. bank. They're like filling up the location. Oh, okay. Is it, do you All think right. this is a magical bank or do you think this is some kind of I cover think for something else? This is just a else? bank. People put money in a bank. Why are we. We don't need to read into this bank. Are you all so poor that you I don't, don't know, understand we how bad? We didn't get anything from Zane. I just feel it like just we got to like catch a cool up. Bank I'm to me. very <laughs> rich, but my parents are very I, I'm going to start to walk off into the cemetery and be like, Jesus Christ. I'm going to join them. You guys yeah. head to the cemetery. Um, <laughs> you guys have to pull me along. <laughs> it's so poor. God, they don't understand how dragging, banks work. Dragging Gosh. Gorgug by his hoodie. Yeah. It's called uh, bank. <laughs> <laughs> you guys arrive at Cravencroft. Cravencroft is a very spooky cemetery, uh, especially towards this time of night. During the daytime, it's actually okay. You can go and like visit. Um, uh, and Riz, you see your dad's uh, grave up on the little hill. <gasps> Um, <laughs> I don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, God, that kills me! Oh. Uh, you see that, um, uh, but you see that there's like the Riz. section where like Johnny spells and greasers <laughs> are all Sorry. buried. Can I do a knowledge, I, or me. would I know if someone, if Zane becomes invisible, would his little rat also become invisible? His little rat also would become invisible, yes. Okay. Could I, um, could I, uh, just real quick, just gonna do this, if nothing comes from it, that's fine. I'd like to create a minor illusion of a, um, of a, a sexy <laughs> rat. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, I see what you're I doing. I need you right now, Emily Axford, to verbally describe a sexy rat. <laughs> Put an image in my head yeah, okay, as the dungeon yes. master for what that is. Okay. So it's like a real wet nose. 
It's so great. Gross. I try not to judge player character choices, start. but that sucks. Incredible start. So hot. Uh, so fun. Wet wet and it's like um, a really, really pointy. The whiskers are like long and like curled at the end, like Farrah Fawcett hair. And the ears are like so um, perfectly circular. And then the tail is like super long and um, and like the front paws are super skinny, but then the back legs are like meaty. <laughs> she did All right. That's meaty. a hot rat. That is honestly a hot rat. <laughs> so this fucking nightmare rat is created uh, with illusory magic. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Riz, Riz is a little attracted to the rat. What the <laughs> fuck is that? Yeah, she's Where did they come cute. from? What is this? For it's kind of a hot rat. It's kind of a hot rat. What the fuck is that? In Elvish I say, guys, be cool. Zane is an elf, you idiot. He will understand every word that we say. <laughs> what did you say? I what the understand. fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> you guys see? That this sexy rat takes off into the graveyard, uh, kind Where of like it swaying its hips back and forth. <laughs> it's and on kind of what? looking, looking around. What is wrong with that rat? I'm just watching it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it kind of like winks over it, like a little gargoyle on someone's. What? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why did it's you like, do this? <laughs> it's so it's stupid. Um, you see, uh, you see that it finds like a little like sort of acorn by a tree and takes it up and goes like. I'm sorry. What is this? What did you do? Okay, guys, get in, get in, bring it in so no one can hear. What? Zane has his rat, and I'm trying to lure oh, out his rat cool. to find out if he's invisible here. Oh, That's yeah. the most insane plan I've ever heard. Well, it's can only I make a perception check. Same. Nine. 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 Yeah, can we Nine. investigate the are area? We, are we near? We're not near Johnny Spell's uh, grave. Yet. No, you're not. Maybe uh, we should sneak yeah, up on his grave. Yeah. Sneak up on that, and then uh, I would like to cast detect. If I cast detect thoughts near by him, will I be able to sense that he's there? Yeah. Uh, yes. Detect thoughts will bypass invisibility. I think the Great. rat is a good idea. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm gonna need all of you guys to. Uh, uh, you don't need to make perception rolls for this. You see that a fucking enormous owl comes down and. <laughs> And grabs the sexy rat and cool, takes uh, off. I want to shoot the owl. No, <laughs> do not shoot the owl. That owl is doing the a fucking world of service, all right? I got to play like that. <laughs> Can I slap I, that shit out of reason? I'm sorry. Stop! I thought the rat was cute. Now I, I need. Up, trying to be sneaky. Now I need everybody here to make perception. Great. Nat 20 again. Oh, oh yeah, 22. I got a nat, two. I got a nat one. Oh, terrible. Uh, you don't see anything because I assume that the death of your sexy rat is much too jarring. <laughs> it was so hot. Uh, Can I go put too, my hand on it? She'll um, for the best. Adine, so uh, everyone else is bickering and arguing. Adine, your keen elven senses follow the owl. You survey the edges. Cravencroft is a large cemetery. On multiple trees around the edge of the cemetery, you begin to count. There are about seven or eight owls watching the cemetery. And as you skirt the edges in the long grasses towards the fence, you notice about 10 or 12 cats that you just clock all of them at once. Everybody shut up. What? Why? Why? I, it was hot. Did you, Did you see that sexy? I, how are we supposed to come back from that shit? That owl I need was you so to, I'm too. trying to tell you important information. No, that no, it was not. not. That owl is not a regular owl. That owl is not a regular owl. There are owls and cats surrounding us right what now. What size? How big? Like it's, eight <gasps> owls. Right. Owls are We're big. We're at a cemetery at night. That's normal, right? No, it's no, not. No, that's a lot. One and they're just hanging out. Uh, detect evil. Yeah, uh, can I do detect good and evil? Yes, absolutely. As you cast detect evil, um, you detect a faint aura of menace. You see that one of the cats far away turns, looks at you. You get a faint aura of menace from its eyes. The cats disappear, and you see the owls. They also Take disappear. They evil. So none of them are left. Are there any cats? Uh, not that you can see. Um, uh, everybody, make a perception check once more. Ooh. Sixteen. Nice. I got oh, twenty-one. 15. I got a twenty. Twenty-one as well. Twenty-one as well. You uh, hear the last of the owls flying away, and the sun setting, the light fading from the last of the horizon. As you talk about the owls, you hear a voice, liter not behind you, literally standing in the middle of you, say. 
more owls than normal at Cravencroft. Yeah. And there is just a about eight foot tall, rail thin, maybe like a hundred and ten pound uh, undertaker standing in the midst of you. Yeah. Ah. Where did you come from? Yeah, exactly. I work here at the cemetery. Yes, no. but you weren't here a second ago. I walked up. Is it cool for smoke here? Yes, okay. we're outside. All right, who are you? I am Sylvester, the caretaker of Cravencroft. Dark secrets here in the cemetery. The final resting place of many of Elmville's own. Yeah, I heard a, I heard a couple of those Tiefling greasers died. I bet a lot of people have been here recently for that. No, very few have come to visit those jabronis. It sounds like you're falling down a well. Oh, did you say jabronis? <laughs> that is how they referred to those whom they dismissed as lesser than. And it seems the town was only too eager to return that feeling in kind. You haven't seen a real shitty looking goth kid. Constantly, he's always around. But constantly, oh. including now? What Not does he do here? He, does he only go to the where the tieflings were buried or does he just kind of wander? Is he more here for the ambience? He think? kind of just hangs around. Can I make an insight check? Yeah, go for it. Four. Four. <laughs> this guy seems very cool, <laughs> and here's the thing, you're you're 90% sure he's not your dad, but there's a chance. <laughs> he's not an orc, so you feel like probably not, right? But, maybe. maybe. Um, hey, I just have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my mind. Everyone's gonna think this is stupid, but uh... By all means, there are no stupid questions. Are you my freaking dad? <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and says, how would that work? Why would you assume that? I, I mean, if you were my dad, you'd know how it would work. Okay, Fig, can no. you make another sexy rat? Because I'm going to cast <laughs> no. light on it, and then we'll be able to see. Because I can't see any of you, it's getting really <laughs> creepy. Why don't you just okay, cast light on another sexy stuff. rat? I've been casting Sound light on my religious rat. stuff, but I just need to not... I need a, a break from religion for a little while, okay? Whoa. So I'm not going to cast light on it. I need something else. Here you well, go. A sexy, a sexy feminine rat. rat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a... Bright glowing red. Sylvester <laughs> says, ah, not the normal ambiance of this place. Somehow more disturbing in its provocative. The rat is like touching its six <laughs> nipples. <laughs> yeah, this time it's pregnant. <laughs> I don't like you children. You see, he says, to answer your question, I could not be your father. My junk was all messed up in a bicycle accident. Christ, all right, uh, Mr. Wait, Mr. Bicycle Mr. Accident? Have you talked yeah, to the exactly. goth kid? Thank you. Bicycle, like as in motorcycle? No. Golf kid. Have a you regular. He's no one's dad. I wasn't a sure he was, he's I bet you ride dad. one of those bikes that has a big front wheel. Yes, a velocity. All right, have you talked to that goth kid ever? The seat fell off and I tried to sit down <laughs> Hello, on um, the metal Mr. Bar. Sylvester, hi. Yes. My name is Fabian, uh, Fabian Seacast. What exactly happened seat. to your junk? Oh it, my God. <laughs> doctors still don't know. Did it, get it got all jambled up in there. <laughs> hi, Riz Gutgak. Have you ever spoken to that emo kid? Goth kid? Zane, dark shadow. Yeah. Yes. Many times did he wander this cemetery dancing to his Walkman and saying poetry to the headstones. I asked him to leave a bunch of times, and he never did. Can you talk to dead people? Can I speak to the dead? Yes, I speak to them all the time. Do they, like, it's an actual conversation? I do most of the talking. Is Zane Dark Shadow his real name, or is his name actually, like, Jeff Spratt? Zane Darkshadow named himself of course when he, did. he of course he did. When he sued for emancipation from the foster system. Oh, that's Yeah, sad. you all feel like a bunch of assholes. I now. don't because I'm like running question. down the Don't you judging a, a poor kid. I have a question and uh do you know what songs he likes to listen to since he's walking around and he's singing along with his walkman? It involved a lot of him making two fists and rotating them around each other clockwise. and Like then a cabbage patch kind of situation? Kind of like a this oh, okay. and then a bank. Oh, uh, EDM. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Ethereal dance music. Have you seen him today, or what? have you seen him? Have you seen Zane today? <gasps> oh yes. I, oh, why? Yes. No, not to wait. What? It's Friday. I. Did you see him today? <laughs> I did not see him today. Hmm. I know where the young lad lives. Oh, that if would you, be great. Yeah. If you wish to visit his dwelling place, he lives down the street this way, five blocks. There's a deli, and he lives above the deli in an apartment that the state paid for when he sued for emancipation. He lived by himself. He had a sad life. Yeah, that's right. Wait, why, why are, are you people speaking in had? the past tense? What's that? Yeah, why Wait. are you speaking the past tense? Can I investigate this guy? Yeah. Yeah, I would like to uh, also investigate 14. this guy. Ugh. Oh uh, my god. 13. Uh, I would like uh, to do a perception to see if this is actually D Zane Dark Shadow. That's gonna be a three. <laughs> I'm gonna touch him. <laughs> oh, you touch him. Uh, 18. He appears to be telling the truth. He appears to be the real guy. You see, he says, Zane was. You see, he reaches into a um, pocket of his coat, takes out a little sort of pearl that is now uh, icy white. This was jet black. Zane gave it to me and said, if it were ever to turn icy white, that would mean he had passed from this mortal realm. Why was he concerned with you knowing if he had passed? He really wanted me to like what he was up to. And, uh, excuse me, might we... Can I see that pearl? Sure. Thank you. Can I... I just pocket it. Wait, give it to me. I'll cast Identify on it. Maybe we do that. All right. It seems like everybody in this game really has some daddy issues. <laughs> I don't. I talk to my father all the time. Is he He's dead? Me too. But really, every religious person has a <laughs> And he turns and stalks <laughs> off into the graveyard. Okay, to here, Zane's cast book. Identify on this. I cast Identify on <clears throat> the pearl. Ah, yes, a pearl <laughs> of life. This is a minor and rather common magical item used by necromancers to mark the passing of those who have been attuned to the pearl. The pearl, given in a jet black state, will mark the living status of that which has been attuned to it. Upon turning icy white, the pearl has marked that user's passage into the underworld, usually through a process known as death. The pearl is worth almost nothing and are often traded as sort of friendship tokens by necromancers from one to the other. This has been the identify spell. Can you ask if it's reusable? Or ask if it's if it was attuned I mean, with Zane or someone else. It does else. say. Can I can I uh, tell who it is attuned to? Give me an Arcana check. Nat twenty, baby. Hell what? yeah! You look uh, into the pearl and you see uh, Zane Dark Shadows' dead body. Oh God, guys! Fuck. I think he's dead. I mean, I guess there's a possibility that he entered into the underworld and didn't die, and he's on some kind of weird, like... Can we, we go to his apartment? Go to his Before we do this, I'm gonna take out the crystal, and I'm gonna text uh, the the number that was Zane Dark Shadows, and say... Uh, you up? Basically. <laughs> and say, uh, things got wacky at the Black Pit. Like, uh, you wanna meet up soon? <laughs> Well, if someone killed him, then that means they probably took the crystal. That's so what I'm they're saying. getting this. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Cool. You shoot the text, no immediate reply. Okay. Um, you guys head down the street. Uh, you are in the Elm Valley neighborhood. This is where your parents uh, live, this is where your house is. Uh, very ticky tacky little houses, a little deli, kind of like one of those like weird musty delis in like very suburban neighborhoods that's like not a lot of foot traffic, so hardly anyone comes in. And above it, so there's a tiny little apartment. Um, the front door is locked. Can I try to pick it? Yeah, go for it. Uh, that would be a uh, thieves tool proficiency. Okay, so eight plus whatever that is. Whatever dex is, yeah, no worries. Uh, you, uh, you see Riz goes up, picks the lock, there's a very, thin staircase with like spider webs and other kind of stuff sort of decorated like a black light. You guys walk up the steps. Um, 
and you see uh, that there is a small, basically one room apartment. There's not even a bathroom, there's just a toilet in the corner. Oh God, um, this black light is showing up so much cum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that what that is? I think so. Um, you guys see around here, uh, yeah, there's just a, a bunch of stuff. It is a fucking wreck in here. There's like broken furniture, the bed is all strewn about, there's stuff that's sort of thrown everywhere. Um, uh, go ahead and make whatever checks you guys would make uh, in this new environment. I, like uh, I got a investigate. Got a twenty six <laughs> perception. Can I check and see if it's been like drawers have been searched through, like someone robbed? Cool. I got twenty five. Twenty five. I, I got another net twenty. Fuck yeah. What the hell is going on with this dice? Whoa, final uh, luck. No, Incredible. Make a, uh, okay. At this point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We. What'd you get for perception? Twenty seven. Did you roll a nat 20? No, I got a 19. In okay. I also got a 19. Uh, nat, tw really a nat 20 no from Adine. Yeah. Um, 25 investigate. 25 investigate from Riz. Cool. I, I did get a 10. Cool. I got a 10 as well. 10 so. as well. Fabian, anything from you? Oh, five. <laughs> uh, first of all, to your question, yes, this place was rifled through. Okay. Um, you start looking around. Um, what you guys find, each of you finds a different thing. The first thing Adine finds is you find a whole bunch of ritual material. Um, it's like very well kept star maps uh, of like the of like the night sky, so incredible astronomical star maps. Um, there are instructions for a ritual that involves certain stages of the moon, so they uh, require it to be. Um, uh, on the new moon, mm -hmm. and the actual text of the invocation begins on this All Hallows Eve. Oh God! So he has a very specifically Hallows Eve spell. When is, when is that Hallows soon? Eve? Right? Um, you with that nat twenty, you're looking at it. You don't think it was coming up. You think it happened. Oh. Um, you notice. The one thing that strikes your attention with that investigate check or that perception check is that his rat cage, his little rat cage with like little sawdust on the floor, little toys like that. The door is open, but it's not broken, meaning it looks like the latch was undone. But you notice that it has been like moved from where it normally stands, if that makes sense. Uh, your intuition is telling you that this was like opened during the combat that happened in here during whatever fucking crazy thing happened in here. Uh, oh, by the way, you also notice arcane residue of uh, blood being cleaned magically. Prestigitation of uh, blood being cleaned. Uh, so this place wasn't put back together, but the evidence game. was destroyed. Um, Riz, you find two things. Uh, a little bottle in his bathroom that says, Keep cadaverously cool with midnight ice body temperature pills. Uh, little pills that he took to keep his body like extremely cold. You also find uh, underneath his bed Johnny Spell's contract with his demonic overlord. So like Johnny Spell's okay. soul contract with Gorgalax the Insatiable. Cool, so I'll bring it out and I'll show these guys. Can we yeah, read I'll it? Yeah, I'll show my findings. So yeah, can we too. read it? Yeah. We all found well, stuff. What did he, oh, oh maybe oh, we'll I find out why I he didn't nothing. fuck. I just yeah. took a break real quick. Can we, yeah, let's yeah, why was he no read. fab? Um, why was he no fab? You guys all rolled pretty fucking incredibly. Um, you make a connection between uh, the star map um, and the rituals and that the ritual that, even though it's in Zane Dark Shadow's hand, it looks like Zane reverse engineered the ritual Johnny Spells used to become a warlock. Um, and having his contract, however the fuck Zane managed to get that here, must have given him some incredible power over Johnny Spells to be able to call on him to do things. Um, what you also realize is that the star chart and the new moon um, uh, and the On Hallow's Eve Combining those together, you can completely find out where this ritual was done. Because you know it had to be on Hollow's Eve, you know what phase of the moon it was, and you know the stars and the position in the sky when it happened. So you could pinpoint to like a geographical certainty where this ritual went down. Okay, 
we can figure this out. I also think that we should call your mom, dude, because there was a lot of blood in this room that's been cleaned up. So somebody has been here after whatever happened, and like, something went down. I'm sorry, is Zane's body in this room? No, Zane's body is not in this room. Is the rat in this room? The rat is not in this room. If either. he was invisible, you can't be invisible after death, right? No. How far away is the place where the ritual happened? Uh, I would need you to make a arcana check, and it would probably be something you'd have to do over like a couple minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, can okay, make so we can make an anonymous call. Can I make a, call 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 I make a perception after. check again? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I got an 18. Uh, cool. Uh, what are you looking for? I just feel like it just feels weird, so I just want to make sure that there's not like another person coming or another weird thing in here. Yeah, um, or, or just like someone like watch, uh, watching. Watching oh, us. I'll tell you what you figure out. Um, uh, the weapon that did this, that like broke furniture and stuff, was a two-handed slashing weapon, so, like a great axe or something similar. Did I do oh. this? <laughs> it's that freaking, it's that freaking barbarian teacher. Can we see if there's any uh, mm. corn evidence, corn. as they call it in the business, in the rizness? <laughs> oh, never say that again. Never, <laughs> as they never call say it that in again. The rizness. No, Who's oh. looking for corn. I'm trying to I'm say I'm sniffing you. around for corn. What oh. about, what um, about the Give me another investigate check. No. No, I don't Not think we great. should be 12. using our names and catchphrases um, at all. You actually do find some stuff here and there written in the margins of things. The thing that's not making sense to you anymore is that Zane was a necromancer, a wizard. So there are some weird religious things similar to the Page of Shadows that animated that corn ooze, right? Um, so there's some of them here or there that Zane has in some of his notes. You also notice that there, where you tend to find those doodles, you tend to find things ripped out, right? So like things that would have had more clues about that are gone. Can we, t should we text the crystal one more time and hear, see if we hear like a sound? Yes. Um, yeah, I will idea. text. Just like another question mark or something? I will text um, tomorrow night, Jazzy, question mark. Jazzy Jeff. Uh, you text it and no noise from the room. Okay. So the corn stuff's been removed from this little contract here. Does okay. anyone have good animal handling? No. No. What animal would we handle? Just see. I just, I see if we can that... lure that rat out with yeah. another sexy rat. Um, <laughs> Please do not. <laughs> we still have the one li light, <laughs> the bright light sexy rat. No, with us. it only lasts for a minute, so also, it definitely I would have killed it if it was still here. So I would like to throw out that porter. The barbarian teacher yeah. mm -hmm. would be wielding. What, do I know what he, he had a uh, hammer, a great hammer? But, but that's going to be a. But that's, that's not a slash. 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 Yeah. I think. But also, what is guys our, the, How the, was your little conversation with uh, the old coach there, Coach Daybreak? What it was he not good. We just talked about religious shit. Okay. What does he wield? I think I know. Like another person that could Daybreak be wielding that stuff. is uh, the guy from the. The team that keeps bullying me. <gasps> yeah. He. But we know that one of the faculty was involved. Well, but that doesn't Wait, mean what? that students aren't also involved. What if yeah. it was that I mean, bully Zane's kid? Involved. He's a barbarian. What if the kid and Daybreak work together? Or Porter. Yes. Yeah. We should just check out the whole team. Wait, you're right because uh, that this guy. Um, he was at the field. He knocked into me when that. He knocked my Bible yes. into the corn, and then that bully hit you right afterwards when we were in line day one, like to get lunch. Remember, we were oh talking. My God. Wait, that bullying bully... is a smokescreen for much worse things. Oh, not a chance. That boy is much too stupid to get into some well, kind no, of plan I think like he's this. I muscle. agree. But he, he can be muscle. stupid. I mean, I'm here. Okay, do not do <laughs> not put yourself down like that. Don't you dare do that to yourself. No, I'm you're really smart no. and a really good dresser. I mean, yeah, like, we you're really not really like smart. Are you, you almost done? Because yeah, we can done. figure What's that the, out and then uh, leave. Go ahead and give me an arcana check. Oh, I got a 13. A 13? Cool. Um, uh, you start putting them together. Um, uh, the location where this must have happened um, would have been... Uh, east of the Marigold River, high up somewhere where you could see those stars. Y'all, uh, Durinson Mithril Factory. Yep. Sorry, continue. I just got excited. It could be 
That makes sense. It's something to match. East of the river. It also seems like somewhere that Zane would hang out, an abandoned factory. Yeah. All I we mean, know it is could east be. of the river, or do we know northeast or anything? Well, and high, right? East of the river and high. I mean, it's... Uh, uh, east of the river, high up. Yeah. There's also the top of the Strong Tower luxury apartments, but and that's there's not also as. The thistle spring. Gone. Gone. East and north. Uh, uh, oh, east and north. And I go ahead and make me our arcana check. Not one. <laughs> not one. Um, uh, go ahead and roll for a uh, uh, panic attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, 17. 17. Uh, your breath starts to speed up a little bit as you realize that um, uh, your friends are now basing their decisions off of whether your arcana work was good or not. Mm. Um, and uh, you begin to be unsure of everything that you just said. Uh, I take, I put my hand on her shoulder and I am into all this like religious stuff too. So is there a way that I could take over my, with my arcana? Or it's just magic stuff? Um, uh, it's just magic stuff, yeah. but you can actually give, uh, uh, you can take like a help action or you cool. can do something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, uh, go ahead and roll advantage on that arcana Add check. On. What does it mean? I don't know. This, that was the first time I've ever done that. Wait. <laughs> uh, I got an eight and an 18. So an 18. Cool. Um, Hell yeah. uh, Thank you. You look back at it. Um, it needs to be somewhere high up. Um, the Strong Tower Luxury Apartments are tall, uh, but you immediately realize that the ritual calls for actually seeing the stars. Strong Tower's downtown. There'd be too much light pollution for you to be able to see at that. Mithril uh, Factory. Okay, I think it's the abandoned Mithril Factory. Guys, I have a thought. What is it? You is have it to know the sexy, sexy rat. rat? <laughs> Party. <laughs> what Why are you laughing? laughing? <laughs> but, well, because it's, it's like a leap, but maybe potentially interesting. <sighs> if we threw a party at the Durrinson yes. abandoned factory. Yes. I mean, maybe we should just look at it. No, we should just go and investigate it. Why would we throw a What if we go well, and we, we pretend that we're some gonna throw time. a party See, there? Why don't we just go? And maybe we'll throw a party if it's cool there. Right. If, if people I'm a stop later us, date, we say we're throwing a party. Yeah, Let's, it's like a party scouting. planning investigation. Yeah. Why don't we scout it out? mission okay. to see if it's worthy of having a party. That's right. a, <laughs> yeah, it's a very accurate Did you make this lead. rat? This is a leap. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Did you make another rat? No, that was just <laughs> sexy on its own. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I also have these weird pills that uh, make his, that uh, they make say they oh, keep yeah. his body temperature down. Do you think that was a fashion thing because he wanted to be like undead? Or yeah. Can yeah. I open the cap and see that, that there's actual pills his... in there? Yeah. Uh, I'll make a medicine check. Ooh, I actually, I've got the healer feet, but I don't think that helps me on medicine checks. Um, 15 plus... That's a great 16. check. 16. 16. Uh, you crack it open, you smell some of the chemicals that are in there, some of the, like, the alchemical properties. Uh, there's a little bit of like ghoul blood or something in here that would, uh, it would take your body heat all the way down, take your body temperature way down without killing you. It would make you not sweat. It would make your biological functions kind of freeze up. Uh, Wait a second. Look at the pearl again. Oh, is it yeah. still... Can we check pearl see still if the pearl white? is white or black? Uh, pearl is still white. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I think you're right. I mean, you made it's moments like yeah. that. But I'm, sure. but I'm usually uh, wrong. wrong. Uh, uh, the pills are um, uh, the pills are neutral. The pills are okay. are okay. something because they don't actually hurt you. They're just cosmetic. It's a thing that necromancers. But they weren't like fucked with or anything. Not that you can see. No, there doesn't appear to be any poison. How long do they last for? Does it say how long they last for? Um. Uh. Yeah. Side of the bottle, it says uh, one pill every forty-eight hours. Forty-eight hours. Mm -hmm. Can you drink with them? Uh. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't recommend drinking. Can, okay. can pregnant women use them? <laughs> Should you ask your doctor before you? <laughs> we go to the mithril factory. Yeah, yeah. Let's get out. But Wait, let's hold put on. Put in an anonymous tip. Oh can, yeah. Oh okay, yeah. Can. Uh, can I also cast unseen servant to get all of the fingerprints that we've left completely everywhere in this place God, out of here? So cute and mean. Yeah. Hey. Uh, why don't we call? Yeah, we'll call on Zane's phone. Why don't? While well, you're uh, calling, or if he has like, a, <laughs> does he have a landline? Can you give us a speech again? I really liked it last oh, time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it really did help us, huh? Yeah. You guys, unfortunately, do we have time? Should we get out of here, or should I just... I think it should be uh, right Why don't you, on the way, to... on the oh, way okay. to the Mithril Factory, you can give us an inspiring speech. Okay, I'm just gonna let you know that I'm feeling, for the first time in my life, really dry. Usually, I have so much passion for this, but I feel like ever since meeting Helio and 
him just like refusing to answer like the number one question on my mind. It's gonna get inspiring soon. Uh, <laughs> has just kind of left me feeling like tasteless or like gray. Can I give and... her bardic inspiration? <clears throat> oh, I just, this isn't really me, but uh, <laughs> we can do it. Uh, and I'm so glad I'm alive. And I was thrust into this kooky puzzle with no answer for, what, 80 years of my life? What kind of hell is that? You just call to life be a kooky sent to, it's Jeez. like I'm in the middle of the desert starving with only canned food and no can opener. Well, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's like, it, I thought this book was a can opener, but I mean, yeah. it's not. <laughs> it's hard for me to uh, completely uh, empathize because I am immortal. Mm -hmm. But um, I would say that the, uh, yeah, life is so for the living. Funny. Oh, you know, you know what's funny you about live that? Your life is my whole life I've been living after. for the afterlife. Yeah, don't uh, everything's do that. been a promise for the afterlife, and I don't think that's even coming. And you know what? I might be in love with a woman, and that's crazy. Oh, that's cool. No, yeah, no, you don't know it. my parents. My parents are gonna send me away to where I pray the gay away. Do you know how crazy that is? Kristen, I... here's the good news, is that uh, there's all this corn stuff going on no. and your parents might be evil I used the evil corn to masturbate the other night. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Yeah. Okay. I saw online, I was deep in Reddit, and there were a couple tips <laughs> so, for new are, lesbians. Are a corn? I'm so, what? I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I working. take inspiration in this speech from the, the self-assuredness no. I'm feeling and that I'm like, oh, ah. I have things relatively figured out. And sometimes I look <laughs> at my hands and I'm like, these aren't my hands. Okay. I would have noticed I know that my they hands look like my this hands. Okay, uh, good. Uh, yeah, Riz thought he was really lonely, but it turns out. <laughs> yeah, uh, as sort of a cautionary tale, uh, <laughs> everyone here gains temporary hit points. So you level plus your Christmas modifier. So everyone four plus, oh, what's your Christmas? Oh, three. Three. So that's going to be seven temporary hit points. Cool. Oh. Sick. Um, do you guys do? I'm kind of crying, but like. <laughs> uh, so you guys get in a car headed towards um, the Durinson, like order of car or something like that. You guys head over to the Durinson Mithril Factory. I'm yeah. driving, of course. Yeah. Can I communicate with my motorcycle? Uh, yeah, you can if you like. Uh, can I ask it to meet me at the Durinson Mithril Factory? <laughs> Master. Where do you wish me to meet you? Uh, uh, uh Hangman, uh, can you please meet us at the Durinson Mithril Factory? Uh, post -haste? I know the Durinson Mithril Factory. I have been there many times. Oh! Really? Well, guys, my motorcycle has been to the Durinson Mithril Factory. What Absolutely. business would you have there, motorcycle? My previous master, whose skull was split by your bolt, drove me there many times. Oh, Johnny huh. Spell has been a lot of... What oh my god, thank do, god that means we're going to the right doing place. Motorcycle? He was visiting his benefactor. Oh, his benefactor is at the Durinson oh Mithra god. Factory. The insatiable? Was, it, Daddy? The insatiable? was no. it the Gorov the Insatiable? You see, it says Gorthalax. Oh, Gorthalax, yes. Is he like a big corn cutie? He says, um, does he look yet? Does he look like corn? Oh, I love corn! Get to talk I to didn't... my motorcycle. I, I get to talk to my very motorcycle. Corthalax is enormous, terrifying, a vision of flame and hatred. Oh, so it was Corthalax. Corthalax. Oh, fantastic. He used to meet Corthalax at the Durham oh. Mithril Factory, oh, where we're going right now. I will meet you there. Uh. Right, fantastic. My motorcycle's going to meet us there. Um, you guys head out to the Durinson Mithril Factory. Wow. Um, go ahead and make perception checks on your way there. Let's not separate this time. Yeah. Oh, 21. shit. 21. 13. 9. Cool. 8. 10. Uh, uh, 21. Um, you notice on your way there, um, up in the night sky above you, as you sort of, you can't see in the dark very well, but, um, looking to the sky for some kind of meaning in the middle of your <laughs> existential drift, you see above uh, the moon, um, which there's just a sliver of light, an owl passes over the moon real quick, followed by another. You guys, they know a we're bunch coming. of owls. I what? hate this. Oh, more owls. I um, have a thought, should we, should we go tomorrow night? Because right now everyone knows we're coming. 
How? What, they, the they owls might be doing are spying. Kind of I guess we could take a bunch of owls. You see that the, the, the gnomish driver in the front of the car saying, you, you pay for the ride if you get out. You pay for the whole ride. Oh, look, we're, we're going. going. We're, we're going. going. Here, I'm uh, going to use this. I take out a coexist sticker and I cast light on him. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Awesome. What? I uh, I forgot that I had it. I was praying for it for a while oh. for all the people who were you guys, this wrong. You guys see the car wend its way up long, dusty road. You see there are small little whiskey bars and little kind of houses hewn into the rough stone. It's kind of a dwarven neighborhood up here. A lot of dwarves got laid off a couple of years back when the Durrance and Mithril factory closed down and it's been abandoned for some time. Uh, up in the distance, you see it. Uh, tall red brick towers, huge vats of alchemical material meant to refine mithril, the lightest, strongest metal of them all. Um, you see that the car approaches at a certain point and you guys see a chain link fence that has been chained up and locked and the car drops you off. Thank all right. You. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, uh, you doing like a party up here? Yeah. We're scouting mm -hmm. for one. Good, well, yeah. it's a good place for a party. You had a party. Do you take a lot of people yeah, up here for parties? Oh no, hardly nobody. No, it's bad up here. What? Uh, All okay. right. Thanks for paying again for the Yeah, thanks. Well, you all need money for shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take that as shit, a sweet shit. thing. Okay. Uh, Can I make a perception? Yeah, I want to do a perception check if anyone's watching us. Sure. Also, yeah. is my motorcycle arrived? <laughs> Master for the run. Oh, hello, Hangman. Oh, good, a big loud motorcycle. Yes. Hey. I got a six on my perception check. Me too. I got a 15. 15? Nope, five again. Goddamn five. Uh, I have. Oh, with uh, an investigation. 21. You hear a noise, Kristen, coming from inside the Mithril factory, which is like dilapidated and old. You can smell kind of acrid smell. Um, I also point out that the uh, factory is on the edge of this enormous cliff that drops into a quarry. Calling this thing a quarry is like, it, it's, what an understatement. It is a like endless drop into inky I'm blackness. just staring into it. <laughs> I uh, pull her away from it. Uh, the chain link fence owns a really old dusty parking lot, and then you can tell that there's the other side of the factory from here is probably more dilapidated than this side because it's been exposed to the elements. Um, you hear a noise from the factory um, of and then you hear, uh, who hears, First of all, everyone that doesn't speak Dwarven hears like, uh, Who here speaks Dwarven? Uh, I don't think any of us do, but I do have Comprehend Languages. Uh, so like... I will cast Comprehend Languages. Um, you hear, uh, so Adine. <laughs> Letters and runes of all possible tongues surround your head, uh, and you, the language is deciphered for you through the arcane mystery of your elven magic craft. Uh, you hear, sick grind, brother, I eat, I was, oh, go, drop in, drop in and shred! <laughs> oh, shit. Guys, I think there's a bunch of skaters in there. Oh, well, that's fantastic. That sounds awesome. <laughs> it's better than demons or uh, zombies or something. Uh, yeah, no, skaters are cool. Yes. Uh, hey, motorcycle, uh, did, uh, how far did Johnny Spittles go into the factory with you, or did you stop around All here? The way in, master. Oh, fantastic, can you lead the way? Yes! Um, the motorcycle backs up. I love um, this motorcycle. And Maybe fucking blasts through the chain link oh, fence. No. Oh, oh, good no. show, motorcycle. Ah! Good show. I have killed the fence. <laughs> I feel like we should just stealthily oh, walk all... in there. Yeah. Uh, you guys I hear, like this. Uh, you guys hear the noise stop from within. Uh, what are you guys going to do? Uh, should we hide um, it? Why not? Why don't we, we hide? hide? There's a fucking huge boat yeah, to why, why don't we, we just we just leave the motorcycle for Let's a second? The motorcycle right. knows where we're going. The motorcycle knows better than any of us where to go. I feel like it's a dumb motorcycle. <laughs> My motorcycle is gonna, not I'm going to hide I, and stealth ahead and just see what's going on, and I'll give you guys. I you hear a voice call out and say, "Those who tread here in this, the hall of our fathers and our fathers' fathers." 
ye have made yourselves known. Show they... now your face. Super know that we're here. Why don't you guys go say hi? I'll hide, and then I'll pop out if something I'll bad just, happens. I'll take... I'm here to skate. Um, <laughs> Me uh, too. Do you guys walk around to see who you're speaking to? 100%. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to yeah, sneak let's and follow do everyone them. but Riz. Go ahead and, and give me a stealth to, check. Try to get around behind them, kind of. Yeah. Uh, 23. Cool. I'm making a big show of it to be yeah. a cover for Riz. I'm right there. I also, I get on my motorcycle and like let it ride up. Um, I have a minor illusion of a skateboard on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so you're holding like a boombox? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know people with their skateboards always this. Uh, you guys walk up, an entire side of the brick factory has collapsed in. You see a bunch of stocky, bearded dwarves, thick beards with like big t-shirts and thick baggy jeans and fat sneakers holding these insane like stone and steel skateboards that have like harsh dwarven runes carved into them. Um, there are two enormous half pipes. There's one half pipe outside, kind of like on the cliff edge. And there's another one in the actual like dripping, dilapidated, like three floors of the factory kind of collapsed in. So there's this insane fucking death hazard skate park that they have retrofitted this abandoned factory as. Um, you see the dwarves, uh, look at you, they're holding like hammers and axes and stuff like that. Uh, you see that they have, uh, one of them has a uh, crystal set up on their helmet. Um, and you see that another one is holding one sort of in their hand like this uh, as they sort of go up on their skates. Um, so you guys are looking into the dilapidated building with your back to this giant quarry, basically. How are you guys, are you guys like all together as you're standing? Aside yes. from Riz, who's sneaking yeah. just trying to sneak I'm standing in the front. <laughs> I'm behind him on my motorcycle. I'm right in the front. I'm out there. I'm trying to stand in front of you. <laughs> I'm behind you. Um, Rad, you see one of the dwarves steps forward, big shield, camera on the uh, helmet, the little crystal on the helmet, and goes, Who now approaches this? The ancient halls of the Durance and Mithril factories, where our fathers and our fathers' fathers worked long days so that we might come here and sneak skate? on what and skate yeah we skate but yeah so no what? no awesome we just that. had you were really cool yeah we're just mm -hmm. fellow lovers of speed and like fans we're, just we're thinking fans. about starting a streetwear company and we wanted like real people to model for it it's a really big leap but i'm right there with <laughs> you yep streetwear i'm just me i'm just Big you see, lies so it's, coming out of my mouth. You're starting a streetwear company. Well, fellas, I mean, it's not that simple. I mean, we're trying to understand the culture of the street that we might then base wear upon it. Yeah, like uh, Fabian is the money. Yes, I'm the money. I'm the the creative. <laughs> yes, he's the creative. We're the thinking one creative. Riz is just slamming his you head see, into they the say, wall. They say, <laughs> you each speak half of a different story. Do not. Use your words lightly around those of the dwarven folk. Hey, my man, uh, please, my relax. I am a girl! Oh, cool. Oh. I am a girl! My name is Torek Railgrinder. Cool! Very cool. I have shredded in these halls and dropped into half pipes deeper and more fearsome than any dwarf before me. Dude, Did they I would do love it? to see you do this. This sounds fucking awesome, and I'm here to spectate. He says, see this, you have seen your last. We will dry by the invaders! Um, I'm gonna Ooh, just what? to make a... What? Uh, uh, you said drive out the invaders. Oh, uh, oh, right. You see that, uh, uh, first I'll make a perception check for me real quick. Nat 20. Five. Nat 20. Oh. You see a group of owls on a tree branch that all fly, look at this, and fly out from here. On a nat 20, you get the impression that you have led these creatures to what they are looking for, and that they are going to go get something to come here. Uh, the clock is ticking. You guys see that the dwarves start going, crash, 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 crash. Hey, hey, hey. The exterior half pipe the outside half pipe begins to move. 
And an enormous pavement golem made of asphalt with highway stripes and like car, like like uh, uh, borders, like the white and yellow stripes sort of covering its body with rails on its arms. <laughs> Stands up with the half pipe on top of it. And I need everybody here to roll initiative. <laughs> Give me a good one. Give me a good one. That 20 again. Jesus. Fuck yeah. 15. 15. Nine. Eight. Amazing. That's all for this week on Fantasy High. Tune in next week as we see what shakes down at the Duranson Mithril Factory. Bye bye. Uh, you worry about the dwarves. I'll take care of the golem. Uh, uh, oh shit. This dwarf grinds along this uh, rail. Of she did. Throw the dwarfs off the cliff. You'll pay the <laughs> Inches from this bubbling green shit. I'll jump out of the way at the last second. This is the coolest shit's ever happened. Box of Doom. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that thing? This is awesome. Zane Dark Shadow's dead body. There are instructions for a ritual that involves certain stages of the moon. You also find Whoa. Johnny Spell's okay. soul contract with Gordalax the Insatiable. Durinson Mithril Factory. Motorcycle backs up and Maybe fucking blasts through the chain link fence. Oh, no. oh, good show, motorcycle. I am a girl. My name is Torek Real Grinder. Cool. The exterior half pipe comes to me. <gasps> and an enormous pavement goal stands up with the half pipe on top of it. Crash! 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 Hello, and welcome back to Fantasy High. Uh, last week, we left our intrepid heroes. Hey, say hello, intrepid heroes. Hello, Hi. intrepid heroes. Hi. God it's damn it. It's a running joke. Uh, last we left off, our brave adventurers were at the Durinson Mithril Factory. Now we see they're facing off against, what just happened to She just erased my name on my character. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> uh, the dwarves led by Torek Railgrinder, who is the clear leader of the skater group. She is aloft on the half pipe chanting the name Crush, crush, crush! As the pavement golem with the half pipe strapped to its back stands to its full height, steadies itself, and begins the combat by marching towards you. Uh, first to act is actually before the pavement golem goes. Um, oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, first to act in the round is Riz, hiding behind oh. these pallets. All right. Uh, leader is up on the half pipe. Correct. Cool. I am going to try to... How long would it take me? Could I get over... Oh, can I shoot her from here? Yes. Okay. Where are you? Right uh, behind these Right pallets. there. What's the range on that? Uh, it should be, it's short bow, so it should be like 80 feet or something like that, feet? or 120 feet. There's or? an easy way to find this out. Yeah, let's just, it's, it's within range. Just within range. Cool. Uh, I'm going to take a shot at her. Uh, awesome, go for it. Cool. Uh, and I believe you have surprise because uh, they've not Because acted. I go first, right? You go yeah. first, right? First cool. initiative. Let's see. Uh, that's only a 14. 14 is going to be a miss, unfortunately. Okay. Yes. <laughs> sturdy folk. Uh, sturdy folk, these dwarves. Clang off of uh, Torex axe. And Elvish is our code language, right? Yeah. Okay. And I yell in Elvish, I think she's controlling the golem, maybe. Who knows? We'll find out. Huh. What'd he say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, Guys, go for the gold, remember? We're not here for blood, we're here for gold. We're here for oh, gold. Good call. For friendship. Hey, you guys, I saw those like owls, it. and I feel like uh, this isn't really what we're here for. Uh, you see, uh, the golem uh, doesn't move very quickly. 
with each step, it kind of wobbles with this huge half pipe on its back, and it takes extra time to step carefully across this bubbling green liquid going to the center of the battlefield and raises one fist aloft as it walks towards you. That's going to be Kristen's turn. Okay. Uh, just remember then the last time I saw that owls have been following us this whole day, so mm -hmm. I think we might be getting distracted. But just in case, uh, I am going to run um, towards Riz. Just join Riz, I guess. Okay. Maybe try to like get some cover or something. Uh, cool. Dun, 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 dun. Is that too far? I don't know if that's too far. Is that, is that the only thing you're doing that round? No, I'm also going to use uh, this round to bless you three. Bless three? Yeah. Three, yeah. Two, and then I'll use the three, next one to bless four, us. Four, five, six. You can get to here behind this pallet. Cool. Which is actually, you have partial cover in case any ranged attacks uh, uh, come through from cool. there. Cool. Awesome. Uh, and you cast bless as well? Yeah, on these three. Cool. Um, Rad, that is going to be Gorgug. Okay, can I cast, uh, can I tr uh, try an insight check on this vulture, or? <laughs> sure, on the vulture? <laughs> yeah, for sure. The vulture? Nice. That's such a good yeah, one. That's for free, you can do a free insight check on the vulture. Okay, Woo. that's, uh, I got a 17. Uh, you look at the vulture, the vulture seems strangely unperturbed by the battle. <laughs> uh, this vulture seems mostly interested in what happens after the battle. It seems sinister insofar as all vultures seem sinister, but looking into it for a macabre purpose or if it is the secret mastermind of this, it's probably just a bird that wants it to eat just your wants body. to eat our bodies. Gorgas attacks the vulture. <laughs> <laughs> Rushes past the golem. Golem gets an opportunity to attack. Oh. Gorgas is dead forever. <laughs> Here's not. Um, I am uh, Gorgug. <laughs> it's, it takes the wrong meaning from this vulture and goes into a rage. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then Gorgug is gonna uh, uh, move as far, like like over past this towards this uh, guy right here. Towards this dwarf Yeah, right to there. try to cool. get as close so as I can. Uh, uh, great. Uh, with a dash action or is it with your movement? Can it, With a dash, can I also attack or no? That's the vulture. No. Um, I'm gonna get as far as, as close as I can get and then throw an ax. You can get to here and okay. hurl an ax. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and that is, uh, 19? Uh, 19, oh, that dwarf right there hits. Great, all right. And now it's plus six, because I'm in a rage, right? Instead uh, of plus four? Uh, uh yes, uh, plus okay, six cool. damage, absolutely. Ooh, um, I get, hit it for 12. Jesus. Oh. Uh, uh, you rush immediately in a rage, just confused by that vulture. <laughs> <laughs> and you reach, grab your hand axe, and whoosh, and you see that this dwarf going, crash, 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 wah, into his shoulder. Bam, this fucking hand axe thuds in there. Ah, looks up at you and says, I, tis a fear of some half orc treading in the halls of our fathers. Um, oh my God, stop your fathers would hate daddies. what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> What? You just scour this dwarf on the ends. Minta would not hate what I'm doing. <laughs> it's just we like skating. Did he like skating? Father! <laughs> uh, it is now Adine's turn. Um, I am gonna run this way. <laughs> Straight up the cliff. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Where are the adults? I go swimming in the green goo. <laughs> um, I am going to run towards where Kristen is, and then I'm also going to cast Firebolt onto the skate ramp that the skaters are on. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, is it wood? Uh, yes. Right? Ooh. It's wood, right? It is wood. That's absolutely correct. Um, go ahead and, and make an attack spot. roll for Firebolt. And you have Bless. Oh, and I have Bless. Oh, I didn't even use my... <laughs> oh! Didn't need it, baby. Didn't need it. Ooh. Hell yeah. Uh, plus six, uh, eight, 12, plus six, 18. Uh, 18 is a hit for the half pipe, certainly. Um, where are you hitting the half, just on, on the corner of it here? Uh, no, underneath the skater that's there. Uh, Adine races after Kristen. Uh, Kristen, you hit everyone with the light of bless. You raise your hand, whoosh, a bolt of fire rushes from your fingertips, <laughs> hits that corner, uh, and the half pipe catches a flame. Good job. Thank you. 
Um, Whoa, did you just give her bardic inspiration? No, no, I was just... <laughs> That's uh, the second time she's winked at me. Oh, because that one was the bless one. Uh, oh, right. Um, make an arcana check. Ooh. With the four? Is it? Oh, yeah, with yeah, the... Add the four in there. Hell yeah. Uh, 11... 17. Um, the fire takes to this place very quickly. Like, you're even surprised at how quick that fire catches on that corner of that thing. You notice all the dwarves look to the fire uh, with almost a look of like, worried that it's something other than what it is. And they see that it's from your spell and calm down a little bit. Uh, it is now going to be Fuck. Fabian's turn. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, my, my motorcycle has its own turn. Uh, we're gonna say for the ease of things that the motorcycle acts on your initiative. All right, grand, uh, fantastic. Uh, can I, I'd like to ready an action. Yes. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to ready an attack, uh, and I shout to my companions, you don't worry about the dwarves, I'll take care of the golem. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and I, uh, 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 can, I che can I check in with my motorbike real quick? Master. All right, motorbike, uh, the terrain here does not seem well. How are you on these sorts of, uh, this kind of precipice? I will be fine. Right, fantastic. Uh, I, uh, through the golem's legs then. <laughs> through the legs! <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, Red, um, your motorcycle. <laughs> uh, are fuck you, are so you? My I. plan is to, my attack is to spear straight up as I pass through. Oh, into right through what would taint. be the nards of, of, of this golem. golem. Yes. Yeah. Uh, great. Um, golem He's rocks. Here. Yeah. Rocks, rocks. Um, rad. Um, you guys see... <laughs> Just a dandy man <laughs> in his infernal steed. Uh, you zoom through the fucking legs of this uh, of this thing. Um, go ahead and make your attack roll. Fantastic. Uh, 12 plus 7, 19. 19, uh, you skewer right to where the, the fucking business would be. And uh, as you're going through, uh, the sword connects right where it should hurt the most and uh, scrapes pavement and stone. What you would expect stabbing a bunch that, of pavement that, and stone. Uh, seems impervious to whatever kind of damage your rapier is doing. It Whoa. takes a swing at your motorcycle <gasps> as it passes through. Baby. Daddy. Oh. God. Daddy. Well, we gotta knock Diamond. this thing. <laughs> Definitely about to be thrown from my motorcycle. Does it count, does it uh, well, yeah. I got to do that cool thing That's though, which is fun. It's very cool. Uh, a lot of tiny dice over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Bless right. yourself, remember? With bless? Uh, with bless. Great. Uh, nat 20. Uh -oh. uh, nat 20. Um, you go through this thing's legs, it uh, wobbles, but its arms are so long that it swings around. Bam! Catches your bike as you're going through, so boom! Catches you like behind the back. Um, you flip through the air, your bike scatters, um, uh, not destroyed, All right. uh, uh, but badly damaged. Uh, bike skids over here, um, and I'm gonna say pick a place anywhere within 30 feet of behind the golem that you want to have flipped to. Uh, uh we'll flip, <laughs> where will we flip? You can also go vertical if you want. Uh, like onto, like on, could I, okay. No. Could I flip <laughs> onto the top of the thing next to the vulture? No. Uh, right here? Uh, oh, next to the vulture, yeah, yes, hell yeah. Uh, let's go right there. <laughs> uh, this seems foolish. Uh, yep, there you go. Um, ah, so dope. you guys see Fabian brrr, flame tearing out of the hangman goes brrr, cling brrr, this thing wobbles on its legs and boom hits the fucking bike brrr, oh, the hangman must I fail thee and you <laughs> bike you failed <laughs> bike you failed no one uh, <laughs> and you flip and land on the copper silo uh, standing wah, poised perfectly do I at least seem to have gotten its attention. Um, oh, well, you're not reading its face right now. It's also moving okay, very slowly. Fantastic. Um, uh, that's going to be the dwarves. Um, 
You guys see these dwarves take off. This dwarf that Gorgug just attacked rushes forward, boom, uh, grinds along this uh, rail, <laughs> uh, and is going to, um, uh, dwarf grinds along the rail, makes an attack, uh, misses. So <laughs> grinds, gives you all the time in the world to tell what he's doing, <laughs> leaps up to hit you with the board, and you <laughs> dodge out of the way, lands behind you. Um, uh, these other uh, dwarves, um, this guy pops up into the half pipe, skates all the way up, back Ooh, down, uh, flips, lands over here. Okay. Uh, the flames. Uh, fires a crossbow at Gorgug, hitting Gorgug for uh, four points of damage. Half? Half to two. Um, I'm at. 55. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Be careful, buddy. I'm almost. I'm only two points ahead of my normal hit. <laughs> this guy grinds along here, oh, uh, goes for Riz. Should have hit. Uh, misses terribly. Yeah. Um, uh, this dwarf um, <laughs> up here <laughs> uh, lands over here uh, and hurdles at Fabian. Uh, hits Fabian oh. for. Uh, Five points of damage. Uh, throwing an axe. Um, and that is going to be the dwarf's turn. It is now Fig. Okay. Um, I would like to do a pers insight roll to see if I think that I could charm the uh, golem. Uh, go ahead and make an insight check. <laughs> uh, four. Four? This thing definitely is into you. Uh, <laughs> it's all, this thing fucking has to dig on. All right, man, we're going for it. All right, I started a tune on my bass guitar, and I would like to, with a, with a seductive song, cast Suggestion on the Stone Golem. What do you suggest? Throw the dwarfs off the cliff. Um... Uh, it, uh, you see no recognition of anything in this thing's face. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's going to, you see, as you're looking at it for some kind of recognition of the spell or what worked, uh, you hear from the top of the half pipe, Dwarves, those of us who have come here to slid in the halls of our fathers, be now blessed by Ollie. God of Rand Shredding! Um, uh, <laughs> these uh, people are the worst. <laughs> um, you see a silvery, steely light uh, covers all of the dwarves and the golem as well. What? Oh, Do you, motherfucker. Are you moving as well, or did you? Um, oh, I would also, I would, I also wanted to use my bonus action to wink at someone for some bardic inspiration. Oh, go for it. Who's, who's in, what can I see? Hey, Kristen. Oh, yeah. Kristen. Hey. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, cool. <laughs> uh, Torek. Uh, I feel wild. And then I'm gonna hide behind this skinny tree. You can hide behind me. <laughs> Great. Great. Uh, Torek. Oh um, uh, Great. <laughs> Torek finishes her turn by dipping into the half pipe. <laughs> Leaping and landing all the way up on this ledge here. Oh my god, so sick. Clearly the best skater of the group. Damn. Uh, Damn. Uh, that's going to be Riz. Cool. Uh, okay, well, I got this guy right in front of me. Uh, I will, you know what, I'll just go ahead and do my insightful fighting on this dwarf right here. Okay. Uh, that's only, that's an 11 for me. Oh no, insight, that's even worse, that's a nine. Okay. He does deception. Uh, you do not get any insight at this point. Okay. The beard covers the face. You can't get a read on. Mm -hmm. Cool. Then I am. I'll just try to stab him with my rapier. That's only a freaking eleven. Not going to cut it. Cool. Good. <laughs> Good. Um. Uh, I don't do work. <laughs> um. Uh, this thing kicks these pallets to the side, uh, stands here. Hello. <laughs> and he starts throwing dwarves off the cliff. It worked! Yay! Yay! Uh, does a 
does a 13 hit Gorgog. 14 is my armor class, baby. <laughs> Humiliating that a huge golem couldn't hit. Uh, uh, golem takes a swing and a fucking miss. Uh, that is now going to be Kristen's turn. Uh, okay, great. I am going to um, kind of like run and jump over the pallets. Mm -hmm. I know this. That's probably an athletics uh, check. Uh, or... Actually, no, because there's a little bit of space there. We can just call it difficult terrain, and you can have your movement to three squares. Sweet. Cool. Uh, what would that be? Uh, would so that really, be? you can only move about that far if you're going over the pallets. Okay. Um, is there a way for me to run around this way, even though this isn't like part? I just want to get on the other side of this guy. Oh, oh, that guy? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You can okay, do that. Cool. Yeah. I'll do that, and then I will bless the remaining three of us. Sweet. Ooh, thank you. Uh, including myself, and uh, uh, this isn't like a move or anything, but those fucking owls freaked me out. Uh, I'm just going to start like praying and maybe working up to a prayer of healing since that takes 10 minutes. Probably the battle will be concluded well before 10 minutes are over. Cool. But uh, but you can make an insight check if you like. Yeah, yeah. What the yeah, fuck was up with those yeah. owls? Uh, 19 plus 7, so 26. 26. Um, what you believe is this. Um, you put something together in your head. You were the one who noticed uh, when you were at Zane's earlier today that the cage that he kept his rat familiar in had been opened, even in the thick of combat. You realize even the short couple times that you've seen Zane, just when he was being a bully to you, that he loved that fucking rat. And it was probably the last thing he did while he was alive and being killed to open that cage so his rat could get away. And suddenly you realize that a town full of cats and owls is perfectly designed to hunt down a rat. Um, in other words, uh, you don't think that uh, this environ is producing whatever those owls and those cats are up to. You think those owls and cats are uh, something more sinister. In other words, Something's going on here that's part of a clue that you guys have come to find. Those owls and cats are, a th rather than being the clue or something to do with the clue, are maybe something trying to stop you from finding more clues, if that makes sense. Cool. And that rat might be out there somewhere? Might be out there somewhere. Damn. All right, I'm definitely looking at the ground. I yelled at everyone, like, look on the ground. Uh, remember that rat? <laughs> what, the sexy one? God! <laughs> oh, no. Don't Although, bring, don't bring that up! Do you I'll remember it, that worry. rat? <laughs> do you? Gorga, that's your turn. Uh, I'm gonna hit the guy who, uh, grinded past me. <laughs> yeah, go for it, dude. Ground. Uh, you already, you already smashed him with a hand axe, Yes. Sure. All right. You're blessed. So, blessed, baby. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're blessed, Ooh, too. that is only, uh, 12. Mm. 12's not gonna do it. Whoa, you take a swing, gone. But you are frenzying, so you can take your bonus action. Oh yes, I'll take my bonus action. Uh, not one. Wow. And one again. Uh, you whiff two times. Uh, your ax <laughs> clatters to the ground at your feet as you are disarmed by this dwarf. Um, but you have a movement action, you wanna pick up your ax. I'll pick up my ax, and I can't move anymore? You can move I... three squares. Okay, I'll take, uh, Three squares forward across where that beam is towards like the metal side. This direction? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Gorgug. Uh, uh, that is going to be Adine. Uh, am I 60 feet away from Rude Girl up here? Or can I get <laughs> 60 feet away? You are more than 60 feet away. You're going to have to. But if I take a movement and then cast a spell. Like a hard, hard to movement. eyeball. You can take a movement and see if you're within range. I'll try. Hell yeah. Run up those, those uh, boxes. Do you want to move to the side here, or do you want to try to go through the pallets? Uh, I'll try and go through the pallets. I'm, my athletics is very bad, but... I'm a little worried we're all going to get crushed next yeah. turn. Yeah. Uh, uh, cool. I just want to get as close to her as possible. Uh, yeah, you can ma make an acrobatics check. Okay. Uh, if you get a 15, I'll let you take your full movement through the pallets. Oh, okay, great. Not 20. Hell nice. yeah. Jesus Christ. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Um, you see Adine spry of foot, 
fucking legless is her way across the palace. Ta -ta 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 All the way to the base of this ladder here. Um, let's see if that is 60 feet. I've gotten into Adine today. Adine. Well within range of your spell. Uh, I will cast Tasha's hideous laughter on her. Ooh, baby. It's a wisdom saving throw, and my spell save DC is 14. Um, is 14? Yes. Torak looks down. 14, you said. Mm -hmm. uh, Torak looks down and says, you tried to cast your elven magic at me. Just spit flying into her beard. You'll pay the uh, And she uh, collapses to the ground, laughing her ass off. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, girl. Um, uh, and I'm fucking taking. Uh, Torek, rail grinder, out of combat. Um, that is going to be Fabian. You know what I'm gonna do. Uh, can my motorcycle get up? <laughs> uh, it can't, it's looking pretty fucked up. Can I ride it? Yes, it is rideable. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I would love to jump on from, uh, <laughs> can I like tell my motorcycle I'd like to like be headed toward Torak? Uh, and can I vault from uh, the uh, top of that onto my moving motorcycle? Uh, please give me an acrobatics. Of course, happy to. Uh, 11 plus seven equals 18. Uh, Sire, allow me to redeem myself <laughs> in your eyes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you effortlessly Bam! Right in the saddle, baby. Uh, um, <laughs> and you are racing towards this half pipe. Okay. <laughs> can the motorcycle, all right, this is a lot. Can I, can the motorcycle start on the half pipe and then can I push off in some way and use that to some, either get to either that level or the higher Please level? Please make an acrobatics check with advantage. Fuck yes, with advantage? With advantage. Oh, hell yes, baby. Uh, 12 uh, Plus with four. a four. Or four, so 16 plus seven, uh, 23. You know what, you don't get in the saddle. Your fucking bike goes, you just full land, teen wolf. Shoot <laughs> <laughs> up. Uh, you're, you sail through the air, twisting to look your bike and its skull eyes as it goes, Master, you are the most beautiful thing that my eyes have ever been. Well, it's too kind of you, I meant. <laughs> Bam. I assume at the upper level's where you're yes. going? <laughs> and your bike is fucking in this half pipe, baby. Oh my uh, god. That's your movement. If you want to take an action, you of can go for it. Uh, I mean, Here. I guess I'm going to stab Doric. Uh, go for it. Or, uh, yeah, I'll stab. I'll stab her. Uh, or attempt to stab her. Uh, Does she get disadvantage because she's prone? Uh, I believe so. Let me just double check that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure prone is, uh, you have advantage on this attack. Great. Uh, we'll use that four again. Uh, 12, 16, plus seven, 23. Uh, uh, cool. Uh, 23 is a hit. Do you want to roll to see if you crit or no? Uh, I, I rolled twice, and the cool. higher one was 12. Uh, and then uh, 12 damage. 12 damage. Um, uh, you uh, look down. <laughs> Skewer Torek um, for 12 points of damage. Um, uh, Torek gets another save for taking damage. Uh, keeps laughing. Mm. <laughs> oh, stab me, will you? <laughs> Funny! <laughs> uh, incredible. That's going to be... Wow. Uh, uh, what a turn. Uh, dwarves, baby. Um, uh, this, uh, this dude... <laughs> past your bike on the backside. Back up again. Up here. Uh, lands and... Uh, Hurls, axe at you, hits for uh, seven points of damage. Oh. Um, uh, this dwarf drops in all the way up. Is going to attack you as well. Um, uh, sort of bouncing off your head uh, for, uh, does it, no, 15 does not hit. 15 does not hit. Uh, misses. Um, uh, that is now going to be, oh, there's more dwarves. Um, uh, this dwarf <laughs> grinds again for Gorgug, uh, hits Gorgug for seven points of damage. That's gonna be three. 
Um, oh, you're so strong. Uh, this uh, dwarf just uh, honestly uh, kicks his uh, skateboard up mm. under an arm and just wails on Riz with an axe for uh, six points of damage. Um, uh, that is going to be Fig. Okay, I need to do an insight check to see if my suggestion didn't work because he can't be charmed, or if I think that he just like maybe like saved, got like the save. Um, you have bless. Make insight. Oh yeah. Oh, and I have bless now. Wait. Uh, okay, that's gonna be nineteen. Uh, this thing you realize is mindless. It cannot be. Um, you look at it and see that it is covered. This, the amount of immunities this thing has are staggering. It, uh, you don't think it can be compelled, charmed, otherwise. Um, it is covered in dwarven runes uh, that are animating its pavement. Uh, some of the dwarven runes are profoundly magical. Other dwarven runes mean things like bus lane only. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a mixed bag. Um, <sighs> Uh, what do you want to do with your turn? Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to, uh, fuck, that's not even the right thing to do. Motherfucker! I think I'm just going to run to the edge up here. Okay. Like, and hide behind, like, right around there. Am I within 90 feet? Of who? Of this area? Uh, let's find out, shall we? Uh, yeah, I'd say you're in 90 feet. Okay, and then if I were to cast Sleep, will Fabian be in? Fae Ancestry? Don't, yeah, you, do, you don't have, uh, you do have Fae Ancestry, so you're immune. Uh, flashback to uh, earlier yesterday. Right, now, if me son Fabian is ever in a situation where he's amidst those that you need to cast sleep on, remember, the boy's mother gave him that elven blood. He can't sleep, that's he right. can't dream. Yes, Papa. And that's fine by me, yes. because dreaming is right. for failures. Yes, of I don't dream, no. I make it happen. Yes, of course, Papa, you always say this. <laughs> Back to the present day. Awesome, okay, so I'd, sure, I'd like to cast sleep uh, on that top thing. Hell yeah. Um, you guys. So, and I'm gonna cast it at a, I'm gonna cast it at a second level. So that it's, so I do 78. Jesus Christ. Wow. Seven, well, that's how many hit points oh. I can put to sleep. It's not that impressive. Five, 13, uh, 18, 22, 22 25. That's five, right? Yeah, that I just five. did? 25. Uh, 29, uh, 32, 39, wait, 38. Yeah, 38. 38. And then 40, I think I. I think 38 was the line. 38, okay, 38. so 38. Uh, 38 hit, uh, hit points worth. Hit points cool. worth. Cool. Uh, you guys notice, by the way, that the fire is now, is now spreading here, um, but uh, the hangman seems to just love it. The hangman's about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's my bike. We yeah. should do this sometime when there's not a fight, master. Oh, sorry, he's just driving up and down. <laughs> just into it. Um, uh, you see uh, 48, was it 38? 38, 38 hit points. Um, you see uh, that this dwarf fucking passes right the fuck out. We're gonna roll to see what direction that dwarf falls in. <gasps> so, yeah. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna roll a D4. I'm gonna say, one is forward, two is backward, three is to the left, four is to the right. Falls to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Uh, Bye, right. bitch. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need add on to make a dexterity saving throw. Actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Just a big I'm ass sorry. door falling on your head. Ooh, nine. <laughs> um, uh, Adam, you take seven points of damage. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Fig, you fucking hit the first base chord of a powerful lullaby. Right. Well, it feels like time for me to. And the dwarf topples. Boom, 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 boom. Bam! Hits Adine at the bottom. Does at of least the, the dwarf railing. also take some damage for falling? The dwarf does. The door takes three points of damage. Oh, that seems unfair. I just shout, sorry, Adine, I didn't see it going that way. <laughs> uh, but the dwarf is fucking out. 
And then, uh, and then seeing what I just did to Adine, I give her some bardic inspiration. Mm. I wink at her. Thank you. It's much less weird when you do it than when she does it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Um, that is going to be Torek, um, who, I believe, the end. Uh, cool. Uh, Torek just continues. <laughs> uh, and what's it, 14 again? You're at the spell saving thing. Spell saving oh, is 14. Oh, 14. Um, you see that uh, Torek spends the, uh, her whole turn just. <laughs> right? It wasn't that funny and stands up at the end of her turn. Dang. Um, that's going to now be uh, Riz. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna use Nimble Escape to bonus action disengage from this person. Cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go up here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to, let me see what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll shoot at, she's not down anymore, right? Uh, she is standing up, uh, but she still has cover up there. The okay. only reason that Adan doesn't have to worry about that is Adan has the spell sniper feet. Okay, so I guess can I start climbing up here and shoot from up here? Uh, yeah, for sure. Great. Um, uh, cool. Uh, uh, so you clear from there. That's going to probably use because it's difficult terrain. So that's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Pro actually, the base of the ladder is probably all you can get to right now. Okay. You, you take the shot, but uh, she's just gonna have cover. Great. Um, all right, I'll take a shot. Go for it. Fucking 15. Not gonna do it. Um, you hit the underside of that balcony. King watcheth the ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, crush hits. Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. <laughs> so many little dice. If someone's gonna get hit, I'm glad it's I'm me. Sorry, just real quick, my bike is 100% cool with the flames. Like, no worry. <laughs> no worry. Great. He's just like bathing it like an otter in water. <laughs> He's like <laughs> Gorgug, how much? What's your um, health? He's good. He's got pick up too. Uh, Gorgug, you take 23 points of damage. Never mind. Halved. 23 points of damage halved, ah. so that's 11 points of damage. I'm gonna need you to make an athletics check, if you'd be oh. so kind. Athletics check? Yeah, Can opposed, I do? opposed athletics. With, with less? Uh, with less, no? yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, that's... Did you beat a 19? Um, I got a 15. Uh, or a uh, 14. Uh, this thing hits you Wham! Sends you flying into a ravine, inches from this bubbling green shit, um, and you uh, take an additional uh, six points of damage, okay. halved to three. So, okay. wham! Knocks you on your fucking ass. You're prone, um, uh, and Crush uh, uh, lumbers uh, forward after you. Um, I'm at 38. Uh, Kristen, that's going to be you. Okay, um, I have kind of okay ha animal handling. Can I like beckon that crazy vulture to like see if it has any answers? Uh, uh, sure, make an animal handling check. Okay, with plus? Yeah, with plus. Uh, let's see, what is that? That's One, so it's 13, animal handling, 18. Um, uh, you beckon to the vulture. Uh, the vulture uh, takes off on its wings and flies away. <laughs> no! So, no! What does it mean? Oh, we put too much. <laughs> we even put so much stock in that vulture. It was I just was such a gorgeous it. set piece. <laughs> I know. That's no. going like, to. The key oh, is the vulture. Yeah. Uh, that's going to now be, uh, but you can still take your action, still take, take your turn. That's a free animal handling check. Cool. A am I able to do like an inside check and try to get more answers about why the fuck we're here? Yeah, or? tell me uh, Tell me uh, uh, what you're having an insight into. I, can I watch like the perimeter and see if anything's coming in or if it like... Sure, watch the perimeter. All right. Nat one. <laughs> Always with the nat one. Primer's good. Everything's good. Oh, Honestly, great. this fight's good. Honestly, everything's fine. <laughs> Hell this yeah. This good, dude. Hell yeah. This fight is good. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, no, that's your insight check. You can take your action. Uh, you know, I'll just run, uh, 
I'll run it in, as far as I can. <laughs> uh, just tour, like in this area? If I can go up that thing, that'd be dope. All right. One, two, three. Um, yeah, do we have. Um... Oh, yeah, I'll, you know what? I can just, just hang my Bible. Oh, cool. You start taking off up that ladder. Trying to get some height as well. Oh, that's well. your movement. Do you want to take an action as well? Or if you, if you want to take a dash action, you can move even farther. I can't use hold person on this golem, right? You don't think that will work, probably. Right, yeah. I'll do uh, I'll do a dash action, yeah. Dope. Um, you get even farther up this ladder, uh, up to about here. Cool. If I just want to be on the second one, can I do that? Oh, sure, you can do that, yeah. Or just to clarify, like over this, this is not the cliff, right? The cliff is this Cliff's way, right? Cliff's that way. Oh, that's this, the quarry. This edge over here, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, we've seen this monster avoid this big green thing. Uh, you've seen the monster avoid the big green thing. Um, you can feel free to make an insight check into the monster if you want. Okay. Uh, With bliss. 14, oh. 15. Um, you see that as the monster hit Gorgog, wham! It stumbled for a second. The half pipe on its back is not supposed to be there. It is extremely we gotta ride that wobbly uh, and top heavy. Cool. Um, uh, we gotta ride him? Yeah, oh. we gotta direct him to fall into either the cliff or into the green stuff. Hell yeah. Uh, that's going to be, uh, uh, did I say, Gorgog, it's your turn. Okay. Um, so I have to take part of my turn to get up, right? Uh, half your movement, yeah. Okay. Um, I want to get up and make an acrobatics uh, check to jump on its back. <laughs> um, uh, great. Uh, go ahead, uh, use half your movement. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead and use uh, your acrobatics check. Okay. Or your athletics check, whichever one you want to use. Do you have high acrobatics or athletics? I'm sorry, yeah, athletics is six. So, oh, uh, hell yeah. Acrobatics. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, I got um, 14. 14, okay. Uh, this thing is going to get an attack of opportunity on you as you attempt to climb it up. Um, if it hits, it, you're, it's gonna potentially knock you right back off of it. Um, what's your AC again? 14. 14. Fuck, so many fucking... 16. Guys. One, uh, 26 damage, halved to 13. Uh, I'm gonna need you to make it an opposed athletics check. Uh, okay. Um, okay, I got a 20. Not uh, nat. Not nat, 20. Uh, this thing rolled very high as well. Uh, it, uh, as it flings you off, let's see. Uh, what direction you go in. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll real quick. We'll say uh, one is acid, two is front, three is left, four is right. Uh, four, so it flings you this direction. Bam, you land here behind it. As it alters its orientation. Um, I don't know. If I'm good at fighting this thing. <laughs> I think you can't just, I'm yelling in Elvis because that's our code language and Gorgon just has no idea what I'm saying. Uh -huh. uh, well, the truth is that anyone else would be dead. Right, <laughs> so Gorgon's right. actually yeah. great at fighting this thing. Um, uh, uh, that's Gorgug's turn. Um, Adine, that's going to be you. Uh, I would like to do a knowledge arcana check on this big boy. Sure, go for it. <laughs> big boy. <laughs> 14? Uh, 14. Um, 14's not bad. Um, this thing has immunities to psychic effects. Mm -hmm. It also has immunities to uh, non-magical weaponry. So it will not take damage from uh, weapons. Um, in terms of uh, uh, things about it, you just see that, uh, you get a 14, right? Yeah. Um, you don't think it is connected to Torek or the dwarves. You think it will remain animated even if the dwarves are gone. Great. Um, that is going to be, uh, then uh, so that's for free? Yeah. yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, I would like to cast Firebolt at him and then hide behind that column right there. Uh, at the golem? Yes, cool. at the golem. Um, you cast Firebolt, go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, 
21, 27. Uh, 27 hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. And that's 1d10. Mm -hmm. 10. Hell yeah. 10 damage? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Um, uh, Adine raises her hand um, and fire releases and actually melts some of the tar in the asphalt. It hurts this thing and it whips around to look at you. Um, uh, it doesn't look visibly incredibly injured. Looks like it didn't get hurt that much, but it got hurt. Um, uh, Fabian, that's going to be you. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to uh, first ready my boat. Can I uh, shout to my, uh, communicate with my motorcycle? Uh, uh, be at the base, be underneath uh, this area that I'm in. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, and then uh, can I uh, attempt to grapple uh, Torek? Yeah, you can make a grapple check. Great. Is that athletics or? Oppose athletics, yeah. Great. Torek got an eight. I got a much higher than that. Uh, can I dangle Torig over the edge? <laughs> uh, yes, you may. Uh, I'm, uh, can I call off this beast? I would die before calling off. Then Rush. you will. And <laughs> uh, incredible. Um, uh, let's see how far that is. Forty feet. Uh, dope. Um, <laughs> Well, this is the most vicious I've ever been. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Baby. After, well, after my father's this scolding. Is way yeah. different than you hiding behind a barkeep. Right. Yeah. Bam! Uh, Torek fucking eats it at the bottom. Boom! Um, still moving, but she groans and says, I yeah, fancy elven jackanapery. And your motorcycle uh, appears at the base. Uh, do I still have a movement, or can I? Uh, oh. That's your, you have your movement, yeah. Can I jump? <laughs> yeah, go back and check for uh, Or can I, is there, uh, yeah, I mean, or can I like scramble down in some way that has me landing on the motor? Well, yeah, I'm make gonna it have, Great. Uh, nat one. Uh, great. Um, you go to skid down this thing and you fall 40 feet. Uh. Um, just laying on and top of each other. Yeah, can I land on top? Can I aim to land on top of it? Uh, you take uh, uh, 12 points of damage. Right. Bam! As you hit the, well, hit the dirt. I'm a very cool guy and a very lame guy all at once. Uh, <laughs> uh, great. That's going to be um, uh, the dwarves. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba. Um, this dwarf in the green was hurled down there. Uh, this dwarf uh, hops up. It's gonna take a swing at Riz. Um, uh, God. Uh, cool. Uh, that dwarf takes a swing at Riz. Uh, Riz, what's your armor class? 15. 15 hits. Uh, seven points of damage. Oh, shit. Um, this dwarf uh, shreds down this long ladder at Adine. Uh, hits Adine for uh, three. Five points of damage, bam. Um, this other dwarf um, uh, is going to uh, skate over here, uh, hurl another hammer at Riz. Um, nine, two, 11, 14 does not hit, right? No, 14 does not hit, cool. Oh, yeah. um, and then this dwarf uh, uh, is going to scoot over here uh, to Riz and take a swing at him. That's gonna hit for uh, six points of damage. All right. How you doing, Riz? I'm, I'm at 19. I'm not loving it, but I'm okay. Uh, that's going to be Fig. Okay. Just, these dwarves are just fucking wailing. Like, they goblin! There's a goblin in the halls of our fathers! <laughs> lame! Lame! <laughs> um, okay, I have two things I'd like to do before. One, I'd like to shout to everyone in Elvish. Do we want to get this ramp off this golem? No. No, 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 no. Okay, no. okay, okay. And then the second thing is I want to know... What? I, <laughs> the other thing is, I want to do an insight check. You said that they looked that they looked scared of the fire at first, but then relaxed. Yeah, make an insight check. Oh, with my thing. So twenty one. Twenty one. You noticed that uh, look as they look at the fire. All of them look around here. 
Torek just dropped. When the fire first happened, you thought you saw Torek look down one of these manhole covers. There's like these open kind of vents into the floor. Uh. You thought you saw Torek look down there. As though expecting something to come from down there. Shit. Okay. Shit. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna cast Disguise Self and pretend to be Johnny Spells. <laughs> cool. And you then, have a movement left? And then I'm gonna shout to the dwarves, Daddy O, I thought I told you this is my pad. Uh, <laughs> make. I don't know. Uh, uh, make an intimidate check. Okay. Uh, with less. With less, yeah. With less. I got a nat one. <laughs> you see Torek, uh, you see Torek says, he's back, kill him, don't let him get below ground. Okay, well we got a clue out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Torek rail grinder, um, uh, she holds up, she first of all gets up, um, holds up uh, her shield and goes, that my fathers and my father's fathers might see me shred, and that our videos might get us sponsored by the gods above. Uh, and you see whoo, a legion of dwarven spirits appears around her, Fuck. and she uh, uh, prepares herself to do battle. Um, that is now, bum, bum, um, when it starts its turn there. Okay, cool. That is now going to be Riz, I'm gonna need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Fuck. With blast? Yep. Oh, Hell yeah. 21, 22. Uh, okay, 22, that's a save. You only take six points of radiant damage uh, from uh, the spirit guardians of Torek Rail Grinder. Um, what is your turn? Cool. Um, I'm going to yell to the dwarves and say, um, I think we have some of the same enemies, and to prove that we're on your side, we're about to do something so sick. And then <laughs> I'm going to use Nimble Escape to disengage from these guys. I'd like to climb up here, and I want to shoot my gun so that I can use the momentum to propel the ladder. <laughs> Um, please uh, 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 sh uh, shoot the gun. I'm gonna give you one point of inspiration as a DM, so add a D6 to Dope. this roll. Uh, go for it. Uh, 11, 15, plus the attack, so 21. Um, and you have bless. Yeah, so yeah I it. Uh, 21. Uh, yes. Riz scrambles all the way up. Boom! Your fucking Arcubus blasts the wall of the factory. There is a moment where you are oh, no. 80 feet in the air. Uh, all of the dwarves look up and you see that their eyes fill as they gaze up and go, Goblin on me. That's tight as hell. <laughs> uh, uh, boom! You land here right in the midst of the half pipe on this thing's back. Uh, make an insight check uh, as soon as you land. Sure. Uh, go ahead and add a bless to that as well. Matt 20. Uh, Ooh! This golem uh, is strong, it is impervious, and a fucking feather duster would knock it over. Uh, this thing is so top heavy, these dwarves have so fucked this with the half pipe on its back okay. that all it's gonna take uh, is getting this thing, uh, uh, knocking this thing down is something that it's going to be easy to do. Great. Um, incredible action, that's your movement, your attack. <laughs> that's the dopest, that's the dopest shit. d and is a fun game. <laughs> and sometimes people choose to do something so cool sick. and Listen it's up. great. Um, yeah, like it is Crush's turn. Um, Crush is gonna, uh, 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 Oh my God, what is Crush gonna do? Uh, 
Crush looks up, knowing that there's something on its back, uh, grabs this fucking thing in one hand and starts back scratching, like <laughs> whap, 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 on top of it. Uh, go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw, DC 15. Okay. Uh, 21. Uh, you are on this half pipe on a moving fucking <laughs> pavement giant with this huge fucking piece of like rebar, wham, wham, and you're like diving, pitching back and forth. Your goblin nimble is like, <laughs> like getting out of the way just in time. Um, and Crush is gonna take uh, a movement in a random direction. Uh, yeah, Crush uh, just rushes over here to this part of the battlefield. Now holding this thing. Uh, cool. That's now going to be Kristen's turn. Uh, okay, great. Um, can I do an insight check to see like how far down that manhole goes, or like any information about it? Uh, yes. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, nineteen plus insight is Ooh, seven. Shit. Yeah, high. Your residual detect evil uh, detects a strong evil presence from deep within the manhole. Um, something that feels like fire and flame. Um, uh, go ahead, it, it, feels um, like, it feels like a very long way down. There might be some ways of like climbing down there, but it feels like a long way down. Okay, it's just straight up hell down there. Um, I'm gonna yell in Elvish, like, uh, uh, broken religious Elvish. Hmm. One big hand holds us all a dying Big hand, a uh, wood mage hand to pipe, summon me and thou, and then uh, <laughs> what? And then I'm gonna what go like what? Uh, uh? Okay. Honestly, it made more sense than the shirt thing. <laughs> they burn their shirts in the street. Uh, I mean, I don't really have anything. Who's that? Else Isn't uh, Gorga? I'm at 25 hurt? out of 50. You could you could start like rushing out there to try to get there to help them. Yeah, we're probably gonna need heals soon because you're at. I'm at 13. I'm at 25. Cool. You're at 25. Uh, your ladder's now gone. <laughs> Oh shit. All right, yeah, I'll have to make like an ability. Uh, make an acrobatics, yeah. Acrobatics, okay. Oh no. Uh, can I just try to jump to the top of that half pipe? Sure. And it's so it's a little bit. Yell to the dwarves. Yeah, we'll call it a DC 15 acrobatics. Okay. 10, two, <laughs> four, two, or 12, I have zero acrobatics. So, uh, <laughs> no, I have negative three acrobatics. Three. Damn it. <laughs> you jump. Beef it, slide in the middle of half pipe, catch on fire. Great! Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, no. It's on fire, Just right? I changed on my fire. mind. I didn't want to jump into the half pipe. I forgot it was on fire. Uh, uh, <laughs> you take four falling damage. Cool. Uh, I'll also need you to roll a dexterity saving throw not to catch on fire. Great. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, 43. What's the dex that she needs to not set on fire? Hang on. Uh, 10 to not catch on fire. Oh, then I give her my 11 throw. She, she, oh, you yeah. got, you know, but I, yeah, can, I have to say it before, before I the see. roll happens. Yeah. Okay, you're you use well, it. Remember, you have saved. a remember you cool. have a d six of bardic inspiration though. Cool. It's true. Next uh, time, you do not catch on fire. You just take the falling damage. You are exactly. surrounded by a flaming half pipe. Yeah, it was important. Uh, yeah, you hear your way. bike say, hey. "Master, if we way. were to do some kind of jump on a flaming half pipe, wouldn't that be something?" I mean, yes, it would. Let's figure out a way to do that. Fuck yeah. Um. Uh, that is now going to be uh, Gorgug. Okay, so acid is not the same as, is it's physical damage? Acid is a form of physical damage. Um, uh, uh, the You're not sure if the golem would or would not uh, be affected by the acid. Uh, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. Um, uh, up to you. Uh, I, hmm, okay. Uh, Gorga is gonna try to do, <laughs> just to try to do cool shit, guys. Gorga is gonna try to jump on the back of the <laughs> ramp to try to, to use the momentum to pull it back off of its Damn feet. It. Uh, okay, go ahead and make an opposed at You're basically trying to do like a shove, right? Oh, cool. Girl. A and pull, but yes, yeah, a, a shove. Right. And, uh, I, and I will give him my 17. Oh! oh okay. Uh, okay. Can I roll my blast on top of it? Or do I need to? Uh, I guess it actually is replacing your roll. You can roll your blast and then okay. add your athletics. 
Okay. Ooh, boy. Uh, so, uh, boy. Se- 27. Hell um, yeah. You see that Korg gets up as this thing's like toddling around, leaps up, hangs on to the back of this fucking thing. Ooh, ooh I've got a plan. Uh, uh, and just like, you guys see, it just his hoodie is like expanding as his muscles fucking stretch out. Um, cool. And you see that this hulking thing goes and it stumbles five feet back. Now Gorgug is hanging right over the pit of acid. Oh. Um, that is now going to be um, f- uh, awesome turn. Uh, and Adine, you see her eyes are glowing white with this diviner's energy. And she's like, I have seen these things to come. Uh, and speaking of which, Adine, having seen them to come, it is now your turn. Can I use my residual comprehend languages to understand what the fuck it was that she was trying to say to me? <laughs> uh, yeah, what was the meaning of what? Uh, <laughs> Y'all didn't get it? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, I'll put it simply. Potlucks. Y'all, church, God now, or else fight. No, use your mage hand and pile the uh, wooden crates onto the half pipe to weigh it down. I think mage hand oh. can only do mage like, hand can only like five pounds. five pounds of damage. But here's, you know what? here's you my idea. On, you know what? Uh, I'm. It, tell me if this will work. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I use web, can I fucking Spider Man some web to the end of the half pipe and then the other end to the floor so it like to create like a rope or something like that yeah to like so if he, if he steps forward he falls backwards essentially oh like create something that will like prevent yeah. him from uh go ahead like i'm gonna need trap. you to make this is like crafty spell work uh-huh. go ahead and make an arcana check call it a dc this is like using a spell very much as it's not intended i'm gonna say mm-hmm. a dc 20 arcana check oh shit okay I- Oh, I have Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> yeah, baby! Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. 18, uh, 19, plus, plus six. six. Okay. <laughs> Strands of elven light. <laughs> Uh, uh, all the fucking tests you failed at Hoodall, all the fucking times that you panicked and didn't get it right, you are improvising a spell on the spot for a different purpose than it's used for. Uh, you see uh, Gorgon like, hanging in the midst, now you have two fucking like web strands to stand on, and whew, the back of the half pipe, bam, anchors to the ground, and the thing lurches even more uncomfortable than it already is. I knew it, I knew I was good at magic, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Fabian, that's you, baby. Okay, oh. Uh. So many, uh, okay. So what? So ex- this, what's happening right now is that Gorgug is pulling it down. The webs are keeping it in place. Riz is like confusing it on its back. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Oh, is there, okay. Is there any way I could like grab something to like, there, I have this crazy, I, I want to put, reach something out that Gorgug can grab and then rev the motorcycle in the other direction Pulling it further yeah. this way. Uh, uh, you, that's literally what the web strand is. Okay, yeah, so web. I'd like to grab one of the webs and then rev my motorcycle in the opposite. So I guess I have to get up from prone. I, I'll use an action surge if I need to. Cool. Uh, but to like get up from prone, get on the bike, uh, like whip it around to grab a web and then rev it in the opposite direction. Uh, insane. Um, go ahead. Oh Are you going to let Torek yeah. get an attack of opportunity on you or no? E- happily. Cool. Uh, Toreg slugs you for uh, 13 points of damage. I take it hard on the chin and without, with, with, with no emotion. Ah! Um, uh, you leap on the hangman. Sire, this is sick. It is sick what we do now. Yes, it is. Um, uh, go ahead. Uh, can we bring out? Can we bring out the uh, the box of uh, doom? This is kind of like the box of like. Dope. We <laughs> 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 named the box of dope I mean, for this time. This Depending on what this roll is for, right? <laughs> yeah, actually, we're gonna need the box of doom for, uh, even this if it works, it's gonna be a box of doom for you to jump away. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is this. Let me set the scene here. Riz, in the middle of the half pipe, furiously dodging from this ladder as the golem tries to destroy it. Gorgug hanging in the scaffolding at the back, yanking this thing towards the acid pool. Uh, Adine lifting up these strands of moonlight web as these ropes snap and stick into place. And Fabian, fresh wound across the jaw, leaps onto the hangman. You grab the base of one of these ropes. And now what's gonna happen is this. 
This golem has disadvantage on athletics checks, but it has a tremendous strength score. Uh, you are going to roll your athletics check. Okay. Uh, uh, your one athletics check, okay? Um, in this, the box of doom. Um, I'm gonna roll two dice. Okay. We're going with the lower number. Okay. But the lower number, it's gonna add six to okay. that lower number. You need to beat that. And I have, do I have less in this situation? You have less in the situation. Yeah, baby. Fantastic. Oh, 17 six. plus 23. Damn. Six. Yeah, six plus uh, four. So. Damn. Um, you, and amazingly, you see that like Korgug is holding one strand, you've got the other tied back in the hang, and this thing kneels down on one knee. It's not going down. Uh, can I second wind uh, before my turn is up? Yes, you may second wind. But he's sure. unstable, right? The oh, incredibly unstable. The, okay. the golem is incredibly cool. unstable. Um, you see that uh, Torek Railgrinder says, Crash! They're going to put Crash in the acid! Stop them at any cost! Um, right, uh, and I gain uh, nine health. Um, uh, ooh, you gain nine yeah. health. Uh, ooh, baby. Um, Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, it was a good try. It was a good try. Um, these dwarves. Um, uh, all escape passes. Um, um, and they're all taking space. You get an attack of opportunity on the first one of them. Okay. Um, with your rapier, go, go ahead and take it. <laughs> uh, 15, uh, 20, 22. Uh, that's gonna hit. Do you wanna go for the injured one or one of the uninjured ones? I'll go for the injured one. Uh, cool, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, uh, that's gonna be nine. Uh, one of them is badly injured. Ah, you slash him as he goes by. They're gonna take four attacks on you. What is your armor class, my man? Me? Yeah. Uh, my armor class is 19. Uh, one of those is a critical hit. Mm. Um, uh, oof. <laughs> uh, seven damage from one of the dwarves. Wow. Okay. wow. Um, as they rush past him. <laughs> all of them trying to uh, stop Fabian before it's too late. <laughs> um, uh, Fig, go ahead and make a perception check with that blast with Bray. Critical hit means 20, right? Yep. Uh, I've got a 16, uh, 18. You hear from down that manhole cover. Uh, it is your turn. Okay, I would like to, let's see. So I want to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna run around here, and I would like to, if I use a cantrip, can I, can I use um, Healing Word as a bonus action? Um, if I use a cantrip, can I use a spell as a bonus action? You can, I think. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay, so Plenty. I'm coming here, and I would like to use thaumaturgy to make the to create tremors in the ground underneath the golem for a minute. Okay, Tr thaumaturgy is a cantrip. I don't think it's going to create. It wouldn't destabilize it. I, I don't think him. it would destabilize it. It's like yeah, as a cantrip. Um, Other fucker. Mm. All right, in that case, I'm just going to. I'm not going to do that then. Um, I guess I'm just going to start running towards the manhole. Mm -hmm. um, but on my way, I'm gonna healing word. I'm gonna healing word, uh, my boy. Thank you, Riz. Awesome. Um, so, so you are you were over here, right? Yeah. Cool. So you're taking a full like dash action. Yeah. So it's gonna be so one, going two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You okay, I'm gonna stick my head down. <laughs> I'm gonna stick um, my head down and say, "Daddy, I'm here." Um, uh, you see, you see a red glowing light. You have more yes. movement left if you want to jump down. I'm <laughs> jumping. Oh, no. oh my god. I'm a, I'm gonna hang from it. Um, uh, you see like a red glowing light at the base of. Can I do a perception? Is that Daddy? Uh, I got plus bless. oh plus my bless. Uh, I got twenty. Do I have a protect? Does this feel safe? There's. You look down there and you see a thing far away glowing. It looks like a drum kit. I drop! I'm going down! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, 
I watch all this happen and I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, um, oh, and also I gave you, uh, ooh, seven what plus is happening? 14. Uh, no. uh, oh, yeah. Fig, you take seven points of damage on the drop. Gladly. Bam! As you hit, whoo, in your combat boots, you see that it's just like rubble and dust and all of the ancient like mining and refining of the mithril down here. You can smell the mithril in the air. And you see a giant red gem in the wall. Um, and before it, a glowing, Ruby red drum kit, kick drum, hi hat, incredible tom toms, every fucking. So that will happen on your uh, next. You take your drums, sticks out, approach it. Uh, oh, I'm actually gonna need uh, uh, Fabian and Adon. We actually skipped your turn, I'm afraid, but you okay. guys would have each had to make a wisdom save. We'll do that now. Uh, a for wisdom the, save? For the, for the spirit guardians that um, oh. Torek Railground had. So go ahead and give me a wisdom save, each of you. Uh, oh, shit. 18, Five. 17. Uh, 17, and what did you get? Seven. Seven. So Adine, you're gonna take um, 16, you're gonna take 21 points of damage. Oh, shit, I'm on three. Fuck. Okay. Uh, and then you will take um, four and two, two, uh, uh, it's eight, four points of damage. Okay, 13. Um, as these dwarven ghosts just, <gasps> the sort of, the, the you know, Torak has mentioned the Hall of Our Fathers so many times, and these are the fathers, they're there. Um, um, Torek um, uh, is going to uh, rush forward um, uh, and attempt to lay low, Fabian. Um, ah! uh, does a 18 hit? No. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> on your fucking, you're literally on a stalling bike. You dip the bike stationary. You're staying in one place, all the way to the side, and dip it back up. Yeah. <laughs> As she, it can it be? It can. <laughs> uh, Clearly. That's gonna be Riz, baby. Okay, um, I am going to hold my action and yell for Gorgug to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> to get the fuck out of there? Okay. Or to not be somewhere where you're gonna fall on the acid. Okay. Um, noted. <laughs> uh, are you holding an action? Or I'm no? holding an action. Uh, what are you holding it for? What trigger? To do, I, I'm gonna wait for, I'm gonna wait to see what Gorgug does and see if he pulls it down anymore or if he gets out of the way. I just, I wanna do something to try to knock him back but I don't wanna do it while Gorgug's there. Uh, okay. you, it, it's, it sounds like you're saying you wanna take like a help action to like give maybe Gorgug advantage or something you like that. You get Gorgug maybe up onto the pipe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Cause it sounds like you're holding an action to do something helpful to Gorgug. You can right. just take the help action if you want. Okay, I'll just take the help action to Gorgug. All right, rad. Um, uh, 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 I might be wrong, but that sounds yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I'll cool. do it. I'll do it in a sick way, though. Uh, can I? I would like to climb up and try to ride my briefcase down, <laughs> and I yell to you to pull down at the exact moment I reach it up. And I'm gonna try to grab this and shoot my gun as he pulls it. Give me an acrobatics check. Fourteen plus. DC 20. Uh, only 18. DC 20, all right. Um, uh, you, uh, as you get up, you get up here, bam. Uh, go ahead and make your attack roll. Uh, 13. 13, um, you miss on the attack roll. You get up on your briefcase, fly out through here, uh, and your briefcase slips out from under oh, you, God. shoots off into the wreckage. Oh, no, you fall. I'm gonna need you to make business cards are flying there. I'm gonna need you to make a. No. I'm gonna need you to make a DC 15 dexterity save to grab onto something as you fall towards the acid. With the head, bless. Oh yeah. Why am I keep using these dice? They're cursed. These ones are good. Mm. Hey. Uh, so What's dexterity saving throw? Dexterity saving throw. 22. Uh, you see you, whoop, your briefcase lies under you, business cards everywhere. You drop and you fucking grab Gorgug's foot. Uh, <laughs> oh hanging, both of you now hanging oh uh, okay. from the fucking end of this ramp. 
Uh, that is going to be Crush. Crush um, is going to uh, take a swing at both of you guys. Uh, Gorga, what is your armor class? 14. Ooh, boy. Uh, this thing hits you for... Fuck. He can touch me? <laughs> yeah. Um, wails around and hits you for, oh my god, that's only 16 halved to eight. Okay, Does it, do I fly off or am I still uh, You do not fly off, it's hitting you with this like rail thing, so it reaches around, wham, hits you for eight points of damage. Uh, how much are you at right now? I'm at 17. Um, bam, uh, you like shake as Gorgog is smacked with this uh, ladder. Um, Gor uh, that is now going to be Kristen's turn. Um, okay, great. I am in flames right now, I believe. Uh, can I do a, uh, a perception check to see if maybe I can meet the devil? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> 15, 16, uh, that is uh, 23. Uh, 23, you look into the flames around the half pipe and you see a face materialize. Kristen. Yes. Um, who are you? I am Old Scratch Nicodemus. I am the fiddler at the crossroads. The de I'm the devil. Okay, okay, yeah. great. Um, can I ask you a question really quick? Yeah, I got time. <laughs> Why do bad things happen to good people? Because they do them to themselves. They want it to happen. <laughs> no! Another <laughs> terrible answer! <laughs> Gave you an answer, right? Um, uh, God. Uh, Chris, do you want to cast a spell or yes. you totally? <laughs> I'm fucking pissed! I run out of the fire, completely let down. I would have gladly switched to Satan if I just got a fucking answer. That was um, an answer, that was a good one. No, it wasn't. No, yeah, bad things don't happen to good people because they did them to themselves, pull Follow yourself up by your bootstraps. <laughs> um, all right, I am going to, I just ran into the cloud of skaters, God damn it. Yeah. Um, is there a way to like, uh... Can you go off the other side of the ramp? Yeah, you can go off the other side Yeah, of the okay, I'd rather do that. Cool. Um, but I need to be able to cast something to add on. Can I get off the ramp and kind of out to the side? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I want to cast this healing uh, Disciple of Life. Okay, oh, Preserve, oh, okay, yeah, Preserve, preserve Life. Preserve Life, Cool, probably. yeah. Great, so that brings me up to half? Uh, up to half, yeah. Great, so I'm cool. at 15. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, rad. Um, hey. <laughs> and that only uses, I think, like seven uh, or, or some amount worse. of her uh, You're getting points. worse. Um, it only uses what? Yeah, do more people get to do it? Do you get to do several targets? Uh, you can do multiple targets. Anyway. Oh, then hell yeah. Uh, who else do I? So you, you have 20 points. I'm good because she healed me, I'm but at 13. he's, oh, he's yeah, in bad. I could, you I guys would, are both I'm at 17, bad. so it could it could heal me like 10 or something. Oh, great. I got you. Yeah. So you want to give like 10 to both of them? Uh, yeah. Great. Um, awesome. Vroom. Uh, place fills with light. You find that your light is no longer like corn scented. It seems to have like lost some of the yellow flicker to it. Great. Okay, more questions and answers. What uh, else is new? Gorgug, it is your turn. Okay. Um, Do something with, sick. With Riz, mm -hmm. can I climb to here mm -hmm. and then just stomp on it? Jump. Uh, at, do an athletic stick to just jump and then. Try to drive it. Difficult terrain, you can use your movement. I'm gonna say that you can just grab Riz and get uh -huh. up to the top okay. of that ramp. And um, then... Is there some way we can time it? Um, uh, oh, oh I'm gonna hold, and I'll go up to the top and I'll hold my action for... For, for uh, Fabian? For Fabian. Insane. When I, Fabian goes, I will jump. Incredible. Yeah. This is the coolest shit that's ever happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, um, uh, you're gonna hold your action. You guys are gonna do that yeah. athletics check together. Uh, let's get that box of doom in here one more time. Uh, now, did I use my action surge to get up and get into this position? You did, yes. Okay, fantastic. Um, uh, Adine, it, you're holding for Fabian. Adine, it is your turn. Uh, I would like to get up next to Fabian, mm -hmm. and then I would like to cast Burning Hands in a, uh, it's a 15 foot range, but, but with my mm -hmm. feet, it's 30 feet cone. Awesome. At all of those fucking dwarves right there. Sweet. Yeah! Uh, um, and it's a dexterity saving throw for them. It's 3d6 fire damage, and if they um, if they save, they get half of that damage. Gotcha, go ahead and roll. So six, nine, uh, 14. Nice. 14 damage? Yes. Um, so seven for everything. Uh, this uh, dwarf is fully down. The rest 
um, uh, catch completely on fire. Ah! It is back! Um, you see, our homes were burned much like this snow. The ironic similarity! Or is that irony? Or is it just poetic? Ah! The beard's all catching on fire. Uh, you are a just demon. You just strode in the middle of this battlefield. Christ to die. Ugh. Uh, you see. <laughs> can I, can I, uh, very quickly at the end jump on the back of his bike? Is that allowed or no? Oh, yeah, jump on it. Great. Um, give it a little extra uh, weight. You see that, uh, as you get on the back of the bike, um, you see that, uh, the hangman goes, Master, this one wields flame with great proficiency. Yes, it's quite impressive. I can't see back there. She, uh, what are we talking? I mean, cute, good looking, uh... Bike? <laughs> no! No, we don't talk about women in that way! I never shall speak of them in this way again! <laughs> but she is rather cute. <laughs> of course, nothing wrong with that. It's fine. Yeah, right. People being beautiful is no, a wonderful no, part of life! Yeah, but it's just that you, didn't, you went straight there. I did go straight there, that's not right. Well, you did. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, Box of Doom. Uh, I'm gonna need, so here's what's gonna happen. Fabian and Gorgug are each gonna roll an athletics check. Cool. Um, uh, we are, you get advantage yes. on it. Um, we, I'm gonna pick a weirder looking d20 so we can tell. Do we have, uh, uh, we both have blessed. We yeah. both have blessed. Both have blessed. Uh, Ooh, get ready one. for a shitload of math here in the <laughs> box of doom. Uh, go for it. Uh, go over here. Uh, I'm gonna, here. Throw, oh, you, you wanna hold it right there? Ready? I'm gonna toss them in. Magical assistant. Get ready. Uh, one, two, three. Nap 20. Oh, yeah. I rolled a five, I'll just re-roll that. Uh, yeah, re-roll that, okay, go ahead and re-roll that. Get a second nat 20. Oh, nine. Damn. Better, better, better. Um, you see uh, 13, uh, so that's still a 19 for me. A 19 <laughs> from so Gorgug. Cool. Allow me to narrate this moment. Uh, Please. Fabian cranks the fucking engine of the hangman. Uh, aided in terms of pure rocket velocity by the insane burning hands that are spewing forth from Adai. <laughs> the strands of web attached to the bike. Gorga grabs Riz under one arm, adding extra weight to the jump. Up. <coughs> Boom! Go, 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 go. I will need a dexterity saving throw from Gorgug and Riz. I have advantage, do I? Can I like help him with my throw? Actually, if you yeah. just want to carry him yeah. and take him with you with an advantage saving throw. I mean, do you have good dexterity? Or? I have great dexterity, but Maybe. I have really bad luck. I'll jump out of the way at the last <laughs> second if uh, okay. you fail. Uh, go ahead, uh, roll uh, and roll on this. Roll a, a dexterity saving throw. Okay, with bless? With bless, yeah. 20. <laughs> That's 20. Um, uh, you. This is the dopest thing Go. we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> you guys Go, okay. leap from here. Bam! Oh, Into the fucking acid. You see this golem is covered. This was the stuff they used to strip rock from mithril back in the day. <laughs> it corrodes the half pipe, sinking into the fucking acid. Uh, you guys. Both of you guys fucking tear, zoo, and uh, spin back around, Kristen. You guys on the strands of the fucking web go woo through the half pipe <laughs> and the flame, whoa, 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 and land boom, boom over here. <laughs> ah! So dope. Whoa. Um, uh, uh, the dwarves, uh, <laughs> the dwar living dwarves, turn to face you. All of them standing here with uh, Torek. Fig, it is your turn. Could you, Candy, give me a performance check? <laughs> a performance check? <laughs> <Sure>. Okay. <clears throat> I got bless. Oh, please, this is the most important performance <laughs> of my life. Okay. I got a 26. 26? Do you look that Wait, 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 wait. 17 plus. Oh, okay. sorry, 24. <laughs> Oh, still. Uh, only a 24. Uh, you guys have just, you're both standing up here, this fucking goblin and half work. You're like partially like singed and flaming. Uh, Fabian has Adine on his bike. You both are, you're like covered in magical energy. <laughs> um, uh, Kristen, you're also partially ensconced in flame, standing here surrounded by light. The dwarves turn to look at you as their fucking golem sinks and dissolves into the acid. The Torek goes, oh, no, you see. 
Uh, the manhole begins to glow. Torek looks and goes, Drums, drums in the deep. We shredded too greedily and too swiftly. Our fathers, they unleashed something horrible! The ruby deep beneath the factory glows and you hear, do I have a band? Oh my God. He's opening uh, the box. Bursting uh, with you on his back. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, bursting forward, an ancient demon of flame and fire. With the sickest fucking metalist power cord behind him. And you appear here, your smoking drumsticks in your hand. What's up? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that big? This is awesome. It's uh, probably my dad, Daddy. Uh, you see, the dwarves all go, It has awoken! And fucking skate the hell out of here. They grab their friend and fucking peace. Um, One, two, uh, three, four. <laughs> fiery whip crap. Uh, you descend from the thing's shoulder. Daddy? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh my God. Hey, kiddo. I, huh? I, I, did you just play that fucking sick drum solo? It's me. I'm sick at the drum. Can we give them a moment? Do you want, we'll, I feel we'll take like a couple of steps back in the corner. I go to, I go to hug his huge fucking quad. Can I do an <laughs> insight check to see like if that's really your dad? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, 19, one, yeah, hi. Uh, there's a lot of complex emotions going on right here. You got a here. 27. Got 27. a 27, yeah. There's like a lot of guilt, and there's like a lot of love. <laughs> Are uh, you Gorthalex? I, I am Gorthalex, the insatiable. Uh, you don't have to call me that, you can call me, I mean, I guess call me what, whatever you want. I don't know. How, wanna... how, how do you feel about dad? <laughs> <laughs> Rivers of flame trace down the massive face. The golem finish is dissolving. Um, what the fuck is happening? Uh, uh, kiddo, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, you missed a lot of stuff, but I'll tell you all about it. I would, I would love that. Yeah, totally. Are these your, are these your friends? Yeah, you could call him that. Can, we gonna have to, can, can we you gonna ask your dad if he like sac beautiful. like you know, people yeah. sacrifice kids to him or something? Yeah, are we gonna have to kill him? It's almost beautiful. Dad, my friends like think that you had people get sacrificed to you. Oh yeah, all the time. All but the they time. were like pieces of shit that just, like deserved to no, be. No, they sacrificed. were often good people. Are they like? Are they often? Are they teenage girls? What? No, no, not really. Oh, 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 I, 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 I'm sorry, I, uh, I don't, uh, I didn't like ask for people to do that. They just do, they just like get that idea and just do that. Oh. People have sacrificed people to me a lot. I didn't, I, that wasn't something uh, I Okay, so you're not about. like fueled by the souls of innocence, right? No, the, uh, the opposite. I'm fueled by the souls of very bad people. Do you know? Do you know why one of your followers, Johnny Spells, might have been? <laughs> What? He didn't, he definitely he didn't, didn't even fuck. fuck. He definitely, Wait. he didn't fuck. Wait, did word get around? He didn't. I made him do that. I said, if you want spells from me, no fuck. Oh, that's very wow. good. That's He's a fucking, that kid's a boner. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, should I talk this way around? Uh, boner's not that bad. We talk like that all the time. Yeah. We don't, we're always yeah. dunking on each other. Could yeah. I ask you a question? Why, uh, did I just meet you in the fire? Or was that a different devil? I. I, wasn't, I was trapped in a ruby and mm. someone had to play a sick riff on the drums to get me you out of there. You were trapped? That's why you weren't around when I was a kid? Vic, 
If I could have been there, oh. of course I would have been there. Let's go back and redo everything. We can redo what? everything. Okay, hey guys, how about this? Crazy day. I heard some of what was happening up there. That was fucking nuts. Did you guys yeah. drag that golem into the acid pit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually yeah, John Spell's motorcycle. You, yeah. you, fucking, you fucking jacked that dude's bike? Hey, it had this to... kid rules. Oh, I don't care who you oh, please are, stop. dude. Please stop. I also have this gross switch comb that I think is maybe... <gasps> I made him put his soul in that. I thought that would be funny well, to do Well, throw that. it in the acid if his soul is in soul? it. I don't really give a shit. Uh, yeah, let me hang on to it. <laughs> Uh, uh, tell you what, long fight, you guys just fucking kicked a bunch of ass. Uh, you guys want to go... To Bastrars? What's that? Let's go to Bastrars, because you guys are my story. I'm sorry, you can go to Bastrars? <laughs> Who would stop me? Okay, let's go to Bastrars. Hey, I, I just have a quick question. You haven't seen, like, a rat running around here, have you? Like a, or like a golf kid or anything like that? Yeah, there was like a rat here a bunch of times. Is it no, still here? Like, a... like, right... Like, like a, somebody's pet rat. Yeah, not, not just a like regular a... rat. Uh, you see that he um, looks around, uh, summons a weird little flame elemental thing that <laughs> shoots out and comes back with a little brown and white rat a moment later. Can you do an like insight check to see if it's... The... Yeah, yeah, I'll do the same thing. It's, it's it's awesome. Awesome. It is. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. is. Okay. It's great. Okay. It's for sure. 20. Uh, uh, you see he goes, uh, this? Yeah, oh, why do people want I don't that? know if they're going to be down with a rat in the ice cream shop, but we can give it a shot. Yeah, we'll come in with a full demon, but they might draw the line at a rat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't don't you don't know, it. This, this kid's got some fucking spine. I dig it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going through it. a major change right now. <laughs> hey, you know what? At your age, that's good, and it's natural. Let's go get some ice cream, huh? Yeah, can we quick get like that ruby dad. that you were trapped in? Nah. Really? I'll, I'll pick it up later. Okay. All okay, right. cool. And that's all for this week on Fantasy High. Tune in next week. Thanks for watching. I knew what Johnny Spells was up to. I owned his soul. You definitely don't want to become a yeah, warlock. Do not that's so what? Did you guys not think about these things? Everyone needs to stop telling the demon everything. Kristen, there's been a, an awful emergency. You gotta come home right now. God damn it, Doctor, we don't have the time. Matt 20. <laughs> do I have a hellmouth inside of me? Awakened from ancient slumber. I rise to consume the world of the living. <laughs>